The long black hair fluttered, exuding holy brilliance. The sharp corner on her forehead had become more moving, and it looked more sacred than before. Not only that, there is a very complicated divine seal surrounding her at the moment, which seems to be full of powerful aura. Qin Feng noticed that this half-demon divine seal was more profound and complicated than the half-demon divine seal of any half-demon tribe member before. This little girl. Seeing such changes in beer, Qin Feng also said helplessly in his mouth. I don't know why, he has an intuition that the changes Bayer has undergone seem to be different from those of other half-demon tribesmen. This can be realized from the fluctuation of the breath released from her. Not only that, the other half-demon tribesmen, after entering the Yunling God Pool for washing, the condensed half-demon seals are different, but they are all related to the body shape. For example, Barbarian, his half-demon imprint is the mark of a rhino, indicating that his ancestors had the blood of a human race and a rhino. For another example, the fierce tiger has a half-demon seal in the shape of a tiger. Moreover, this half-demon seal seemed to have nothing to do with strength, and every member of the half-demon tribe that entered the Yunling God Pool could condense it. It's just that Bayer, the little Nizai, the half-demonic seal she condenses is very different. Because this is a very mysterious and complicated moon rune, which looks sacred and ethereal. Is it possible that this Xiaonazai's ancestor has the blood of the human race and the moon? Impossible. Thinking of this speculation, Qin Feng felt a little bit dumbfounded in his heart. Hey! Just when Qin Feng was thinking. Suddenly, Bayer in front of him suddenly opened his eyes, and stepped on the void of the Yunling Shenqi with his feet floating and stood up. Not only that, her original pair of bright eyes actually began to change into silver at this moment, just like the light of the moon. In the twinkling of the eyes, a completely different breath was quickly released. This is a powerful and holy force. Following beer, she opened her lips slightly. Suddenly, a clear but beautiful voice began to pass from her mouth. Roar! Accompanied by the emergence of this clear voice. Rows of roars, as if they were greatly aroused, began to roar from the mouth of every half-demon tribe. Not only that, in their bodies, everyone's breath fluctuations turned out to be extremely powerful, at least ten times higher. Half-monster divine envoy. Suddenly, at this moment, there was an incredibly excited roar from the elder's mouth, and the whole person seemed to be dull. He didn't even notice the saliva flowing out. If you didn't know, this old guy didn't have any bad thoughts about Bai Er. If it was someone else, Qin Feng would have already kicked it. However, Qin Feng could also tell. This so-called half-demon divine envoy seemed very important. Because, even the old guy like Elder Man, is also disturbed by this. At this moment, Elder Man was very excited. With both eyes, she looked at Bai Er closely, as if she wanted to rush up. The half-demon divine envoy is a legend in our half-demon race. It is said that the half-demon divine envoy is a natural darling. With all kinds of mysterious abilities, he calls the entire half-demon race to the top. Elder Man explained with eagerness. It was also because of his explanation that made Qin Feng understand a little bit. Obviously, when the seal in Beer's body was cracked, her own enchanting talent was released. After the body tempering of the Yunling Shenqi, her own power was completely excited, and she became the so-called half-demon divine envoy. Beer had just yelled slightly, but it could directly increase the aura of the half-demon tribesmen around him by more than ten times. It is conceivable that this is so violent. And Qin Feng also had a guess about Beer's power. She can give the half-demon tribe people a strength blessing. In this way, Beer is equivalent to a source of power of the half-demon race, able to attach to the tribe, various powers, and methods. The half-demon clan members themselves have become very powerful because of the release of the seal, and now that Bayer is a source of power, it is not difficult to imagine how terrifying it would be. If you really want to count their combat effectiveness, even Qin Feng must be treated with caution. O.M. Suddenly, it was a moment. The light from Bayer's whole body began to converge into her body. 
At the same time, her pair of eyes also returned to their normal colors, and the whole person recovered their sanity. What? At this moment, looking at everyone, staring at herself with a look of worship, a shy red appeared on Bai Er's pretty face. Without thinking about it, her body moved slightly, and she rushed towards Qin Feng. She was like a cat, burying her whole little head forcefully in Qin Feng's arms. At this moment, I am afraid that she herself hadn't noticed, she was tens of meters away from Qin Feng just now. Unexpectedly, it was just a breathing effort that rushed to Qin Feng's side. This speed is beyond imagination. The next day. When the last semi-monster tribe, after successfully completing the washing. At this moment, the strength of the entire half-demon race group has undergone earth-shaking changes. Especially Beer, her status is really very lofty. With Beer's shot, the power of the half-demon tribe can instantly increase more than ten times. Moreover, Qin Feng was even more shocked to discover that the energy of the half-demon divine envoy was very exaggerated. When Beer used her demon envoy's power, her blessing was not just for the half-demon tribe. Even a human warrior can be blessed by her. Beer's abilities can be divided into two types. One is to increase strength, and the other is to bless various powerful states. For example, Blessing comprehension can greatly improve the comprehension ability of the blessed person. For example, blessing the resilience can greatly improve the recovery ability of the blessed person. Facing this group of such enchanting half-demon races, Qin Feng had a new idea in his heart. With such a group of amazing guys, you can do a lot of big things. But now Qin Feng just lacks help. Even if he now has the two great aids of Nine Nether Flame Sparrow and Cursed Sky Demon King, there is still no way to confront those real big sects directly. Even if he can kill Yun Tianzun and other sect masters, he cannot have too much influence on the sect, let alone destroy a large sect. Especially when Tianzhong was destroyed that day, this big sect made Qin Feng very jealous now. Because this sect is not like the Swan Yun sect and its background is not particularly strong. It has existed for too long. No one knows how many old monsters of the heaven-defying level will exist in the heavenly destruction heavenly sect. The reason why they haven't shown up yet is probably because the news has not been passed on. However, once they know that they will kill their suzerain, I am afraid it is impossible to let them go easily. Secondly, Qin Feng still has many enemies in the Azure Spirit Realm, and he will go back one day. For example, the 10,000 times heaven sect, its existence is even longer than that of the Azure Sea sect. He has the background and masters, absolutely not relying on him to deal with it. Although he can now fight against ordinary god-passing realm masters, compared with this sect, it is simply a difference. Even in the heavenly snake palace, Qin Feng now has no confidence that he can win. To become a big sect, you must have many masters. Therefore, to really fight against the sects, especially those big sects, in addition to their own strength, they must also have their own power. Later, in this semi-demon race, in the race, Qin Feng also bothered, and made a lot of contributions to their improvement. Qin Feng himself possessed a lot of resources, especially after killing Yun Tianzun and other suzerains. He was rich and rich, and he had a lot of pills. With the help of these medicines, the strength of the half-demon tribe can naturally increase faster. Therefore, every member of the half-demon tribe has received huge benefits. They themselves use their physical strength as the foundation for their strength improvement, coupled with their talent being washed, so they improve very quickly. Even, it far exceeded Qin Feng's expectations. Such an amazing improvement made Qin Feng secretly surprised. After some serious research, Qin Feng finally understood that the meridians of the half-demon tribe were far broader and more solid than human warriors. It is precisely for this reason that they can withstand the impact of a large amount of pill power, and do not worry that the meridian will burst by the pill. In this way, the twelve masters, such as the tigers and the bulls, etc., were the first to break through highlighting their talent against the sky. Especially Tiger and Bull, 
the talents of these two guys are absolutely at the top level of the semi-demon race. In just a short period of time, they have successively broken through to the realm of Tongshen. The fierce tiger reached the fifth level of the god through Shen realm, while the man bull had the fourth level of the god through Shen realm. Afterwards, these twelve masters of the realm of the gods were also named the twelve elders. And each of them must absolutely obey Qin Feng's orders and dispatch. Each of the twelve elders possesses the cultivation base of the god communication realm. The true combat effectiveness of each of them is definitely not much worse than those of the elders of the sect. It can be said that with the help of these twelve masters, Qin Feng can be regarded as having his own real power. With the passage of time, Qin Feng also slowly put his mind on his cultivation base again. Although it is necessary to have a strong power and help yourself a lot, what is really important is to rely on your own strength. The primordial greenwood vitality allowed Qin Feng to control the wood attribute power, but Qin Feng didn't really completely control it. Many of these effects, Qin Feng didn't even think through. The primordial five elements vitality, every kind of primordial bloodline that can be condensed and free attribute. Among them, the fire attribute is the most overbearing, the earth attribute is the strongest, and the water attribute is the most powerful. Each of these five different attribute powers belongs to the primordial bloodline of natural nature. Moreover, each kind of power is very powerful. On this point, Qin Feng is very confident. What's more, the primordial bloodline of this nature has almost never appeared in the entire Tianyu continent for a long time. Its true power is definitely not just his own power, the kind of power displayed. Through the Thunder Dragon tempering, the wood attribute power urges the giant tree to form the appearance of a real dragon hovering. Combining the lightning attribute and the wood attribute, the power generated is indeed very anti-sky. I thought of the time when I combined the thunder and wood attributes to deal with Yunzun that day. The combined power of these two forces is simply amazing. Now, I have the power to connect myself perfectly. It's just that there are still some limitations. After all, with the current state, if I want to improve, the speed will seem a lot slower. After thinking of this, Qin Feng finally decided to himself that instead of comprehensively improving, it is better to start with one aspect first. The lightning attribute, he has basically completely figured it out now, and only the wood attribute power is left, and he still lacks shortcomings. Wood attribute power. Thinking of this wood attribute power, Qin Feng's heart moved slightly. In the next moment, there was an extra thing on his hand. This is a palm-sized piece of wood. It is very dry and has no moisture at all but it can be found that there are runes condensed on it. Qing Long Tian Gang Wood There are indeed a lot of good things in the storage ring of sect master Tian Xiong. This Azure Dragon Tian Gang Wood is one of the treasures. Azure Dragon Tian Gang Wood, for the martial artist, has extremely extraordinary benefits and effects. Especially for warriors who practice wood attribute martial arts, it can double the benefits. During cultivation, if you use this Azure Dragon Tian Gang Wood to temper, your own cultivation speed, I'm afraid you can increase at least 10 times. The most exciting thing is that this Azure Dragon Tian Gang Wood can be used for a long period of time to enhance the wood attribute power. Three days later. Above the sky. Thunder and lightning continued to condense, and among them were cyan phantoms of ancient trees, swimming and floating, with real dragons hovering around. The force of horror, touching each other, spread wildly towards the surroundings. It seems that the strength of this brat has improved a lot. Outside, Elder Man's expression was slightly surprised, and he involuntarily exclaimed in secret. For Qin Feng, he was more and more shocked. Although, at the very beginning, he noticed Qin Feng's uniqueness, but he didn't expect that the evildoer would reach such a situation. This simply beyond his imagination. At this moment, Qin Feng in that state of cultivation was surrounded by a terrifying cyan flow disk. Behind, there is a giant shadow of ancient trees circling like a pearl. The blue streamers, like a body armor, 
are constantly erupting with Qin Feng's force. Above his void, an old piece of wood is constantly floating in it. Exuding strands of cyan luster, it constantly tempers Qin Feng's body and improves energy. Open. Suddenly, there was a loud voice in Qin Feng's mouth. After that, you can clearly see that on the body, a series of cyan runes began to speed up frantically. At the same time, in the depths of Qin Feng's body, the majestic and vast Zhen Qi also filled the meridians, muscles and bones of the whole body in an instant. Every inch of Qin Feng's muscles became like cyan jade, looking very beautiful. Hey! Qin Feng's eyes opened and closed. Immediately, two divine lights like thunder and lightning passed quietly in the void. The mastery of the wood attribute power has once again improved by 10%. What I didn't expect is that this time to temper the wood attribute power, it actually made me more proficient in the control of the eternal tree. The eternal tree is a very heavenly thing. For Qin Feng, it is very important. It was for this reason that Qin Feng was very satisfied and happy in this practice. Perceiving the continuous power fluctuations around his body, Qin Feng couldn't help murmuring in his mouth. It seems that it is time for me to leave this ancient barbarian plain. Two wild mountains. This is the most remote mountain in the ancient barbaric plain. At this moment, thirteen figures were swiftly galloping outside from the mountains. The head of this group of people looks only eighteen years old, with a relatively thin body. With the breeze blowing, you can see this person's appearance, quite handsome. On the other's shoulder, a cat the size of a palm and a bird that was all in black was sitting right now. This kind of match, at a glance, is really a weird feeling. As for the twelve figures next to them, they are all different in appearance, either with a tiger head, a bull head, or huge. But no matter how shaken, in each of them, they all carry an aura of terrifying and domineering power. This group of people is not the others, but Qin Feng and the twelve elders of the half-demon race. You go back first, you don't need to follow me anymore. Qin Feng looked helplessly at the twelve powerful semi-demon clan masters, the bulls and tigers, and said depressed. This time, they also left the semi-demon clan territory of the ancient barbarian plain. Before that, Qin Feng had thoroughly trained them. For the rest, there is a little lack of running in and practice. With the means of the barbaric elders, Coupled with the abilities of these people, Qin Feng believes that as long as they are not too powerful sex, it is impossible to win them at all. What's more, in this ancient barbarian plain, the terrain is bad, easy to defend and difficult to attack. If someone plans to destroy the semi-demon race, it is definitely the top power that can do it. Therefore, Qin Feng was not worried about the safety of the half-demon race. Master Protector we have promised the Lord God Envoy, we must personally send you outside. The tiger's face was full of admiration and serious expressions. Since Bayer became a half-demon envoy, this group of guys have become Bayer's loyal fans almost instantly. For Bayer, the half-demon divine envoy, their level of worship was not much worse than Qin Feng's. In this line of teams, only a variety of iron cages made of solid materials were seen. Inside those iron cages, there were half-monster tribesmen with angry faces. At this moment, each of them is trapped by the iron cable, unable to move at all, and the iron cage is obviously stronger. In the vicinity of the convoy, there are many sullen warriors, there are almost more than fifty in total, and everyone is holding a weapon. He he he, I didn't expect it would be so easy this time. Although we have lost a lot. As long as we sell all of this batch of goods, we can definitely make a profit. A burly middle-aged brawny man carrying a big sword looked at the half-demon clan in the iron cage very expectantly and smiled. Boss, look at this little girl, she's still pretty good. A thin young man with a sharp-mouthed monkey cheek couldn't help staring badly, and one of the half-demon girls laughed. This half-monster girl is about twelve years old, her face is very delicate. Her eyes are like blue gems, and she looks very affectionate. Not only that, this woman's skin is actually very rare, not much different from human beings, 
very fair. Such an appearance, even among the human warriors, can be regarded as a very high-class item, let alone among the five big and three thick half-monster races. Although he is still young, it is obvious that the areas that should grow are already fully developed. This woman, with a light body and a long white tail behind her body, was struggling constantly at the moment, her eyes were splitting. One can imagine how angry she is. Even at a young age, in her thin body, there is still a unique mature charm that belongs to a fox. He he he, she is indeed a very beautiful woman. In the half-demon race, it is absolutely rare to encounter this kind of goods. It seems that my luck this time is really good. However, this kind of half-demon girl is really rare and can be sold at a high price. If I taste her now, it will waste her value. I think it's better to sell her. After you sell it, why don't you worry about finding a woman? Ha ha ha, the boss is right, the boss is really wise. At this moment, hearing the words of these guys, all the half-demon race's eyes emitted a very angry flame, and the body was struggling constantly. I can't wait to rush out immediately and get rid of these guys. Ha ha ha, you give up resistance, it's useless, you half-demon race are born slave races, no matter how hard you struggle, it's a waste. Seeing these half-monsters, struggling with anger, the burly middle-aged man couldn't help but raised his head and laughed, his face full of mockery. However, his smile hasn't lasted long. A rumbling impact sounded suddenly. Boom! This voice is getting more and more terrifying, getting closer and closer. Finally, all of a sudden, the whole ground seemed to be boiling, violently agitated. Immediately, the twelve huge figures, like real dragons descending, forcefully smashed through the big trees, then suddenly jumped up and stopped in front of everyone. Half Monster those human warriors who were still a little frightened, at this moment, after seeing this line of twelve guys, who were only half monsters, the expression on their faces instantly returned to a contemptuous mockery. Semi monster, ha ha ha, it's amazing. It shocked me. It seems that our luck today is okay, there are actually twelve semi monster races who have taken the initiative to send us in front of us. He he he, this time we can really sell a lot of money. When the time comes, a few brothers, delicious and spicy. Okay. Let's do it, everyone, grab them all. Just as this group of people is gearing up and preparing to do it. Suddenly. Hey. At this moment, another figure suddenly appeared, with an extremely extraordinary momentum. The person who came was Qin Feng. After seeing the surroundings, his brows were raised slightly. For this kind of behavior that treats creatures as slaves for trading, Qin Feng has always been very annoying, and has never had a good impression. Where's the hairy boy? Don't hurry up. Seeing Qin Feng appear, the leader immediately yelled. Kill them all. Qin Feng whispered quietly in his mouth. Kill them all? What does this mean? Hearing Qin Feng's words, the faces of this group of human warriors suddenly showed a surprised expression, and they didn't know what Qin Feng meant. However, in a flash of effort, a terrible aura suddenly burst out at this moment. Wow! A roar, like a tiger roar. The fierce tiger, fast, instantly tore the body of a human warrior to pieces. Roar! The barbarian roared to the sky and quickly released the half-demon seal like a world-famous rhino, waving his arms, with terrible power, directly blasted a warrior into scum. And Red Wolf. This group of people have their own magical powers, all of them kill their opponents in seconds. At this moment, all the human martial artists were instantly sluggish. Even the half-demon races who were locked up in the iron cage all showed shocked expressions at this moment, and couldn't believe that all of this was true. How is this possible, how can the semi-demon race be so powerful? Anger, endless anger. Killing to the extreme. The picture of this scene is simply incredible. At this moment, the leader of that group of human warriors was sweating all over, with his teeth clenched very tightly. Finally, 
he was completely angry, and shouted, Damn, you humble slaves, how come you have such a terrifying combat power, let me die. After speaking, he suddenly took out the big sword behind him and danced vigorously. His cultivation reached the fifth level of the true spirit realm, and he was also a good little master. However, his great sword has just been swung. A weird and ghostly figure came to him in an instant. A sharp claw pierced his whole body cruelly without hesitation. Only seen there. A half-monster with a bull-headed human body was scanning with a sneer, and one hand was full of blood. This, how is this possible? All this is really incredible. In our half-demon race, when did we have such a powerful tribe? At this moment, when all the half-demon races have been rescued, their mouths are filled with expressions of incredible horror and a hint of excitement. Lord Guardian, this is a member of another tribe of the half-demon tribe, very close to our tribe. The tiger was very respectful and explained to Qin Feng. In this ancient barbarian plain, there is not only one tribe like the barbarian bull, but also many other large and small tribes. And those half-monster tribesmen, seeing the reverence of the tigers and others towards a human martial artist, they became very curious in an instant. Especially the half-demon clan girl, there was a trace of doubt in her eyes. You send them back first, and report to the barbarian elder, and let him handle it. If all the tribes of the half-demon race can be combined, it must be a good choice. In addition, you now have a spiritual pool, you are absolutely sure that more half-demon races can grow up again. There are many half-demon races, and for Qin Feng, they have a stronger help. Thank you, Master Protector. Looking at Qin Feng in front of him, the faces of Man Niu and others suddenly showed excitement. Then you go back first, I'll go out by myself, that's it. Looking at Man Niu and others, Qin Feng said with a smile. Wow. After bidding farewell to the bulls, tigers, and others, Qin Feng flew directly into the air and hurried all the way, using the thunder attribute to follow the wind to urge him, and the speed was amazing. However, Qin Feng's main purpose now is to cultivate, and he is no longer so obsessed with speed. Because the speed increase is too slow, and the help will not be particularly big. He also has thunder attribute power, soul power, wood attribute power, etc. There are too many methods that require him to slowly understand and improve. Hey! The only way to increase the power of all means is to rely on the power of the true dragon. However, unless I immediately gather more dragon scales again, or get some great opportunity against the sky, if not, it would be too difficult to greatly improve my combat power. When he thought of this, Qin Feng also sighed secretly, he was almost caught in a very helpless situation now. Therefore, we can only work hard slowly. If at this time, give me another real dragon to swallow, that would be great. Qin Feng shook his head and said. You kid just dream. Zhu Yuyang rolled his eyes and said angrily. Meow. Rubeo also waved that little front paw, obviously, laughing at Qin Feng's idea as too naive. You two guys, can't you comfort me? Qin Feng looked at these two guys helplessly. Immediately, the whole mind sank into the sea of consciousness, directly in the void, slowly practicing. Above the void. The breeze lingling. The wind here is strong and comfortable. The artistic conception of wind attribute should be regarded as one kind among many artistic conceptions, and it is relatively easy to understand. Therefore, most warriors comprehend this wind attribute artistic conception. However, this does not mean that it is very weak. On the contrary, if you can devote yourself to cultivation, the wind attribute artistic conception will definitely not be much worse than other attribute powers, and it can even crush most artistic conceptions. I remember in the last life, there was a strong man named Ling Feng Venerable. He once swung a wind blade casually and wiped out a piece of the sea and the stars could be smashed with one punch. In Qin Feng's heart, secretly remembered. Through this, it can be concluded that there is still a lot of room for improvement in your own wind attribute power. Qin Feng's Wind Battle Mark 
it is the characteristics evolved after comprehending the power of the wind attribute to a realm, which means that the control of the wind attribute has reached a very high level. However, this is by no means the highest level. O.M. Qin Feng's mind was circulating. The next moment, in his hand, a blue stone suddenly appeared. The ultimate mutant spirit stone with wind attributes. Looking at this mutant spiritual stone, Qin Feng couldn't help but feel a little bitter. This piece of spiritual stone was found in Yunzun's storage ring that day. As a great figure in the transformation realm realm, he has only more than 30 top grade spirit stones. It's just that there is actually a mutant spirit stone that contains the power of the wind attribute, which was unexpected to Qin Feng and surprised him. Now, it just works. Hey! With the palm of his hand, Qin Feng held this top quality mutant spirit stone tightly in his hand. Just like this, Qin Feng floated in the void and moved forward slowly. Cultivating in the void is of course very dangerous. However, Qin Feng's prince ancient true dragon technique is very tyrannical, and he doesn't need to care about this at all. Following the wind attribute spirit stone, slowly releasing his own energy, Qin Feng's whole mind completely sank into a cultivation state. Whizzing. The terrifying vitality like a real dragon was quickly instilled into Qin Feng's body. Behind it, there are even more weird and powerful, wind-based battle marks that continue to circulate, compressing the surrounding vitality to a very exaggerated realm. At this moment, it can be seen completely that strands of wind attribute power are constantly bursting out of Qin Feng's body, constantly absorbing and fusing. The various processes of change are almost constantly circulating. And as these changes continued, immediately, the battle mark behind Qin Feng became stronger and more refined. Far away, from this battle mark, one can perfectly realize that a very sharp aura is constantly spreading out. Above the void, there are constantly huge flying birds, slowly appearing. A crocodile-like flying bird quietly penetrated the void. Immediately, a pair of cold eyes stared at Qin Feng's body closely, and a greedy expression immediately appeared in those eyes. Behind it is a pair of very huge wings. This is the flying crocodile bird. Flying crocodile bird, very difficult, is a terrifying monster belonging to the level of tier 5 fierce beast. At this moment, it clearly focused on Qin Feng. A fierce beast that can reach this state its true wisdom has basically surpassed that of ordinary people. Relying on its keen sense of smell and perception, it completely felt that the power of qi and blood in Qin Feng's body was very strong and pure. Laugh. However, before it started to work, the battle scar behind Qin Feng suddenly flashed with a blue light. After that, a sharp blade that reached a full 100 meters, unexpectedly appeared in front of it out of thin air and then quietly slashed across its body. Puff! The blood, like a rain of blood, madly spilled from the sky to the ground. The flying crocodile bird, whose body reached more than 50 meters, fell down vertically and quickly like this. It had a pair of demon pupils wide open, even if it were to die, it couldn't figure out why this human warrior would find itself. Moreover, why can a warrior who is in a cultivation state be distracted and kill him? It didn't know that Qin Feng was already in a cultivation state. However, Qin Feng's mind was still paying attention to the surroundings. Especially at this time, he is cultivating wind attribute power, so he is more sensitive to the surroundings than before, and it is not difficult at all to discover it. However, with Qin Feng's current strength and cultivation base, if he wanted to kill a fierce beast of this level in a second, it would be no effort at all. Qin Feng didn't care about the fall of the flying crocodile bird, it was just an episode. Qin Feng's attention was still focused on his own cultivation. Although in this state of cultivation, I occasionally encountered some troubles, but these little things are not worth mentioning. In this way, Qin Feng's cultivation gradually became better and better, and gradually entered a better state. The brilliance released by the mutant spirit stone with the wind attribute on his body gradually became rich. Obviously, Qin Feng's absorption speed at this time has reached an extreme. Boom! 
that is when Qin Feng was in a state of cultivation. Suddenly, a terrifying tearing sound shattered the space arrogantly. The next moment, a very large warship, like a mountain, quickly passed through the void. This warship, with a majestic and atmospheric posture, directly rolled up layers of air waves wherever it passed. Such a domineering posture and speed, for a while, the oppression of the void is a little depressed. A layer of slightly transparent streamer appeared on the battleship. This was an enchantment, which could resist any attack from the battleship. On that battleship, a group of figures are constantly busy at this moment. Obviously, this warship is a cargo ship, specially used to transport goods. I only saw a tall warrior, each carrying a large number of boxes, walking around. Uncle Lu, this time we have such a great harvest, my father will definitely appreciate me. A young man who was only about twenty years old, stood on the battleship with a slight smile on his face, and said with a smile to an old man next to him. Well, you have spent a lot of thought this time before you have achieved a cooperative relationship with the periphery of the Alchemy Alliance. This is indeed very good for the future of the family. I believe that the owner of the family will look at you. Look high. The old man, dressed in a long robe, with a haggard face, said with a faint smile on his face. It's just that the smiles on his face are very artificial, obviously smiling reluctantly. Uncle Lu, why do you seem to be unsure of it? Looking at the old man in front of him, the young man frowned and asked very surprised. Young master, with all due respect, although your harvest is pretty good. And you also have a relationship with the Alchemy League. It can be said that the Alchemy Alliance, in this entire Miyuan realm, is the object of everyone's infatuation. It is really not easy for you to get a relationship. If it is other times, there is indeed a great chance. However, as far as I know, this time, in order to be able to compete for control of the future family, your two brothers did not wait. Your eldest brother Pang Tianlong has already made contact with a core disciple of the Shenlian mansion. As for your second brother Pang Tianhu, he was even more favored by an elder from the Transcendence sect, so this time he also gained a lot. Following the words of Uncle Lu, the youth's face suddenly became stiff. It seems that this time, I am afraid I can't compete with them. Seeing that the young man became very discouraged, Uncle Lu sighed secretly in his heart. Young master, I have been watching you grow up. You and your mother are so kind and kind, but in this world, being too kind is the most wrong. Being kind will only encounter pressure from others, especially in front of a powerful family like ours. You must change your personality before you can achieve great things in the future. When he said this sentence, the young man's face showed a hint of helplessness. In fact, big brother and second brother are indeed better than me, but I just don't want to compete with them. Hey! Hearing this young man's answer, Lu Bo only sighed helplessly. Obviously, he probably heard this sentence more than once. Hey! There seems to be someone ahead. Suddenly, at this moment, the young man's face moved inexplicably, revealing a strange expression, and shouted. Young master, don't talk to others easily. Looking at the appearance of this young man, Lu Bo's expression suddenly changed. Based on his understanding of this young master, he is definitely a person who likes to make friends. It's just that there are a lot of cargo on this warship. If people with unknown origins like this, if they have any friendship, they may easily cause some unnecessary trouble. It's okay, this person can actually be suspended in the void, he is a genius. Moreover, he is so young, I really admire him. Don't worry, he doesn't look like an evil man. The young man apparently smiled indifferently, and then began to shout loudly, This friend, would you like to come on my boat and have a cup of tea? Hey! At this moment, Qin Feng's eyes slowly opened, and he let out a helpless sigh. I only saw that the top quality mutant spirit stone in his hand had already turned into powder. The practice just now has indeed increased his battle scar power a lot. However, there is still a lack of fire. 
just as he tried, and when he went further, he did not expect that someone would transmit to him. Qin Feng swept away his gaze randomly, only to see that there was a handsome young man on the huge warship, greeted him with a smile on his face. Then bother you. The so-called not to hit the smiling face, the other party invited him so enthusiastically, Qin Feng did not have to refuse, and went directly into the other party's boat. However, he noticed that the old man named Lu Bo had been guarding him very vigilantly, and his body was lingering from time to time. Obviously, the other party does not trust himself so much. Uncle Lu, don't worry, relax. The young man seemed to be aware of Uncle Liu's situation and couldn't help whispering. Young master, the origin of this person is unknown, how can you let him board the ship so easily? Bo Lu said with a helpless sigh but his vigilance didn't decrease at all. It's okay, this person is so good-looking and young, surely he won't be an evil person. The youth said very surely. However, even Qin Feng felt a little helpless for this kid's answer. Is it possible that a good-looking person is not a bad person? Can you tell good and evil from looks? If this were the case, then there would not be so many people in this world being calculated by others. Many evil people may look very kind. My name is Pang Tianying. While speaking, this young man started to introduce himself to Qin Feng. Qin Feng also noticed that this guy is a kind character, and he would not be a hypocritical gentleman. Hello, my name is Qin Feng. Although there were many enemies, Qin Feng didn't want to reveal his real name, but facing the young man in front of him, he didn't intend to hide it. This Pang Tianying knew at a glance that he was a man of true temperament and would not have any bad thoughts. Brother Qin, I think you are so young. This time we are going to Longchong Auction House to auction some things. I don't know Brother Qin, where are we going? This guy is so straightforward. Qin Feng's face was very speechless. Looking at Uncle Lu next to Pang Tianying again, he unconsciously placed his hand on his forehead. This guy is so blunt, he doesn't have any city government at all. Qin Feng began to wonder how this cruel martial arts world Pang Tianying had survived until now. This kind of person, according to normal circumstances, may have been miscalculated long ago. Long Chong Auction House Qin Feng was still very curious about the name of this auction house. Yes, Long Chong Auction House. This is a very powerful auction house in our Mayuan realm. This time, in addition to selling something, I am also going to get some good treasures back. Pang Tianying nodded and smiled. Along the way, this Pang Tianying seemed to be unable to finish talking, and was always beside Qin Feng, talking to Qin Feng. And the more Lu Bo listened, the more his expression changed. This Pang Tianying was exactly one person, without a city mansion, directly confessing a lot of information that could not be talked about. Even Qin Feng didn't need to actively ask anything, he easily learned all the information of this guy. However, this Lu Bo's vigilance towards Qin Feng gradually decreased. After all, this Qin Feng is indeed very young, judging from his aura, it seems that his realm is not too high. Not to mention, Lu Bo's cultivation has reached the sixth level of the God Throughput Realm, and there are still many masters on board. Even if Qin Feng has any bad thoughts, he can deal with it easily. And through the understanding along the way, Qin Feng almost understood a lot about the situation of the Pang family. This Pang family is quite powerful. It can be said that in the entire domain of Mi Yuan, it is also numbered. Relying on his own strength alone, he can fight against some good sex. It is conceivable that the Pang family is indeed a bit difficult. There are many industries involved in the Pang family, among which the most critical business is medicine and weapons. Since this Pang family is mainly engaged in business, they have not offended any forces. Of course, this is also because his own strength is strong enough, others will give them a little bit of face, in order to survive in this Mi Yuan realm. As for Pang Tianying, he was a young master of the Pang family, and above him, there were two brothers. 
whether it is the eldest brother Pang Tianlong or the second brother Pang Tianhu, the methods of the two are very amazing. Either one of the two is much better than Pang Tianying. The network of these two people covers almost everywhere, and even has some connections with certain powerful sects. This is also true, so the competition for future inheritance rights of the Pang family has been very fierce. Qin Feng could also see that Pang Tianying with such a personality was obviously not a qualified person to compete for. Because this guy's character is too soft and kind, it is difficult to live a stable life in the calculations of others. However, Qin Feng had a very good impression of Pang Tianying. The other party's upright temperament made him appreciate it very much. If there is a chance, he doesn't mind, help this guy once. While the two were communicating with each other, it didn't take long for them to focus their attention on Longchong Auction House. Longchong Auction House is a very generous auction house. In this entire Miyuan domain, the reputation is very loud. The other party will only hold one auction every year. And the items auctioned are all peerless treasures that have been collected over the course of this year. This time, the events held by the Longchong Auction House have spread throughout the entire domain. Rumor has it that in this Longchong Auction House, two very powerful weapons will be bid. Moreover, its power is very extraordinary, among the top ten artifacts, it can be called one of the best. Not only that, there are also some extremely rare heavenly materials and earth treasures, as well as precious pills, which will also be shot. For the martial artist, those ten major artifacts, but a very kind of existence. Especially for those warriors with strong strength, if they can have a weapon against the sky in their hands, then they can definitely make their own strength, get a shocking improvement. This time, if I can bring back some precious treasures, maybe it will give me a little more chance of winning. When he said this, Pang Tianying's face was obviously helpless. Obviously, in the family, he should not be taken seriously, and the pressure of competition is great. He <laughs> he, it's okay, I believe you, you will be able to succeed. Qin Feng smiled and said to Pang Tianying. However, his heart is also very worried about Pang Tianying's situation. Because, whether it is his elder brother Pang Tianlong or his second brother Pang Tianhu, both methods are much better than him. The struggle for family interests will inevitably lead to killing and cruel methods. Can be expected. Whether it is his eldest brother or second brother. If the two, once they have the right, they will definitely start targeting Pang Tianying, and the consequences will be unimaginable. Two days later. Tianyu King City. At this moment, because this grand and large-scale auction is about to begin, so many experts from all sides have gathered. Tianyu King City is a very old city with a long history. It is also the location of Longchang Auction House, where this auction will be held. Brother Qin, then we'll leave for the time being. If there is a chance, we must come to my Pang's house to relieve the past. Facing Qin Feng, Pang Tianying said happily. Don't worry, I will. Qin Feng nodded slightly and said, for this guy, he does have a good opinion of him. After the two left, Qin Feng didn't hesitate, so he walked directly towards the Longchang auction house. At this moment, there are almost crowds of people near this auction. Everyone's strength is a very superb warrior. These warriors come from all directions, but now they are all standing in place, lining up in accordance with the rules. Hey! Seeing the crowded scene in this place, Qin Feng's expression changed slightly. If there are so many people in line, I don't know how long it will take to get to the auction house, right? Okay. Just when Qin Feng was still looking around, he suddenly noticed that there was another entrance at the entrance of the auction house. This entrance, from the outside, is no different from the other entrances, except that very few people pass by. Almost, after a long period of time, warriors will pass through it. So that's it. When Qin Feng observed something that someone was wearing, he suddenly understood in his heart. Because the thing that this person wears is exactly a badge that belongs to the alchemist. 
This also means that the entrance to this passage is specially set up for the noble alchemist. Hey! Qin Feng put down the hat of the robe directly, covering his face. At this moment, he was tightly wrapped, and it was difficult for outsiders to notice his true appearance from the outside. Then, on Qin Feng's body, a badge appeared out of thin air. This piece of emblem is the Nine Star Emblem that can only be possessed by the Nine Star Alchemist, which means that the status is very important. Please wait for a while. As Qin Feng moved forward, a certain guard standing in the passage just let it go and stretched out his hand to stop it. However, the moment he just raised his head, he noticed the alchemist badge that Qin Feng was wearing, and his expression froze instantly. Even the whole body couldn't help but began to tremble. My god! This badge is too scary, right? Nine stars? Is this person in front of him a super alchemy master who has reached the realm of nine stars? Is this too exaggerated? You know, in the entire Mayuan realm, alchemy masters who can reach this level can be counted clearly with their fingers. My lord, please come in. This person's expression changed drastically, he hurriedly bent over to salute Qin Feng, and said respectfully. Master Nine Star Alchemy, this is too enchanting. Enough to make everyone afraid of it. Not to mention a small guard, even if the president of the entire Longchang auction house saw it, he would have to give the other side a bit of face. Moreover, with this level of badges, it is impossible for anyone to choose to fake it. Because once it is found out, all alchemists in the entire domain will be besieged and killed. This is very overbearing, so no one dares to pretend to be a fake, no matter how powerful it is. With such a noble status, Qin Feng was naturally arranged in a VIP room. Others have to line up and come in slowly, but he easily comes in early, and is also arranged to rest in a separate VIP room. This, is the horror of the alchemist identity. It can bring great benefits to warriors. Moreover, not only this place, but many places on the road, enjoy various privileges. This so-called Longchang auction will only open once a year, so it is highly regarded. At the moment, in the auction, there is also a crowded crowd. Qin Feng was sitting on the seat in the VIP room, enjoying the wine and fruit, and waiting patiently. It didn't take long. Above the wide high platform of the auction, a dazzling light burst out suddenly. This burst of light, although very bright, did not affect everyone's sight, but instead caused everyone to concentrate on the past. At the same time, because of the emergence of this burst of light, the auction, which was still a little noisy, gradually became silent and exceptionally silent. On the high platform of the auction ahead, an old man in a robe stood in the middle. Welcome everyone, come to participate in this year's Longchang auction. After a year-long search in our auction, we once again found a large number of natural treasures. So, Please rest assured that this auction will still not disappoint everyone. Now I announce that the auction will begin immediately, and I also ask everyone to obey the rules seriously. I believe that everyone should also understand the rules of our auction. Don't do anything wrong here, otherwise. The last words of this old man were obviously to remind those warriors who were not thinking right. As the old man finished speaking, it was obvious that certain warriors with gloomy expressions frowned uncontrollably. It didn't take long for the first treasure at the auction to be slowly sent to the high platform. Attention everyone, the auction will begin immediately, and I'll talk about the auction rules again. Each transaction needs to be settled with spirit stones. If the spirit stones are not enough, you can also exchange them with corresponding treasures. But if you find someone bids deliberately during the checkout, but there are not so many spirit stones to offer, then don't blame our auction house for its harsh methods. Now, I announce that this auction will begin immediately. Wow! With a slight sound, appeared on the high platform, the first auction treasure was presented in front of everyone. This is a scarlet long sword. It looks weird on it, because it hasn't been opened yet and it doesn't have any sharpness that belongs to the long sword. However, on this long sword, 
there are wisps of red fire attribute power. In the long sword faintly, it also revealed a very violent sword intent, which made people dare not easily ignore it. Is the flame Izumo sword? Suddenly, a warrior seemed to recognize the sword and yelled. Ha ha! The old man standing on the high platform of the auction opened his mouth and smiled softly. Since everyone has recognized this thing, then I won't sell it anymore. This sword is indeed a sword from the flames. This sword does not open the front, but it contains extremely strong fire attribute power. It is the famous flame Izumo King 3000 years ago, and the condensed natal weapon the flame Izumo sword. I believe that everyone understands the power of the flame Izumo sword in their hearts. The lowest auction price for this sword is 1000 high grade spirit stones. There is no upper limit on the highest price. Each auction increases the price, and the minimum is 100 high grade spirit stones. 1000 and 100 yuan. 1300 yuan. The next moment, a crazy bidding began to break out. Qin Feng's brows moved lightly. He knew a little bit about the King of Flame Izumo, that he was a very extraordinary master of kendo cultivation. His strength is very powerful, and he has a very unique understanding of kendo. And the Sword of Flames that he used is even more powerful, not to mention, the fire attribute power that he emits is enough to make the warriors crazy. Coupled with the reputation of the sword owner, it is not difficult to imagine that this time the auction will definitely be fierce. Although this long sword has good power, it is a pity that it is slightly inadequate compared to the top 10 artifacts, not to mention the Scarlet Sky Sword I own, which is more than one grade better than it. Because he possessed the Scarlet Black Sky Sword, Qin Feng had no interest in this sword of flames and clouds. Unless it is a long sword that really suits him, Qin Feng might as well not buy it. 6,100 yuan. In the end, when the price was increased to 6,100, no one called the price anymore. This, is just the first treasure. Therefore, there is no need to lose a lot of spirit stones for a mere sword of flames. Moreover, although this Blaze Azumo sword contained unique fire attribute power, its power was limited after all, and it was not very exaggerated for the increase in combat power. Moreover, if this sword was not opened, its power would naturally be much worse. In the end, this blazing flame out of the cloud sword was auctioned off by a very strong middle-aged swordsman. The first auction item has such a resounding background, which makes everyone look forward to the next auction. It is not difficult to imagine how amazing the backing of the auction items later will be. For a while, many forces and martial artists began to think in secret wondering whether the spirit stone they brought would be enough. The second auction item was a necklace that could protect the soul from attack, and was eventually photographed by a beautiful alchemist. The third auction item is a defensive robe. Around the robe, there are a lot of rune blessings, the streamer flashes, and it can come out at a glance, and there is a strong water attribute protection inside. This long robe, called the Bishui robe, can resist a nine-tier master of the god sound realm in a fight with a full force. That was an attack from the ninth layer of the god passing realm. This thing could actually withstand a move. One can imagine how amazing the power of the rune set on it would be. However, this robe is also a bit tasteless, because the rune power on it can only be used five times, and when the number is exhausted, it is a useless scrap robe. Of course, for warriors who often fight, this robe is still extremely precious. In the fierce bidding, a mysterious man finally spent 15,000 high-grade spirit stones and was photographed. Next, the auction will continue. As the treasures are presented, the enthusiasm of the people is getting stronger and the price increase atmosphere becomes more and more intense. Hey! Suddenly, the old man on the high stage of the auction suddenly changed his expression and looked very excited. The treasure auctioned below, it took countless thoughts of our auction house before we got it. Please don't miss it, you have to look carefully. Wow! Between talking, the old man waved his sleeve suddenly. In the next second, under everyone's eyes, only bright streamers were seen, 
which began to flicker on the high platform. At the same time, a very astonishing breath broke out. This treasure turned out to be a very complete suit. This set of battle armor has a full range of accessories such as coats, cloaks, shoes, gauntlets, etc., and they are so perfect in connection with each other, as if a perfect circle of heaven became a general. Among them, red and white streams of light were emitted, looming like the most mysterious treasure, with runes occasionally drawn across it, and it was easy to immerse yourself just by looking at it. This is actually a complete suit of armor. Looking at this almost perfect set of armor, a warrior, with his eyes widened in disbelief, roared with uncertainty. Yes, this is a complete suit. Any part of this is enough to greatly enhance the strength of the martial artist, and when all of them are united, how powerful and exaggerated the power will be. Damn it, I'm afraid the spirit stone I brought can't afford this thing. At this moment, a famous warrior's expression started to change dramatically. Ha ha ha. It seems that everyone has good eyesight. This is indeed a complete set of armor, called the streaming armor. Every part of this armor is a real good treasure. Hey, if you wear it all on your body, the improvement will not be much worse than those secondary artifacts. Think about it, everyone, what is the value of this suit of armor? I shouldn't need to say more. The old man in charge of the auction spoke again, his tone full of seductive power. Streamer armor, sold as a set, the lowest auction price is 50,000 high-grade spirit stones. This price is really scary. I'll take it. With so many high-grade spirit stones, I am fully qualified to collect materials and build a powerful magic weapon. This price is really unkind. Even if it is a complete combo armor, but the price is still a bit overwhelming. Such a high auction price immediately caused a lot of dissatisfaction among warriors. Obviously, this price is completely beyond their ability to pay. Ha ha ha, everyone thinks this price is expensive, but it's normal. However, after I explain to you a feature of this set of streaming armor, you can decide whether to buy or not, it's not too late. Seeing the unhappy faces of everyone, there was a flat smile on the face of the old man at the auction house. At this moment, following this person's voice fell. Suddenly, many warriors pricked their ears, with serious expressions on their faces, waiting for the other side to explain. The streamer armor is attached with many ancient runes. One of the runes can release a streamer attack skill. Once the vital energy in the body is activated, it can explode with terrifying lethality. After our many tests, we can assure that the attack power of this streamer skill is completely comparable to the full strength attack of a sixth layer of the god realm. What? Oh my god! The price is not expensive anymore. When the old man explained the special skills of this set of streamer armor. Suddenly, almost all the warriors changed their expressions instantly, and there was a glimmer of expectation in their eyes. What a powerful force that a six-tier master of the god through the god realm uses with all its strength. It is conceivable that wearing this suit of armor in this way can definitely obtain unexpected benefits in battle. Moreover, in this entire Miyuan realm, the god throughout realm belongs to the master of the master. As for the sixth level of the god through the god realm, it is so powerful that no one dare to look down upon it. The full blow of the six-tiered master of Tongshen realm is definitely the power that makes countless martial artists jealous. Although, this trick streamer skill can only be activated three times a day. But I believe that this can already satisfy everyone, right? Now, I announce the start of the auction. The minimum price is 50,000 top-grade spirit stones, and the minimum price increase is 1,000 top-grade spirit stones. I have 53,000 high-grade spirit stones. I have 58,000 top-grade spirit stones. I have 60,000 top-grade spirit stones. Brother, do you have any spirit stones, lend me a little first, and after I get the shot, I will definitely give it back twice. Go go, I don't have enough for auction myself, you should find someone else. At this moment, a large number of warriors are about to collapse, completely excited. 
many warriors who didn't bring enough spirit stones on their own began to cheek and borrow money from friends around them. However, this set of armor is so attractive that no one can easily give up, so few people would choose to lend spirit stones to others. Hey, it's just a complete set of armor, these hillbillies actually care so much. Inside a VIP room. There was a sudden sneer of contempt. Only seen in the VIP room. A group of people are staying in there, watching the scene on the auction platform. Two of them are very eye-catching. These two people, a man and a woman, were all sitting there, but the people beside them were standing, showing defensive expressions one by one. Obviously, the identity of this man and woman is the most noble among this group of people. That man was a very handsome young man. The person who spoke and mocked just now is naturally him. This person is not enough. However, the woman next to her was very beautiful, her face was like jade, her skin was like snow, and she was so lovely. She was dressed in a light blue robe and sat on the stool very quietly. Although this woman is very beautiful, her face is very green, which seems quite inconsistent with the mature temperament revealed by her overall. Not only that, although the woman has a beautiful face, she also seems to be a little poorly developed, which makes people have to secretly regret. In this way, if Qin Feng saw this woman, he would probably slip away immediately. Because this woman, not someone else, is Lu Suanji of the God Refining Mansion. With the background of your Fiteng Shrine, of course you don't like this kind of stuff, but this set of streamer armor is indeed very rare. Looking at the handsome young man beside him, Lu Suanji's red lips opened slightly, and the beautiful voice sounded slowly. Hee hee, if you like Suanji very much, I will buy it for you right away. No need, if I want it, I have money to buy it myself. Lu Suanji replied calmly. Hearing Lu Suanji's answer, the young man's face was suddenly embarrassed. However, he barely smiled and nodded quietly. After fierce competition, this piece of streamer armor was auctioned for a high price of 90,000 high-grade spirit stones. Lingxi is not an ordinary thing. Especially the high-grade spirit stones are extremely rare. Unless it is those big sex and big forces, it is impossible for ordinary people to have such a large handwriting to obtain such a wealth of high-grade spiritual stones. Looking at the treasures that were auctioned off, Qin Feng also had to admire that this Long Chong auction house was so powerful that it could collect so many good things. This time, good things were auctioned off one by one. It really opened up Qin Feng's vision. However, although these things are good, none of them are what he needs. Finally, with the good things one by one, they were auctioned off one by one. Soon, when the fifteenth treasure was auctioned off, the old man in charge of the auction became serious again. This treasure is a bit special. It is called Wuxu and Shenqi. I think everyone should understand the meaning of this treasure, right? Following the old man's tone, he slowly fell. Qin Feng's gaze became sharp at this moment. Wu Xian Godstone? This thing is extremely rare, even if it is hundreds or even thousands of years, it is rare to see it. I did not expect it will appear in this auction now. Yes, now it's more interesting. That's right. If it was in the ancient or ancient times, this thing is very common, but in today's era, it is definitely a very rare thing. However, the value of this treasure is not as great as imagined, because in today's era, this thing is basically unnecessary. Along with the warriors present, there were waves of discussion. Soon, in front of everyone, this piece of Wuxu and sacred stone was completely presented on the high platform of the auction. This sacred stone looked very ancient and mysterious. The light surging up and down, between the ups and downs, released a rush of energy. Its crystal clear appearance is enough to attract anyone's eyes in an instant. Sure enough, it is Wuxu and God's stone. At this moment, in the VIP room, Qin Feng couldn't help his eyes and began to sparkle with a sharp light. Wuxuan Shenqi is exactly what he needs now. This Wuxuan sacred stone, although only a stone, is only a few meters wide and high.
but in fact, this is only its superficial feature. Once it is released, it will reach the size of a mountain in an instant, and its momentum is extremely magnificent. Of course, simply being able to grow bigger is of little value. The other value of this treasure is what really makes the warriors excited about it. As long as, once this sacred stone is suppressed on a spiritual vein, it can instantly cover hundreds or even thousands of miles in a radius. Moreover, it only needs to use the power of the soul to construct, and in the blink of an eye, you can build houses and buildings out of thin air. This also means that with this thing, you can build a sect territory with every thought, without wasting any human resources to build it. Moreover, once the Wuxuan Divine Stone is used, Various formations and runes can be constructed in the blink of an eye to protect his territory. It can be said that possessing this thing is equivalent to possessing a simple territory of power, and it can be used anywhere. If Qin Feng wants to form a power, even a large sect, he must choose a place to create his own territory. If he had this martial stone, then his construction of the site would definitely become very easy and easy. Moreover, Qin Feng believed even more that not many warriors would choose to bid for such things. Because only in those previous times, the demand for this treasure by the warriors would be very large. However, after the current era, the value of this Wuxuan Shenxi seemed a bit embarrassing. First, in today's era, if you want to build a big power, it must go through many years to pass it on. It's not like the previous eras, where there are so many talents and various sect forces can be established in an instant. Second, if you want to build a power, you are not simply relying on the Wuxuan Godstone, this method. With the skills of modern warriors, if you want to build a powerful building, you can still complete it quickly, and you can't waste too many resources. Third, if you want to use this treasure, you need to have a very amazing soul power, otherwise it will not be able to exert its maximum effect. Under these various conditions and requirements, the value of this Wuxuan Divine Stone is naturally not so important. Haha, <laughs> the value of the Wuxuan God Stone must be clear to everyone, but the value of this Wuxuan God Stone is even more extraordinary. Because there is a wind and thunder rune in this sacred stone. This is a natural rune. Once activated, the power of wind and thunder can be released for protection or attack which can have a great effect on the territory of influence. Good protection effect. Probably it is not very interesting to see everyone. Therefore, the old man in charge of the auction spoke again and explained with a smile. Sure enough, following his words, after speaking. Suddenly, the faces of the warriors present finally showed a look of surprise. Ahem. The lowest auction price for this item is 500 high-grade spirit stones. The lowest price increase for each time is 100 high-grade spirit stones. This price is not too high or too low. Anyway, it is quite satisfactory. After all, this thing is of no use to most warriors. Especially the warriors present, there is no demand. Therefore, the value of this Wuxuan sacred stone seems to become even less important. At this moment, although the old man's face kept a smile, deep in his heart, he also felt helpless. He was almost convinced that this piece of Wuxuan God Stone seemed to be no one plan to auction. 600 high-grade spirit stones. Suddenly, someone finally opened his mouth and called out an uninteresting voice. 700 high-grade spirit stones. It seems that because some people took the lead in asking prices, other people started to follow suit and started increasing prices one by one. Although this thing is useless, it's better than nothing, and it doesn't hurt to take a picture and play. A thousand high-grade spirit stones. Finally, when someone spoke and increased the price to a thousand high-grade spirit stones, the many warriors present shook their heads and chose to give up. Obviously, this price is enough to make everyone lose interest. The Wuxuan God Stone is indeed good, but it is not very practical, because there are not many people at all, and they want to develop and establish a sect. Things that don't use much practicality, even if they are rare, it is difficult to sell at a high price. 10,000 High-Grade Spirit Stones 
it is Qin Feng. He raised the price again. And it still doubled. What a kid! At this moment, all the warriors present began to look at the VIP room where Qin Feng was in shock. There was a hint of incredible color in their twinkling eyes. Relying on everyone's speculation, many warriors can already assert that this time the auction will probably become extremely fierce. Moreover, directly raising the price to 10,000 high-grade spirit stones, this is indeed a bit crazy. I don't intend to give young master Fei Yang face at all. Of course, the reason why Qin Feng made such a generous move was because the spirit stones he possessed were really expensive. Especially after killing the sect master, Tian Yunzun, and others that day, these guys all carried a lot of spirit stones, even the best spirit stones. Moreover, even if the spirit stones are not enough, there are still so many panacea, which can completely squander it. Today, the good things Qin Feng possesses may not be comparable to the treasure house of some small sects. Therefore, there is absolutely no difficulty in competing with this so-called flying young master. What a powerful guy, he has the confidence to work against young master Fei Yang, and he still does not give face to him. Many martial artists are secretly surprised. This Wuxuan godstone does not seem to be worth it, so spend so much money to buy it. Hateful. In that other VIP room, Master Fei Yang's face was very ugly at the moment, full of anger. He never thought that this person would dare not give his own face. Moreover, he directly raised the price to 10,000 high-grade spirit stones, such a high price, even he had to think about it. 15,000 high-grade spirit stones. At the moment, young Master Fei Yang, almost gritted his teeth and increased the price. Because if he doesn't increase the price, others will think he is too embarrassed. 20,000 high-grade spirit stones. It was still that dull, water-like sound. It's just that this plain voice is enough to make young Master Fei Yang burst into madness. Ha ha ha! 20,000 high-grade spirit stones, who else wants to continue to increase the price? The old man in charge of the auction, the smile on his face is almost like a flower. Originally not optimistic about the Wuxuan God Stone, I did not expect that such a high price competition would suddenly erupt. This is quite unexpected. High grade spirit stones are very rare. Unless it is some big power with a deep foundation, otherwise, if so many high grade spirit stones are taken out at once, I am afraid that the entire power will be unable to turn around. It is even said that some warriors without a background of influence, even if they have spent their entire life, can hardly get a hundred high-grade spirit stones. Damn it! Originally, young master Fei Yang planned to show off in front of Lu Suanji. Unexpectedly, he was beaten mercilessly by the other party. At this moment, young master Fei Yang, he really wants to hit someone in his heart. Although he has an extraordinary status, he is an important disciple of Fitang Divine Palace, but this does not mean that he can use the resources of the sect without limits. Moreover, spending so many high-grade spirit stones to buy a small Wuxuan sacred stone with low value would definitely be made fun of. However, if he gives up the price increase now, he will be even more embarrassed. I am afraid he will become a bigger laughing stock. My friend, I am the Fei Yang young master of Fi Tang Shrine. Please give me a thin noodle and give me this thing. Looking at the VIP room not far away, young master Fei Yang quietly performed the technique of sound transmission. Looking at the VIP room next to him, Qin Feng's eyes narrowed slightly. This thing. I am bound to get it. Good very good. This time, Young Master Fei Yang's expression was angered to the extreme. Strands of sword aura began to spread on him, as if to be released from the VIP room. Count you cruel. No matter who you are, but today you have completely angered me. Finally, at this moment, Young Master Fei Yang's icy voice began to pass. With the appearance of this sentence, the expressions on the faces of many warriors present have begun to change instantly. Because of this sentence, it has not used the technique of sound transmission to say it, but directly from the VIP room. 
such a tone was full of sneers. Moreover, it was still present in front of so many warriors shouting. Based on this alone, it can be fully proved that the current young master Fi Yi Yang is indeed very angry. Now, it's even more interesting. There are still people who dare to treasures from this young man. Humph, I don't have the money to bid for the treasure, so I just threatened it with cruel words. I think Fi Tang Shrine is really too rampant. Hehe, <laughs> I'm afraid you don't know yet, young master Fi Yi Yang is notoriously hard to provoke. No matter what, that guy dared to fight against this young man, I'm afraid he will suffer. Not bad. In that VIP room. Lu Suanji's pretty face gradually revealed a trace of contempt. She is actually very disgusted with this young man. As the Princess Suanji of the God Refining Mansion, she would only admire the real strong, and she would not have the slightest affection for this kind of brother who bullies people by power. As for Qin Feng, he listened to the people's comments, but he didn't care at all. The two lives experienced by myself, along the way, encountered all kinds of troubles, is it still less? You know, what a terrifying figure the master of Huayuan realm is. However, even in the face of the power of this state, he had never been afraid. So many masters join hands to hunt him down, how has he ever been afraid? In the end, it was not that the opponent was forced to give up temporarily and pursue his siege. With so many sects teaming up, he didn't care about it. How could he be shocked by a mere young master flying? In Qin Feng's eyes, this was just a trivial episode. Next, the auction will continue. This time, the successful bidding of this Wuxuan god stone was an unexpected surprise for Qin Feng. As for the treasures such as the so-called secondary artifacts, he was not too interested. Because there are so many treasures he has now, such as the ghost sickle or the scarlet sky sword. Therefore, no matter how extraordinary the power of the secondary artifact appears, it is impossible for him to pay too much attention. However, what Qin Feng did not expect was that when this secondary artifact was taken out, it still surprised him a bit. Amber Claws? Nightmare Bracelet? It is said that this Amber Claw was made of very precious meteorites, and it took a variety of precious treasures to match it, and finally it took 30 years to refine it before it was successfully created. Not only that. Later, in the process of building, the soul of a fierce tiger and beast was integrated, which increased its power. Moreover, if it weren't for the soul of this fierce tiger and beast that suffered huge damage during the fusion, the value of this amber claw would be even more terrifying. At least it is also the top fetish. Of course, the current amber claws are not worth mentioning. They are only at the end of the ranking and are not comparable to the few that Qin Feng has in his hands. The treasure behind is what really surprised Qin Feng. Nightmare Bracelet Very enchanting thing. Especially with regard to the magic weapon of jewelry, it is scarce and extremely rare. Therefore, in this case, this type of treasure will be much more expensive than ordinary treasures, and it is almost priceless. And the nightmare bracelet in front of me is even more extraordinary among this kind of treasure. Attention everyone, this nightmare bracelet, I think most warriors, definitely understand its effects and functions. However, I am still here to give a serious introduction to the unsuspecting warriors. In the nightmare bracelet, a very powerful beast soul is attached, which can release a special energy attack. This attack is called the power of the nightmare, and it has curse, corrosion, and other negative evil energy. The most important thing is that once it is successfully refined, this energy attack can be performed once a day. If it can be used in battle, it must be a super terrifying killer move. I didn't expect it to be this thing. At the moment of the curse of the devil, an incredible expression appeared on his face. The nightmare bracelet is also very attractive to this cursed demon king. However, he also understood very well that if Qin Feng wanted to win, he would have to pay a high price. Based on his knowledge of Qin Feng, Qin Feng shouldn't care too much about this nightmare bracelet. So, for this nightmare bracelet, 
Qin Feng probably won't spend too much spiritual stone to bid for it. Don't worry, when the time is right, I will give you my ghost sickle. Qin Feng said calmly. What? You didn't lie to me? Really? Hearing Qin Feng's words, the curse of the devil at the moment, it was a surprise in his heart. You know, he has long been greedy for that ghost sickle. Ghost sickle is also a very enchanting treasure. Moreover, for a person like him, the improvement effect on him is far greater than that of a nightmare bracelet. After all, no matter how powerful the nightmare bracelet is, it is only a bracelet after all. In terms of real attack power and effect, it must be far inferior to that ghost sickle. At this moment, it was also when Qin Feng and two of them were talking to each other secretly. On the high platform of the auction house, it has begun, a very fierce bidding increase. These two divine objects are all rumored, very remarkable. Has a high value. Perhaps, for Qin Feng, these two treasures are nothing good at all. However, for most warriors, this is a supreme treasure. Especially the nightmare bracelet, it contains a very powerful nightmare energy attack, which is undoubtedly an extra trick. Suddenly, the price increase in this auction has reached a feverish stage. 988,000 high-grade spirit stones. Finally, the Amber Claw was finally auctioned away by a great power who spent 980,000 high-grade spirit stones. After getting this treasure, the Da Nang hurriedly left the auction. Although no one will fight in such a place, once they leave, that may not be the case. Therefore, it is the best choice to leave as soon as possible now. The Nightmare Bracelet is more precious. The effect and value in it have completely crushed the Amber Claw, so its price will naturally become more terrifying. Therefore, in just a moment of effort, the bid price has exceeded 980,000 high-grade spirit stones, which is a long way from the Amber Claws. Brother, don't grab this thing from me, okay? It's a big deal when you meet a better one later, I'll let it go to you. Who do you think you are? Why should I let you? Even better? Do you think I am a fool? I must shoot this thing. No one can fight with me. Damn it, you dare me to fight for it, it's just looking for death. A burst of fierce scolding voices began to rise one after another, constantly ringing. Suddenly, in an instant, a domineering atmosphere filled the void. In that entire void, a terrifying force immediately enveloped the entire auction. It seems that at this moment, the entire auction has lost its light in an instant. There was only a burst of cold and stern wind, an endless darkness, permeating the whole surroundings. Yin Qi, diffuse. It's like being in purgatory. At this moment, all the warriors noticed it one after another, and they couldn't help but sweat coldly all over their bodies. This bracelet. Someone wants it, one and a half million high-grade spirit stones. An icy voice sounded, revealing the chill of an ice cellar. With the sound of this sound, a figure quietly fell to the forefront without knowing when. The other party stood there arrogantly, as if he was a peerless emperor, so that other people would not even dare to take a breath from the atmosphere, the aura was very powerful. Is it Ghost M.O. Daxian? This guy is actually the Ghost M.O. Daxian who is in the top 10 of the legendary master list. Someone finally came back to their senses, a trace of fear penetrated their eyes, and they exclaimed in disbelief. In that VIP room, even Qin Feng's expression couldn't help but secretly change. The power of this realm is not inferior to that of King Tai Gui Xian. What's more shocking is that this guy's age doesn't seem to be particularly old. Genius, this properly is a genius of evildoers. Even Qin Feng had somehow sensed a pressure. At this moment, Qin Feng secretly estimated that even if he used all the means, he would be unable to deal with this guy. It is good. One and a half million high-grade spirit stones once. One and a half million high-grade spirit stones twice. One and a half million high-grade spirit stones three times. Deal. Because of Gui Mo Daxian's shot, at this moment, 
other warriors didn't dare to raise prices anymore. Obviously, they were very jealous of the strength of great immortal ghost Emo, and didn't want to offend this person at all. However, it is precisely because of this that the price of nightmare bracelets could be auctioned again, and I am afraid that the loss is not light. Grandmaster Ranking For this list, Qin Feng knew for the first time, it must be the master list divided by Mayuan domain. At the moment, he is a little curious. And that ghost M.O. Daxian, after successfully photographing the nightmare bracelet, also directly chose to leave. As his figure disappeared, the atmosphere of the entire auction returned to normal again. After two consecutive powerful finale treasures were all successfully auctioned, most warriors chose to appear. It's nothing to watch. Qin Feng paid with the spirit stone and planned to leave directly. However, his desire to leave does not mean that someone will do what he wants. When Qin Feng had just walked out of the door of the auction, a group of people stopped him. Only seen there. A handsome young man stood in front with his eyes closed and a contemptuous smile on his face. Looking at his posture, it was obvious that he was in this place, waiting for Qin Feng for a while. This is interesting now, this young master Fi Yi Yang, that's the ninth ranked genius on the top ten list. Not only is his strength powerful, he is also backed by Fi Tang Shrine. This time, that kid actually dared to oppose him, I am afraid he will be severely taught a lesson. In an instant, the movements of Qin Feng and young master Fi Yi Yang attracted the attention of other warriors. The genius list is a list of young generation geniuses. The top ten people are all very enchanting and peerless geniuses. They are far beyond their peers, and they are simply beyond the reach of ordinary people. That's right. Although young master Fi Yi Yang is only ranked ninth, it is definitely not something ordinary people can challenge. This time, that kid might really suffer a lot. At this moment, Qin Feng's eyebrows were gently frowned. Looking at young master Fi Yi Yang standing in the front, it was obvious that this guy was planning to make trouble for himself, and would not give up easily. Talent list Is this another power ranking list? That ghost M.O. Daxian is the super strong on the Grand Masters list, and this young master Fi Yi Yang is the elite of the genius list. Qin Feng was really curious about how this list was divided into strengths. If it were me, I would apologize to young master Fi Yi Yang immediately. I believe I can suffer less. You think too much. This time, that kid actually dared to be in the public, and didn't give young master Fi Yi Yang a face at all. How could he let this matter so easily? There is a to apologize. Hey! Just when everyone was talking about it. Qin Feng's figure did not pause at all, and continued to walk forward fearlessly. Sure enough, it was the moment Qin Feng left. A contemptuous voice, with a trace of indifference, sounded slowly. Boy, you really ate the guts of the bear heart and the leopard. Even the treasure I want, you dare to fight for it. Now. Many warriors began to gather around, watching what would happen to the two. One is the fifth level of the god passing realm, and the other is the genius who ranks above the genius list, and the cultivation base has reached the seventh level of the god passing realm. No matter how you look at it, that kid has no chance of winning. Yes, although young master Fi Yi Yang is not very kind, but the strength of the other party is indeed beyond doubt. Once, I have seen it with my own eyes. He killed a genius master of the same realm with one sword. That's the power to kill the same realm. How can a mere five layer of the gods be his opponent? Moreover, he also brought out the terrifying water and rain sword intent. The power of that sword is simply unimaginable. There is absolutely no way this kid can resist. At this moment, everyone's discussion began one after another. Listening to the discussion of the warriors, the expression of young master Fi Yang at this moment obviously became more contented. Looking into Qin Feng's gaze, there was even more contempt and disdain. Wow! Qin Feng stood there. His eyes were calm, his long hair fluttered gently, but his thin figure was as straight as a sword, with sharp edges. 
Why do you want something that I can't fight for? Qin Feng's tone was plain, as if explaining a very common little thing. You presumptuous. Originally, he was embarrassed because he didn't win Qin Feng, but now when he heard Qin Feng's words against him, young master Fi Yi Yang became even more angry. Wow! A sword intent suddenly broke out from him, with a magnificent momentum. In an instant, the entire sky was affected by sword intent. At this moment, in the shocking eyes of countless warriors, I saw a sword chi, and in an instant, it gathered into a continuous sword rain and galloped towards Qin Feng. Tisk tisk, you deserve to be the ninth genius on the list of geniuses. The power of this sword of water and rain is truly endless, like raindrops. It doesn't look fierce, but the power it carries is extremely terrifying. Furthermore, there is also a heavy link to the other. Any opponent who dares to despise will definitely suffer a painful price. When a kendo fighter saw this scene, he couldn't help but exclaimed. This guy's sword intent is indeed a bit difficult. At this moment, almost none of the warriors present were optimistic that Qin Feng could take this move. Hey! However, an aura of terror suddenly burst out of Qin Feng's body. This momentum, invincible, instantly diffused to the extreme. Vaguely, one could even notice that behind Qin Feng, a very large phantom began to slowly condense. That was a general phantom who was holding a big sword, with great momentum on his body, swinging the sword in his hand, and smashing it suddenly. Crack! For an instant, in the surrounding void, it seemed that a thunder could be heard. Boom! Next second! In these countless warriors, in that incredible gaze, the sword energy that young master Fi Yi Yang displayed was suddenly shattered by that Qin Feng's sword. At the same time, there was a terrible amount of lightning, carrying a powerful lethality, and rushed to the opponent fiercely. Puff! The latter was shocked, and in a flash, he was lifted out and fell to the ground fiercely, his eyes full of incredible color. The blood mist is sprayed continuously in the mouth, and it looks terrible. Just this gentle move, the terrifying power, caused young master Fi Yang to be hit directly and lost his fighting ability. And all this happened without even a second. However, this result was beyond everyone's expectations. Boy, you dare! Seeing that young master Fi Yang was seriously injured, he was already in danger. The masters who were waiting next to him were all furious, and at the same time they yelled. These guys are all masters of Fi Tang Shrine, who are responsible for protecting the safety of Master Fi Yi Yang. It's just that they didn't expect that Qin Feng's action would be so fast, so exaggerated. Suddenly, amidst the angry rants of the crowd, they began to deal with Qin Feng mercilessly. In a flash, a group of five people surrounded Qin Feng's entire group, and terrible power filled the surroundings. Ridiculous. Facing the siege of these five people, Qin Feng just snorted coldly in his mouth, expressing disdain. He didn't want to make too much noise. However, this place is called the Domain of Mayuan. This is a very chaotic area, everything pays attention to benefits, as long as one can get the benefits, and even make moves at every turn. One can imagine how aggressive the warriors in this place will be. Therefore, in this case, he can't keep a low profile at all. Peng. Qin Feng did not intend to escape at all, but the aura on his body became more and more terrifying. The phantom condensed behind him is extremely powerful and invincible. Boom. This moment. All the warriors present couldn't help but shuddered in their bodies. I only felt that an aura like a demon actually began to diffuse from the kid's body. Real dragon galloping. Ancient wood hovering. Boom! A vast force appeared. People can only feel the front, as if there is a real dragon, carrying boundless power, fighting together. After that, everyone noticed that those five powerful masters were shocked by Qin Feng's power at the same time. Boom! Qin Feng stepped on the ground suddenly, like a mountain descending, shaking the ground. In an instant, his aura once again improved. Roar! 
A dragon roar soared into the sky, at this moment, it seemed to resound throughout the sky. Ever since he came to this place, Qin Feng's heart has been suffocating. Being besieged by so many sect masters, being constantly provoked by others. This time, the anger in his heart began to vent. Boom! The power of lightning, the power of wind attributes, the power of true dragons, all kinds of powers began to gather crazily, with great momentum. Qin Feng directly raised his fist, condensing his fists. Boom boom! There were rumblings, and only the five masters suddenly froze. Each one was like a heavy hammer, the whole body made a sound of breaking bones, and blood was sprayed from the mouth continuously, and it fell to the ground fiercely. Call. Vigorous. It's like a killer. That weak figure, at this moment, seemed so incomparable. Between the twinkling of his eyes, Qin Feng's whole person, proudly facing the sky. An invisible coercion actually suppressed all the warriors present to such an extent that it became extremely difficult to breathe. Evildoer. Unbelievable. Terror. All kinds of exaggerated adjectives began to pop up in everyone's hearts. It seemed that a young man who was less than 18 years old had such terrifying power that so many masters could not resist. How shocking is this strength? For the time being, let's not talk about the ninth-ranked young master Fi Yi Yang, and the other five masters, who are genuine elder-level big figures. Unexpectedly, when the five of them joined forces, they were beaten half-crippled by Qin Feng's direct attack. How terrifying is such a method? However, the warriors present were still in shock. Suddenly, Qin Feng's expression changed drastically. Because, with a hurried glance, he saw the woman he didn't want to meet again in his life. Moreover, according to rumors, there is still an unclear dispute between him and that Lu Suanji. Especially looking at the appearance of these two people, I am afraid there is indeed some secret between them. Humph! Feel the strange eyes of the warriors all around. Lu Suanji was furious, her face was particularly green, and her body was constantly shaking slightly. Although these warriors all around did not speak, but from that strange look. Obviously, you can guess what this group of guys are thinking. Damn it, Qin Feng, right? You show me, there is no end to our affairs. Young Master Fi Yi Yang, who was defeated by one move, clenched his fists tightly with anger, and stared at Qin Feng with resentment, disappearing back. After that, he was very unwilling to leave the auction house in a hurry under everyone's attention. Call. Qin Feng galloped past all the way. After noticing that Lu Suanji did not catch up, she suddenly exhaled a sigh of foul air. This little Nizai's strength seems to have improved a lot. Thinking of this Lu Suanji, Qin Feng suddenly felt helpless in his heart. You brat, run around, I can be regarded as finding you. Suddenly, at this moment, the void was turbulent, and several figures came out of it. Boom! Between talking. Qin Feng had not had time to react too much. In an instant, a powerful force appeared in the entire void, rushing out of the void and covering himself. Pumpy! The entire void, the sky and the earth were cracked, and in a space of 100,000 meters, everything was like a cracked ground, and dense cracks began to appear, which looked a little scary. And Qin Feng's whole person was in the center of that void explosion. Once it is completely exploded, I am afraid that his entire body will be madly attacked by the power of the void, and even fall. Wow! Although Qin Feng was still a little stunned at the beginning, after repeated life and death trials, Qin Feng had already possessed extraordinary ability to react. In the blink of an eye, he regained his sanity, and then shook his fists. Boom! Suddenly, the domineering fist intent burst out like a mountain. Roar! Long Yin kept. A phantom image of a real dragon hovering around the ancient wood appeared out of thin air, and rushed out fiercely toward the front. That momentum directly suppressed the entire void. This move is the ultimate move produced by the combination of Qin Feng's thunder power and wood attribute power. 
After the two are combined, the power that bursts out naturally exceeds the imagination of ordinary people. Boom! In an instant, the original posture of void collapse was overbearingly stopped by Qin Feng's trick. Not only that. The commerce shot was very strong, even Qin Feng had to do his best. Obviously, the cultivation base of this person who shot is probably not much worse than that of the great turtle profound king. Ho ho ho! The power of the true dragon in his body began to condense crazily, and Qin Feng displayed all his powers mercilessly at this moment. No, the slightest wasted was completely instilled into these fists. This time the attack was equivalent to twenty Qin Feng attacking at the same time. The additional power in it is simply frightening, not to mention the increase in the domineering fist. To be unceremonious, this punch was enough to shock the heavens and the sky, crushing the world. Boom! With a loud blast, it burst out suddenly. In an instant, within a radius of tens of thousands of meters, waves of terrible whirlpool storms were condensed in an instant, and they swept out in all directions very domineeringly. O.M. A sword force began to spread from Qin Feng. He did not intend to give up because of this, trying to take advantage of the advantage to continue to attack. Although, at this moment, he does not have a golden sword, but this does not mean that his sword power will be much worse. At this moment, inside Qin Feng's body, I only saw the seven scarlet sky swords in the soul consciousness sea, but they were jumping wildly, rushing out of his body arrogantly, and suddenly released. A sword intent was immediately attached to it, unparalleled overbearing. Cough cough cough. Smelly boy, stop it. A violent cough sounded at this moment, but Qin Feng was slightly taken aback, because he was familiar with this sound. As a result, Qin Feng subconsciously stopped the attack, and looked towards the direction of the sound, scanning the past. At this moment, with the surrounding emptiness, the constant collapse and the spread of various energies, until it lasted for a long time, it slowly recovered calm. Soon a group of figures began to appear clearly in Qin Feng's field of vision. Brother Long Yun. Sister Meng Xian. After seeing the person who came, Qin Feng's face showed a hint of surprise in an instant. The two people in front of them were Long Yun and Meng Xian from the Alchemy League. It's not just them, beside them, there are big alchemists like Lu Bai and Lu Blood Demon. All of them are members of the Alchemy League. It's just that, at this moment, Long Yun has been coughing non-stop, and a trace of red appears on his face. Obviously, that shot just now took a lot of his effort. As for the LU Blood Demon and others beside that. Now, they all stared at Qin Feng closely with an incredible gaze, as if they wanted to see Qin Feng thoroughly. That kind of feeling is like they seem to be thinking, is this the Qin Feng they are familiar with? Cough cough cough. Finally, Long Yun's coughing slowly returned to normal, and his face became normal. However, the expression on his face became very depressed, and he hummed and said. You stinky boy, I didn't expect that as soon as you showed up, your boy would start to be so cruel. It hurts me. Master Long Yun looked at Qin Feng with a pair of eyes, with a faint expression on his face. However, Meng Xian next to him couldn't help but roll his eyes. Who just said he wanted to try Qin Feng's strength? Qin Feng could also see that the relationship between the two of them seemed pretty good. Moreover, Long Yun's appearance has gradually returned to his middle-aged appearance, and it seems that the recovery effect is quite good. However, what surprised Qin Feng was that Long Yun's strength was so powerful. From Long Yun's attack, it can be completely seen that Long Yun's true strength is definitely not much worse than those of the Hua Yuan realm's big bosses, or even more powerful. It's just that the previous self didn't notice this. It seems that during this period of time, the rumors about you outside are really true. Good boy, the strength is amazing. No wonder you can challenge so many sect forces. Looking at Qin Feng, Long Yun at this time couldn't help showing a hint of approval and surprise on his face, and said loudly. As for that Meng Xian, his eyes moved slightly, 
and then he stretched out his hand and tapped Qin Feng's head lightly. You bastard, in the face of so many masters chasing and killing you, you don't ask us for help, do you still use me as your sister? Or are you worried that our pill alliance will be afraid of those guys? A trace of annoyance appeared on Meng Xian's face at this moment, and he was obviously really angry. Yes, you know that we are really worried about your safety during this period of time. Long Yun was also beside, and continued. Uh, uh, I don't want to cause unnecessary trouble to you either. Qin Feng said with a bitter smile helplessly. He could realize that the two of them really cared about themselves from the bottom of their hearts, and they were definitely not deliberately artificial. The feeling of being cared about is really good. Even Qin Feng couldn't help it in his heart, and there was a warm current, which was very moved. Return to the Alchemy League again. At this moment, in a hall where the tower was refining that day, it was already full of people. Brother Qin. After seeing Qin Feng's appearance, Xian Yu's little face showed a very happy expression, and he rushed towards Qin Feng. Ha ha ha, you brat, we meet again. A smile appeared on Qin Feng's face, and he smiled. Brat? I don't know why, after hearing this title, the other people were suddenly surprised, and their faces became a little weird. Why do they always think this sentence is weird? It seems that no one has yet to call Xian Yu like that, right? At this moment, in this hall, there are more than just Meng Xian and Long Yun. There are other high-level alchemy alliances. Especially the two of them made Qin Feng quite concerned. These two are the old and the young. The old man's face is very haggard, like a piece of dead wood, he will lose his vitality at any time. And that young person, who is almost in his twenties, looks very young. However, the looking young man at the back always showed a deep light of wisdom in his eyes. It is a kind of gaze that can only be formed after experiencing the changes of the years. Obviously, even if this person is only in his twenties, his true age is definitely more than that. Maybe it was not much worse than that of Long Yun and others. After all, it is not as difficult for an alchemist to refine an elixir that restores his youthful appearance. And this guy had a cold expression, as if everyone present had provoked him. These two are the other two nine-star alchemy masters in the Alchemy Alliance. Among them, the person who looks very old is named Su Kun, he he, he is also the oldest of us. Both alchemy techniques and cultivation bases are much stronger than us. And this one who seems to be in his twenties is called Ye Ching. Although he is the youngest among us, he is very strong and very low-key. Following the introduction of Long Yun, Qin Feng could not help but nodded secretly. However, when looking at Ye Ching, Qin Feng's eyes still showed a hint of surprise. In fact, when he saw that Ye Qing for the first time, Qin Feng was always puzzled. His eyes flickered with emotion and memories. In fact, Qin Feng knew this person. In other words, in the last life, he and Ye Qing had already known each other. Because this person is the brother of his previous life. In the last life, Ye Qing took great care of him and his alchemy skills were very powerful, and his cultivation level was also extraordinary. Unfortunately, in this life, he doesn't know himself. This kind of mood really made Qin Feng feel emotional in his heart. At this moment, Qin Feng, even if he knew the identity of the other party, could not take the initiative to say hello. It's impossible to go over and tell each other directly, they were brothers in the previous life, right? Besides, this kind of statement, I am afraid no one will believe it. The person you are talking about is him, right? Looking at this Qin Feng, Ye Qing's face showed a slight chill, and said calmly. The tone is very cold, which makes people feel very uncomfortable. However, Qin Feng didn't have the slightest disgust, but he felt very familiar and excited. This voice is so familiar, I haven't heard it for a long time. Ye Qing seems to be very cold and repellent, but he is actually very old-fashioned in his heart. In the last life, I treated myself almost like a brother. Yes, it's this little guy, even though he is young, 
he actually possesses the soul power of the Nine Star Realm. Long Yun introduced with a smile, with a hint of wonder on his face at the same time. Well, it is indeed the soul power of the Nine Star Realm. Beside there, Su Kun with a withered face slowly said in a deep voice. If this is the case, let him be one of our whole cards. This time, the people of Kinglan Domain will come here, I am afraid it is unkind. Hearing Su Kun's confirmation, Ye Ching's expression on his face changed slightly at this moment, and things seemed to be very difficult. What, people from Kinglan Domain will come here too? Heard the news. The expressions of Meng Xian and Long Yun also changed drastically in an instant. Obviously, this news really exceeded their expectations. It can be seen that the two of them are still hearing this news for the first time. Kinglan Domain is a more powerful place than our Mayuan Domain. And they have always thought about our territory. It's just, why did they choose to come over at this time? A serious look appeared on Menswan's face. Yes, it was really sudden. Kinglan territory has always concealed evil intentions for us, and it has never changed. This time they come here, I'm afraid they are planning to start a contest against our Miyuan domain. Ye Ching said in a very cold tone, but there was a touch of cold chill in his expression. The alchemy level of Kinglan territory is always higher than ours. This time we want to beat them, I'm afraid it is not an easy task. Su Kun's expression also gradually became serious. Along with the discussions of several of them, Qin Feng at this moment also understood a little bit. He he, this time, with Qin Feng's move, we will have a lot more chances of winning. It's just that he has only recently broken through to the nine star level. I am afraid that he is slightly lacking in ignition. I suggest that you give him a good mention during this time. Ye Qing glanced at Qin Feng and continued with a weird expression, however, before that, he still needs to see someone. What do you mean? Everyone present seemed to have guessed something, and the expression on their faces instantly became a little surprised. Yes, it is Lord Luoshui. Ye Ching's expression suddenly became very serious again. It can be seen from his eyes that he respects this person very much. And those who can be called by a few of them as adults. Qin Feng would naturally be able to guess, that might be the most powerful one in the entire Alchemy Alliance the Alchemy Master. Master Luoshui, finally exited. Meng Xian's expression couldn't help but become very excited. Qin Feng was naturally quite curious about this Luoshui. It's just that Long Yun from the Pill Refining League didn't seem to plan to take him to see Luoshui now. I heard that you will be the Hand of the Five Emperors. It seems that you are not easy. When leading Qin Feng to the accommodation, Ye Ching suddenly spoke, with a surprised expression on his face, watching Qin Feng whisper. Qin Feng's face couldn't help but a wry smile appeared helplessly. Well, I also learned this alchemy technique because of good luck. He feels helpless too. Because, he knew very well that Ye Ching in front of him would also know how to refine the pill. Fortunately, Although this trick is rare, it is not only his master's will, but there are still many people outside. Otherwise, this matter would be very difficult to explain. And thanks to it, Ye Ching doesn't like to ask questions, but after a slight nod, he doesn't say much. One day later, Qin Feng had arrived, in front of a very old mountain. He didn't expect that there would still be a big mountain in the tower refining that day. This place is the place where Master Luoshui retreats and practices. As long as you hear his call, you can go in. After Ye Ching and his party brought Qin Feng to this place, they directly chose to leave. Facing the actions of these guys, Qin Feng could only helplessly shake his head and smile. However, before long, his eyes were attracted by the tall mountain in front of him. This big mountain looks very ordinary. However, as long as the soul power is operated, one can realize that there seems to be a very strange aura fluctuation on it. This kind of breath fluctuates, very faint and secretive, and seems to converge perfectly with the entire sky. What? Constantly looking at it, 
the expression on Qin Feng's face suddenly became extremely serious. This breath seems to belong to the soul of a creature. Could it be said that this mountain is a living thing? After all, only the real life has a soul. Although a mountain like Dashan has a chance to condense the soul, that unnecessarily great opportunity against the sky will rarely appear once in almost a million years. From the ancient times to the present, the mountains that can condense the soul can be counted clearly by almost a slap. From this one can imagine how hard it would be for this kind of mountain to condense the soul. However, this mountain range in front of you is carrying a trace of soul fluctuations? No, that's not right. In fact, it's not a complete soul, it's just a wave of fluctuations. Qin Feng suddenly said something like this. Yes. I didn't expect you to find out so clearly, it's not easy. Just after Qin Feng's voice was finished. Suddenly, a very old voice slowly spread. This voice was very slow, as if it had rolled up the vicissitudes of the years, and people couldn't help feeling relaxed. Hey! Next moment. Qin Feng only felt under his eyelids, and he suddenly shook, following the surrounding environment, he began to change frantically. I saw a new environment suddenly appeared, and the surrounding space was filled with a very majestic and vast aura fluctuation. Wow! In front of Qin Feng, a figure suddenly came next to Qin Feng without knowing when. This person seemed to be completely concealed in the emptiness, and merged with the heaven and the earth, and between his hands and feet, there was a supreme principle of the heaven and earth, which made people feel that it was not simple. This person was an old man but he looked like he was only middle-aged, and in his pair of eyes, there was a trace of clear light, as pure as a child. It is really strange that Qin Feng can have so many temperaments in a person. A pair of eyes of the other party were constantly sweeping over Qin Feng's body, and the expression on his face also kept changing. Who is really a monster, you are really only 18 years old. At such an age, you can cultivate to this level. You really are an enchanting genius who has never existed before. The old man's voice sounded again. Obviously, the old man in front of him should be Lord Lua Shui among the population like Long Yun. Moreover, this person has another terrifying identity, that is, the only alchemy master in the entire alchemy alliance. Qin Feng, meet Master Lua Shui. Facing such a big person, Qin Feng really didn't dare to be presumptuous, and politely said hello. Hee hee, don't have to be so restrained, I am a very casual person, just call me Luo Shui. Luo Shui's gaze flickered slowly, glowing with a gleam of wisdom, as he watched Qin Feng with a smile. You should be Qin Feng, you are indeed a hero, a genius of evildoers. When I first heard them introduce you, I couldn't believe that such a young junior could actually cultivate his soul power to the level of the Nine Star Realm. This, is incredible. In Luo Shui's tone, there was still a hint of wonder. It's this old guy. I didn't expect it to be this old guy. Just as Qin Feng was about to answer, all of a sudden, the curse sky demon in Qin Feng's soul consciousness see suddenly opened his mouth and shouted. Wow! Immediately, his entire figure rushed out of Qin Feng's body quickly. Luo Shui, I didn't expect you to be still alive in the world until now. An unbelievable expression appeared on the face of the curse of the devil, looking at the old man in front of him, even his chin almost fell to the ground. What? Are you cursing the devil? Compared to the curse of the heavenly devil, Qin Feng suddenly noticed that Luo Shui's face also appeared at this moment, with an unbelievably shocking look. This kind of exaggerated expression is almost impossible for a big figure like Luo Shui. Obviously, at this moment in Luo Shui, there must be an undercurrent surging in his heart, it is difficult to rest. Hey, of course it's me. Looking back then, you and I have fought many times. It's a pity that I didn't expect you to have cultivated to this level, but I almost fell and became the way I am now. This is really incredible. The expression of curse heaven devil gradually returned to normal. However, Qin Feng could guess that there might be a lot of ties between the curse heaven demon king and Luo Shui. 
Of course, this is not what Qin Feng is really interested in. But, how old is this Luo Shui? The curse of the devil has long been famous, and coupled with being sealed for thousands of years, this means that Luo Shui is also more than a few thousand years old. Is it possible that Luo Shui, who looks quite young, is actually an old monster? This really makes Qin Feng difficult to accept for a while. The bloodline that he possesses is the thick earth bloodline, which belongs to the five element attribute power, one of the earth attribute powers. Its main feature is that the lifespan is extremely long, far exceeding normal people. It seemed that Qin Feng was puzzled inside. Shushan Demon King explained calmly. Hey, I really didn't expect that you will become such a powerful master now, controlling a big power. At this moment, in the tone of cursing the Devil King, he couldn't help but sigh with helplessness. Back in the day, he was also a prominent figure with great power, but now he has long been forgotten in the dust. So, I didn't expect you to merge with the body of the soul. It's really not easy. After carefully looking at the Cursed Sky Demon King, Luo Shui also understood the situation of the Cursed Sky Demon King. You used to have a heart to kill too much. This is also God's punishment for you. Now, you are fortunate to follow Qin Feng. Is this not an opportunity for you? Luo Shui's cultivation base was against the sky, even in Qin Feng's realm, he couldn't see through him at all. It is not difficult to imagine that Luo Shui's true cultivation base is the ninth layer of Huayuan realm at its worst, and it may even be stronger. Little guy, I asked you to come over this time you should be able to understand why. After looking at Qin Feng, Luo Shui Ping said quietly. Could it be because of Qinglin domain? Qin Feng's gaze flickered slightly, and he said in a deep voice. Yes, it is because of Qinglin domain. Qinglin domain is our Mi Yuan domain, a critical region nearby. But their overall strength is far more than us, much stronger than us. In the domain of Mi Yuan, we will hold a conference almost every three years to conduct competitions. This was originally a meeting used to inspire the warriors of the Mayuan realm to strive for progress. But this year, when Qin Glanyu tried to fight us out of trouble, we have to take it seriously. Clash of Two Regions Qin Feng's gaze couldn't help becoming extra serious. Along the way, I have encountered the cruelest battles, at most between the major sects. But this time the confrontation was related to the two big domains. It is conceivable that there will be so many forces involved. Once the war is fully launched, how cruel it will be. In fact, we have had struggles in the past, but it was just a small fight, not worth mentioning. However, this time it is not easy, because the beginning of the space is about to open. At the beginning of the space, it only appears once every 500 years. I didn't expect to encounter it again. The cursed devil next to him secretly exclaimed. However, the look on his face began to become very solemn. The primordial space is a very miraculous relic, which concerns the interests of a large domain. Obviously, this time it is the Kinglin domain, and I want to get a little benefit from it. With the strong strength of Kinglin domain, I am afraid I will never miss this thing easily. So this time in our alchemy alliance, you will be dispatched as a key figure, and you must defeat the people in Kinglin domain. Looking closely at Qin Feng, Luo Shui's expression was extremely solemn. This space only appears once every 500 years. Although, the life of a warrior is much higher than that of ordinary people. However, such a long time is also very important for the martial artist. Unexpectedly, it would appear once after such a long time. It is not difficult to guess that the benefit value of this primordial space is really incredible. Even Qin Feng has a little expectation in his heart. The space of Taishu is a relic left over from the ancient times. This ruin is not simple. If you are lucky enough to enter it, you will definitely get the most benefits. Otherwise, once the geniuses of Kinglin region are allowed to obtain real benefits, we will not be able to suppress them even more. Senior Luo Shui, what do you mean? Looking at Luo Shui in front of him, 
Qin Feng's expression moved inexplicably. I saw that Luo Shui's gaze was shining at this moment, with a faint anger. This made Qin Feng more convinced of the guessing thoughts in his heart. Kill casually, never show mercy. If anything happens, the old man will carry it down for you. So as soon as I have a chance, I will kill it. Kinglin territory, killing too many people in Armayuan territory, we can only retaliate, this time, they must pay a heavy price. In Luo Shui's state of mind, at this moment, such an angry murderous intent appeared. It is not difficult to imagine how strong his hatred of Kinglin domain is. Senior don't worry, with your words, I will definitely go all out. Hearing Luo Shui's words, the expression on Qin Feng's face gradually became soothed. Although he didn't know how high Luo Shui's cultivation base was, it was absolutely impossible to be lower than the nine layers of Hua Yuan realm. It is even very possible that he has already broken through the Hua Yuan realm and entered the realm of life knowing. Knowing the fate realm, this is a realm that is very against the sky, each has a long life span, and can be a big boss of the town. After reaching this state, every gesture will contain a kind of knowledge of the destiny. A random look can cause a huge movement. Therefore, through Luo Shui's aura just now, Qin Feng secretly estimated that the other party should have reached this state. Originally, this was just our internal confrontation, but now, we must join hands to deal with Kinglin Domain, which is the most suitable choice. I don't know why, when he heard this sentence, Qin Feng clearly noticed Luo Shui, staring at him, there seemed to be a weirdness, as if he was chuckling. As predicted. That is at the next moment. A roar suddenly cut through the sky. The fool of the pill refining league, please get out of here. Rumble. Some movement, earth shaking. Wherever the air wave went, it seemed like thunder had come, shrouded in the entire void. Suddenly, the entire space around the Tianlian pagoda was severely suppressed by an overbearing force. Just saying a word, it caused such a terrifying repressive power, and the cultivation base of the visitor was really frightening. One can imagine how earth-shaking changes would be caused if this person attacked. Boom boom. The comer, although he hasn't shown up yet. However, his aura has shocked countless people. In an instant. Almost all the masters who stayed in the sky refining tower flew upside down. In the Alchemy Alliance, most alchemists are only good at soul power, but they are not good at martial arts practice. After all, these two cultivation methods are very different. It is very difficult for ordinary people to learn one, let alone reach a high level. But if you want to be like Qin Feng, the soul martial practitioners have reached a very enchanting level, that is very rare. It can be called 10,000 years, it is difficult to appear alone. All of a sudden, the alchemists who were in the sky refining tower were all shocked. There was also a famous alchemy master who was not strong enough to resist this pressure and flew out of the sky refining tower. The blood in their mouths was like mist, and there was a look of shock in their eyes. Hey! Venerable Longian, if you do this, you might be a little bit presumptuous. Feeling this terrifying aura, like the hand of a god, suppressing everyone so uncomfortable. An angry shout suddenly sounded. At the same time, a majestic force was suddenly released, and there was a sharp momentum in it, and it swept toward the opponent fiercely. Afterwards, four alchemy masters who reached the Nine Star Realm appeared one after another above the void. With the appearance of these four people, the original terrible pressure was reluctantly resolved. Not only that, all around the Tianlian Pagoda, various streamer runes began to be released, and between the flashes, a powerful enchantment was condensed to help resist that powerful aura. Crack. Click. Power collision. Suddenly, a series of terrifying figures, carrying fierce fire, turned into a fiery long sword above the volley, suddenly piercing the shackles of the void. At this moment, a group of people appeared above the Tianlian Pagoda. The headed person is strong and full of fire as if he was born from the fire. He stood there, revealing an extremely strong aura, 
which seemed to burn the sky and wipe out the stars. Even just a breath, seems to cause the entire space to shrink suddenly. A scorching fire attribute power also instantly enveloped the entire space. Damn it, how could it be this old monster? Looking at the unstoppable figure in front of him, Long Yun and others were secretly shocked, with a helpless wry smile on their faces. Venerable Long Yan, and Lord Lua Shui are both masters of alchemy, and their status is very lofty. The alchemy skills are only slightly worse than Lord Lua Shui. On weekdays, he has been in the Divine Refining Mansion, practicing with great concentration, and has never asked about other things. Now, we need to unite our major forces, why does this old monster suddenly appear here? Master Su Kun's expression couldn't help but change. In fact, it was not that he was afraid. But this momentum is too terrifying, even with the barrier protection of the heavenly refining tower, he is also very difficult to deal with. The momentum of the other party is almost pervasive, so that they dare not be distracted at all. With their sole power of this intensity, coupled with the martial art realm of the Huayuan realm, they can't actually compete with the opponent. It is conceivable that the opponent is so powerful. Moreover, looking at the opponent's posture, it seems to be a bit unkind. Could it be because? Suddenly, Long Yun saw a certain figure at this critical moment. This figure, slender, standing next to Venerable Long Yan, her appearance is very young, but her temperament is extremely mature. Obviously, she is Lu Suanji of Shenlian Mansion. Seeing Lu Suanji appearing here, Long Yun couldn't help showing a wry smile again on his face at this moment. If he didn't guess wrong, then this time, the person Venerable Long Yan wanted to find was probably the stinky kid Qin Feng. Long Yun, what is going on? Seeing Long Yun, there seemed to be something to discover, Su Kun and Ye Qing next to them couldn't help but ask. This, this, is it? The Meng Xian next to him also understood at this moment. Suddenly, on that beautiful face, he lightly twitched, with a strange expression. Obviously, her guess, like Long Yun, must be due to Qin Feng. This matter is not big but not big, but not small. Long Yun was about to explain. However, he did not expect that a terrifying force would burst out again. The phantom shadow of that blazing long sword shrouded the entire void, suppressing it in all directions. Obviously, Venerable Longian actually refused to give up and continued to launch an offensive. Boom! This attack was really too enchanting, and the overbearing power was released tremendously. Where it was shrouded, the emptiness of the four directions shattered one after another, and a creaking sound burst out, as if the end of the world was coming. Long Yun and others gritted their teeth one after another, the pressure doubled, and they persisted very hard. Venerable Long Yan, bullying a few juniors is not in line with your identity. Seeing Long Yun and the others, he almost couldn't hold it, suddenly a palm of his hand came out slowly. This palm print, between the top and bottom, was covered with complicated and mysterious flowing light, like a hand that extinguished the sky, directly smashing the fiery long sword in the void to pieces. In an instant, the originally irresistible force was instantly resolved. It's Lord Lua Shui. Perceiving that the oppressive force around them was finally resolved, Long Yun and the others were finally relieved. As long as Lord Lua Shui takes action, everything will be much easier. Lua Shui, this time, you'd better give me a clear account. Otherwise, don't blame me for turning my face ruthlessly. Fierce. The voice of Venerable Long Yun echoed vigorously in the void. Let them in. Lua Shui's voice sounded calmly. At this moment, the look on Qin Feng's face was really embarrassing. Although he doesn't know who the shot is outside, he can still perceive the opponent's powerful momentum. If the guess is correct, the opponent's strength will not be much worse than Lua Shui. The most important thing is that the other party is from Shenlian Mansion. This gave Qin Feng a guess, is it possible that he is avenging Lu Suanji? Don't worry. It's okay, nothing more than a trivial matter. I'm covering you. 
Luo Shui's face showed a playful smile. Seeing the playful smile on the old monster's face, Qin Feng was shocked in his heart, and he was even more sure of his inner guess. Tianlian Tower, inside the hall. At this moment, the atmosphere seemed very quiet. Venerable Longian. His appearance is probably a middle-aged man, but his true age is definitely not much worse than Luo Shui. Both are old monsters who have lived for a long time. At this moment, he was wearing a red robe, and his huge and burly figure made him look extraordinarily energetic. It is said that Venerable Longian used to serve as the Grand Marshal, so he will have a very domineering spirit of killing. At this moment, Venerable Longyan and Luo Shui were sitting in the front seats one after another. But the momentum on his body was always released, and he wanted to shoot if he didn't agree. The masters of a group of refining palaces also showed cold expressions, and stood opposed to the elders of the Alchemy Alliance, guarding each other. Divine Refining Mansion, compared to the strength of the Pill Refining Alliance, is much weaker. Because they only had two alchemy masters who reached the nine-star realm, and the others were in the eight-star realm. However, since the Shenlian mansion can fight against the alchemy alliance, the methods in it are naturally not that simple on the surface. The opponent's alchemy level is definitely not much worse than the alchemy alliance. If it weren't for the large number of alchemy masters in the alchemy alliance, coupled with the rich network resources, it would be difficult to beat the gods. Qin Feng stood in the hall with a strange expression on his face. Because opposite him is standing Lu Suanji. At this moment, Lu Suanji's eyes sneered, and wisps of anger appeared on Qiao's face, wishing to take Qin Feng off immediately. She looked a bit like that. The woman who had been bullied by her husband came to ask her family for justice. Luo Shui, how do you solve this matter? Venerable Long Yan spit out a word coldly. As his voice fell, in an instant, a murderous aura filled the hall. Whoosh! A voice, as if thunder was passing by, although very weak, it revealed a very domineering force. In an instant, the surrounding void creaked. Long Yun and the others, all of their faces changed slightly. It was obvious that they had already been impacted by the strength of the other party. This time, this venerable Longian was obviously asking for an explanation for Lu Suanji. Because the other party relied on reason about this matter, they had no way to refute and talk. How to deal with it? It seems that the other party's words sounded a little hazy. Luo Shui sat on the seat with a strange trace of it on his face, calmly looking at venerable Longian, with a smile. What do you mean? Seeing Luo Shui's strange expression on his face, Venerable Long Yan was inexplicably angry. Hey! He suddenly stretched out his right hand and patted Qin Feng fiercely. A powerful force suddenly tore through the void and took Qin Feng directly. At this moment, Qin Feng only felt a very domineering heat flow, shrouded towards him. It seemed that there was a long sword burning with fire, trying to tear his whole person to pieces. Lu Suanji is my favorite junior but because this guy has been wronged and his reputation is damaged. You must give me an explanation for this matter. Venerable Long Yan's eyes flashed with a sharp luster. His words were very straightforward, and he didn't intend to give Luo Shui any opportunity to explain. In other words, he just wants to hear excuses. Humph! Seeing Qin Feng being suppressed, Long Yun and the others were very dissatisfied. Regardless of Qin Feng's role in the Alchemy League, it was Meng Xian and Long Yun who had long regarded Qin Feng as his younger brother. At this moment, how could they sit back and watch when they saw that venerable Longian bullied Qin Feng so much? The two snorted first, and their figures flashed, but they quickly blocked Qin Feng's body. As for Su Kun and Ye Qing, although they didn't speak, their figures flickered and stood in front of Qin Feng. Boom! In this way, the four people joined forces to barely block the terrifying power of Venerable Long Yan. However, how powerful is this Venerable Dragon Flame? That is an old monster who has practiced for many years. Although Long Yun and the others were extraordinary, they were not enough to see in front of him. The gap between the two sides is too big. 
Just with a cold snort, the aura on his body became more terrifying, and Long Yun and the others were directly shocked, their faces changed suddenly, and their bodies became stiff. The original Qin Feng was struggling to support this pressure, but he did not expect that the pressure would suddenly decrease. When he noticed that Long Yun and others were helping, deep in his heart, there was a touch of moving warmth. However, following this, the unreasonable posture of Venerable Long Yan gradually made Qin Feng's face become cold. He didn't dodge, but he flashed his figure directly. In a short time, he surpassed Long Yun and the others and appeared in front of their party. Now, with the strength of one person, Qin Feng forcibly resisted Venerable Long Yan's terrifying aura. Venerable Long Yan, if you do this, it would be too domineering. Luo Shui, whose eyes were scattered, suddenly released a sharp glow in his eyes, like thunder. At the same time, an aura of skyrocketing burst out from his body in an instant. Pang! Between breathing. In this hall, there was a very loud explosion sound. The two powerful auras collided wildly, and wherever they passed, it seemed that the void was about to collapse, and space cracks continued to appear, which was heart palpitating. It's just using momentum to fight, but the consequences are so amazing. Even Qin Feng couldn't help being shocked. This, is the terrifying power of Zhai Mingjing. This, is the cultivation base of those big power old monsters. You said how offensive Qin Feng is to your younger generation? Then do you have evidence to prove it? With his eyes fixed on Venerable Long Yan, Luo Shui at this moment had a hint of anger on his face. Humph, can't I prove what Long Yan said? I will lie to you. Luo Shui, although I admit that the strength is worse than you. However, if you want to shield this Qin Feng, then stop blaming me and your alchemy alliance, turning your face ruthless. Venerable Long Yan's face was also very ugly, full of gloomy anger, and looked at Luo Shui without showing weakness. Suddenly, following the words of Venerable Long Yan, the atmosphere in the entire hall became extremely depressed in an instant. Shenlian Mansion Alchemy League These are two very powerful forces, although the Alchemy Alliance as a whole will be stronger. But if you really break your face and fight, it will cause very serious losses to both parties, which is not worth it. After all, even if the strength of the Pill Refining Alliance is stronger than the God Refining Mansion, if you want to completely crush the God Refining Mansion, the possibility is still too small. Even if you can win, I am afraid you will have to pay a great price. Once the two sides really break out, I am afraid that the final result will only be a thousand damage to the enemy and eight hundred to oneself. Even if it was as strong as Luo Shui, after hearing the words of Venerable Long Yan, he had to seriously consider it, his expression gradually became solemn. Obviously, he also knows the pros and cons in his heart. Humph! Lu Suanji's red lips opened lightly and let out a cold snort. She looked at Qin Feng coldly, her eyes flickering, as if she couldn't wait for Qin Feng to be taken away immediately. As the most beloved little princess in Shenlian Mansion, what kind of scenery is she usually? However, in front of the little Qin Feng, she suffered a lot from time to time. It's unbearable. When she thought of this, she was so angry that her teeth creaked. However, this time, Venerable Long Yan came to the Alchemy Alliance to seek justice, but it was not her idea, she had no such idea. Therefore, even she herself does not know what Venerable Long Yan wants to do when she comes to refine the Pill Alliance. It's impossible to really fight for a junior, right? Then what are you going to do? Seeing that Venerable Long Yan is so powerful, Luo Shui at this time also asked calmly. Hee hee, this matter is very simple. As the saying goes, the person who fixes the bell must be tied to the bell. Since this matter was caused by Qin Feng, he naturally needs to solve it. A strange smile appeared on Venerable Long Yan's face, looking at Qin Feng and said. This strange smile seemed to make Luo Shui think of something, his face couldn't help but also began to become a little weird. 
Even the gaze towards Qin Feng seemed to have a bit of helpless smile. Suanji, is my favorite junior, but was ruined by this kid's nonsense. Now this kid, planning to do nothing, just wants to leave? It's too much to put our god refining mansion in his eyes. It's about Suanji's reputation, and this matter has been spread out. How can I ask Suanji to marry in the future if this kid leaves? So, I only have one request now, that is, the two of them must get married immediately. What? After hearing these words, Qin Feng and Lu Suanji's voices yelled in unison. No, I won't agree. I don't agree. After the two looked at each other for a few moments, they shook their heads and shouted at the same time. Hateful. Seeing Qin Feng's attitude, Lu Suanji was so angry that her heart felt bored. Women are always emotional and unreasonable. When Lu Suanji saw Qin Feng, she was very disgusted with the attitude of marrying her, which made her very angry. She opposed this marriage, of course it was very normal. But even a mere Qin Feng dared to react so resolutely. Dare to dislike her? This is simply an insult to her. Disdain. She is a noble little princess in the God Refining Mansion, but what kind of status is Qin Feng? Actually dislike her? This simply makes her intolerable. If she is known by outsiders, ask, what kind of face does she have? Humph, how can your kid be qualified to refuse this marriage? Looking at Qin Feng, Venerable Long Yan's face suddenly became gloomy. Senior, this marriage event should be my personal business, right? Looking at Venerable Long Yan, Qin Feng said without showing weakness. Hey, this matter, you have no reason to refuse. Now that Suanji's reputation is ruined by you, then you have to pay the punishment you deserve. At this moment, Venerable Long Yan's face was very indifferent and domineering. I originally thought that this matter would be easy to solve, but I didn't expect that this kid was so ignorant to promote, and actually dared to refuse this kind of marriage that made countless warriors desire. This, simply exceeded his expectations. I'm really sorry, for getting married, please forgive me for not being able to agree. At this moment, Qin Feng was also angry with the other party's tone. Why do you let me get married, I have to get married. Senior, getting married really depends on the intentions of both parties. If they are forced to get married, I'm afraid it will hardly have any good results. Meng Xian was beside him and said roundly. Hey, do I still need your advice when I do things? Don't you let me go away. Venerable Long Yan's anger exploded like a bomb. I saw him flicking his long sleeves. Suddenly, a terrible wave of air was released quickly. Boom! This venerable Long Yan's shot was really too fast, and with one move, Meng Xian was blown away. Old stuff, you are too much. Seeing Meng Xian being blasted out by the opponent because of him, Qin Feng was completely angry. However, upon hearing Qin Feng's words, venerable Long Yan was also even more angry. As a big figure with strength against the sky, who of the other warriors dare to disrespect him by three points? When was he scolded like this? Suddenly, Venerable Long Yan raised his long sleeves again. An unpredictable force, at this moment, unscrupulously vented. Venerable Long Yan, you are really too much. Suddenly, an equally powerful momentum burst out at this time. The person who shot is Lua Shui. Obviously, he is also very angry now. In that gaze, the terrifying coercion swept towards Venerable Long Yan in an instant. Boom! All of a sudden, the contest between the two big men began again. Boom boom! Venerable Long Yan, whose strength was obviously inferior to Luo Shui, was directly repelled for several steps. However, the expression on his face has become even more gloomy. Okay. Didn't you refuse to get married? Then I won't force you. As long as you kneel down and kowtow to me to admit your mistakes, I will understand this matter thoroughly and will never mention it again. Boom. Accompanied by Venerable Longian, this sound of anger. In an instant. 
The vast and domineering momentum, like a stormy sea, swept towards Qin Feng frantically. Venerable Long Yan, what a realm! What an identity! That's a real big shot! At this moment, in such an angry state of mind, how amazing the momentum he showed! Crack! Facing such a fierce suppression, Qin Feng's muscles and bones suddenly made a creaking sound. Strong! This person is too strong! At this moment, because of the immense pressure, the expression on Qin Feng's face became particularly hideous and twisted. That thin body, like a small boat under the most terrifying pressure, swayed wildly in the sea. Kneel me! Venerable Long Yan's aura rose again. His tone was full of unquestionable domineering. At this time, no one in the whole hall dared to touch his anger. Even in the Alchemy Alliance, there is no suitable reason to stop this. Although Venerable Long Yan's strength was inferior to Luo Shui. However, Qin Feng did not take care of this matter. After all, the reputation of a girl's family is indeed very important. The blame is on Qin Feng himself, who has to gain the advantage of his tongue. Since Venerable Long Yan proposed a solution. So, at this time, even Luo Shui couldn't stop it. Crunch! Crunch! Qin Feng bit his teeth fiercely. Drops of blood began to slowly fall out from the corner of his mouth. The musculoskeletal musculoskeletal all over his body kept emitting, and there were bursts of harsh cracking noises, which made people feel very painful. How amazing is the power of a big shot at this level? Qin Feng didn't have any way to contend, even if the opponent just used his aura to suppress, he didn't have the strength to deal with it. Humph! A muffled hum came from Qin Feng's mouth. Qin Feng's entire body, as if suffering the most cruel punishment, cracks appeared all over his body, and blood continued to gush out. Even said that some white bones began to penetrate into the epidermis. However, even so, Qin Feng still stood still, straightened his waist and stood there. Crunch! Suddenly, Qin Feng's feet were snapped abruptly because he couldn't bear the pressure and his body slumped. Seeing this, Qin Feng desperately urged his true energy. Although his whole person, shaky. However, at the moment he was about to kneel on the ground, he abruptly stabilized his figure, used his true energy forcibly, and insisted on standing there. Like a spear, indomitable. Crunchy. The feet were shattered by the force, but they kept standing forcibly. This kind of pain, this kind of tenacious state of mind, even the big figures present, could not help but change their faces. Luo Shui, who was still very calm, had a trace of seriousness and admiration on his face at this moment. Beside that, Lu Suanji, who was still full of anger, couldn't help her pretty face changed drastically, and a faint glow appeared in her eyes. Tough. Unyielding. Stubborn. Old thing. If you have a temper, kill me. But, you let Lao Tzu kneel with you, no way. Qin Feng raised his head, his eyes were full of stubbornness and arrogance, his voice was very hoarse, but at this moment, it was enough to penetrate everyone's heart. This kid is amazing. Not only the words are ruthless, but the people are also ruthless. Even in the face of such a big man, he dare to say such a thing. In the whole hall, in an instant, it became extremely silent. At this time, everyone's view of Qin Feng has changed dramatically in a flash. This seemingly ordinary young man, this seemingly gentle young man, is actually a ruthless character. He can be very kind to his friends, and his temper is very gentle, but there is a heart not willing to give in. Once this kind of person grows up, it will be unimaginably powerful. Meng Xian, who was supported by others, showed a hint of anxiety on Xiao's face. She wanted to speak, but Long Yun and others immediately stopped her. Now, we can't make a move. Although Ye Qing's tone was cold, it was obviously complicated. Incredible. Even people like them have seen countless pictures and experienced many things. But after seeing this scene in front of me, it was still inevitable, 
and there was a shock in my heart. A very ordinary junior of the God Communication Realm, dare to fight such a confrontation with the mighty mighty realm of fate. This is incredible. Old ancestor, if it doesn't matter, forget it. Suddenly, at this moment, Lu Suanji's voice slowly spread from her mouth. Xiao Suanji, this has caused your reputation so much, how can you just let it go? Venerable Long Yan frowned slightly and couldn't help but be surprised. Hey, I'm fine. Lu Suanji's eyes flickered, and Qin Feng's eyes were full of complexity, and he sighed softly. Afterwards. Humph. After snorting softly in her mouth, a hint of coldness appeared in her tone, as if she was still dissatisfied with Qin Feng. In the next moment, she turned into a fragrant wind from Qin Feng's side and quietly left the hall. Boy, if you are bold enough, you deserve to be someone I admire. Seeing Lu Suanji's disappearing back, the corner of Venerable Longian's mouth showed a strange smile and said coldly. This old bastard. Seeing Venerable Long Yan's figure leaving, Luo Shui's face also showed a smile, and he was relieved. It's just that there was a weirdness in his smile, as if he had expected something today. Hurry up and take Qin Feng down and treat his injuries well. Seeing Qin Feng, he almost couldn't stand even when he stood, Luo Shui dignifiedly said. Yes. Hearing these words, N.A. Meng Xian couldn't wait to rush towards Qin Feng and hold him back. Although Qin Feng is not her own brother, she has already recognized Qin Feng in her heart and will naturally care about him very much. What? Long Yun, who was helping beside him, couldn't help but his face changed drastically after checking out Qin Feng's injuries. This kid is really cruel. After suffering such a severe injury, he doesn't even have any consciousness, so he can stand still. There was also a hint of shock in Ye Qing's eyes. Master Luo Shui, what exactly does Venerable Long Yan want to do? After N.A. Meng Xian and others took Qin Feng down for treatment, the other elders in this hall couldn't help looking at Luo Shui with curiosity on their faces. Venerable Long Yan, such a arrogant move. On the bright side, it was to stand up for Lu Suanji, but among the people present, which one was not the deepest guy in the city? At this moment, they are all aware of it, this time things are definitely not as simple as the surface. Hey, what else can this old guy have? Of course, I just want to explore Qin Feng's bottom line, and want to know how strong this kid is. It's not here to ask for an explanation at all. You should know that this little guy, Qin Feng, is very famous recently. Such an outstanding enchanting genius can actually challenge so many forces. Just ask, who can care? If I didn't guess wrong, the old guy probably has taken a fancy to Qin Feng's talent and his terrifying soul power. Luo Shui explained very upset. Then what do you mean? Perhaps, at the beginning, he did intend to give Qin Feng a lesson. It's just that this kid's methods are indeed a bit different and shocking. I'm afraid that it is precisely for this reason that the old guy spoke, and wanted Qin Feng to marry Lu Suanji from the God Refining Mansion, and take the opportunity to win over this kid Qin Feng. Looking at Venerable Long Yan, the gradually disappearing back, Luo Shui's expression appeared proudly. Your idea is beautiful. It's just that, how can you let your God Refining Mansion take the opportunity to easily the person I want from the Pill Refining League? This kid is now so young, he is the sole power of the nine-star level, and he will surpass me in the future. It's no problem at all. Hey, someone from the Alchemy League with me, have you ever asked me? When everyone present heard this, their hearts moved inexplicably. Unexpectedly, this matter turned out to be such a thing, not as simple as the surface. So, ten days passed peacefully. Qin Feng's injury due to his physical condition, has almost recovered. But the people of the Alchemy Alliance started to act. Do not. It's not just the Alchemy Alliance. There are also many other forces in the Mayuan realm that have begun to act. The confrontation this time is related to the interests of the entire domain, and naturally no one will ignore it. Therefore, 
almost all the big forces with cards have chosen to shoot, and only a few forces stand by. Whether it is the Pill Refining League, the God Refining Mansion, the Cloud Fire Sect, a large number of great forces with extraordinary foundations are all united. This time, the place they are going to is named Kong Fii Old City. An empty city is not an old city, but an abandoned city that has almost been scrapped. On weekdays, no one will come to this place at all. However, this abandoned city is the entrance to the primordial space. Qin Feng, you must be careful this time. This time, although everyone has joined forces against Outland, each force is not really one mind to each other. So, if you enter the primordial space, be careful about everything and don't trust people from other forces too much. Of course, the people of Kinglan Domain have to be very careful. The people they came here this time are very powerful, and the forces behind them are probably even more terrifying than Swan Yun sect. They have reached the level of the two-star sect. A deep dignity appeared on Meng Xian's face, and he said seriously. Two-star sect? Qin Feng's brows were suddenly frivolous. He is quite familiar with this classification, because in the previous life he also encountered many big sect forces. Power, divided from the overall power, can be divided into one star to ten star, these ten major levels. According to the division of realm, the two star sect is already a very good power. Most sects are not even named, such as the Azure Sea sect where he was before, not even the one star sect. Even if it is as strong as the Alchemy Alliance, it can be called the power of the two-star sect. As for the Swan Yun sect he provoked before, it was not even a one-star sect. Only at this level of heavenly destruction Tian Zone could he barely be ranked one star. As for the God Refining Palace, it should belong to the same level as the Pill Refining Alliance, and the difference in strength should not be too great. Unexpectedly, this time there will be two-star sects participating. Thinking of this, the expression on Qin Feng's face showed a slight dignified color. You should know that in the two-star sect, there are already powerful people who know the fate of the world, and the masters of the gods in the sect are even more numerous. Meng Xian looked at Qin Feng, pointed at one of them, and introduced Qin Feng. Following her instructions, Qin Feng saw the one Yang Yunchen. I saw that it was a young man with a calm expression and a calm face. The whole person stood there, as if it had merged with the void, and looked extraordinarily mysterious. Looking at this young man, Qin Feng had a thought in his heart it's hard to deal with. This Yang Yunchen's strength is very strong, he has already broken through to the Hua Yuan realm. The most terrifying thing is that he has also cultivated his soul power to the Seven Star realm. Although this is not as good as you, but his methods are very weird you must not underestimate him. Okay, I got it. Qin Feng nodded slightly when he heard this. At the same time, in his heart, he had already secretly remembered this guy. This guy is very powerful. Although the primordial space requires a strong enough soul power to be able to enter, if the martial artist's cultivation base is very high, you can also break the shackles and enter it, so you must be careful. Meng Xian asked very concerned. This kind of relationship between her is from the heart, and there is nothing false. Obviously, for Qin Feng, she almost treated him as a younger brother. It turns out that this kid is Qin Feng. I don't seem to be very handsome, and his strength is not great. He actually dared to provoke Lu Suanji of God Refining Mansion? How dare he is? Yes, he is clearly a hairy boy. I think he is just as capable. If there is no support from the Alchemy Alliance, I am afraid that he is not qualified to stand here, right? You don't need to care about him too much. Yes, I think so too. What Qin Feng hadn't expected at all was that as the warriors present became more and more, the voices of discussion began to become more complicated. Hee <laughs> hee, it seems that everyone knows that your kid provoked Lu Suanji. Although, you don't seem to like that little girl very much, but the identity, background and appearance of this girl are very perfect, so there are many suitors. I advise you to be careful, 
lest you be calculated by those guys. Looking at Qin Feng, Men Suan's face showed a faint smile and a hint of worry, and said helplessly. Sister Meng Xian, don't worry, I understand. Qin Feng nodded slightly, then smiled. Ha ha ha, Qin Feng, I didn't expect you to actually come. I'm so happy, you are my idol. Accompanied by a burst of laughter, a young man with a handsome face and a smile strode towards Qin Feng. Behind this person, followed by a famous and powerful master. After seeing the face of this young man, Qin Feng's mouth twitched involuntarily. Obviously, this guy in front of him is a headache. I saw the visitor, dressed in white, with a kind smile on his face, approaching Qin Feng with a familiar look. This person is the genius of Yun Huo sect, Yun Huo's Hung. Long Yun, who was beside Qin Feng, said calmly. By the way, this Yun Huo's Hung is really a genius. It's a pity that he didn't join my alchemy alliance. Even Su Kun, who has always been plain, couldn't help but side with emotion. From this it can be seen that this talent that is born with fire is really extraordinary. The aura of Yun Huashan's whole body is strong and hot, it can be imagined that he should have cultivated a kind of fire attribute technique. And from the other party's breath, you can even detect a domineering coercion, which is really amazing. And this also shows from the side that there may be a trace of the primordial bloodline of fire attribute in his body. I just don't know what type of primordial bloodline in this guy's body will be. I said Brother Qin, I didn't expect that you were too powerful, and you actually managed to get Lu Suanji's tigress. It's really amazing. I really admire you. Continue to work hard, try to completely subdue her, and then directly marry her as a wife. Yun Huo's hung hugged Qin Feng's shoulders, a wicked smile appeared on his face. Looking at this unpredictable guy, Qin Feng couldn't help but rolled his eyes. Qin Feng is very uncomfortable with this kind of stranger, but showing such enthusiasm. However, he could also detect that Yun Huo's hung didn't have any bad thoughts towards him. Hello everyone, it's been a long time. Behind that Yun Huo's hung, a group of figures began to appear speaking to Long Yun and the others. These were three powerful masters, and beside them, the elders of the Yun Huo sect stood respectfully behind them. Three old flames, long time no see. Su Kun and others nodded in response. The power of these three cloud fire sects and the flames of the whole body are almost condensed into real flames. From this it can be seen that their own cultivation level should be a terrifying state. With the appearance of these three great abilities, even Yun Huo's hung secretly lowered his head. Obviously, he did not dare to be presumptuous in front of these three big figures. The three elders of the flames are the three great elders of the Yun Huo sect. They are capable of reaching the sky, and not only have the sole cultivation of the eight star realm. They are also extraordinary in martial arts. Meng Xian said hello to Qin Feng Chuanyan secretly. Qin Feng nodded secretly. The strength of these three old men is indeed very strong, at least reaching the triple level of the Hua Yuan realm. Compared with the heavenly Yunzun he had dealt with, his strength was much stronger. It was estimated that he should belong to the same realm as the heavenly destruction sect master. This time, we sects have to join forces to fight foreign enemies. Among the three elders in flames, an old man wearing a red robe slowly opened his mouth and said. This person is obviously the person with the highest status among the three, and his aura is also the strongest. Yes, at this critical moment, if we continue to fight in the nest, I am afraid that Kinglin Domain will take the opportunity to win greater benefits. In that primordial space, there are too many things hidden. If we don't unite, I'm afraid we can't compete with them. Well. I agree. Su Kun heard the words and nodded. Boom. Just when a group of people are still chatting. Suddenly, a loud burst of air blasted across. Roar. Immediately, a roaring sound exploded instantly. In the next moment, you can clearly see that only a behemoth of raging fire began to emerge from the void, and then landed on the ground. That's a person from God Refining Mansion. 
looking at the huge fire beasts, some people couldn't help but yell in exclamation, with a sense of awe in their tone. Roar! The next moment, there was another roar. I saw that a very huge wolf descended from the sky, with raging fire in his mouth, and the momentum was extremely turbulent. It was Lu Suanji of the God Refining Mansion who rushed towards this side riding on the flame demon prison wolf. The aura of her whole body is extraordinary, that jade-like face has attracted the attention of many young warriors, and there is a lot of desire in her eyes. He he he, it looks like you have a lot of competitors. Yun Huo's hung next to him, jokingly at Qin Feng. Facing this too enthusiastic guy, Qin Feng got angry and rolled his eyes again without answering him. This guy is indeed a bit unusually enthusiastic about him. He didn't say a word, but the other party had already said a lot. However, Qin Feng felt very helpless in his heart. It can be seen that Lu Suanji's reputation is indeed extraordinary in this Mi Yuan realm, with a large number of suitors. In fact, Lu Suanji's status is indeed very noble. She is called Princess Suanji, which naturally makes sense. You know, Shenlian Mansion is a big power that no one disrespects, and Lu Suanji himself is also very talented. In addition, she still has the ancient blood, so naturally there will be many people who want to marry her. After all, the more excellent the bloodline, the more prone to the genius who is born against the sky. The most important thing is that Lu Suanji's appearance is very charming, although she has a baby face, it does not hinder her beauty. There is hardly any man who will ignore her charm because of her imperfect figure. Humph! Starting from appearing, Lu Suanji turned his gaze directly on Qin Feng's body. She couldn't ignore this guy who made her very angry. Especially this bastard, not long ago, in front of so many people, blatantly refused to marry her. Although she didn't want to marry Qin Feng, the attitude of the other party did make her very angry. However, when she thought of the square boy again, she would rather risk the injury of her feet being scrapped than kneel down and give up. In the depths of Lu Suanji's heart, there was also a hint of complicated emotions involuntarily. Gradually, as her beautiful eyes flickered, her cold eyes couldn't help but become softer. Oh, big sister Lu, whatever wind is blowing you? For Lu Suanji, the Yun who was hung next to him was naturally not polite, so he yelled directly. Roar! A loud roar of anger was released from the mouth of the flame demon prison wolf and the fierce eyes were full of cold and cruel intentions. Humph, Yun Huo's hung, I advise you to give me a bit of awareness, otherwise it irritates me, I don't mind teaching you a lesson. Lu Suanji's pretty face was icy, and a trace of anger arose on that jade-like face. Obviously, at this moment, she is very upset. Haha, <laughs> you have the ability, then don't use this flame demon hell wolf to scare people with their teeth and claws. Yun Huo's hung couldn't help rolling his eyes, and laughed. The flame demon hell wolf is indeed not simple, it is a fierce beast that reaches the eighth rank, its strength is very powerful, and it can manipulate the flames. If it bursts out with all its strength, its combat effectiveness will definitely not be much worse than those masters in the realm of God. That kind of feeling is like a against the sky, about to wake up. The powerful momentum swept fiercely towards all the warriors with incomparable dominance. Kaka. In an instant, all over the earth began to appear, traces of cracks. Countless birds and beasts, also at this time, began to yell. Damn it, this momentum is so powerful, I'm afraid it's another old monster against the sky. Qin Feng's expression changed slightly, feeling the horror of this aura and he couldn't help but be secretly surprised. Such an astonishing momentum makes people breathe almost suffocating, and seems to suppress everyone on the ground. Hey! The people of Kinglin Domain are too arrogant. Along with it, a cold snort sounded. In an instant, three terrifying auras burst out suddenly. Immediately afterwards, it turned into three invisible palm prints, and quickly moved towards a place in the void and enveloped the past fiercely. Boom! In an instant. The world has changed drastically. 
it can be clearly seen that above the void, cracks appear, countless waves of air, ferociously drowning and shattering everything in the past. This was just a simple confrontation, but it gave all the warriors a kind of psychological pressure that was difficult to resist. Ha ha ha! Luo Shui, Fushin, and Venerable Long Yan, I didn't expect us to meet again. With the three shots. Amidst a loud laughter, only phantom shadows were seen, and they began to gradually emerge from the emptiness. I only saw six of them, as if they were gods, and their bodies were filled with a lot of very dazzling light. Seeing the other side's way of playing in such a way and such an astonishing method, many of the martial artists present changed their expressions slightly. The master of Kinglan domain finally appeared. These six figures seem to be ancient giants, standing in the air, their breath is extremely terrifying, and people don't dare to look at them at all. Six old monsters. Moreover, it is still the kind of strength against the sky. At this moment, all the warriors in the realm of Mayuan felt a little more pressure in their hearts. These forces in Kinglan territory had actually sent out six such powerful old monsters. The strength of each of them is not much worse than Lua Shui. In terms of the number of masters, Lua Shui was twice as much worse than them. Fushin was a man in his fifties. His whole body was full of rune streams, and he was dressed in a pale yellow robe, standing side by side between the two of Lua Shui and Longian. This person is an old monster with a powerful enchantment in the Mayuan realm, but he has not joined any sect forces. However, he and Luo Shui are very good friends. Qin Feng also knew about this a long time ago. If it wasn't this time, Luo Shui was worried that the master of Kinglan domain was too powerful, and I am afraid he would not even want to ask Fushin to come and help. It's a pity that things still went beyond everyone's expectations. No one expected that Kinglan Domain would send so many masters this time. Boom. Afterwards, other sect forces in Kinglan territory also began to show themselves. Taking the six old monsters as the mainstay, all the Kinglan Domain martial artists had icy chills on their faces, scornfully scanning the surrounding Mayuan Domain martial artists. Judging from their posture, it seemed that they didn't put the people of Mayuan Domain in their eyes. How many forces have reached the two-star sect? After a careful glance at the Kinglan Domain sect force, Qin Feng couldn't help but secretly startled. Not only did the opponent come this time with more masters, even the sect was much stronger than Mi Yuan's domain. It can even be said to be a unilateral crush. And in this place, except for the Pill Refining Alliance, the Cloud Fire sect, and the God Refining Mansion, these relatively top large sects, there is no sect power that has reached the two-star level. However, looking at the Kinglan domain, there are at least a dozen forces, reaching the level of the two-star sect. Gap The gap is almost irreparable. This time, I'm afraid it's a bit tricky. Long Yun's mouth let out a solemn sigh. He doesn't need to say that, in fact, the faces of other sect leaders became extremely serious at this moment. The overall strength of the Kinglan domain is indeed stronger than that of the Mayuan domain. Everyone knows this matter. However, no one thought that the gap between them would be so obvious. Ha ha ha, Luo Shui, it's been almost a hundred years since we last met, right? Unexpectedly, you old guy is dead and still alive. An old man with blonde hair and a fierce scent all over his body smiled in a weird tone. This person was holding a staff in his right hand, and under the random shaking, he could notice the cracks that appeared around the void. Obviously, this guy is extremely strong. Venerable Splitwind, even you, an old trash, are still alive, how could I die? Looking at the old man in front of him, Luo Shui mocked unceremoniously. Ha ha ha. It's ridiculous, I found that the strength of your Mayuan realm is really too weak. Originally, Kinglan Domain didn't send too many masters this time. But I didn't expect that the strength of the people you sent would be so much worse. In my opinion, it's better to hand over the Mayuan Domain to our Kinglan Domain to manage, so that you can grow rapidly. The one next to him, an old man in a white robe, 
looked at everyone with contempt and smiled. Old demon Han Yu, this matter is not enough for you to worry about Kinglin Domain, Arma Yuan Domain, it is not your turn to give directions. Venerable Long Yan looked at each other and shouted coldly. I'm Pu. What kind of pretense to show you shame? We Kinglin Domain can see you in such a shabby place, that can be regarded as your convincing. A young King Glanyu man scanned his surroundings with contempt, shaking his head in disdain and mocking. This young man is a doorman of the two-star sect. From the perspective of his identity and dress, it is obvious that he is a rare genius in the martial arts. Therefore, at this time, he saw that Mi Yuan's domain was so bad, it was inevitable that he felt a little fluttering. However, what really surprised Qin Feng was that the other's soul aura was very strange. It seemed that there was a kind of arrogant aura like a mountain, as if he was the best in the whole world. This kind of invisible pressure, when people look at him, it will have an unmatched intuition. Eccentric. It's so weird. The little yellow-mouthed kid, in this place, where is your turn to be presumptuous? Venerable Long Yan's temper was very irritable. With a sharp shout, he rolled up his long sleeves and blasted directly at the young man. Boom! Venerable Long Yan, what strength is that? With a gentle display, the young man's breath was locked in an instant. His long sleeves seemed to be square, but in fact they contain very mysterious power. If the opponent does not resist, this move alone will be enough to tear the opponent to pieces in an instant. Ha ha ha! Venerable Long Yan, your temper really hasn't changed. It's just that you are really cheeky to bully one in front of us. Could it be that we really think Kinglin Domain is good for bullying? Venerable Splitwind's voice came out coldly. Soon. A huge palm-like withered wood, as fast as lightning, slapped the strength that was swept over by the dragon flames. Although, it's just such an ordinary trick. But what followed was an unimaginable terrifying force. Boom. At this moment, the sun and the moon are reversed, and the world changes. The unimaginable terrible force burst out fiercely. At this moment, that terrifying air wave directly enveloped the space within a hundred meters. Everything in it was crushed to ashes, including the void. Just a simple fight, or even just a random blow, broke out such a lethality. Seeing this scene, even Qin Feng couldn't help but was secretly shocked. This, is it the power of fate, the power of terror? Long Yan, you bully a junior, what kind of ability? Have the ability to fight with me. The old man who shot just now is the venerable windbreaker. He he, as a junior, I don't know how to respect the senior, so why not teach him a lesson? The anger of venerable Long Yan has not faded. Okay, let's give it up. Finally, Fushin, who had been silent all the time, suddenly said flatly. Fushin's personality is stable, but in his tone, there is a touch of unquestionable determination. With his words finished, even the extremely arrogant venerable windbreaker did not say a word, and stopped the quarrel. But now, those warriors in the Mayuan realm have become extremely nervous in their hearts. The gap between these two sides is really a bit too obvious. There is no chance of winning at all. Almost, half a day later. In this empty old city. Above the sky, a very ancient pressure has gradually diffused out. Under this pressure, the void shattered, and the very pure energy condensed together, looking extremely terrifying. At the same time, between those broken void cracks, there seems to be an invisible divine power that is constantly spreading. The void rift is getting bigger and bigger. Boom! Suddenly, with a sound, a loud noise like thunder appeared. The next moment, under everyone's eyes, a black mirror suddenly appeared. This mirror looked ordinary, but no warrior dared to ignore it. Because, on this mirror, there is a kind of power that makes people palpitating. Even if it is a void crack in front of it, it will instantly become docile, like a sheep. It is conceivable that this mirror will be such a heavenly thing. Hehe, <laughs> I didn't expect that after so many years, 
I would meet Mo Xian Lingjing again. A powerful old monster slowly sighed. His eyes flickered, full of greedy colors. With time, a little bit passed, the Mo Xian Ling mirror in front of everyone became larger and larger, and it stopped growing until it reached a volume of almost 10 miles. The so called Mo Xian Ling mirror looks like a mirror, but in fact, it is not a real mirror, just because of a special energy, condensed shape. This kind of energy has amazing lethality to the soul. If you are not careful, the soul is eroded by it, and it is very likely to be wiped out by it. So, you must be more careful than this thing. Meng Xian and others hurriedly instructed the disciples of the Alchemy Alliance very seriously. In the Alchemy League, it is not just Qin Feng who is participating alone. Moreover, Qin Feng's identity is quite special, and there are not many people who really know Qin Feng's status and combat power. Qin Feng is a trump card of the Pill Refining League, specially used to achieve unexpected results at critical moments. Ha ha ha, our Kinglin domain is considered a guest to you, so let us come first. A triumphant smile appeared on Venerable Windbreaking's face, and he laughed brazenly. Humph. Whatever you want, we don't even bother to grab it. Luo Shui scanned him coldly, and said indifferently. As long as you pass through the Mo Xian spirit mirror, you can enter the periphery of the primordial beginning space. As for what will happen inside the periphery, nobody knows. However, this Mo Xian Ling mirror is very strange, and the space inside is too chaotic. Once close, they will encounter resistance from space forces. At the same time, the special energy contained in the Mo Xian spirit mirror can even affect the soul of the warrior. As long as more people enter, the resistance of the space to the outside world will be more fierce. Therefore, those who go in first can take a big advantage. Ha ha ha, then we're welcome. People of Suanjin sect, you can go in quickly. Venerable Splitting Wind glanced at a certain sect, and said loudly. The sect master of Suanjin sect is a middle-aged man in his fifties, who emits a golden streamer, seems to be able to cut everything around him into pieces. Obviously, this person's cultivation technique may have something to do with metallic power. Metal, wood, water, fire, and earth, the five attribute powers, have various abilities and effects. The main feature of the metallic power is its sharpness, with extremely powerful killing power. Thank you Venerable. Sect Master Suanjin showed a very excited expression on his face. Their Suanjin sex rank is not high, only one star, but they didn't expect Venerable Splitting Wind to give him such a good opportunity. This really surprised him. Without thinking about it, Sect Master Suanjin hurriedly spoke, toward a young man, loudly commanding, Xian Yang, you go. Xian Yang, although he was only about 22 years old, the aura that radiated from his body fluctuated, but it was very tyrannical, possessing the eightfold cultivation base of the god communication realm. It is conceivable that he can be regarded as a young and promising great genius. Yes. Xian Yang did not hesitate, and bowed respectfully to the great sect masters and venerables. It seems that this time the competition in the primordial space is not so easy. Yun Huo's hung beside Qin Feng couldn't help but frowned and sighed slightly. Qin Feng ignored this guy, but silently looked at the Mo Xian Ling Jing on the void and the genius Xian Yang. This Mo Xian spirit mirror is really weird, the energy contained in it is very mixed. If ordinary people want to pass through it, I am afraid it is not easy. Wow! Xian Yang's expression was full of excitement and excitement, and after taking a hard breath, he quickly flew over. The Mo Xian spirit mirror is almost the same, at a height of more than 30,000 meters, the distance is very high, but for the warrior who reaches the realm of God, this is not a difficult task. In just a few breaths, Xian Yang came inside. Boom! With Xian Yang approaching. In an instant, a group of terrifying energy quickly enveloped him. This mass of energy was very rapid, like lightning, blocking all Xian Yang's retreat. Break it for me. Xian Yang opened his mouth sharply, his face was serious, 
and the golden glow flowed all over his body, unexpectedly bursting out of golden air currents, preparing to resist those energy. At the same time, the speed of his whole person has increased several times again. Charge inward. At this moment, the warriors of the Kinglan region who had a solemn expression had a relaxed smile on their faces. Obviously, in their opinion, this Xian Yang can basically rush in. Especially sect master Suan Jin, his face flushed with excitement, clenched his fists. Laugh. Suddenly, there was a burst of sound. The smile on the face of sect master Suan Jin didn't last long. The next moment, I only heard a stern roar from Xian Yang's mouth. Within a few seconds, his entire body, together with the golden light around him, was torn to shreds by the terror energy. How is this possible? Do not. At this moment, a series of exclamation sounds, inhaling a cold breath, came out unanimously. Especially the sect master Suan Jin, his face was full of disbelief and pain. The eighth layer of the divine realm, for their Suan Jin sect, although it is not so top-notch, if they want to act in the primordial space, they must have extremely powerful soul power defense. Therefore, among the warriors present, only those with a strong enough soul power are qualified to enter it. Xian Yang is a genius of soul and martial arts fellow practitioners. Among the martial artists of the same rank, his strength is very powerful. If he can successfully enter the Taishu space, he can definitely occupy a great advantage. It's just that, now, Xian Yang has fallen under his nose. This point made sect master Suan Jin still unable to believe it. What a pity. The energy of the Mo Xian spirit mirror is extremely terrifying, not only contains extremely lethal power, but also attacks the soul. Then Xian Yang did not even have time to defend, the soul has been eroded by the opponent's energy. Venerable Long Yan explained calmly. However, judging from his tone of voice, he is obviously very happy inside. There was a slight smile on the whole indifferent face. Humph! Venerable Windbreaker, Old Demon Hanyu, and other old monsters could only grunt coldly when they heard this. At the same time, they secretly became vigilant in their hearts. The energy attack of this Mo Xian spirit mirror is really terrifying. If you have to forcibly break in, and if you don't pay attention, you will probably end up with Xian Yang. However, Rao is so, there are still warriors, trying to get in. Help! Not good! A famous warrior, no matter how firm his mind is, but at this moment, facing the test of almost zero chance of survival, deep in his heart can't help but envelope a lot of fear. Hateful! The speaker is an old monster in Kinglan domain. This person's appearance is about 60 or 70 years old, but his face is red, his skin is very tight, and his voice is mixed with a vicious atmosphere. While speaking, the other party narrowed his eyes slightly, seeming to contain endless flames. This person's name is Lord Blazing. He is not only an old monster, but also the top master in Blazing God Palace. Just now, a disciple has fallen. And that disciple, one of his descendants, possesses an extremely enchanting talent, and his soul power is also very powerful. Having lost such a disciple, even a figure like him could not help but yell at him. Seeing these great abilities of the Kinglan region, looking so angry, the warriors of the Mayuan region were gloating in their hearts. After all, it is also a very happy thing for them to see that their opponents have lost a lot. Lin Fenjiu, you go in. With that, one by one disciple of the disciples fell at the entrance of the Taishu space. Venerable Windbreaker's eyes finally burst into an intolerable rage at this moment. These disciples are all geniuses from the major forces. But at this moment, all fell to this place. Just ask, how can this allow him to maintain a calm mind? Feng Yu leads his life. When Lin Fenjiu appeared, it instantly attracted everyone's attention including Qin Feng. The reason for concern is not because of how evil the other party is. It was because this young man was the one who angered Venerable Longian before. 
Qin Feng had already been paying attention to this guy. Because the opponent's body always exudes a peculiar wave, very powerful and extraordinary. The most important thing is that this person is still a genius from the two-star sect. It's just that Qin Feng never expected that Lin Fenjia would still be the master of venerable wind-breaking. Boom! Lin Fenjiu's figure swiftly ran away, directly causing a wave of air. As the light flickered all over, strange mysterious fluctuations were emitted. I saw that a rune stream burst out from the center of his eyebrows. This stream of light was released in the blink of an eye, and it merged with the Mo Xianling mirror without friction. What? Seeing Lin Fenjiu's appearance, all of the powerful figures in the Mayuan realm frowned. Tianling blood. I didn't expect this guy to have the blood of heavenly spirit, no wonder it is so. Meng Xian, standing next to Qin Feng, suddenly showed a hint of surprise on Qiao's face. I didn't expect that such a rare bloodline would actually appear in this person. Looking at Lin Fenjiu in the distance, the great abilities of the Mayuan realm, their expressions became particularly solemn. Heavenly spirit bloodline is a bloodline used for powerful soul power, especially for cultivating soul techniques, which has a natural advantage over ordinary martial artists. Therefore, the soul power of people with this kind of blood is generally very scary. It's just that the heavenly spirit bloodline is too difficult to appear, and the chance of its appearance is even smaller than that of the natural attribute bloodline. Looking at that Lin Fenjiu again, he only saw him as a whole. When he touched the Mo Profound Spirit Mirror, his soul did not cause the latter's energy attack at all. Everything seems so peaceful and stable. It was only when he truly entered the space inside the Black Black Spirit Mirror that the energy began to riot and attack towards Lin Fenjiu. However, it was too late, and Lin Fenjiu easily blocked those attacks. Qin Feng's soul power also far exceeds that of ordinary people. At this moment, he can naturally detect that this Lin Fenjiu is not only powerful in his soul, but also his own cultivation level is terrifying. According to Qin Feng's estimation, this guy's true realm, I am afraid, is the ninth level of the God Throughput realm the worst. It is even possible that he has already set foot in the Huayuan realm. This level of strength is really a bit terrifying, and it is no wonder that before, he dared to mock me Yuan's domain so much. Ha ha ha. When he saw that there was finally someone, he successfully entered the Mo Xian spirit mirror without suffering any injuries. Venerable Splitwind, who had always been depressed, couldn't help but start to raise his head and laugh wildly at this moment. That one looks like a big man, it's just a very ambitious villain. Wow! It was another young genius from Kinglin region, and rushed towards it. This young genius is almost twenty years old. The breath of the whole body fluctuates, very strong and thick as a mountain. The whole body, like a tiger, with the arrogant and invincible aura, forcibly shattered the surrounding energy. Om! I only saw a jade pendant on his body, and suddenly released a stream of light which firmly protected his soul from the erosion of those energy. That jade pendant is probably a magic weapon for soul defense. Qin Feng secretly exclaimed in his heart. This kind of soul type defense magic weapon is very rare, and the opponent's jade pendant is not an ordinary soul magic weapon. Its defensive ability is very terrifying, even such a powerful energy attack can be protected. It is conceivable how amazing the value of this piece of jade pendant will be. Afterwards, not only the Kinglin domain, but the warriors of the Mayuan domain also began to prepare, rushing towards the inside one by one. Like the warriors of the Kinglin domain, the warriors of the Mayuan domain also encountered energy attacks when they approached the entrance of that space. Some weak martial artists, not only the body was torn apart by that energy, but the soul was not spared. Ha ha ha, go in, great. The sect master of Tian Chen sect suddenly laughed excitedly. Only seeing it there, Yang Yunchen's long hair fluttered, and with a flash, he easily entered the space of the primordial beginning, and his speed was terrifyingly fast. Even those Kinglin domain geniuses were extremely surprised. At this moment, 
some people successfully entered, and some lost their lives. Gradually, more and more warriors of the sect forces entered the space of the beginning. Qin Feng, be careful. Long Yun and Meng Xian, who were beside Qin Feng, reminded Qin Feng with great concern. As for Su Kun and Ye Qing, they did not speak. But from their caring expressions, it is not difficult to guess that they are also very worried about Qin Feng's safety. Don't worry, I will. Qin Feng nodded slightly. Qin Feng didn't have the slightest fear of the Mo Xian spirit mirror's energy attack. Because he believes that with the strength of his soul power, there is no difficulty in dealing with that energy attack. Wow! The figure flickered gently. Qin Feng's whole person directly turned into a thunder and lightning and shuttled quickly. The speed of his body is so fast that even the old monsters in this Kinglin domain have a look of horror on their faces. Only a little, the five-layered yellow-haired boy in the God Sound realm, dare to forcibly break in like this, he is too courageous. With their cultivation base and combat power, they naturally wouldn't care much about a junior with the five-tiered spirit level. Although Qin Feng's body speed was fast enough, it only surprised them a little. They would never think that a little guy with the five levels of abilities in the God Realm could have much abilities. Wow! Just when these people thought that Qin Feng would definitely fall, and did not plan to continue to focus on Qin Feng. Suddenly, the face of Lord Blazing next to him moved slightly, and while his eyes flickered, he couldn't help but glance at Qin Feng more. Because in his opinion, the boy who could not enter at all, passed through without incident. Is this kid lucky? Or is there treasure on his body? Or, his own strength is very bad? Venerable Blazing began to guess inwardly. However, soon, he lost interest in guessing. It is a mere five-layer psychic realm, and what can be done if it enters, it can't make any noise at all. In order to compete for this time, they prepared Kinglin Domain for a long time. As long as they can enter the primordial space, those elite geniuses can definitely gain huge gains. And with Qin Feng's realm, it is simply not worth mentioning. However, when Luo Shui next to him noticed the change in the expression of that venerable blazing fire, a strange smile was quietly raised at the corner of his mouth. Others may not be clear, but he knows Qin Feng's true combat effectiveness very well. Qin Feng looks very young and his cultivation level is not high enough, but his soul power and real combat power completely crush the martial artist of the same realm. Even in the Kinglin region, there are few geniuses who can compare with Qin Feng. After all, before Qin Feng, even the masters of the Huayuan realm could be killed alone. For Qin Feng to successfully enter the primordial space, I am afraid that no one can resist it except a few geniuses. Humph. When Qin Feng successfully passed through the Mo Xian Ling Jing, he couldn't help but snorted coldly. That energy attack is really weird. Suddenly appeared in the sea of consciousness of his soul, like a wave, wanting to disperse his soul. That kind of terrifying power, if it weren't for Qin Feng's soul to be far beyond ordinary people, I'm afraid that the soul would be wiped out by the opponent. Boom. Suddenly, a spatial movement appeared. At this moment, it seemed as if it had traveled through a thousand years. Qin Feng's whole person was slightly stiff. Immediately afterwards, a strong, terrifying, sharp aura suddenly enveloped him. Even with Qin Feng's soul strength, at this moment, he was suddenly suppressed for a second. Such a terrifying aura, as if it came from eternal years ago. Wow! It was just a moment of effort, Qin Feng came back to his senses again, and he had already appeared in another space. Qin Feng glanced around. This place is the so-called primordial space. Looking into the distance, there was a cold breath in the entire Taishu space. Wherever his gaze passed, there were gusts of yin wind, as if he were in the middle of Juyu Hell. She 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 she. The sound of silhouettes breaking through the air began to echo around them. Obviously, the people who came to this place were not just Qin Feng. As for the people who can come to this place, almost everyone is a rare peerless genius, with incredible strength. 
At this moment, Qin Feng's heart also began to be vigilant. A battle is about to unfold. This time, not only had to search for treasures in the Taisha space, but also had to compete with the people of Kinglin Domain, and had to be treated with caution. Inside the original space. With a lot of treasures, Qin Feng had already got the news before he came in. Not only possesses all kinds of heavenly materials and earth treasures, but also the inheritance secret techniques of those big men in the past. Such a place of infinite value, even those powers who know fate, are crazy for it. It's a pity that it is not easy to enter this primordial space. Because only the martial artist whose cultivation base is below the Huayuan realm can enter it. For this, it is natural that many big shots are restricted. They were quite unhappy, but they were helpless. Can only choose to let the geniuses of the god-passing realm go in and explore in order to get some opportunities. However, Qin Feng also understood very well that there were no absolute things in this world. Many sect forces, in addition to letting in the geniuses of the Tongshen realm, have not given up letting the Huayuan realm warriors in. This seems very contradictory, but it makes sense. Because some masters who have reached the transformation element realm can completely suppress their own cultivation base. As long as they do not exceed the five levels of the Huayuan realm, they can still rely on their own strength to counter the suppression brought by the primordial space. Moreover, from ancient times to the present, there are still many special magic weapons, which can be done completely, so that the primordial space cannot detect abnormalities. Therefore, Qin Feng definitely did not dare to look down upon this trip to the beginning. Boom! Just when Qin Feng was still thinking. Suddenly, a sharp blast sound suddenly appeared. In an instant, the world changes. The terrible energy, like angry lava, went frantically around and began to diffuse out. This, seems to be a breakthrough in the Huayuan realm. Qin Feng's eyes flickered an array of silver streamer kept jumping in his eyes. With the release of Qin Feng's soul power, he clearly saw that somewhere hundreds of miles away, a figure was roaring loudly. The powerful momentum shook the surrounding space and creaked. So it is. When seeing each other, after this situation, Qin Feng's heart secretly moved, but he already knew the reason. Compared with suppressing the cultivation base and using magic weapons to hide oneself, there is actually an easier way. That is to forcibly keep oneself at the ninth peak of the god through Shen realm, instead of making a breakthrough. Wait until the success comes in, then make a breakthrough. In this way, you will have a great advantage in the competition. Whizzing. Qin Feng didn't care about these people's comments and now he is starting to move forward without stopping. With his physical strength, it was just a cup of tea time, and he had run for hundreds of miles. The scope of this primordial space is extremely broad and boundless. According to Qin Feng's speculation, it is probably broader than the secret realm he had entered before. According to Luo Shui's explanation, this place seems to be a ruin from the ancient times. The space inside is a world of its own, vast in scope, almost limitless, and very mysterious. In the past, even if the entire Mayuan domain explored this space, it has been a long time, but it was only a bit of a star. However, even that little bit is a very great benefit. What? Qin Feng continued to move forward without reducing his speed. Suddenly, a sorrowful scream came from not far away. His eyes swept over. I saw there, strange creatures the size of a basin, running quickly from the ground. At a glance, there were at least hundreds of them. The surface of every living creature is covered by a white armor of bones. These creatures look different. Some are like spiders, some are like ants, some are like scorpions, in short, they are all insects that can be seen in normal times. However, their size and lethality are beyond ordinary insects, too many. An ant flapped its wings, like a flash of lightning, and swept toward a genius in the realm of God. With its wings waving, it rolled up a strange rune streamer, condensed into a very dense blade, and killed it. In the blink of an eye, 
the latter's flesh and blood body was torn into pieces and turned into a pool of flesh and blood. A genius who reached the fourth level of the God-sounding realm was directly killed by the opponent in this way. This, is terrible. Drink. There was a sharp shout, and a sudden sound. In an instant, a continuous wave of air rushed past. The air wave broke out and flickered, like a real dragon wandering, directly crushing dozens of ant creatures into powder. The person who shot was the enchanting genius of the Tianchen sect. Yang Yunchen. Upon seeing this, Qin Feng couldn't help but change his face slightly. At this moment, on this guy's body, a stream of light is constantly flickering and evolving. It was a piece of white jade, worn on the other's neck, it looked quite extraordinary. This piece of jade looks like it can hide its own realm, it's very extraordinary. Old Ju, who was standing on Qin Feng's shoulder, said in a low voice. Qin Feng nodded slightly. With Yang Yunchen's true realm, it is naturally impossible to enter the primordial space. He obviously used a magic weapon to cross the sea with a secret. Senior brother Yunchen, really amazing. Beside Yang Yunchen, a group of martial artists exclaimed very excitedly. Go! Yang Yunchen took the lead and turned into lightning, directly breaking a blood path. Yang Yunchen was naturally aware of Qin Feng's arrival, but he didn't care at all. At this time, their main enemy is Qinglin Domain. If there is no feud, they would not choose to take action. Of course, this situation is only the beginning. I believe everything will change soon after. However, because of their long lives, their soul power is much stronger than ordinary people. In addition, their knowledge and combat experience clearly have an advantage over the younger generation. Therefore, they are very suitable to come in and try their luck. And those who can successfully enter the primordial space will certainly not be bad in strength, and each one is very powerful. There are many people who have hatred and friction between each other. At this moment, the warriors who appeared in this place were not just people from the Mayuan domain, but there were also masters from the Kinglin domain. All of a sudden, the surrounding atmosphere became extremely silent and depressed. The hatred between the two domains is not a day or two. The warriors on both sides are all staring at each other with vigilant and defensive eyes. Everyone be careful. Qin Feng said in a deep voice, facing Bu Fei next to him. He has already noticed that the momentum between the two parties is rapidly colliding with each other, the atmosphere of contradiction is intensifying, and the slightest carelessness will cause a fight. Okay. Step Fei is an old guy who has lived for more than a hundred years. Whether it is experience or insight, it is not comparable to the average person. When the opponent showed up, he made a defensive posture. You little thing. Looking at the dignified Xian Yu beside him, Qin Feng couldn't help a wry smile in his heart. He wouldn't believe that Meng Xian and the others would not notice the movement of this little thing. If the guess is correct, this is probably because Meng Xian and the others deliberately let him enter this primordial space to experience it. After all, the opening of the space at the beginning will have to wait until 500 years later. At this time, it is too long. Once this opportunity is missed, it is really a pity. It is very difficult for normal warriors to survive for 500 years. Therefore, Xian Yu must seize this opportunity. It's just that for Xian Yu, now entering the primordial space, the risk factor is really a bit big. A slight mistake, I am afraid it will fall into it. The people in our pill refining alliance should have been dispersed. I don't know where the others are now and how they are. Uledin Fei looked serious, and said to Qin Feng. Although Qin Feng's age was much younger than him. But Step Fei knew very well that Qin Feng's true combat effectiveness was definitely not much worse than his own. The most terrifying thing is that Qin Feng's soul power has reached the realm of nine stars. This kind of talent is simply beyond the reach. Therefore, Buletin Fei did not dare to despise Qin Feng. Should be. The scope of this primordial space is really wide. We really don't get together well. Qin Feng nodded affirmatively. This time, 
the number of people sent by the Alchemy League is not small. Therefore, even Qin Feng couldn't know how many people there were in the Alchemy League. Everyone, we've been in this place for a long time. It's boring, right? Why don't we leave separately, Hello and me? A master of Kinglan Domain, proposed. This person, with an old face, holding a grey crutch in his hand, his tone was full of vicissitudes. The crutch in his hand looked very shabby, but Qin Feng noticed that there was a hint of sword intent in the middle of the crutch. Obviously, there is a sword hidden in this crutch. Once in the match, a little carelessness, I am afraid it will suffer a big loss. This guy is really sinister. Qin Feng secretly thought that looking at this person's behavior, he must have some reputation in Kinglin region. If he didn't guess wrong, he should be an old guy who has lived for a long time just like Step Fei next to him. Yes, we support Mr. Li. What is the point if we have been working on this place? Another Kinglin domain master said in agreement. Yes, let's not consume it. After that, another genius master, with his fellow students, chose to leave. Wow! Shu! Hey! A famous genius left here in turn. The atmosphere that was originally very depressing seemed to be quietly broken at this moment. However, Qin Feng's inner vigilance still did not let go. After taking a look at Step Fei, Qin Feng said calmly, then let's go too. No problem. Hey! More than a thousand people are together, and there is hatred between each other. If it were normal, I am afraid it would have started fighting. Of course. The current peace is only temporary. As long as the time is right, there will be a big battle between the two sides. Boom! Suddenly, after everyone had traveled for hundreds of miles. Suddenly, a shocking rumbling sound resounded through the sky. Immediately afterwards, the flying geniuses suddenly became stiff. Not good. I can't control my body. Help. Boom. At this time, all the martial artists began to tremble uncontrollably. Go down. Qin Feng's expression suddenly changed at this moment. The figure flashed, and without hesitation, it moved down and quickly landed. And those warriors who had not had time to go down, their expressions suddenly froze. Soon, in midair, he directly exploded his body. Wow! His eyes flickered. Qin Feng urged his soul power with all his strength and began to scan the surroundings. Under his detection, he only saw a place about 10,000 meters ahead. The space of that place is completely different from the space of the place at the moment, revealing a very strange heavy feeling. The pressure in the front space has changed. Qin Feng's face changed slightly, and he said in a low voice. Okay. Buletin Fei is an experienced senior. Following Qin Feng's reminder, he immediately reacted. Only seeing above the void, that space has been transformed, almost visible to the naked eye. This kind of situation can only occur under the constraints of extremely terrifying pressure. Obviously. The pressure in that space is completely inconsistent with the pressure in the space where he is at the moment. Damn it, everyone, stop flying in the sky, the space in front seems to be weird. The masters of Kinglan Domain also discovered the anomaly at this moment and shouted. Looking at the warrior above the void, constantly turning into debris. At this moment, whether it is the Kinglan Domain or the Mayuan Domain, they trembled inexplicably in their hearts. An unquenchable fear began to spread from the heart. All this is simply incredible. It's weird. It is simply impossible to guard against. Who would have expected that flying in the sky, suddenly the space changes, and even the reaction is too late, just fall directly. This is not the warriors, afraid of how strong the so-called pressure is. It's just fear, and such a sudden change will make people unable to prepare in advance. It's like being in a certain place, and as a result, the pressure around you suddenly increased a hundredfold. This situation is tantamount to a big mountain being crushed down. How many people can bear it? Go! At this moment, everyone has no retreat and must move on. 
Qin Feng and his party did not stop. Because their purpose is not just the outer space of the primordial space, but the interior. Only the more dangerous interior has more opportunities. What if you can't fly, just walk over? In this way, everyone turn to the front and walk slowly for almost 10,000 meters. Wow! Suddenly, the pressure doubled, and everyone started to run the true energy on the body surface, resisting the pressure in the void. Even some warriors, their faces began to become extremely red. The pressure in this place is terrifying. Compared to the place where I stayed before, it is at least about 50 times stronger. Under this terrifying pressure, many warriors were unable to move freely, and it became very difficult to move. Fortunately, everyone is pretty good, and they are not the generals. Therefore, although the pressure in this place is terrifying, it is still within the tolerance range. Only to a certain extent, it affected everyone's combat effectiveness. Except for some masters of the transformation realm who have hidden their cultivation base, even those geniuses who have reached the ninth level of the god communication realm can hardly let themselves move freely. Qin Feng tried it. I discovered by accident that the pressure in this place didn't seem to have much impact on me. Except for the speed of Shen Fa, Qin Feng's combat effectiveness did not decay. In terms of the strength of my body, it is stronger than some transformation realms. But even so, my speed is affected, I can imagine how uncomfortable other people will be. What is that? Just when Qin Feng was secretly meditating. Suddenly, a horrified voice sounded in disbelief with a hint of horror. As this person yelled, everyone noticed that not far in front, a piece of mud was highlighted. The protruding soil looks strange, like graves. I see, this place should be a place for soul burial, everyone must be careful. Our Pill Refining Alliance, there used to be masters, who have been in this primordial dimension to experience. In this place of soul burial, there are very powerful creatures hidden. Half human, half ghost, very powerful. It's just that if we want to enter the space of the primordial beginning, we can only choose to pass through it. A solemn look appeared on Buladin Fei's face, and he explained. Once everyone gets to the inside of the primordial space, I am afraid there will be a big battle. A place for soul burial. Qin Feng's expression was also slightly solemn. Continue to go. At this moment, everyone did not dare to fly and could only choose to continue walking. Although this place of soul burial was very dangerous, not many people knew it and many people who knew did not tell others. Because, we are about to enter the interior of Taisha's space, one more competitor will increase the pressure. Wow! Just when a warrior passed a ground. Suddenly, a very sharp claw came out suddenly, grabbing the opponent's thigh fiercely. Crack! This claw appeared so suddenly that it was impossible for people to detect it. Its power is unbelievable. That martial artist's thigh was torn to pieces as soon as it was caught by the opponent. Get out of labor and management. This warrior is also a ruthless character. Enduring the pain forcibly, a hard punch hit the ground. Boom! As the air waves filled, all of a sudden, the protruding ground just now turned into a pothole. After that, a series of sounds that made people feel terrifying began to sound from the ground. Oh oh oh! This sound, like howling a ghost, made people palpitate and fearful. And all the mud protruding around started to sway slowly at this moment. No, everyone, go. Buladin Fei's face changed abruptly and immediately shouted loudly. Hurry up, the creatures of the soul burial ground will come out soon. Boom. Some warriors, although they don't know, the situation in this place of soul burial. However. At this moment, he also felt a little weird, and immediately ran infuriating energy, rushing to avoid it. Kaka. In an instant, a group of figures appeared in everyone's field of vision from the ground. When I saw the appearance of these guys, for a while, everyone could not help but shrouded in a cold chill. Roar. Constantly roaring. The gusts of cloudy wind keep blowing. 
Each of these guys in front of me is extremely huge. They were all made of white bones, shining with layers of weird streamers, and faintly exuding a cold air. Zombies. Unexpectedly, there would be so many terrifying zombie creatures in this place. And from these zombies, those tattered clothes, one can imagine that they were probably also human warriors. Wow! A zombie suddenly set off. Although the speed is not fast, the cold aura exuding from its body completely locks the warrior closest to it. Get out of here! Facing this opponent's attack, coupled with the lock of that cold aura, made the latter look very ugly. I saw that he was flying out of his body, and a majestic energy erupted from his body, slamming the zombie's body fiercely. Boom! A terrible wave of air erupted frantically. Directly beat that zombie and retreat steadily. However, a stream of light was released from his hands, but it killed the warrior at an extremely fast speed. What? In an instant, the warrior did not react, and was hit hard by the streamer. The whole body trembled violently a few times, and then fell directly to the ground, unable to move any more. Only seeing his entire skin, even more instantaneously, appeared layers of strange black runes. Be careful everyone. This thing is corpse poison. Once you run into this thing, it won't be easy to deal with. Seeing this, a warrior reacted instantly, yelling to remind everyone. Kakeka. At this moment, I saw more and more zombies appearing on the ground, each of them extremely hideous and chilling. Qin Feng's eyes flickered, and he led a group of people directly, sprinting toward the front like lightning. Although these zombie creatures are not very powerful on the surface, they can release extremely terrible corpse poison. Once contaminated, it is almost impossible to expel it. Coupled with these guys, they have great power, no pain, no fear of death, and it is even more difficult to solve. Unless, it can be wiped out directly, otherwise, there is no way to resist their siege. Moreover, it is not just as simple as the surface. Qin Feng had an intuition in his heart, that is, these zombies might have other terrible methods. Kill. I saw that old Li, waved the crutches in his hand, released fierce sword aura, and instantly tore more than a dozen zombies to pieces. Everyone, hurry up, these guys seem to be amazing, but their speed of action is very slow. Roar. Just when old Li just finished speaking, suddenly, at this moment, a fierce roar sounded instantly. I saw that a huge zombie, holding a bone staff in his hand, violently moved towards a group of warriors and killed it. Not good. The target attacked by the other party was Qin Feng and his party. Hey! Qin Feng quickly circulated the true energy in his body. A majestic wave of air flowed, Qin Feng seized the time, quickened his body skills, and dodged forward. Boom! Next moment. At the place where Qin Feng was originally located, a cloud of 100 meters long, quickly condensed. Not only that, the dark clouds that condensed from this group of clouds seemed to be the devil opening his blood basin. Boom! Following this, this group of dark clouds moved quickly, and the dense black rainwater began to roll toward the people below. Beware everyone! There is a terrifying and decadent effect in this rain, so don't be careless. At this moment, under the rain bombardment of that dark cloud, a famous warrior was shrouded by it and suffered serious damage. That terrible and decayed power instantly caused those warriors to completely corrode their skin, exposing white bones. Wow! Another zombie, also whispering words in his mouth, waved his bone stick, causing a black wind. One move caused a certain human martial artist to lose consciousness in an instant. Soul Attack These guys can actually use their soul power and carry out a soul attack. Qin Feng narrowed his eyes and pondered solemnly. At this time, he had already taken a few people from the Alchemy League and rushed out of that terrible place. Although those guys are powerful and tyrannical, they can still use various methods. However, their actions were too slow to catch up with everyone's body skills. Maid, die for me. Finally, 
watching the fall of a large number of human warriors, at this moment, a master of the Kinglan domain, finally could not bear it. This person is about seventy years old, but the muscles on his body are very violent, as if he is as strong as a bull. During physical exercise, it's like a tiger descending the mountain. Boom! He suddenly shook a punch, and the rolled-up air wave unexpectedly condensed into a whirlwind, violently attracted one of the zombies to it, crushing it into bone debris. Kill! Being a master again, he chose to start shooting. Among them, it was not only the masters of Kinglan Domain, but the masters of Mayuan Domain did not sit back and watch. At this time, if everyone chooses to sit on the sidelines, it will cause very serious losses. Boom! 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 A series of terrible explosions continued to appear. I saw that, in an instant, all zombies were shaken out by various forces, and their bodies were torn apart. Even some zombies have their bodies turned into debris. Open! Somewhere! I saw only one person with a pair of arm armors in both hands, and under the wave, two waves of thunder broke out. Wherever his boxing strength passed, the mighty power was unpredictable, and the zombies that blocked them turned into severed limbs. This master shot was Wang Tao from Hyman that day. The arm armor of this guy is obviously very powerful, and the burst of lethality is really shocking. Kill. Boom boom. With the masters of both sides, they began to attack. Even those zombies, no matter how powerful, can only be defeated by the opponent steadily, and there is no way to fight back. However, this does not mean that the crisis has been completely resolved. I don't know why, Qin Feng's heart always feels that things seem a little weird. Cursing the devil. Qin Feng called out in his heart. The next moment, a phantom slowly emerged from his body, and it was the cursed demon king who was staying in his body. I'll leave him to you for protection now, but don't make anything wrong with me. Qin Feng pointed to Xian Yu next to him, and said calmly. The curse of the devil now has a soul body, and his strength has been restored a lot. If he protects Xian Yu, Qin Feng can also rest assured. Hey! My dignified generation of demon kings, what a beautiful scenery at the beginning, but now they are reduced to a bodyguard. After looking at Xian Yu a few times, cursing Heaven Demon King's mouth could not help but complain. Protect him well, when this matter is resolved, I can give you the ghost sickle. Relax, wrap it on me. Absolutely no problem. Shushan Demon King looked excited, but there was still a little bit of reluctance. This guy has long wanted the ghost scythe and now he can get the right to use it just to protect a young junior, and he naturally cannot refuse. Because the soul body has the ability to be invisible. Therefore, he protected Xian Yu in secret, which can be said to be very easy. Boom! Suddenly! A wave of majestic pressure suddenly broke out. At this moment, the expressions of the warriors who were running wildly changed suddenly. I saw that in the underground not far away, there were zombies crawling out. These guys exude a very astonishing aura, obviously more terrifying than the zombies they encountered before. Just looking at it makes people dare not care. Wow! In an instant. All the martial artists present, their eyes widened, their expressions became especially gloomy. The strength of these zombies can almost be said to be that they all surpass the fifth level of the god through realm. A five-layer psychic realm, not so powerful, not worth mentioning. However, if there are thousands of them, the meaning is different. Just ask, how many people can handle it? Roar! The howl of zombies resounded through the sky again. Following this, the minds of the warriors present shook. At the same time, only a large zombie with a height of 15 meters sprang out from the ground, standing there like a king, with great majesty. Suddenly, the surrounding atmosphere became extremely depressed, and the yin wind was blowing. The suffocating aura spread instantly. No, this guy is the king of zombies. The combat power can be compared to the masters of the Huayuan realm. Run! 
Seeing this behemoth, the warriors present all changed their complexions in an instant, reacted immediately, and began to rush towards the distance quickly. Roar! I saw the zombie king, roared, suddenly raised the bone stick in his hand, and then shook it vigorously. In the next moment, above the sky, a large black cloud began to condense, with a range of tens of thousands of meters. The dense black rain, with amazing corrosive power, is like the most evil monster, sweeping towards the warriors below. The wind rustled. The terrifying black rain began to corrode crazily. All the creatures below, and all the plants, quickly withered and wiped out the moment they encountered the black rain. Those warriors who were not strong enough also melted into a bone in a few breathing efforts. Terror. It's really scary. With the powerful attack of the King of Zombies, all the warriors were frightened and started desperately to mobilize Zhen Qi and flee forward. Among these warriors, the people who reached the Huayuan realm were only a few after all, and most of them were in the God realm. What's more, the situation is so chaotic and dangerous now. Even those masters of the transformation realm who have suppressed their own cultivation base are unlikely to risk falling and contend with the King of Zombies at this time. There are too many zombies and their strength is really amazing. Under the instructions of the zombie king, they acted very regularly, and their body speed was several times faster than those of the previous zombies. In this case, many warriors have lost their lives. Lost heavily. Wow! Qin Feng's figure flickered. At this moment, facing the appearance of this group of terrifying guys, the masters among the major forces are actually a bit overwhelmed. Qin Feng, and the others in the Alchemy Alliance, were forced to separate. The combat power of this thing is comparable to the masters of the Huayuan realm. If there is no wrong drawing, it may have reached the realm of the King of the Turtle. Zhu Yuyang said. Hmm. Qin Feng nodded slightly. In fact, at this time, if he joins forces with Zhu Yuyang, there should be a high probability that the King of Zombies will be directly beheaded. However, if he rushes now, the resistance of the King of Zombies will probably hurt Qin Feng. At that time, Qin Feng's situation will appear very passive, while others will take advantage of it. Whizzing. Finally, following Qin Feng, running non-stop all the way. His position at the moment is very far away from that group of zombie army. At the end, only a few roars could be heard, looming. Qin Feng looked back, only to see the dark clouds in the sky in that place, but they still did not disperse. Occasionally, one can still hear the screams of human warriors. It is conceivable that many of those human warriors must have suffered. Qin Feng shook his head secretly, but there was nothing to do. This kind of dangerous place is already very good to keep yourself safe. Almost. Half a day later, Qin Feng moved forward, not knowing how many miles he had advanced, and finally got rid of the group of zombie army completely. It's really hateful, labor and management will be hunted down by such low-level creatures for so long. If it weren't for not wanting to be exposed, labor and management would have vomited a fire and burned them into slag. Zhu Yuyang snorted and couldn't help but said angrily. With its current cultivation base, it can completely compete with the masters of the Huayuan realm, even more powerful. Therefore, it is not bragging to say this, but it has its own confidence. Don't worry, if we shoot now, we will only let others notice our strength. Qin Feng shook his head and said, he is a dark game. It is better not to expose his strength until the critical moment. Asshole of Kinglin Domain, I want to kill you. Just when Qin Feng stopped thinking, suddenly, a stern roar sounded. Hearing this voice, Qin Feng couldn't help changing his face slightly, a sharp cold light flashed in his eyes. It seems that those guys in Kinglin Domain can't hold back anymore. Boom! The blast of air, a lot of streamer, condensed into a series of phantoms, released like lightning. Boy, with your strength, can you kill me? A joking ridicule, like an evil demon, staring at the other side fiercely, like a cat catching a mouse. Wow! Boom! This thunder blade, 
as fast as lightning, directly bombarded the opponent's shadow streamer. Not only that. With Qin Feng's keen perception, his move happened to hit the weakest place of the battle axe. The two collided together, and in an instant, it caused a heavy, very shocking wave of air, spreading towards the surroundings. Smoke, dust, thunder, and lightning, hurricanes, all kinds of energies, in the space at this moment, are constantly flashing and colliding, like the end of the day. What? The master of Kinglin Domain only felt that his body was attacked by a majestic lightning force, and then his whole person flew upside down. How can that be? Not just him, even those doormen of Yuking Divine Palace, there was a hint of disbelief on his face at this moment. There are a total of five of them, and the one with the worst cultivation level has also reached the sixth level of the God-powered state, and one of them has reached the eighth level of the God-powered state. But even if the five of them joined forces, it was only reluctant to protect themselves under the attack of the master of Kinglin Domain. All of this is just because the opponent's body is too strong, and he has cultivated his bodybuilding exercises. And the Qin Feng in front of him, even at this age, had cultivated to the fifth level of the god throughout realm, and was a truly peerless genius. However, after all, his realm is too low it is impossible to compare with that master of the Eightfold Divine Realm. Therefore, they will speak and let Qin Feng escape. However, the real result was beyond the expectations of all of them. No one thought that Qin Feng could knock the Kinglin Domain Master into the air with one move. This, is simply incredible. Is it just knocking into the air? Facing the shock of other people, Qin Feng frowned slightly. With his comprehension of his own stunt, he should be able to smash the opponent's battle axe to pieces, and even cause certain damage to the opponent's body. However, this guy just flew out, and soon stabilized his figure, completely unharmed. However, after hearing Qin Feng's words to himself, all the others present were all dumbfounded. You guys are too boring. Isn't it enough to fly a single eightfold realm with the fivefold realm? If they hadn't seen Qin Feng's move, they would definitely think that Qin Feng was a guy who loves to pretend to be. Ha ha ha. The old man's practice is the wild wild tyrant body art. Not only is the body very strong, but the body's vitality is far more than normal. Although your kid is a little capable, it is far from enough to hurt the old man. Hearing Qin Feng's words, the Qin Glanyu master's face suddenly showed a look of contempt and he raised his head and laughed wildly. After that, his expression suddenly became very hideous, staring at Qin Feng fiercely, and once again raised the battle axe in his hand. He he he, your kid is so enchanting, I am afraid it is the key cultivation disciple of a certain sect? If you beheaded, for Kinglin Domain, there will be one less threat in the future. Kill. With the opponent's stern shout, a shadow of the axe was released again in the battle axe. In an instant, a wave of air burst into the air, directly condensed into one, with a full 100 meter long shadow. Moving towards Qin Feng with unparalleled momentum, swept from high above. Savage tyrant physical skill? Is it amazing? A faint smile appeared on the corner of Qin Feng's mouth. He had also heard of this wild tyrant body exercise and it was indeed a very good exercise method. However, the exercises he cultivated are more against the heavens, the prince ancient true dragon technique. Just ask how many exercises there are in the world that can compete with it. Just now, his move was just a tentative move, and he didn't use his best at all. Otherwise, the old man in Kinglin Domain would not be able to laugh. Facing this terrifying blow from the opponent, Qin Feng's body suddenly moved and began to arouse the true energy in his body. Wow! Boom! Two extremely terrifying forces, fiercely from his hands, began to condense. These two waves of air, one punch and one palm. Fist! Jianyi! Under the fusion with each other, it actually caused a crack in the surrounding space. Puff! At this moment, in front of all warriors, Qin Feng's attack completely ignored the opponent's battle axe and smashed it easily. 
Afterwards, the terrifying Yue, without having the points, directly smashed the opponent's body. The latter's sturdy body did not have any effect at all, so Qin Feng was completely crushed and killed. This guy, is too exaggerated, right? With just two moves, Qin Feng easily killed a warrior with a strength comparable to the ninth level of the God Sound Realm? The key is that the opponent has also practiced the technique of refining the body. But his body, under Qin Feng's attack, was as crisp as thin paper. At this moment, even the disciples of Yuking Divine Palace, no matter how good their mood is, they can't keep calm at this moment, all of them are dumbfounded. Boom! The Qinglin Domain Master who was killed by Qin Feng was full of disbelief, and his eyes were wide. But he could only fall to the ground with unwilling gaze, his body split into countless pieces instantly. He he. Qin Feng's sword palm can ignore the true energy and the terrifying skill of barrier defense. This can often have an incredible effect when fighting. Although the opponent's defense technique is very powerful, it is also vulnerable to Qin Feng. Hey! With a light wave of Qin Feng's right hand, he received the other party's storage ring. Are you all right? Looking at the five dumbfounded people standing by, Qin Feng asked calmly. I, we are all right, thanks for the shot. A master of Yuking Divine Palace reacted immediately and quickly thanked Qin Feng. You don't have to be polite, I am a member of the Alchemy Alliance, and I belong to the same camp as your Yuking Divine Palace. Qin Feng said with a smile. Alchemy League? Unexpectedly, he is still the brother of Alchemy League. A man with fair skin and looking like a woman exclaimed with joy. In fact, this Alchemy Alliance and Yuking Divine Palace did not have too deep friendship with each other. However, if they can make friends with enchanting geniuses like Qin Feng, it would be of great benefit to them. These five people are all direct disciples of Yuking Divine Palace. Each has excellent talents and extraordinary strength. The person who had been talking to Qin Feng just now was the leader of the group of five people, named Shang Guan Tianyu. And his cultivation base is also the most powerful person among the crowd. He has already cultivated to the eighth peak of the god throughout realm. After a group of several people chatted with each other, Shang Guan Tianyu suddenly looked at Qin Feng and said with a light smile, Brother Qin Feng, why not come with us? Not far ahead, we found the trail of King Hun Menkuo, and it's not just these, there are many other treasures too. If it weren't for us and the people of the Tianchen sect, it would not be possible to be driven so miserably by the guy in Kinglin Domain. Green Soul Dream Fruit? This thing made Qin Feng's heart move inexplicably. The Green Soul Dream Fruit is a very rare treasure. Once consumed, it can temper its soul power. The magical effect is extraordinary. Of course, the most important thing is that green soul dream fruit will only appear in the treasure land, which means that there will definitely be other heavenly materials and earth treasures nearby. Naturally, Qin Feng would not miss this opportunity. Hee <laughs> hee, then I'm not welcome. For the sect of Tianchen sect, Qin Feng had no good feelings. It's just that they didn't have any grudges between them, so Qin Feng didn't care too much. Hey! Since the two sides agreed, the group of people would naturally not be delayed, and those who couldn't wait to rush forward. The people of the Tianchen sect are probably only a hundred miles away from them. It is not difficult to find them. Before long, a group of nine people appeared in front of Qin Feng and others. In addition to the four disciples of the Tianchen sect, there are also two other members of the sect. Obviously, facing the threat of Kinglin Domain Masters, all major sects chose to unite. The other two sects were Wang Tao of Hyman that day, and the sects of Qingjianzong that day. Taking Sword Sect was a sect specializing in Kendo. He was good at using sword weapons and was proficient in the art of Tibetan swords. They can hide their swords in their bodies and no one knows where they will suddenly take out their swords to attack their opponents. This can be said to be impossible to guard against, extremely weird. If you are a little careless, it is very likely to be calculated by the other party. Therefore, 
the strength of this taking sword sect is one of the best in the domain of Mayuan. Aren't the people in the Pill Refining Alliance very good? Why did they follow along and team up with us? A group of nine people was naturally very happy when they saw Shang Guan Tianyu and others. However, when several people in the Chen Zong noticed the existence of Qin Feng that day, their faces sank. Their tone was full of disdain and a hint of impatience. Upon hearing this, everyone smiled secretly, helpless. Although anyone could guess, this Tian Chen sect was deliberately provoking, but no one dared to stop it. The speaker, with a contemptuous expression and a sneer on his face, was exactly a genius of the Chen Zong that day. This person has nine levels of horror cultivation of the God through God realm, with his hands in front of him, his eyes flashing, and there are wisps of cold light, which is quite unkind. Behind him, the eyes of the other three Tian Chen sect disciples were also full of contempt. Obviously, they discovered that Qin Feng's real cultivation base only had the five levels of the God through the God realm, and they wanted to be humiliated. Qin Feng knew this guy too. Although, the real name of this person is still unclear, and there are other information, but Qin Feng's memory is very bad. Last time, this guy also provoked himself in the empty old city. It's just that Qin Feng at that time didn't bother to pay attention to this guy. Unexpectedly, at this moment, he would be ridiculed by the other party. Lu Yan, what are you talking about? Brother Qin Feng, but the great benefactor who saved our lives. Why can't we be together? Looking at the disciple of the Tian Chen sect, Shang Guan Tianyu next to him said to Qin Feng's injustice. After listening to Shang Guan Tianyu's words, Qin Feng at this moment was quite appreciative in his heart. It seems that this guy has a pretty good temperament. You know, that Lu Yan's cultivation base has reached the ninth level of the God Throughput Realm. He was actually willing to speak for himself. Through this, it is enough to prove that Shang Guan Tianyu is a friend that can be made. Because this person is not the kind of ungrateful villain. Ha ha ha. Don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. Junior brother Lu Yan's words are not what you think. Tianyu, don't think about it. Wang Tao next to him opened his mouth to make a round. Yes, Lu Yan has such a temper, Tianyu, why are you so sensitive? Afterwards, a disciple of taking Jianzong next to him also spoke. This person was like a middle-aged man, with a slender figure, and his whole body released a sharp sword intent, like a beast. Obviously, this guy's kendo realm is very advanced and can be called a kendo master. Judging from the identity and cultivation of the other party, he should be a strong old man with deep experience. Humph. Lu Yan also saw that what he said just now caused other dissatisfaction. Although he didn't care about the opinions of these people, he didn't want to offend so many people all at once. After all, no matter how powerful the Tian Chen sect is, it is impossible to be enemies with so many sects at the same time. Brother Qin Feng, I am Li Bufan of the Taking Sword sect, and they are my fellow juniors. The master of Taking Jianzong spoke proactively and introduced to Qin Feng. With this Li Bufan's lead. Suddenly, all the people from the other sects, except the Dust sect that day, all began to talk to Qin Feng and say hello. After all, the Alchemy Alliance is a powerful force with an extraordinary status, not only has many masters, but also has a large number of alchemists. Many pill sects' daily needs came from the hands of alchemists in the Alchemy League. The pill will always be warriors, a very important thing. The friendship of an alchemist is highly valued by all major forces. Therefore, basically there are not many forces willing to engage in evil with the alchemists of the Alchemy Alliance. Cut. Seeing everyone so indulging in Qin Feng, at this moment, Lu Yan of Chen Zong smiled coldly and his face became very gloomy. Obviously, he seems to be quite prejudiced against Qin Feng. Well, since everyone knows each other, then we don't delay time, let's continue on our way. That green soul Menkuo is not an ordinary treasure. It would be a shame if someone else took the lead. 
Wang Tao looked at the timing and inadvertently changed the subject and said. Yes, it really can't be delayed. Let's go. After listening to Wang Tao's words, everyone nodded in agreement. Hey! A group of more than ten people, except for Qin Feng, everyone's cultivation base is very good, and the lowest level has reached the sixth level of the gods. And so, more than a dozen of them, the aura surging all over, rushed fast, like a rainbow, turning into streamers and fleeing away. Of course, everyone also knows that the value of the green soul dream fruit is extraordinary, and it must not cause too much movement, otherwise it will be easy to be known by others. Therefore, when advancing, everyone is very cautious, always checking the surrounding situation. Brother Qin Feng, you must pay attention to this place. In this primordial space, it's not as simple as it seems. Although we have now entered the interior of the primordial space, we haven't reached the true core zone. There are dangers all around, so you must be cautious. Shang Guantianyu looked solemn and reminded Qin Feng. Hmm, I will pay attention. Qin Feng nodded slightly. Soon, after running wild for a while, the group came to a very hidden place. This place is a steep mountain. Not only is it extremely hidden, but the clouds are looming, revealing a kind of icy chill. Somewhere below this high mountain, in a huge pit, there are fruits that emit a blue streamer, mysterious and strange. The shape of these green fruits is almost the size of a fist, and the overall look is not beautiful, and it can even be said to be crooked. Observe so carefully. You can find that the patterns on these cyan fruits are the outlines of skulls. Sure enough, it is green soul dream fruit. Qin Feng secretly exclaimed in his heart, but at the same time he was a little confused. Because, according to his characteristics of the green soul menkuo, this green soul menkuo obviously should grow in an excellent treasure land with abundant aura. However, the environment here is not so good, on the contrary, it seems extremely depressing and gloomy. It is obviously different from the expected picture. It seems that this place is probably not so peaceful on the surface. Tianyu, next, I will rely on you. Looking at Shang Guan Tianyu, Li Bufan next to him spoke. Not only him, even Lu Yan next to him, at this moment, he involuntarily looked at Shang Guan Tianyu. Such a situation made Qin Feng's heart secretly surprised. It seems that Shang Guan Tianyu among them seems to have an irreplaceable role. Presumably. It is precisely because of this that even the domineering Lu Yan would give him three points in court. Hmm. Don't worry, everyone. Shang Guan Tianyu nodded with a smile. Then, his eyes flashed slightly. The next moment, on his body, a purple streamer began to appear. Wow! At the same time, a very bright spot of light flashed between his eyebrows. The spot of light slowly expanded, and finally condensed into a ball of light like an eye, which began to spread out. The detecting eye. Show me. Wow! Along with Shang Guan Tianyu, this stern shout appeared. Suddenly, a round of shining light quickly shrouded from the ball of light at the center of Shang Guan Tianyu's eyebrows toward the pothole below. The Eye of Detecting Qin Feng nodded secretly. It is no wonder that Lu Yan and others place such importance on Shang Guan Tianyu. The Eye of Detecting, if you guessed it correctly, it should be Shang Guan Tianyu's primordial bloodline of pupil art possessing a special magical power. Qin Feng had encountered this special pupil magical power several times in his previous life. As for Shang Guan Tianyu's detecting eye, its functional effect should be to detect the surrounding environment. Sure enough, with the display of the opponent's detecting eye, I saw that Shang Guan Tianyu's body began to be filled with more mysterious ancient runes. In the center of his eyebrows, the eye-shaped ball of light became even more mysterious. Wow! After a while. However, Shang Guan Tianyu had already opened his eyes and gradually retracted the light of the detecting eye into his body. This place is very safe. I have explored it just now, and within a thousand miles, there is no danger. 
including the deep underground, I have not let it go, but I did not find anything abnormal. I go. At this moment, hearing this Shang Guan Tianyu's words, Qin Feng's heart was really surprised. Such an exaggerated detection capability is really a bit scary. Even if he fully urged the soul power, coupled with the use of pupil skills, I am afraid that it may not be possible, as amazing as Shang Guan Tianyu. Moreover, Qin Feng can be sure. It is absolutely impossible for the opponent's detecting eye to have such a simple ability to detect the environment. It's no wonder that other people value Shang Guan Tianyu so much. Let's go down. The group of people no longer hesitated and landed directly on the potholes in the ground. Knowing that there are no dangers around, everyone feels relieved. After three times and five divided by two, all the more than 100 green soul dream fruits were collected in the bag. Crunch! After taking this green soul dream fruit, Qin Feng couldn't wait to start tasting it. After one bite, only one crunch was heard. Qin Feng never expected that the shell of this green soul dream fruit was so strong, like a stone. Thanks to Qin Feng's teeth being stronger, otherwise, most people's teeth would be broken. However, immediately afterwards, a faint icy breath had already penetrated into Qin Feng's body from the green soul dream fruit. Not only that, this cold breath, in the blink of an eye, turned into a warm current, and began to fill Qin Feng's soul. Junior Brother Qin Qin Feng's movements were really unexpected. So that other people have no time to stop it. Naturally, Li Bufen from Taking Sword Sect was the one who reacted at first. However, it is too late to stop now. Hey, this little guy is too anxious and careless. Instructions, this green soul dream fruit must be prepared before it can be taken. If not, not only will it be easy to get caught up in it, but it's more likely that one's soul will be affected by its power, and the mind will collapse. Funny. Ignorance. Lu Yan, who was next to him, was full of gloat, and there was a sneer in his mouth. Hmm? Why do you guys look like this? However, what everyone did not expect at all was. Qin Feng's eyes suddenly opened. After that, he stared at everyone with a surprised face and asked. What? Seeing what Qin Feng didn't do, everyone was shocked. As if looking at a monster, he stared at Qin Feng closely, his face full of disbelief. Junior brother Qin, you, are you okay? Shang Guan Tianyu asked very cautiously. What can I do, what's the matter? Qin Feng asked depressedly. This green soul Menkuo possesses an extremely astonishing soul attack ability. Once it is not fully prepared, after taking it, its soul will be easily affected. Easily fall into disarray, or fall into distraction. However, for Qin Feng, his soul strength is a very terrifying existence. It's just a green soul dream fruit. How can he be affected? Uh, it's okay. Seeing Qin Feng's appearance, everyone said completely convinced. At the same time, I couldn't help but look at Qin Feng again. This guy is really an evil genius. I have to say that King Hun Menkuo is indeed extraordinary. Even Qin Feng could feel that his soul power had increased a lot. While the others were still preparing, he once again put a green soul dream fruit into his mouth. Crunch! After that, one after another King Hun Menkuo was continuously thrown into Qin Feng's mouth. Along with the amazing energy contained in it, Qin Feng's soul began to be constantly tempered and improved. It is under this kind of soul increase. Qin Feng's soul unexpectedly entered a very mysterious state. The soul flickered and gleamed like a fairy mist, and the aura emitted from it fluctuated, becoming stronger and stronger. Vaguely, there is a wave of energy that is wrapping the soul, making people feel very comfortable. This feeling, as if bathing in a warm hot spring, is really amazing. This green soul Menkuo is really a good thing. Qin Feng's eyes flashed suddenly, and a very surprised expression appeared on his face. At this moment, he can almost be 100% sure. 
The blue soul dream fruit he got now was definitely not the kind of blue soul dream fruit in the record. Instead, it should be a mutated green soul dream fruit. Its functions are obviously more outstanding. With the strength of his soul, it can be tempered by it, even stronger and stronger. One can imagine how exaggerated the effect of this green soul dream fruit. Everyone, this green soul menkuo is of great help to me, don't know, can you exchange it with me? Qin Feng's heart was very excited. Immediately afterwards, he spoke to Shang Guantianyu and others, and put forward his ideas. Idiot, you are not stupid. This thing is green soul menkuo, we divide you a bit, it is also because of Shang Guantianyu's affection. With your five-tiered trash in the god-sounding realm, it would be ridiculous to want to get more green soul dream fruit. Hearing what Qin Feng said, he hadn't waited for others to answer. Lu Yan was the first to speak, and mocked Qin Feng contemptuously. A bite of an idiot is really a bit too bully. In the face of Lu Yan's repeated ridicule and provocation, even if Qin Feng has a good temper and does not want to provoke things, it is impossible to continue to bear it. This Lu Yan is so ignorant that he really thinks he is a soft persimmon, so he is bullied. However, now is not the best time to turn a face. If you choose to do it now. I am afraid that the relationship between them will become more rigid in an instant. Junior Brother Qin, everyone understands the effect of this green soul dream fruit. We also need it to improve our soul, so. As the oldest of the group, Li Bufen sighed softly and said helplessly. However, if you can really take out treasures that satisfy everyone, it's not impossible to exchange them. Li Bufen continued. Obviously, he was considering Qin Feng's identity and was not willing to offend him too much. This is natural. Qin Feng nodded slightly. In fact, he would not deliberately take advantage of others based on his identity. I'm willing to exchange this thing, what do you think? While speaking, Qin Feng took out a treasure from the storage ring. This treasure is like golden lava, and the whole body emits light, like a substantive stream of water. This thing is exactly a treasure that Qin Feng had obtained in the secret realm before. Based on Qin Feng's understanding of this treasure, its true value is definitely not much worse than the green soul dream fruit held by others. Presumably everyone knows this thing, once you take it, you can make your true chi more powerful. If you take enough, you can definitely increase your combat effectiveness several times. Good. I'll exchange. At this moment, seeing the treasure in Qin Feng's hand, Li Bufen nodded and agreed without hesitation at all. As the oldest person among the crowd, Li Bufen's experience is naturally very rich, much higher than the others. At this moment, the 10,000 Beast Sect and the Doorman of the Spiritual Illusion Door clearly noticed Qin Feng and others, and they quickly opened their mouths and asked for help. Help. Facing the other party's help, Li Bufen, who is the most experienced, spoke without hesitation. Everyone is a warrior who belongs to the realm of Mayuan, even if there is not too deep friendship between each other, but at this time, you should choose to help. At this moment, these two major sect disciples are fighting with crocodiles-like creatures. This kind of creature moves extremely fast, and when it swings its claws, it makes waves. Just by looking at it, they knew their combat effectiveness was terrifying. In addition to the speed of lightning, the power is also extraordinary, and any attack will not be worse than the warrior of the gods. And the most powerful is their leather armor, with amazing defense power. Boom. Lu Yan, who had been suffocating in his heart, was able to express himself at this moment. He shook his fists abruptly and directly set off a horrible fist. Such a method is worthy of being the arrogant of the nine layers of the god through the god realm. If expected, his cultivation level might have touched the threshold of the Huayuan realm. And once you break through the Huayuan realm, it means that you have become a big man, enough to start a sect. And being able to set foot in the realm of Huayuan at such an age is enough to prove that the other party's talent is really enchanting. Punch. Then a crocodile creature was instantly killed one. 
A smug smile just appeared on Lu Yan's face, but it disappeared completely in an instant, and the gloomy color was replaced by ER. I saw Qin Feng waving his hands beside him. Two terrible fist intents shook the void and turmoil. With Qin Feng's current strength, the fighting power is not an ordinary person at all, it can be compared, and the stunts he cultivates, after he is integrated, are comparable to the martial arts of the heavenly rank. Therefore, the power of these two punches even surpassed Lu Yan's punch. Humph! After taking a very uncomfortable look at Qin Feng, Lu Yan forcibly suppressed the trace of anger in his heart and turned his head aside. With the help of more than a dozen people from Qin Feng, the situation that was originally very difficult to deal with began to change in an instant. At this moment, the disciples of 10,000 Beast Sect urged fierce beasts to continuously launch fierce attacks. And the disciple of the spiritual illusion door used illusion skills to help Qin Feng and others, more easily, kill a crocodile creature. Thank you for your help. Finally, after killing these difficult crocodile creatures, everyone let out a long breath. Among them, Qin Feng, the leader of the 10,000 Beast Sect, had actually met once. This guy is riding a tiger, grinning, like the most fierce devil, full of domineering. This person, when he was preparing to enter this primordial beginning space, had carried out some contempt and provocation against the Alchemy Alliance. As for the leader of the Spiritual Illusion Gate, he was a young man of about 17 years old. From the appearance alone, the age of the other party is almost the same as Qin Feng. Between the twinkling of this person's eyes, a psychedelic glow appeared. It seemed that after looking at his eyes, people would immediately fall into the illusion. Everyone, in Xiaolingxing, I really bother you guys. Lin Xing, who was riding on the tiger, saluted the others. Only, facing Qin Feng alone, as if he hadn't seen it, he didn't bother at all. Ling Huaman Huan Qing, thank you everyone and help. The phantom youth named Huan Qing took the initiative to smile at Qin Feng and thanked him. It's okay, we just happened to drop by. What's more, we are all warriors who belong to the domain of Mayuan, so naturally we must help each other. This time, the guys in the Kinglin domain have already started a fight against us in the Mayuan domain. At this time, we naturally have to unite and act together. Li Bufin nodded solemnly. Between his words, there seems to be another point. Well, we found a hidden treasure in front. There are a lot of good things in that place. It's a pity, because those crocodile creatures stopped us, we haven't gotten close yet. A gentle smile appeared on Huan Qing's face and said. Although this person looks very young, his speech and manners appear to be very steady and mature. Moreover, the other party's attitude is very sincere, and it is easy to make people feel good about him. After that, everyone went ahead and walked almost tens of thousands of meters. Suddenly, everyone's eyes lit up. I saw that there were a lot of treasures in the front. These treasures are numerous. Among them, a large amount of heaven and earth vitality permeated, as if liquefied. This place is really a rare gem. Such a large number of natural treasures are completely enough, so many people are equally divided. There is still Ding Yuan grass, this thing is priceless. Looking at the good things on the ground, everyone's faces were full of surprises. After that, everyone started to divide evenly. Then directly, through the natural treasures that could be taken into his mouth and eat. Now, in this primordial space, there are all kinds of dangers. It is obviously necessary to prompt the strength in time. However, at this moment, Qin Feng did not choose to eat those treasures of heaven and earth, but instead focused his attention on the green soul dream fruit. These green soul dream fruits are very unusual, and the benefits are even greater. Therefore, Qin Feng chose to take them. Following Qin Feng, he continued to take green soul dream fruit. Finally, after dozens of them went down, Qin Feng's soul power once again improved a lot. The whole person's mind has also entered that kind of strange state. The wisps of soul power flickered, 
and Qin Feng's entire mind was tempered extremely comfortably, as if a breeze passed by. This extremely refreshing feeling almost made Qin Feng want to call out loudly. At this moment, Qin Feng's soul is constantly improving and refining. At this time, he only felt that the soul of the whole person seemed to be about to change. Ha ha ha! Just when Qin Feng was in such a very mysterious state, suddenly, a burst of loud laughter sounded. This laughter, like thunder, instantly awakened Qin Feng from such an unspeakable state. Wow! Opened his eyes. Qin Feng suddenly burst into an intolerable anger in his heart. With his eyes flickering, Qin Feng's gaze directly looked at a place. Looking at the guy who was still laughing wildly, Qin Feng spit out a few cold words. You are looking for death. Angry. The anger is extreme. At this moment, the expressions on the faces of other people present became extremely serious in an instant. Hearing Qin Feng's angry words, everyone's eyes all turned in that direction and scanned the past. Only there, Lu Yan of Tian Chen sect was standing side by side with Lin Xing of Ten Thousand Beast sect. The laughter just came from Lu Yan's mouth. Qin Feng, what do you want to do? Being watched by Qin Feng's angry gaze, Lu Yan's eyes became extremely cold and sharp in an instant. The indifferent gesture on his face clearly carried a provocative meaning, without the slightest apology. Brother Qin Feng, you. Shang Guan Tianyu of the Yuking Temple originally wanted to say a few words, but was immediately stopped by Li Bufen next to him. Qin Feng's state just now clearly understood it. Although the movement caused was small, most people did not notice it. However, Li Bufen was aware of this. That kind of comprehension state is almost a rare occasion, and it requires a great opportunity. And this state requires a very quiet environment. Once you are disturbed by the outside world, it is very likely that you will lose a great fortune. Therefore, this state of enlightenment is really extremely important and must be treated with caution. Originally, there was a gap between Qin Feng and that Lu Yan. Now that there is another crop, their contradiction may not be so easy to resolve. Even Li Bufen felt embarrassed at this moment and couldn't help frowning. As an experienced warrior, he naturally knows. When that kind of epiphany is interrupted by someone, how uncomfortable it will be. How angry. Therefore, even with his temper, he was very unhappy with Lu Yan's behavior. Wow! Qin Feng's figure flashed suddenly. Like lightning, in an instant, he came to Lu Yan. Hey! Your name is Qin Feng, right? What are you going to do? This place, but the original space, if you want to deliberately choose something, don't blame everyone for turning your face. Looking at Qin Feng in front of him, Lin Xing of Ten Thousand Beast sect beside Lu Yan, but with a cold face, he scanned Qin Feng closely. In his words, there was obviously a trace of indisputable deterrence. Whizzing. However, he just finished speaking. The next moment, a thunder and lightning broke through the air, suddenly sounded. At the same time, a terrifying aura of killing was released instantly. I saw that Qin Feng's whole person, like a thunder and lightning running away, exuded an astonishing fighting spirit. She 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 she. The thunder light flickered, and the energy erupted. War. Intolerable. Cannot tolerate it anymore. The wild laugh just now was definitely that Lu Yan, deliberately trying to interrupt Qin Feng. Such a provocative move finally made Qin Feng completely angry. The consequences of his anger are terrifying. Now, Qin Feng had no plans to give Lu Yan any more chances, and no longer cared about the cooperative relationship with Mi Yu and Zi. Roar! Long Yin soared into the sky, with invincible momentum. Without saying a word, Qin Feng directly displayed a powerful stunt. The tall ancient wood phantom suddenly appeared out of thin air. Among them, there is a ghost of the gods standing in the air, disregarding the heroes. Boom! Accompanied by a sound of earth-shaking collision. In an instant, in front of everyone, they only felt a sudden tremor of their souls. 
In the next moment, Lu Yan's entire body was blown out like this. Boom! What? Seeing Qin Feng's move, all of the people present at the scene changed their expressions constantly. Unexpectedly, Lu Yan was shocked by Qin Feng. Qin Feng, what strength is it? What state? Among all the people present, only Shang Guan Tianyu and others in Yuking Divine Palace understood that Qin Feng's combat effectiveness was probably not as simple as it seemed. After all, the battle power of the Master of the God Passing Realm that Qin Feng killed before was even more terrifying than them. Just ask, how could the true strength of this kind of person be only the five levels of the God Throughput Realm? Qin Feng, dare you! Seeing Lu Yan being knocked out, at this moment, the Tian Chen sect and others standing nearby were a bit angry. With a roar, he was ready to take action against Qin Feng. Leave me alone. There was a sharp shout. The speaker was Lu Yan who was knocked out by Qin Feng just now. At this moment, he is slowly getting up and standing. Although he looked quite embarrassed, he did not actually suffer serious injuries on his body. However, as his clothes were shattered, he could still be seen, and streamers and runes flickered on his body. Unexpectedly, it is actually soft armor. It turned out that Lu Yan still has a magic weapon for defense. Moreover, from its appearance, its quality is obviously not trivial. Otherwise, Qin Feng's blow would definitely not be just that, flying him away, but seriously injured. At this moment, Lu Yan slowly stood up. His eyes opened and closed, and he scanned Qin Feng coldly. Along with it, two sharp eyes burst out from the depths of his eyes. In an instant, Lu Yan's body began to show up, and the general infuriating energy was boiling. Qin Feng, you dare to hit me. You are looking for death. Don't you know who I am? I am not only a direct disciple of the Tian Chen sect, but also the fifth ranked genius on the genius list. You dared to offend me so just now, I will kill you. I know that you are in the limelight, but you have a mere five-tiered spirit, if it weren't for the alchemy alliance behind you, you would have been killed by those sects. In this primordial space, without the shelter of the alchemy alliance, I think you are still arrogant. Whoosh whoosh! Accompanied by Lu Yan's angry words, only to see his body began to explode with a powerful aura, like a mountain. Lu Yan, what a arrogance that is! Not only did he cultivate to the ninth level of the god throughout realm, but he was also not old enough to be described as an evil genius. With his strength and identity, how could he care about Qin Feng's reputation? In his opinion, Qin Feng was just because of good luck, and it was absolutely impossible for his strength to surpass himself. Those rumors about Qin Feng are definitely rumors, which are exaggerated by others. This is why, he dared to mock Qin Feng time and time again. Today, I will show you what a real genius is. Boom! Accompanied by Lu Yan's roar, in an instant, a pale blue giant snake phantom suddenly burst out of his body. The giant blue snake, as if it really existed, wandered unsteadily, at an astonishing speed. From its body, a strand of unusually domineering aura fluctuated. Not only that, but there are also strands of fierce killing air attached to it. Obviously, the blood on his hands is not a lot. This is Lu Yan's primordial bloodline, Lan Yuntian Jiao. Seeing the phantom of the giant snake displayed by Lu Yan, someone suddenly recognized it and exclaimed loudly. And the person who spoke, happened to be Shang Guan Tianyu. Obviously, although he didn't plan to take action for the time being, he used this method to remind Qin Feng. The blue cloud sky Jiao is extremely fast and full of vigor, and the scales around it are very strong and sharp. Each scale, once released, is like a real blade, extremely powerful. You can imagine how terrifying Lu Yan's combat effectiveness is. That's why, the other party obviously looked uncomfortable with Qin Feng, but he was still willing to exchange things with Qin Feng. Hey! That treasure of yours is indeed extraordinary, and it makes my heavenly dragon power even sharper. You definitely didn't expect it to make me perfect, right? 
Your nonsense, so much. It's just a mere nine layers of the gods, how can Qin Feng take it to heart, he can kill even the Hua Yuan realm. Call. Lu Yan's figure flashed fiercely. However, Qin Feng did not evade. Even if he knew that this Lu Yan was very powerful, he didn't have any fear, and he greeted him directly. Boom! Fists waved. Two terrifying fist intents suddenly broke out into a shocking situation, beating the void continuously, and there were cracks. In an instant, the domineering fist intent shrouded Lu Yan in it. Roll! Lu Yan's expression suddenly changed. Unexpectedly, this Qin Feng would dare to be so bold after seeing him display his strength, head to head with himself. The wind and the clouds are moving the wind and the clouds and the sky are broken. Lu Yan's strength is indeed not simple. The blue cloud sky Jiao on his body was spinning frantically, spitting out blue streamers towards Qin Feng. The sharp and unmatched power immediately enveloped the space within a kilometer. In an instant, the void collapsed and the situation changed. There was also a majestic palm print, rushing down from the void clouds, swept towards Qin Feng. Roar! However, at this moment, a punch of strength directly rushed into the void. That was a terrifying tiger fist shadow. The blood-colored tiger is unstoppable. Fiercely waving the tiger's claws, and fearlessly slapped the blue cloud sky dragon on the void. The power of this trick is really exaggerated. Almost with a crushing aura, it was torn into pieces, turned into blue streamers and dissipated. How is this possible? Seeing such a battle, Lin Xin, who was originally still there and watching the show, had a drastic change in expression. What made him even more unbelievable was that Qin Feng at this moment actually swung a punch again and blasted towards Lu Yan's attack. Boom! 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 Qin Feng's punch was stacked three times in a row, and its strength instantly tripled. Puff! At this moment, Lu Yan only felt that the whole person had received a huge impact. In the next moment, the excruciating pain immediately extended to the internal organs. Finally, he could no longer suppress it, and suddenly spit out a big mouth full of blood. Only seeing a blood clot appeared in the cloud of blood fog, it looked so shocking. It is conceivable that Qin Feng's punch just now was so terrifying that he actually penetrated Lu Yan's soft defensive armor and shattered his internal organs. Boom! One foot shook the ground, like a mountain landing. Qin Feng's body didn't hesitate at all, stepping again, moving forward quickly. Qin Feng, you are so bold! At this time, Lin Xin couldn't help but his face changed drastically, and he shouted angrily. As a genius disciple of the Ten Thousand Beast sect, he has always had a good relationship with Lu Yan of the Tian Chen sect. At this moment, how could he allow Qin Feng to kill Lu Yan? After an angry shout, the tiger at its feet suddenly raised its head and roared, rolling up a wave of weather, majestic. Humph! Perceiving Lin Xing's move, Qin Feng also let out a snort of contempt. Immediately, in the soul consciousness see in his body, seven small black swords with astonishing killing and cutting aura hovered quickly. This, is Qin Feng's scarlet heavenly sword. Wow! The long sword flies, tearing the void. Laugh! Along with a flash of sword light, the claws of that tiger were directly torn into pieces by Qin Feng's sword aura. Roar! With the spray of blood, the body of the fierce tiger was split and pierced instantly by the sword energy. Qin Feng! Stop it! Lin Xing was full of anger and suddenly released a coercion to suppress Qin Feng. However, Qin Feng didn't care at all in the face of oppression. The true energy in the body surged, and he moved directly, attacking the Lu Yan fiercely. Along with Lu Yan's stern wailing, Qin Feng didn't hesitate at all and stepped on the opponent's chest with a vicious kick. Boom! Pillar-like blood sprayed out toward the surroundings fiercely. Lu Yan, who was extremely arrogant just now, completely lost his breath. Qin Feng, you dare to kill senior brother Lu Yan, you are dead. Seeing Lu Yan's fall, in an instant, 
the disciples of the Tianchen sect's eyes reddened and roared in anger. Wow! Sword Qi flickered. Qin Feng urged the Scarlet Heavenly Sword to burst out, soaring into the sky. Kill! 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 No mercy! No mercy! Behind Qin Feng, that was supported by the Alchemy Alliance, so he didn't worry about the consequences at all. Even if the people of the Tianchen sect were killed, Luo Shui would support him. For this, before Qin Feng came to Taisha space, Luo Shui made it clear to him. Qin Feng, you bastard, you killed my most beloved pet beast. Could it be that you are going to be a complete enemy with 10,000 beast sect? Seeing his tiger, being split into pieces by Qin Feng, Lin Xing hated Qin Feng. Following his angry shout, all the disciples of the 10,000 beast sect present began to gather true energy, surrounded Qin Feng in the middle, ready to leave at any time. Totally enemy. Hehe, he, is it possible that I would still be afraid of your 10,000 beast sect? Lin Xing, tell you the truth, do you really think that I am afraid of you, so that I have not turned my face? I just don't bother to pay attention to you two clowns. However, just now, I was clearly comprehending the state, but was deliberately destroyed by that Lu Yan. Such an act is tantamount to an unresolvable grudge. If you want to seek revenge from me, then just do it, I Qin Feng will never be afraid. Qin Feng's voice was like a sharp sword. In these surrounding voids, the momentum is amazing and reverberates for a long time. One way of martial arts is to sail against the current. If you have been patient, it will definitely be difficult to achieve the Dao. Is the truth like this? This statement came out. For a moment, the people who were still wondering why Qin Feng would suddenly become angry all changed their faces. Seeing Lu Yan on the ground, there was no more movement, even if they felt a little regretful in their hearts, they couldn't help but curse in secret deserve it. That kind of state is not something that can be easily encountered, it all depends on luck. Anyone who is interrupted, I am afraid, will be furious. Therefore, Qin Feng's killing of Lu Yan was not excessive. The blame is Lu Yan, he is too arrogant and doesn't understand low key. Humph, just for such a small matter, you kill Lu Yan, and even the disciples of the Tian Chen sect are killed. Qin Feng, you are too vicious like this, you are clearly a murderer. Today, I will act for the heavens and eradicate you as a scum. My 10,000 beast sect will never let you go. Facing other people's changes in opinions, Lin Xing suddenly roared. Wow! A sword gas erupted again. Laugh! Sword energy sword! At this moment, that lightning-like sword aura quickly swept towards Lin Xing. Your nonsense is so much. Qin Feng is not a person who loves killing, but he is definitely not the kind of soft-hearted person who allows the enemy to leave. Just now, when Lu Yan interrupted him, there was actually a faint fluctuation that struck him. That wave of fluctuations was very weak, and could not cause any harm to himself, but it could disturb his mind. This means that when he was in a state of epiphany just now, Lu Yan was not the only one who made the shot. There are other people who have also shot. Obviously, that guy is Lin Xing. Lin Xing thought that he would not be noticed by others, but he did not expect that Qin Feng's perception ability was terrifying, and he did not hide it from Qin Feng at all. Puff! How domineering that sword energy is! The Scarlet Sky Sword itself is a secondary artifact of extraordinary quality. Its power is amazing and its sharp edge is so sharp that ordinary people can contend. Plus Qin Feng's unparalleled sword intent. Just ask, what is Lin Xing just like him? What qualifications do you have to dare to threaten to kill him so arrogantly? Cut it down with one sword. In just one second, Lin Xing's body was directly slashed out arbitrarily. Puff. During the eruption of blood mist, Lin Xing's body collapsed to the ground. Qin Feng. You, actually abolished my cultivation base. Staring at Qin Feng fiercely, Lin Xing's eyes were full of resentment, and he wished to slash Qin Feng a thousand times. 
he is the enchanting genius of the Ten Thousand Beast sect. However, at this moment, his cultivation was completely abolished by Qin Feng, and then he had lost everything. From now on, he is a waste, a useless waste. Because he has lost value to the Ten Thousand Beast sect. Such a situation can be understood from the eyes of the disciples of the Ten Thousand Beast sects around. Among them, there are many gloating people who are secretly cheering. Obviously, they were very happy to learn that Lin Xing's cultivation base had been abolished. Because this means that they will be able to get more opportunities for cultivation by the sect. You and Lu Yan used tricks on me quietly. I didn't kill you, it was kind enough. Now, you are still talking to me in such a tone, do you really think that I dare not kill you? Qin Feng said with a cold smile. Ruthless. Decisive. Looking at this one in front of him, he was about seventeen years old, and his cultivation level was only a genius with the fifth level of the gods. There was a hint of horror in everyone's eyes. This is a guy who has a grudge. You can choose not to become friends with him, but you must not become enemies with him. Otherwise, you will bear an extremely terrible price. Good means. The phantom blue of the spiritual door flickered, and he spoke. Brother Qin's strength is indeed amazing. This kind of deliberately interrupting others' understanding is hateful at first, then Lu Yan should really be killed. Huan Qing looked very young, about the same age as Qin Feng. But obviously, he is also a decisive person. Moreover, from the other side's words, it can also be seen that there is not much friendship between this Phantom Gate and the Ten Thousand Beast Sex, at most they are only temporarily cooperating. The Lin Seeing of the Ten Thousand Beast Sect and whether his cultivation base was abolished had nothing to do with him. Yes, you should really kill. At this time, some people took the lead to express their opinions, even if some people did not agree with Qin Feng's methods, many people still began to cater to them. Li Bufin of Sword Sect of the Taking Dynasty was one of them. Hey, let's go. At this moment, the remaining disciples of the Ten Thousand Beast Sect naturally knew that it was impossible to seek justice for Lin Xing now. After all, Qin Feng's strength is too terrifying. Even if they join forces, they are absolutely unstoppable, not to mention that the people of other sects are very supportive of Qin Feng. Therefore, they can only choose to leave. And Qin Feng is not a murderous man. Therefore, it did not kill all the people of the Ten Thousand Beast Sect like killing the Tian Chen Sect, but let them leave. If I were to, I would absolutely wipe them all out. Because this is the safest choice. Huan Qing said in a deep voice with a trace of cold light on her calm face. This is also a ruthless character. Looking at that one, with a slightly immature face, everyone couldn't help but feel a chill. Although Qin Feng was ruthless, it was also ruthless to the enemy, unless the opponent provoked him. But this fantasy green is indeed even more fierce than Qin Feng, and he will never let go of anyone who might threaten him. Such a person is the one who really makes people, chilling. Because he will cut the grass and roots, even if you did not provoke him, but as long as he feels that you are threatening, he will ruthlessly obliterate it. Even Qin Feng has to admit that this guy is indeed more dangerous than himself. Everyone, although such a thing has happened, I believe that the cooperation between us will be closer. Looking at other people, Huan Qing said with a smile. At this moment, the sects present were the spiritual fantasy sect, Taking Sword sect, Yuking Divine Palace, Tianhai Gate and the Alchemy League where Qin Feng was located. And everyone's strength is very extraordinary. It can be said that these people are definitely among the best in the outside world. Do you think, what are we going to do next? Looking at Huan Qing, everyone else didn't dare to despise this kind of guy. Of course, continue to cooperate. With so many of us working together, it is definitely safer and more efficient than acting alone. However, in order to act in unison, we must elect a leader to lead us all. My personal idea is to let Brother Qin Feng be the leader. I don't know everyone, do you have any comments? 
Huangqing's proposal obviously made everyone not expect it. Originally, everyone thought that this guy definitely wanted to be the leader himself. However, if Qin Feng should be the leader, no one would have any opinions. After all, everyone can see Qin Feng's strength, and he is very relieved. I have no opinion. Shang Guantianyu said in a deep voice, his opinion naturally represents the entire Yuking Divine Palace. The old man agrees. Li Bufin nodded. As the most experienced person among so many people, his instincts are very keen. I don't know why, he always feels that Qin Feng is actually more terrifying than that fantasy blue. Moreover, the alchemy alliance behind Qin Feng has a higher status, and cooperation with it is obviously more advantageous. Afterwards, following the other members of the sect, they nodded in agreement, but Qin Feng did not refuse. That's okay, since everyone can value me Qin Feng, then I will definitely not let you down next. Qin Feng nodded slightly, and was too lazy to decline. Tianyu, your detecting eye is so wonderful that you are responsible for exploring the surroundings. Li Bufin, your taking Jianzong's combat effectiveness is stronger than that of ordinary warriors. Once something happens, you are mainly responsible for fighting your opponents. Qin Feng had already planned for the distribution of the people. Therefore, Qin Feng divided the tasks of everyone in just a short time. With the completion of this plan, the eyes of everyone looking at Qin Feng suddenly began to change instantly. This Qin Feng is really not simple. This person looks very young, but this smart mind really makes people have to admire almost every little detail. According to Qin Feng's distribution, everyone present can play their best role. This place is in the interior of the primordial space. The surroundings are full of dangers at any time. Therefore, in order to prevent some changes from occurring, everyone did not choose to delay. Start to run forward. Hey! After half a day, Qin Feng and others encountered an enemy. This group of people is not much different from Qin Feng's team in terms of number, and they are all about 60 people. However, in each of them, the aura fluctuations are very powerful, revealing terrifying power. Especially the person in the lead, this guy has a withered face and a cane in his hand. His eyes seemed muddy, but occasionally they would flicker, a very clear light. Between the opening of his eyes, there seemed to be a kind of majestic majesty. Qin Feng had actually seen this guy before entering the primordial dimension. This person is exactly the Qinglin domain master named Li Lao. Hehe, he, friends from Mayuan, I didn't expect that we would meet in this place. Looking at Qin Feng and his party, there was a slight chuckle on old Li's face, and his tone was very kind. However, when he was speaking, his right hand was holding the crutches tighter. In this guy's crutch, there is actually a sword hidden. Qin Feng had already detected this point. Therefore, at this moment, he secretly used the sound transmission technique to inform Shang Guantianyu and others. Hehe, he, I didn't expect it. But what did you mean when you stopped us? Although Qin Feng is the leader, Li Bufin is more suitable to come out and talk at this time. We don't mean anything. It's just that we have consumed a lot of pills and treasures when we enter this primordial dimension, so we want to borrow some from you. Of course, I also hope that you, best to lend us the storage ring. A weird smile appeared on old Li's face, his tone was yin and yang, which made people very uncomfortable. Qin Feng frowned slightly when he saw this. Fantasy Green, you start preparing now. Li Bufin, you count the three silently, and then find your target for each, and shoot immediately. Qin Feng spoke to the other people and ordered. Do you really want to shoot? Looking at Qin Feng, the expressions of the others changed slightly. Lao Li was very old, and the aura on his body fluctuated very strongly. He was obviously a master of transformation realm. To be honest, if you want to contend with such a master, Everyone has no confidence at all. Please believe me. The corner of Qin Feng's mouth raised a faint smile and didn't care. Although the strength of this old guy is indeed strong, 
plus there are six masters who have reached the ninth level of the god through god realm. However, for Qin Feng, this is still fearless. Not worth mentioning. Senior, you want to borrow something from us, this is naturally not difficult. It's just that I still hope that seniors will leave some for us. After all, we people are weak and don't have too many pill treasures. Qin Feng's voice sounded slowly. After that, a storage ring appeared in his hand, as if he was really going to offer his treasure. Ha ha ha, you kid, very good, know the current affairs. You can rest assured, as long as you take things out to us obediently, the old man will definitely leave you alive. After all, our Kinglin domain and Mayuan domain are close friends. So, thank you senior for your kindness. Qin Feng greeted slightly with a respectful attitude. After that, he threw the storage ring on his hand to Lao Li in front of him without hesitation. Seeing that the storage ring was about to fall into the opponent's hand, Qin Feng's gaze suddenly changed into a red streamer in an instant. Do it! Wow! Qin Feng directly displayed his pupil technique, and at this moment, a ray of light was suddenly released. Soul! Storm! Qin Feng's all-out urging for this extremely unbelievable fascinating knowledge, surpassing everything. In just a moment of effort, the power of the terrifying soul enveloped all the people in the Kinglin domain. Spiritual magic, open it to me. Hearing Qin Feng's orders, at the moment Qin Feng made his move, the disciples of the spiritual fantasy sect also did not hesitate to display their magic skills. The Phantom Gate is already extremely proficient in illusion. At this moment, when their illusions and Qin Feng's soul stunts cooperated with each other, they directly exploded with unimaginable power. Kill. Not only Qin Feng and Ling Huan Man shot, the others did not hesitate, everyone seized this opportunity and attacked at almost the same moment. Hey! The swordsmanship of taking sword sect is extraordinary. In this moment, the sword aura was like a dream bubble, sweeping towards the people in the Kinglin region with a shock of heaven and earth. Damn it! You are so bold! Old Lee's face suddenly became gloomy and sullen, and his whole body was constantly trembling with anger. I saw that he suddenly put on the crutches in his hand and shook towards the ground. Boom! A majestic coercion, with his whole person as the center point, instantly spread to the surroundings. His cultivation has reached the terrifying realm of Huayuan, how amazing is his combat power. Therefore, Qin Feng and the other's illusion technique hardly played any role to him. In the blink of an eye, he woke up from the illusion. The magnificent power of the Yuan realm was dazzled by a junior of the five-tiered spirit realm. Just ask, how could the anger in old Li's heart be easy to give up? Boom! Accompanied by Lao Li's shot, in an instant, cracks began to appear on the ground, and the rumbling sound was endless. Haha, <laughs> Kinglin Domain? Transformation Origin Realm? What kind of thing? However, with this attack by Mr. Li, a contemptuous, yet cold voice sounded slowly. This voice seemed like a god, with an icy chill. Rakage flickered. The mighty power. Only above the void, a real dragon phantom suddenly appeared. Boom! Accompanied by Qin Feng's stern shout, this attack. At this moment, the ground that had been cracking continuously was forcibly terminated and suppressed. At this moment, Qin Feng looks cold and indifferent, with a sword-like temperament. Around his body, true energy lingers, and the shadow of the dragon follows, like an invincible of war. Among the masters in Kinglin domain, only the strength of old Li was the most threatening. As long as this guy is beheaded, the people of Kinglin domain will have no leader, which is not worth mentioning. Whoosh! Qin Feng's figure flickered, and along with the dragon's shadow lingering, the light of his eyes released red luster again, like a divine light. Kill. Whoosh. The thorn of the soul, like a sharp arrow, rushed towards old Li, fiercely. The latter changed his face immediately, as if facing a big enemy. The Purgatory of Soul. 
These two terrifying soul stunts are both invincible and surprisingly powerful. Not to mention that it is a mere Huayuan realm in one level, even if it is two or three small realms higher, Qin Feng is still sure to defeat it. As predicted. That old Li's soul, after being attacked by these two souls, his whole person suddenly became sluggish and his head went blank. This is the moment. Qin Feng directly displayed his many stunts in order to attack Lao Li by surprise. Swish. The seven-handed scarlet heavenly sword, at this moment, was also dispatched from the nest and slaughtered towards old Li. Damn little thing! I must break your corpse into pieces. However, Lao Li's strength was indeed extraordinary, and soon he woke up again. Old Li quickly shot, trying to resist all attacks. It is a pity that Qin Feng's sword aura is too domineering, completely beyond his expectations. Even if he tried his best to resist, but on him, he was still drawn with sword marks by the sword aura. Wow! However, even if Lao Li's injury is not minor, it will not cause him to fall. With a low sound of sword aura, only old Li raised his crutches and swiped towards the front suddenly. In an instant, the sword spirit is vertical and horizontal. The long sword hidden in it finally began to unsheath at this time. Whizzing! The sword aura, like a dense sword rain, rushed towards Qin Feng like a gust of wind and rain. The most powerful Mr. Li was restrained by Qin Feng. Then Li Bufen and others would naturally not miss this opportunity to display their unique skills one by one, and kill the warriors in Qinglin region to a single piece. After all, Qin Feng's soul skills are too domineering. Once fully released, opponents with insufficient strength can definitely fall into a short-term purgatory fantasy. What's more, there is the disciple of the spiritual illusion door, who uses illusion to assist. Those disciples of Qinglin domain, if they want to wake up in a short time, there is almost no possibility. At least five or six seconds. The opponent was absent for five or six seconds. For Li Bufen and the others, it was completely enough to easily obliterate the opponent. Damn. Damn. Little thing, I must kill you. Listening to the screams of those Kin Glanyu disciples beside him, that old Li's face became particularly ferocious, and he gritted his teeth with anger. What is this? Just as everyone was clearing the surroundings, suddenly, Li Bufen's expression changed suddenly. I saw that in his hand, a blue long sword was releasing sharp streams of light. On the sword body, there were actually two very old characters engraved. For Qin Feng, he naturally knew these two words, and what was written on it was beat wind. This gusty sword is the sword of my taking sword sect, a genius master. Spiritual ring, this is the magic weapon used by the elder of my spiritual door. And this knife belongs to Artian Hyman. Suddenly, the expressions of all warriors changed drastically. So many magic weapons of various martial arts appeared in this place. This can only be due to one reason, that is, Lao Li and the others have already killed a lot of Mayuan domain warriors and have taken away all the magic weapons from them. Moreover, this is only Kinglin Domain, one of the teams. In this primordial space, there are probably other teams that are constantly hunting down the warriors of the Mayuan realm. It seems that we all must act separately. Li Bufen said in a deep voice. Almost all of them have their own sect. Now that this kind of thing has happened, the others in their sect are likely to be in danger. Therefore, how can they sit back and watch? Yes, we are together, although it is safe, but in such a large area, it is not easy to meet other sect teams. I think everyone should separate and help others. In case those people are in danger, our support is not timely, but it will be in trouble. After everyone's discussion, they all chose to act separately. Everyone quickly clean up, and then we split into teams to help other teams. Qin Feng's expression also gradually became serious. As a member of the Alchemy Alliance, although he had only joined the Alchemy Alliance not long ago, he did not have too deep feelings. However, with the care of Meng Xian and others, 
it is absolutely impossible for him to let the clerks of the Alchemy Alliance be killed by Kinglin Domain. Take care everyone. After cleaning the surrounding corpses, the group of people divided into teams and spread out towards the surrounding. Wow! Qin Feng's speed was like lightning. At this moment, he almost urged the true qi in his body to the extreme, running wildly. The soul power has been fully operated. Not only that, all his soul power was released, and he fully explored the surrounding situation. Because he is very worried about Xian Yu and others now. Although Xian Yu and others were not particularly far away from him, there was also the curse of the Devil King, guarding Xian Yu. But Qin Feng is still worried about him. Ha ha ha. Really a beauty who is all over the country and the city. It is really unlovable. You women in the Mayuan realm are so perfect. Just when Qin Feng galloped. Suddenly, I heard a burst of wild laughter, coming from afar. Wow! As his eyes opened, Qin Feng's face suddenly became extremely sharp and cold. At the same time, Qin Feng's figure rushed in that direction in an instant. Only seen there. Four weak women were collapsing on the ground, unable to resist. And they are all warriors of Mayuan realm. A bunch of bastards. A woman on the ground shouted fiercely, but she was helpless. At this moment, the four of them were seriously injured, and there was no counterattack at all. Next to them, there were almost thirty people, staring at them with a smile on their faces, ready to move. Finally, someone couldn't bear it and started walking towards them, wanting to do something with them. Dead. See this scene before me. Qin Feng's expression suddenly became very cold and stern, a majestic aura suddenly burst out. Just killing, that's all. However, Qin Feng couldn't tolerate this guy even doing such a thing. Puff. One of the warriors who was about to leave was expecting something beautiful to happen, but suddenly felt a biting chill. The next moment, before he had time to react, the whole person lost consciousness and his body turned into a burst of debris. Puff. A lot of blood, like fireworks, spread out to the surroundings. Who is it? Hiding. The warriors in Kinglin region were all vigilant. After that, his eyes fell on a figure. It's our people from the realm of Mayuan. Seeing Qin Feng's appearance, the faces of the female disciples showed a hint of surprise. Wow! The Scarlet Heavenly Sword quietly burst out from Qin Feng's body and circled Qin Feng's body. After taking a look, Qin Feng's expression on the dozens of martial artists in Kinglin region was extremely cold. You guys, don't even want to leave. Boom! At this moment, the Qi Black Heaven Sword was constantly trembling and whistling, like a fierce tiger burning in anger, exploding with an extremely depressing and powerful aura. Kill. Boom. Without any delay, Qin Feng ran his true energy directly, spurring the Qi Black Heaven Sword. At this moment, the sky was full of sword aura, shocking the sky. In an instant, Qin Feng was like a demon and murderer from hell. Wherever his figure went, the sky full of sword aura seemed to be the most cruel slaughter machine, frantically killing those warriors in Kinglin region. Puff puff. A series of blood fog, quietly blooming, like the most beautiful flower bones, eye-catching and shocking. At this moment, Qin Feng didn't show any mercy or mercy at all. Because one should not be kind to such scum and beasts. Soul slaughter. Qin Feng was completely angry. He not only wants to obliterate the bodies of these people, but also destroys his souls, so that they can never be superborn. Kill. Endless killing. A series of faint souls were attacked by Qin Feng's soul, madly destroyed and crushed. In Qin Feng's eyes, these people deserved their sins and were not worthy of sympathy. Damn it, bastard, go to hell. An angry shout suddenly sounded. I saw there. A very large figure, like a demon's hand, was suppressed fiercely towards Qin Feng. This force is really terrifying, and the void continues to produce cracks wherever it passes. Meteor Hammer 
The body of the visitor was very thin, but he was holding a very huge meteor hammer with a large number of runes on it, flashing mysterious light, it was an unusual weapon at first glance. Judging from the fluctuations in its aura, it was surprisingly a master who had reached the ninth level of the god throughput realm. Damn it, it's you. With a cold snort, Qin Feng directly shot with all his strength, urging his soul power. Obliterate. How overbearing Qin Feng's soul power is. At this moment, among the warriors in the entire primordial space, there are probably not many people who can withstand his soul attack. Therefore, this trick is almost a breeze, passing through the soul of the opponent. That master, only felt the whole person suddenly stiff, and waited until he recovered. The whole body, but there was a burst of extremely cold pain. Puff. In the next second, all pillars of blood burst out all over his body, looking extremely hideous and terrifying. With just one move, this person was killed by Qin Feng. Whizzing. The remaining warriors of Kinglin region were also inevitable, and Qin Feng took their lives. Now. The Scarlet Sky Sword, after absorbing a large amount of blood, the entire body of the sword suddenly turned scarlet red, looking very strange. Hey! The figure flickered. Qin Feng came to these female disciples and looked at them calmly. At this moment, apart from the surprise of the rest of their lives, all they have on their faces are shock and incredible. It can be said that every one of the few people present can be regarded as a good girl of heaven. If this is outside, they will definitely be favored by the major sex. It is a pity that they are a little helpless in the face of those masters in Kinglin Domain. Only one step away, they will become the playthings of Kinglin Domain warriors. Of course, what shocked them most was Qin Feng's terrifying strength. They could see that Qin Feng only had the fifth level of the god throughout realm, but it was such a guy who actually killed so many people. Among them, the martial artist of the ninth level of the god sounding realm, a master that even they could not deal with, was killed by Qin Feng with a single move. May I ask? Is this really something that a warrior of the five-tiered realm can do? You can take away the storage rings on these people. The space in the early days is too dangerous. I think you guys, we should find a place quickly, hide it well, and find the opportunity to go out as soon as possible. Looking at these women, Qin Feng said lightly. Immediately, the whole person turned into an afterimage and disappeared into the distance. Now he can only help them so much. Although he is kind, it does not mean to be a good man. He also has his own business to do. Therefore, it is impossible for him to have been distracted to take care of these women. Of course, the most important reason was that Qin Feng at this time was very worried about Xian Yu's safety. Although there is Cursed Sky Demon King who protects Xian Yu there, the most powerful thing that Cursed Sky Demon King can display is the Huayuan Realm. The real combat power is probably better than the Heavenly Destruction Sect Master, and should be almost the same as the Profound King Taigi. Although this strength is already very powerful, it does not mean that the world is invincible. After all, there are still many Huayuan Realm warriors with hidden cultivation bases in this primal beginning space. For a warrior like this who has hidden his cultivation base, it would be okay if he only had one or two levels of transformation origin realm. But if it is that kind of terrible old monster with various powerful methods, cursing the devil may not be able to stabilize them. Wow! Thinking of this, Qin Feng once again increased his body speed. Along the way. You can see the fight everywhere. A wave of terrifying innocence continued to rise to the sky all kinds of sword aura permeated. Obviously, the warriors of the Kinglin region and the Mayuan region began to fight with all their strength, and they were fighting fiercely. However, for this point, the warriors on both sides have already expected it, so it is not surprising. This time, Kinglanyu's move was obviously for the treasures in the primordial space. What kind of treasure is it, worthy of them? It takes so much trouble to inspire so much. Qin Feng secretly guessed. Swish. 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 From this path, 
Qin Feng also beheaded a lot of warriors from Qinglin region. Qin Feng was not a killer, but he was definitely not the kind of good old man. At this moment, he can already be 100% sure. The reason why these warriors from the Qinglin realm entered the primordial dimension was to suppress the Mayuan realm. Almost all of them have been cruel to the warriors of the Mayuan realm, without any mercy. That being the case, Qin Feng would naturally not let these guys go. Where did the junior dare to kill me from Qinglin domain? Along the way, Qin Feng killed so many Qinglin domain warriors, it will inevitably attract the attention of some Qinglin domain masters. On the way Qin Feng was rushing forward, he was blocked by two powerful attacks. At the next moment, only two figures appeared in Qin Feng's vision. Of these two people, one is a thin old man, and the other is a young man about 30 years old. The two of them hovered in the air, exuding violent auras, as majestic as the ocean tide. Even the void around their bodies was constantly trembling, and faint cracks inadvertently spread. Okay. Seeing these two people who appeared suddenly, Qin Feng frowned secretly, involuntarily showing a trace of vigilance. The strength of these two guys is very powerful. It's just that the true realm of the two of them is only the ninth level of the god communication realm. The masters of this kind of combat power are hardly inferior to the Huayuan realm, but their realm is only the ninth level of the Shentong realm. Of course, under normal circumstances, even if the opponent is a genius and has a combat power comparable to that of a master of Huayuan realm, Qin Feng would not care too much. Because he is very confident of his own strength. It's just that, on these two people, a very strange aura fluctuates. This made Qin Feng always feel that something was wrong in his heart, which seemed to pose a threat to him. The auras of the two of them seem to be quite similar, but they obviously belong to the two. One seems to be Xiaowu, the other is Xiu's soul, but each has the characteristics of each other. Along with Qin Feng, using his soul power to explore, his inner doubts are getting deeper and deeper. In the bodies of the two people in front of him, he also sensed a breath that seemed to be between the same blood. And this breath of blood means that the two of them are real brothers. But the appearance of the two of them is very different. Wow! The entire figure of Zhu Yang began to gradually appear on Qin Feng's shoulder, and its eyes flashed with flowing black flames. The two of them are indeed not father and son or grandson, but real brothers. This kind of situation, I have encountered before, belongs to a very special mutant bloodline. Brothers with this kind of blood, one is good at martial arts cultivation, the other is proficient in soul power. Once you cooperate, you can borrow each other's strength, which is almost an increase in strength. After listening to Zhu Yang's explanation, Qin Feng seemed to understand. Why? These two guys in front of them are not too high in realm, but they have brought an inexplicable threat to themselves. The two people in front of them, once they join forces, it means that their martial arts and souls are very enchanting existences. Moreover, still deal with two people at the same time. It is conceivable that ordinary warriors will face what pressure once they meet them. With their skill, there is no difficulty in defeating some Huayuan realms. At this moment, the two were facing Qin Feng. Whoosh! The two of them rushed towards Qin Feng quickly like a flash of lightning. Humph! Although these two guys can join hands with each other to gain each other's power, they can be called evil opponents. However, for Qin Feng, there is no fear. Purgatory illusion, show me. Qin Feng didn't make any extra moves, but only used this soul skill. In an instant, only Qin Feng's eyes were seen with a ray of scarlet streamer. Immediately, a series of terrifying soul power burst out of his body. It was a momentary effort. After being attacked by such a terrible soul, the bodies of the two people on the opposite side trembled suddenly and fell directly from the void to the ground. At the same time, there was a cry of pain in their mouths. Die to me! Without saying a word, Qin Feng directly raised his right hand, a thunder sword aura, quickly emitted from his palm, turning into two sword lights. In a second, 
those two brothers who seemed incomparable fell into Qin Feng's hands. Wow! Just at the moment when the bodies of these two people were torn apart by sword energy. A ray of soul fluctuated, but suddenly broke out of it, fleeing into the distance embarrassingly at a speed that could not cover the ears. Hee <laughs> hee, in front of my Qin Feng, still want to escape. Qin Feng made a soft snort in his mouth, opened his eyes suddenly, then stretched out his right hand and grabbed it towards the void. O.M. Accompanied by an extremely overbearing soul power, that ray of soul fluctuation was actually swallowed and refined by Qin Feng easily. What? After Qin Feng fluctuated and swallowed this wisp of soul, his expression became very serious. Because Qin Feng learned a lot of information from those memories of the other party. These people from Kinglin Domain really have other uses. I didn't expect to send so many masters. Moreover, their purpose is not unexpected. It is to kill all the warriors of the Mayuan Domain in the space of the beginning. It can be seen that this time, the people of Kinglin Domain have made up their minds to completely tear their skin with Mayuan Domain. Moreover, in the memory of this guy's soul, Qin Feng also received other important news. For example, King Glanyu has spent a lot of time this time, and coming to Taisha space has already been planned. Killing the warriors of the Mayuan Domain is just one of the goals. They have another task. It's just a pity. The soul memory of this guy is not too complete, and Qin Feng has no way of knowing what their mission is. Boom. Just when Qin Feng was still thinking about it. Suddenly, an extremely loud sound blasted across the sky like thunder. Something's wrong. In the eyes of Zhu Yuyang, the black flame kept jumping, his expression became extremely cautious. At this moment, his strength has returned to the Huayuan realm, which can be said to be very powerful. The most important thing is that it can now be used, part of the nine nether flames in the body. This means that if it seizes the opportunity, it can even kill the warriors in the Huayuan realm instantly. At the same time, after its strength has increased, its own sensing ability has naturally risen, and it is much stronger than before. There is something wrong. Qin Feng nodded slightly. The huge movement just now made him notice a very threatening aura. Boom! In an instant. He hadn't waited for Qin Feng to recover. A very domineering aura, but it broke out in an instant. What is that? Suddenly, a very shocked exclamation sounded. In his voice, it seemed to be audible, with a hint of trembling. It seemed that at this moment, something happened to him, something very exaggerated. Obviously, there are other warriors in the vicinity of Qin Feng. However, at this moment, Qin Feng had no thoughts to pay attention to these little things. His attention has been focused on the sky. I saw that, above the void, a series of terrible fireballs suddenly appeared. Even if it was a long distance away, Qin Feng could still feel the unimaginable heat in it. Follow closely. With a series of exclamations, those terrifying fireballs suddenly swept toward the bottom. Terrible. This scene is really terrifying, it is no different from the doomsday natural disaster. The power of these fireballs is too domineering. Too scary. Even the martial artist of the ninth layer of Tongshen realm, as long as it touches a little flame, it will be burned to ashes in an instant. Swish swish. Strong winds also appeared at this time, causing the fire to burn even more violently. Rumble. At the same time, there were waves of thunder, from the void, accompanied by fireballs, enveloped the entire ground bombardment fiercely. All this is terrible. At this moment, in this primordial space, similar images appeared everywhere. In that case, it was as if the arrival of the warriors of the two great domains angered the anger of the Taisha space. Therefore, it began to explode this kind of natural disaster, and wanted to destroy all foreigners. Rumble. A large amount of domineering energy, at this moment, seems to be unbeatable, destroying everything crazily. Suddenly, the void shattered, everything was overturned, and the wailing and screams were endless. 
whether it is a monster, a plant, or a human warrior, at this moment, the fire, icicles, thunder, and lightning are brutally obliterated. The fire burns, and the sky is cloudless. Xuanbing is like a pillar, freezing the earth. Thunder surging, crush everything. All these forces are completely beyond the reach of human warriors. 9 Nether Flame Great Formation Seeing this situation and this scene, Zhu Yanping suddenly flashed his eyes, spread his black wings, and released wisps of energy. At this moment, thousands of mysterious runes began to burst out, turning into a barrier, protecting it from Qin Feng. It's hateful. If I didn't guess wrong, there must be someone with no eyesight that touched the defensive prohibition of the primordial space. That's why it caused this big movement. Zhu Yuyang complained very unhappy. Wow! Qin Feng didn't answer but just kept running infuriating energy. Between the blinking eyes, I saw a cyan streamer, forming a wooden attribute barrier to protect the body surface. Boom boom! Flame explosion! Ice crystals hit the ground. Thunder surging! The wind is lingering! At this moment, facing such a fierce offensive, even Qin Feng couldn't help but shake his body suddenly. These attacks are truly extraordinary. Even if it is stronger than him, the strength that can be called an evildoer, it is quite difficult to deal with it. The little guy Xian Yu, with the curse of the devil next to him, will probably not suffer any harm. But other people, I'm afraid. Looking into the distance, Qin Feng couldn't help but feel worried. Such terrible lethality, I am afraid that not many people have enough strength to resist. This time, the disciples of the Pill Refining League would lose a lot. Boom! This disaster, like a disaster in the last days, lasted for almost half a day. Fortunately. In the end, peace was restored. Call. Looking at the void, and gradually returning to its normal color, Zhu Yuyang couldn't help but exhale, sweating all over his body from exhaustion. Maid, it's really uncomfortable. Hu <laughs> hu. Even Qin Feng was panting, and there was a trace of exhaustion in his eyes. Obviously, in the face of such a terrible energy shock, he also endured great pressure. What is that? As everything calmed down, when Qin Feng saw the surrounding situation again, his face changed drastically. Too frightening. It's really terrible. I saw that the originally green land had turned into a barren at this moment. The sky was full of smoke and dust, and there were a lot of potholes on the ground, like an oasis turned into a desert. Even Qin Feng's vision is far beyond ordinary people, but he can't see the desert border in front of him. All of this seems to be the real picture after the disaster of the last days comes. This, terrible destructive power. It is said that this primordial space is a treasure inherited from the ancient times. Judging from the power that it bursts out, it is indeed a bit extraordinary. My God! What is this? Suddenly, an unbelievable shock came from a distance. The location of this voice probably came from a hundred miles away. If it wasn't for the other party's full roar, I am afraid that even Qin Feng might not be able to hear clearly. Obviously, in the big movement just now, some warriors still survived. In the direction over there, the yellow sand was all over the sky, and the dust that rolled up the ripples of the water looked very spectacular. However, after seeing this scene, Qin Feng changed his face again. Because, in the process of these yellow sands continuously rotating and flying, Qin Feng noticed buildings, which were constantly emerging from the ground. When the yellow sand was blown by the violent wind and became less and less, the entire building was completely within Qin Feng's vision. Do not. This is not just one building, but thousands of them. It looks like a magnificent city. Qin Feng released his soul power with all his strength, and began to carefully observe the buildings in front of him. At last. Qin Feng is certain that these buildings are a city, an ancient city from the ancient times. This ancient city, because it has existed for too long, has become a piece of ruins. Although. Qin Feng didn't know why such a magnificent city would be destroyed here. 
but Qin Feng is certain that there must be various great opportunities in it. This is Qin Feng's intuition. In other words, this is the experience of his two lives. Swish! Swish! At this moment, the remaining warriors naturally noticed this ancient city. As a result, the sound of breaking through the sky began to gallop over there quickly. Among these warriors, not only the warriors of Kinglin Domain, but also the warriors of Mayuan Domain. Now, because of the appearance of this magnificent ancient city, everyone temporarily gave up the killing and all began to rush towards the ancient city. Why do you kill? Not for the greater good. But this ancient city can obviously bring them even more substantial benefits. Let's hurry over too. At this moment, Qin Feng had sensed the fluctuations in the aura of the Curse Sky Demon King, and he was not far away, probably only more than 60 miles away. Relying on his breath induction, Qin Feng did not delay, urged his true energy with all his strength, and ran away in a certain direction. Boom! At the same moment Qin Feng ran wildly. Suddenly. A very terrifying momentum, with the domineering sound of breaking through the air, exploded quickly. After that, you can see a group of figures swiftly passing by in the void. The headed young man's eyes exudes a sharp luster, and his body is filled with powerful aura fluctuations. The ancient city has appeared. Everything in this place should belong to our Kinglin domain. It belongs to our Ling Long Xian zone. If I can get a chance against the sky, my combat power will increase again. By then, who will be my enemy at the same level? At this moment, another place. A muscular man with a strong build, exuding a violent and hot breath, like magma. Holding a long sword in flames in his hand, he rushed towards the ancient city with three steps as two steps. Behind him, followed by powerful figures, following him. Hey, this thing really appeared. Looking at the magnificent city ahead, a trace of enthusiasm appeared on the face of the brawny man. This time, I will definitely win the chance against the sky. As long as I get this chance, the strength of my floating tyrant will reach an unimaginable level. The future will be the sky. Wow! A roar of a wolf suddenly sounded from a sky. Immediately afterwards, an extremely beautiful shadow, riding a giant wolf full of fire, quickly floated past. She looks as beautiful as a girl, but she has a very mature temperament all over her body. She, is Lu Sunji of the God Refining Mansion. At this moment, all the geniuses from various sects rushed towards the ancient city. Every one of them knew very well that a great opportunity was in that place. As long as they can seize the opportunity, their future achievements will undergo earth-shaking changes. Wow! The speed of Qin Feng's body is astonishingly fast. In an instant, he ran wildly for dozens of miles and stayed on a hillside. In this place, amidst the yellow sand in the sky, there was a very cold and icy atmosphere. I'm not reconciled, not reconciled. In the darkness, the howls of ghosts and wolves began to emerge. This kind of sound is not made by human beings, but from the sound of fluctuations in the soul. Wow! Qin Feng's eyes flashed, and the soul power in his body quickly spread to the surrounding area. It is the remnant souls of those warriors, the grievances left behind. With that, Qin Feng's soul power was released, and the resentment of those remnants of the soul was directly dissipated. This kind of remnant soul is condensed by the powerful resentment of the warrior. If it is not guarded, or if the strength of its own soul is relatively weak, it will even affect the mind of the warrior. If I didn't guess wrong, I am afraid that many warriors have fallen in this place. Looking at the surroundings, the voice of Julia Yank came slowly, and its eyes kept scanning the surroundings. Yes. Qin Feng nodded affirmatively, but there was a hint of worry in his expression. Because the breath of the curse of the devil he sensed is near here. However, he did not discover the existence of cursed heaven demon king, Xian Yu, and others. Wow! A violent wind blew suddenly. Immediately afterwards, a looming hole appeared somewhere on the mountainside. Hey! Inside! 
Judging from the entrance of this cave, I am afraid that there is another cave inside. Looking at the cave in front of him, a thought flashed through Qin Feng's heart inexplicably. Could it be that Xian Yu and the others happened to pass through this cave and directly reached the inside of that city? Although this thought was only fleeting, it made Qin Feng's heart more and more certain. The big movement just now was too terrifying. It was almost like a disaster in the last days, and most people couldn't resist it at all. Even the martial artist of the ninth layer of the God Passing Realm is very likely to fall under those energy attacks. If you want to really resist, you must at least have the cultivation base of the Hua Yuan Realm, or the corresponding combat effectiveness. Taking the background of the Alchemy Alliance, it will naturally send many Hua Yuan Realm warriors. However, none of Xian Yu's team had reached the Hua Yuan Realm. So, if they want to survive, they must hide in this cave. Moreover, according to Qin Feng's induction, the guy that cursed the devil had obviously not fallen yet. Wow! At this moment, Qin Feng no longer delays. With a flash of thought, the whole person headed directly towards the cave and ran across it quickly. Boom! As Qin Feng's true energy revolved, he directly shook open most of the cave that was blocked by rocks. Sure enough, when Qin Feng entered inside, there was indeed a different world. That's right. They are not far away. As Qin Feng progressed, the breath of the curse of the devil became more and more intense. Obviously, Xu Tian Demon King and others have indeed entered this cave. Suddenly, the induction of the curse of the Demon King gradually increased. Through Qin Feng's observation, the interior of this space really resembled the outline of that city. Boom! When Qin Feng passed through a passage, he only saw that the place under his feet was made of a very precious material. Looking around, the whole thing looks very gloomy, as if it has been underground for a long time without being exposed to sunlight. This place, in all likelihood, is the location of that city. Wow! Qin Feng thought, and in an instant, the vastness of the soul power quickly spread to the surrounding area. They are in that place. Qin Feng's expression suddenly revealed a hint of surprise. Because he had already detected the fluctuations in the aura of the curse of the Demon King and the group. Boom! At this moment, the terrible collision sounds and the trembling sound of the void are spreading out continuously. Between the bursts of air, the fierce true energy and magic weapon light were constantly colliding, aggressively. I only saw that in that place. On a very empty ground. The figures shot each other, with fierce energy, madly bombarding the surrounding void. Among these people, there was Xian Yu and his party. Except for Xian Yu and the others, the party who fought with them were two figures exuding the aura of fire. The speed of these two figures seemed rather slow, but after each shot, they could burst out with amazing power, enough to cover the void within a few kilometers. The most frightening thing is that their attack has almost no loopholes. With the faint light flickering around, you can notice that these two figures are very tall, wrapped in cloth strips, and look very strange. Moreover, they didn't have the breath of any creature, just like two corpses. But every time they make a shot, they are very fierce, forcing Xian Yu and others to evade three-pointers. Roll. Just when the bodies of Xian Yu and the others were almost unable to support them, a dull anger suddenly erupted. Boom! Thunder and lightning flickered and sword energy erupted. At this moment, it seemed to condense into a sea of lightning and sword energy. Wow! Sword Qi aspect. Turning into sharp blades, directly tore the bodies of those two figures into two. Ba ba ba! The terrible thunder and lightning power also penetrated into the opponent's body in an instant. As if Gan Chai encountered a raging fire, the opponent had no resistance at all. Big Brother Qin Xian Yu, who was originally low-willed, showed an expression of excitement in an instant and shouted loudly. Wow! A figure flashed quickly, and it was Qin Feng who came. After seeing Xian Yu and his party, Qin Feng couldn't help but spit out a sigh of air. How did you guys come to this place? Looking at Xian Yu, 
Qin Feng's gaze immediately turned to Bulat and Fei and asked. At this moment, Nabiya Fei was covered with blood, and his whole body looked very tired and weak. This appearance really surprised Qin Feng. After looking at the others, Qin Feng noticed that only three people were present, and the others were gone. Our group encountered an attack from the Tianchen sect. Under the leadership of Yang Yunchen, the of the Tianchen sect suddenly chose to attack when we were unprepared. A trace appeared on Step Fei's face. Very angry hatred, said with a gloomy face. Yang Yunchen. Qin Feng naturally knew this person. Before, when they entered this primordial space, Meng Xian had deliberately asked himself to pay attention to this person. Unexpectedly, Yang Yunchen would actually choose to do something with Xian Yu and the others. Okay. Qin Feng's gaze suddenly looked at Xian Yu next to him again. In the next second, his eyes instantly became cold. At this moment, the injuries on Xian Yu's body were so serious that they were completely beyond his imagination. Almost all of his body's internal organs were severely injured. Not only that, the aura on his body is also exceptionally disordered and weak, and it seems that he will faint at any time. It is conceivable that Xian Yu in this state suffered from the serious injuries. This is a ruthless hand under Yang Yunchen. If we didn't dodge fast enough, I'm afraid it would be difficult to escape from his hand. Thanks to the big movement that happened just now, we took this opportunity to escape. It's just that Xian Yu was still hit by the opponent's palm. Biu Fei said with a guilty expression on his face. As the most powerful person in this group, he failed to protect the others, which really made him very self-blame. Senior Step Fei, this matter has nothing to do with you, why should you blame yourself? Qin Feng sighed softly and said comfortingly. After that, he quickly took out a pill from his body, threw it directly into Xian Yu's mouth, and swallowed it. Om. At the same time, Qin Feng began to quickly activate the eternal tree in his body, and the majestic energy poured into his hands like a sea tide. Subsequently, under the installation of Qin Feng's vitality, Xian Yu's extremely serious injury unexpectedly recovered a lot. It's just that if you want a complete recovery, I'm afraid it will take some time to recuperate. Then what kind of strength Yang Yunchen is, if it weren't for Xian Yu himself? his strength would be very difficult. I am afraid that this palm would directly cause him to fall. Curse the Devil King, come out for me. After securing Xian Yu's injury, Qin Feng was in his heart and let out a cold stern. Hey! The figure of the Curse Sky Demon suddenly flashed, quickly emerged from Xian Yu's body, and then penetrated into Qin Feng's body. In Qin Feng's soul knowledge see, the curse of the devil also has a helpless expression. Qin Feng, I can't really blame this thing. It's because it happened so fast. Even with my current strength, there is no way to react in such a short time. Originally, I was about to show up to deal with that guy, but, as you know, the entire primordial space suddenly changed, so there was nothing more. Curse the Devil King's words, although it is shirking responsibility. But Xian Yu was able to live to the present, but it was actually in the dark, helping a lot. So now, Qin Feng has no reason to blame it. After all, he had personally experienced the changes in the world just now. If it was when he was fighting against someone, he suddenly came across it, even if it was himself, it would be difficult for him to take care of his own safety. Humph! I'll let you go for now. Qin Feng snorted coldly, his eyes released a stream of icy light, like frost. Tian Chen sect. You are so courageous. You dare to do something to the people of our alchemy alliance. I'm afraid, before you came to Taisha space, you had already discussed and planned it. Qin Feng, this matter must not be taken carelessly. Then Yang Yunchen's combat power is not trivial. Through previous fights, I can be sure that his cultivation level has reached the Huayuan realm. Faced with this strength, we are almost unsure of winning. Buladin Fei said with a sigh in his mouth. It's okay, Senior Step Fei, there is only Yang Yunchen, 
so I don't want Qin Feng to take it seriously. No matter how powerful Yang Yunchen is, he can't surpass the heavenly destruction sect master and others. Therefore, Qin Feng would not have any fear at all. And Xian Yu is a descendant of Meng Xian. Meng Xian took special care of herself, so in any case, Qin Feng couldn't let go of Tian Chen sect, and couldn't let Yang Yunchen go. This is Qin Feng, cruel and cruel to his enemies, but very loyal to his friends. No, it's not just Yang Yunchen. This time, I always feel that things are not as simple as I imagined. Many of the genius masters who came to the primordial space, most of them are united in loyalty. Only those genius masters that we have made friends with in the Alchemy Alliance are scattered everywhere. This matter, I am afraid it is a bit abnormal. Step Fei said in a deep voice. Hey? What do you mean by this senior? Qin Feng's eyes flickered, as if he had guessed what the other party meant. This action, I am afraid it is deliberately calculating our Alchemy Alliance. The number of people sent by our Alchemy League should be about 30 people. Except for a few, old guys like me. The others are all talented geniuses. Even, there are some geniuses who have reached the Huayuan realm, and they are much stronger than the sole power of ordinary warriors. If this kind of genius is obliterated in the primordial space, it will definitely be a huge blow to our alchemy alliance. Wow! At this moment, even Qin Feng's expression became slightly solemn. Yes. This step-by-step -step guess is actually quite reasonable. Moreover, almost the deadliest guess was said. With so many talented masters, each one is the core figure of the Alchemy Alliance and the pillar of the future. After all, if you want to successfully enter this primordial space, you need an extremely large soul power. If all of their geniuses fell into the space of the primordial beginning, even the Alchemy Alliance would be greatly hurt. Furthermore, the people of the Dust Sect that day secretly colluded with many sects against the Alchemy Alliance, such as the Ten Thousand Beast Sect and the Flame Palace. This time, these guys unite, I'm afraid they just want to severely suppress the Alchemy Alliance. Alchemy League, but a big piece of fat. The wealth it occupies and the resources it possesses are definitely beyond the imagination of other sects. If the Pill Refining Alliance can greatly hurt their vitality, their other sects will have stronger confidence in the future. Qin Feng's face changed slightly. This is probably the biggest potential threat. Looking at the corpses of the two strange creatures on the ground, they gradually melted into two pools of water on the ground. Obviously, these two guys are creatures in this city, very weird. Hurry up, everyone is quicker. Our only goal now is to find the fellows in the Alchemy Alliance. Otherwise, as long as a member of the Alchemy Alliance survives, Lua Shui will definitely be furious, and our sect cannot withstand his revenge. At this moment, a rapid voice came from a distance. They are members of the Ten Thousand Beast sect. Hearing this voice, Step Fei's expression suddenly changed drastically. Hide your body first, and they will leave it to me. The corner of Qin Feng's mouth raised a cold smile. A fierce suffocation suddenly broke out from him. What? Can you handle it alone? Don't worry, it's not difficult. Qin Feng shook his head and said confidently. Immediately, the majestic soul power began to spread out towards the distance. I only saw that a line of figures were rushing towards their direction quickly, more than ten miles away. There were about twenty people in this group, among them they were riding terrifying beast mounts. Sure enough, the people of the Ten Thousand Beast Sect and the people of the Dust Sect that day have colluded with each other. Looking at the group of people in front, Qin Feng's eyes flashed with cold killing intent. This group of people consists of two sects in total, one of which is the Ten Thousand Beast Sect, and the other is naturally the Tian Chen Sect. The person in the lead, using his magic tricks, controlled a monster-sized monster beast the size of a mouse, rushing around quickly. These rat creatures seem to be specially used to detect traces, constantly smelling the surrounding air. Immediately, there was a low hum in their mouths. Obviously, 
it is these rat creatures that are tracking the aura fluctuations of Xian Yu and others. He he, they are near this place. Suddenly, one of the mice moved suddenly and quickly escaped in a certain direction. Ha ha ha, your 10,000 beast sex beast control technique is really good. If it weren't for you, we might have a hard time finding those guys. The disciple of Tian Chen sect, raised his head and said with a big smile. He he he, these are small things. Anyway, our 10,000 beast sect has long wanted to suppress it. The arrogance of the Alchemy Alliance is already. After listening to the other party's praise, the disciple of the 10,000 beast sect was obviously very complacent, and said casually. Laugh. Suddenly, a sword gas swiftly passed. The sword light flickered, and the blood pillars sprayed suddenly, gorgeous as a flower. I saw that the rat creatures were crushed to pieces by the sword chi in an instant. The speed of this sword chi is too fast, and it is a bit scary. As a result, these people have not even reacted. Who is there? Seeing these pet beasts were beheaded, suddenly, a disciple of the 10,000 beast sect shouted. Hee hee, of course the one who took your lives. A cold voice slowly emerged. That voice, like a demon in the abyss, made people shudder. Immediately, a figure, like lightning, quickly appeared in front of everyone. The person who came had a cold face, and the true energy in his body burst out surgingly, billowing like thunder, which made people scared. He, it is, Qin Feng. Hey. I didn't expect it to be you bastard. Everyone, do it now, this kid has beaten our senior brother Lin Xing of the 10,000 beast sect into a waste. He is Qin Feng, a disciple of the Pill Refining League, and he also killed our senior brother Lu Yan of the Tian Chen sect. This hatred and hatred are not shared, everyone kills him together. Suddenly, after seeing Qin Feng show up. Suddenly, the twenty-odd people in front of them all looked furious and roared together. A bunch of idiots who don't know the height of the sky. The corners of Qin Feng's mouth showed a slight chill. Wow! I saw the Julia flame sparrow, shaking its wings suddenly. At the next moment, a black flame was suddenly released. Hee <laughs> hee, a bunch of rubbish, dare to almost lose face, let me die. Cursing the Devil King waved his hands to get the seal, a series of terrifying spells, began to envelope the more than twenty people. To solve the problem, the twenty-odd people in front of them don't even need Qin Feng. With the strength of the Nine Nether Flame Sparrow and the Cursed Sky Demon King, they were completely capable of killing them without leaving a piece of armor. Ah, this flame is terrifying. I can't stop it. A warrior was directly burned into ashes by the black flame, looking terrible. Ah, what the is this? Another warrior, cursed by the power of the spell, saw only his epidermis, cracks began to appear, like mud cracks, and finally turned into countless debris. Do not. Help. Too frightening. We knew it was wrong. The flames are rolling, the spell is unparalleled. Under the curse of the devil too at the same time, these warriors have no resistance at all. In the blink of an eye, more than twenty people in this line have been completely killed. However, Qin Feng's expression was not at all relaxed. Because there are more than twenty people in this line, the most powerful one is only the ninth layer of the Divine Realm. Although their strength is not too bad, it is definitely not much stronger. And whether it was the 10,000 Beast Sect or the Heavenly Dust Sect, it was definitely not just such a master. Their truly powerful geniuses have not yet appeared. Wow! After arranging Bu Fei and others, Qin Feng stopped hesitating and left the team directly. Move on towards this ancient city. There are also many masters in the Alchemy League. The reason why Qin Feng left with confidence was naturally because Bulat and Fei and others had already made contact with the masters of the Pill Refining Alliance. With the protection of these experts, Qin Feng no longer needs to worry about Xian Yu and the others. The building in front of me is very old, and the surroundings are filled with a cold and gloomy atmosphere. This city seems not easy. 
there was a voice in the mouth of the curse of the devil. For this primordial space, how much do you know? Looking at the curse of the Sky Demon King, Qin Feng asked calmly. I only know some. It is said that this primordial space comes from a long time ago, and there is a big city inside. The scope of that city is extremely vast, not even worse than the area of some large regions. It's just that I don't know why that city suddenly became an empty city. An ancient empty city. In Qin Feng's mouth, he murmured a word. Suddenly, opened his eyes. Although such ancient cities have become ruins, there must be some good opportunities in them. Such a wide and powerful ancient city, no matter how large it becomes a ruin, no matter how many years it goes, it will definitely retain some good things. Thinking of this, Qin Feng's body speed could not help but double again, like a bolt of lightning. This place seems to be quite sensitive to soul power. Maybe you can use more soul power, maybe you can find something. Shu Tian Devil opened his mouth to remind. Yes, I know. Qin Feng nodded slightly, and then quickly spread his soul power toward the surrounding area. In an instant, the soul power of his whole person came tens of thousands of meters away. That place. Whoosh. There was a sharp shout in Qin Feng's mouth. Immediately afterwards, the entire figure instantly turned into a stream of light and rushed forward quickly. After a while, a very old bamboo house suddenly appeared in Qin Feng's sight. This bamboo house is surrounded by wisps of blue streamers. Although it looks dilapidated and has a small area, in Qin Feng's eyes, it is extremely extraordinary. This turned out to be Jing Gangju. Oh my god, this thing is a refining material that is against the sky. The weapons refined with it are very sharp, not much worse than those magic weapons. Shu Tian Demon screamed, and a hint of surprise appeared on his face. Wow! Qin Feng nodded, and immediately stretched out his right hand to grab it. Boom! With a rumbling sound. The next moment, the bamboo house in front of him began to tremble violently, and the bamboos actually began to collapse, shatter, and finally turned into pieces. Seeing this scene, Qin Feng didn't care at all. After all, after not knowing how many years have passed, even those powerful figures will be lost in the dust of history. What's more, it's just a mere crystal bamboo. However, what surprised Qin Feng was that there were three verdant bamboos inside, which were not completely broken. Each of them looks very radiant on the surface, as beautiful as spar jasper, and emits cyan streamers, as if they are fierce sword energy. Ha ha ha! Only the best crystal bamboo bamboo can remain so intact after such a long time. This kid, we have made a lot of money. Cursing the demon king exclaimed with excitement. Moreover, in addition to refining weapons, this thing can also be used to nourish the soul, which is of great help to the soul body. Actually, there is no need for this guy to explain, because Qin Feng also knows the true value of this thing. Apart from anything else, Qin Feng directly put two of the bamboos into the storage ring. As for the remaining one, he held it in his hand and started to anger. She 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 she. Accompanied by Qin Feng's true anger burst out. In an instant, all the impurities on the surface of the crystal bamboo were expelled. After that, only a piece of very verdant bamboo was left. This is the purest place of Jing Gang bamboo. Wow! The next moment, the scarlet black sky sword began to move in Qin Feng's hands. As the sharp sword aura flickered, the prototype of a sword shadow appeared in his hand. The scarlet sky sword is just a small sword. Without the golden sword in hand, my strength will not be perfect after all. Looking at the crystal bamboo in his hand, Qin Feng frowned slightly and said lightly. What he is best at is naturally kendo. And without a long sword in hand, the combat effectiveness will definitely decrease a lot. Although, on his body, there is still a piece of ice profound iron. However, this thing is ice attribute power, if it is a warrior who cultivates ice attribute martial arts, it is quite suitable for use. Unfortunately, for Qin Feng, the improvement was not that great, 
so he had no choice but to give up. At this moment, with Jing Gangzu in his hand, Qin Feng only felt a cold breath coming. That kind of feeling, like a piece of ice jade, Qin Feng only felt that the whole mind was so comfortable and peaceful while the soul was moving. Obviously, this crystal gang bamboo does have the effect of nourishing the soul and soul. Not only that, because Qin Feng's body has the greenwood ancestral veins. At this moment, above the crystal bamboo bamboo, a lot of sword light suddenly began to be released. Om. In one second, the crystal bamboo is condensed into a long sword made of bamboo. Immediately, a fierce sword aura suddenly passed through, cutting the void directly into cracks. The power is really extraordinary. This crystal bamboo does have sharp power. I can use this bamboo sword for the time being, but I can display a lot of strength. Wow! Only seeing behind Qin Feng, a pair of illusory wings began to condense, and lightning lingered around him. In the next moment, Qin Feng flew up into the sky. The pressure in this place is very strong, even with my strength, it is very difficult to fly. Fortunately, there is also this thunder wing, which allows me to fly easily. With his eyes flickering, Qin Feng's entire figure flew towards the front quickly. This place, since crystal gang bamboo can appear, such a heavenly treasure. Then, there is a great possibility that there are other better treasures. Of course, this is certainly not the only one who thinks of this, and the rest of the warriors will also have this idea. It didn't take long for many warriors to begin to probe around this place seriously. Boom! A very tall building was directly shattered into ruins by a huge force. Immediately, along with the dust scattered in the sky, the dazzling brilliance suddenly soared into the sky, with a forceful momentum. Only seeing there, the faces of a group of warriors all showed surprises and shouted. Ha ha ha! This is definitely a treasure. I saw the streamer in front of me, soaring to the sky, as tall as a pillar to the sky. Its whole body is surrounded by fluorescent light, revealing a mysterious and mysterious atmosphere. Swish swish! At this moment, many warriors saw this, and they all began to rush towards this side quickly. In the face of such a vast and magnificent treasure ray, I am afraid that few people can remain calm. Hey! A warrior, his face full of greed, rushed towards there without hesitation. His whole body is quite extraordinary. You can tell at a glance, this guy's cultivation is more than ordinary. Trash, get away from me. A sturdy warrior, holding a battle axe in his hand, fiercely set off a terrible wave of air and blasted towards the opponent. Boom! In an instant, the warrior was hit by this terrible wave of air, and his whole body flew out directly. Puff! A mouthful of blood spurted out and the warrior was completely silent. This treasure is mine. The sturdy warrior had a vicious expression, and the black iron battle axe in his hand exuded a fierce cold light. Damn, this guy is a master of Kinglin domain. At this moment, looking at this sturdy man, the expressions of the other warriors changed drastically. This guy's strength is indeed too powerful, as if he has reached the ninth level of the god communication realm. Such a cultivation base, among the various warriors who came to the primordial space, definitely belonged to the most terrifying existence under the Huayuan realm. As long as the masters of Huayuan do not appear, they represent invincible. In this place, although there are some masters of transformation realm, the number is certainly not particularly large. Moreover, most of these masters of the Huayuan realm are martial artists who have just set foot in the Huayuan realm, and their combat power will not be particularly exaggerated. After all, in this primordial space, there is a limitation of strength. That is a truly enchanting character, even if it is suppressing the cultivation base and hiding the realm of magical treasures, it is difficult to get rid of that restriction. Because the stronger the realm, the more terrifying the space's counterattack. Therefore, most of the warriors who can enter this primordial space are still through the gods, and the nine layers of the through gods belong to the masters. Boom! 
the black iron battle axe quickly set off waves of air. After that, the light of the surrounding treasures also began to fade gradually, revealing their appearance. At this moment, you can see it in the corner of that certain ruin. A strange stream of light is constantly flickering. Obviously, the soaring beam of light just now was released from this place. Hee <laughs> hee, don't even want to grab me. Looking at the strange streamer, this burly man began to show a smug smile on his face, and shouted arrogantly. Wow! However, at this moment, a sharp blade suddenly flashed by. Puff! The body of this warrior was torn into two parts in an instant. At the same time, before everyone else had time to react, a thunder-like figure quickly passed through the air. That is one second of effort. The strange treasures disappeared completely from the eyes of everyone. What? Someone took the treasure away. Which bastard? Damn it, in front of so many people, forcibly snatching away, don't let him go. Finally, all the warriors reacted and began to roar in anger. Swish swish. A flash of lightning flashes quickly, and the body is incredibly fast. Qin Feng urged Zhen Qi with all his strength, and ran for more than a hundred miles before stopping his figure. As the lightning power around his body was restrained, his figure gradually emerged. At this moment, in Qin Feng's hands, he was holding a treasure. This treasure is very strange, it is a mask with a very white stream of light on it, and a touch of mysterious runes, which slowly flashes and flows on it. This mask is so strange. Looking at the mask in his hand, Qin Feng let out a soft moan in his mouth. Wow! When Qin Feng put on the mask, suddenly, an extremely evil aura fluctuated over him. At this moment, Qin Feng was wearing a black robe and this white mask. Coupled with this evil breath, it makes him look like a villain doing evil. Laugh! As Qin Feng opened his eyes, two streams of light were released from his eyes. This mask was worn on the face as if it belonged to him, without any discomfort at all. In this way, I am more like a demon martial artist. However, this thing is really a good treasure for me. After all, my current identity is too special, and I just need this thing to hide my appearance and breath fluctuations. Looking at the ruined city in the distance, Qin Feng couldn't help but show a sneer on his face. His voice is very cold, like a demon. As Qin Feng finished speaking, his whole figure quickly turned into lightning once again and disappeared in place. Roar! In this ruined city, a roar resounded like a who had been stimulated. I saw it in a very tall building. As this roar sounded, the terrifying sound waves of air raged toward the surroundings. Wherever it went, there was smoke and dust flying. In a blink of an eye, things within ten miles of the surroundings were shaken to collapse. At this time, outside this tall building, only dozens of people were seen standing there. The strength of the few people in the lead is very amazing, and each of them emits extremely powerful aura fluctuations. At this moment, streams of light were released from their bodies, resisting the impact of the surrounding sonic energy, unscathed. Just using one's own aura is enough to withstand such terrifying sound waves. It is conceivable that the strength of these people will be so powerful and terrifying. Yang Yunchen, are you really sure? One of them was riding a very huge bird and beast, and his eyes flickered, revealing a very sharp edge, his voice was extremely cold, and it was very depressing to listen to it. And that bird and beast is even more fierce, with tough claws, and full of hostility in his eyes, like the most brutal beast. Chill, don't worry. This place is significantly larger than other ruined buildings. Furthermore, the large protective formation outside is even more depicting thousands of powerful formation runes. You should also be able to understand that we just broke through a little bit and released such terrifying power. Think about it, how defying the heavens will be the treasures inside. Yang Yunchen, with a calm face, stood with his hands behind. The whole person is like a high emperor, with a rope on his body, blowing with the wind, giving people an unparalleled temperament. Hey! Beside him, 
there is a man with slender hair, this man is very tough. Whether it's the muscles on the body or the temperament, it seems to be the most ferocious behemoth in human form, giving people inexplicable pressure. This person is sitting on top of a tall tiger, with extraordinary momentum and beautiful eyes. He. It is precisely the most enchanting genius among the 10,000 beast sects, and the young generation with the highest combat strength King Uyang Xian. From his proud posture, it is not difficult to see that this is a very domineering and powerful guy. As long as we break this big formation, the contents inside belong to us. At that time, we will go to deal with those fools of the Alchemy Alliance. This time, we must let the Alchemy Alliance, the loss is huge. A trace of killing flashed across Yang Yunchen's face, and he said coldly. Humph, that Alchemy Alliance is too arrogant. At the beginning, one of our ancestors of the 10,000 Beast sect just wanted to ask for advice. They were reluctant to take out one of their prescriptions. It was really hateful. There was a cold hum in Uyang Suan Wang's mouth. The strength of our flame palace is not bad, I think, the supremacy of this alchemy alliance is also our turn to do it. In Han Yan's mouth, there was also a sneer. At this moment, between the three geniuses, they seem to have seen the decline of the alchemy alliance. Moreover, their sect will certainly rise in the future. Boom! Just when the three of them were still discussing. Suddenly, among the ruins of the building inside, a large number of rune streams began to flicker, actually condensing a series of powerful phantoms. Simultaneously, a swarm of incomparably overbearing powers were instantly released towards them and the group. Ha ha! Everyone. When Han Yan, Yang Yunchen, and King Wu Yang Xian, the three of them saw this, joy appeared on their faces. The sudden explosion of these runes obviously means that this large formation has reached its limit, and it is about to fight back completely. This kind of ancient big formation is really amazing. Even after countless years of erosion, it can still burst out such amazing energy. Looking at the phantom in the ruins, Han Yan couldn't help but let out a sound of exclamation. Everyone, do it! As the three people looked at each other, their bodies burst out at the same time, incredible power! Roar! Boom! The tiger raised his head and snarled, then stepped on the ground suddenly, above the volley. The huge birds and beasts spread their wings and released fierce waves of air. The flames are billowing, as if the world is melting into a furnace, and the temperature is hot. Rumble. The three unmatched powers, at this moment, in an instant, are superimposed together. Boom. These three forces are really terrifying. It seemed as if the divine thunder from above the sky, and the figure in the ruined space, slammed together. Suddenly, a great earthquake shook and the void collapsed. Everything within a radius of tens of miles was torn to shreds by huge force. Roar! The phantom of that ruined space, although very tyrannical. However, after all, it is just a phantom released by the formation. After such a long period of time, its residual power is basically very small. What's more, this big formation has been damaged a lot. Therefore, no matter how powerful the power of this phantom is, it can only be turned into a wisp of smoke and dissipated in a helpless sigh. Rumble! When the phantom dissipated, all the large array of runes collapsed in an instant. Originally, the ruined building protected by the formation was completely presented in front of everyone at this moment. It is said that this primordial space is a magic weapon of space, inside which is located an imperial city. And the imperial city inside is an extremely powerful city. The area is extremely vast. It's hard to imagine how powerful the empire is how vast the territory is, and that it has such a huge imperial city, it is already comparable to a big territory. Seeing that rune formation, the posture of constant collapse, Yang Yunchen at this moment could not help but a look of expectation appeared on his face. Ha ha ha, don't sigh here anymore, hurry in, it's a lot of dreams. The Han Yan beside him couldn't wait to say. Okay, let's go in. Yang Yunchen nodded 
and shouted at the other warriors. Flush! At this moment, all the warriors began to get excited. Even a few experienced old guys couldn't help showing excited expressions with a ruddy complexion. Roar! King Uyang Xian, driving his tiger mount, rushed in as fast as thunder and lightning. This ruined building is really too big, there must be a lot of good things inside. Boom! Just when everyone flew together and rushed away. Suddenly, a majestic divine might burst out from all around quickly. A trespasser kill without mercy. The roaring sound burst out violently, like a sea of anger, the momentum is extremely magnificent, wanting to drown everything. Not good. Get out everyone. How terrifying is that roar? Some weak warriors were even directly shocked to vomit blood and their breath was disordered. Even Han Yan three people, such a powerful strength. But at this moment, he also noticed that a powerful breath came, making his body extremely tight, and his breathing was almost suffocating. Run away? Obviously too late. Ding! A very powerful long spear, emitting fierce air-breaking waves, was a huge 10,000 meters, and rushed out directly from the depths of the ruins. The spear is like a dragon. The tip of the gun was filled with wisps of sharpness, and he stabbed at the group of people without mercy. Puff! Suddenly, a famous warrior was directly penetrated by the spear. Not only that, on the spear, it seems that there is a very overbearing swallowing power, and the body and flesh of those warriors are instantly refined and swallowed for their own use. Boom! One after another, the rumbling sound continued. At this moment, you can instantly notice that a tall figure is slowly emerging. This figure is completely red and black, riding a skeletal war horse, wearing a red robe behind him, and holding a spear in his hand. His whole body's momentum has reached an exaggerated level. In his eyes, there were wisps of red light beating, as terrible as flames. It's just a skeleton, can also have this kind of cultivation base. The three of Yang Yunchen immediately let other disciples who were not strong enough to leave, leaving only some masters. After that, the three people stood in the air, staring at the phantom skeleton in front of them very vigilantly. Although the opponent is just a skeleton, there is no trace of flesh and blood on his body. However, the aura on this guy is extremely terrifying, even more powerful than some human martial artists. It looks like this guy is a bit hard to deal with. There was a cold voice in King Uyang Xian's mouth, and wisps of cold light flashed between his eyes. He also began to condense, a powerful infuriating energy. Yeah, it's really not easy. This guy was probably a great power against the sky before his death. Even if there is only one corpse left, he still has an extraordinary demeanor. Yang Yunchen nodded. It's just that his eyes, with a kind of lustrous brilliance, glanced back and forth on the other person. This is not Yang Yunchen, any special hobbies. Because, these warriors present, the luster in everyone's eyes, are like this. You know, the things this guy is wearing are not simple treasures. For example, the armor, the cloak, the spear in its hand, each of these things is absolutely priceless. Just imagine, who can keep calm when facing this kind of treasure? Even if they are as strong as Yang Yunchen, they are very knowledgeable, and their mood is not trivial, but they can't help but know how to change at this time. If he didn't guess wrong, he should have reached the level of Hua Yun realm. Furthermore, according to the fluctuation of its aura, it should be around the third and fourth levels of the Hua Yun realm. It's a bit difficult to deal with at this level. What's really terrifying is that the magic weapons on the opponent's body are much more powerful than ordinary magic weapons. King Uyang Xian obviously observed it very seriously. It's okay, we should be sure of joining hands together. Yang Yunchen's robe word, suddenly raised his right hand, and rolled up his sleeves. Boom! Suddenly, a very terrifying wave of infuriating energy, with a mighty momentum, as if overwhelming suppressed towards the skeleton. Roar! 
seeing Yang Yunchen's shot, Han Yan and King Wu Yang Xian were slightly taken aback. But soon, they all reacted. The next moment, the golden tiger riding on King Wu Yang Xian directly opened the mouth of the blood basin and spit out a stream of light. And that bird and beast also vomited out from the mouth, a blazing flame. The cooperation is perfect. In a hidden place, a figure was hidden there, his eyes flashed, and occasionally wisps of red color appeared. This person is wearing a black robe and a pure white mask on his face. The whole body's breath fluctuates, cold and coquettish, and when people look at it, they will feel inexplicably fearful. The comer is not someone else, but Qin Feng. Just now, the energy released by the rune formation was amazing. Even Qin Feng, who was far away, noticed the movement, so he came to this place. But he didn't expect that he would meet Yang Yunchen in this place. Even more unexpectedly, King Wu Yang Xian from the Ten Thousand Beast Sect and Han Yan from the Flame Palace were also here. Qin Feng naturally wouldn't be afraid of these three guys. However, once these three people join forces at the same time, even Qin Feng is not 100% sure that they can be solved. After all, even though he was cultivated as a monster, these three people in front of him were all rare peerless geniuses. If three people join forces, the fighting power that bursts out, even if it is him, has to be afraid of three points. Looking at it now, there is almost no flaw in the cooperation of these three people. Qin Feng's expression gradually became serious. The cooperation of the three of them is almost flawless, and each move has its best timing and can have the greatest killing effect. This, even Qin Feng had to secretly admire. If he went up to fight, I am afraid, it would be very difficult to deal with it. As expected, they are all enchanting geniuses. The talents of these three guys are more powerful than those of the Azure Spirit Realm. Few people can compare them. Qin Feng secretly said with emotion that he had also seen many top geniuses in the Azure Spirit Realm, but no one could compare to the three in front of him. This, is the gap between domains. Boom! With the cooperation of the three people, this powerful skeleton corpse was beaten into defeat. The most unbelievable thing is that its bone mounts are cracked with scars, which will collapse at any time. It seems that it is still quite difficult if you want to forcibly rush in. Looking at the ruined buildings in front of him, Qin Feng frowned and said in a low voice. Boy, if you want to go in, I have a way. Just as Qin Feng was meditating in secret, suddenly, a calm voice rang in his ears. Wow! In the blink of an eye, the hair on Qin Feng's body instantly became tough. This sound was caused by sound transmission, and the movement was silent. But what really shocked Qin Feng was that with his sensitive ability, he could not detect where the opponent came from. This is unbelievable. Your Majesty Dishan. From the appellation of the other party, one can imagine that that person must be the Emperor of Emperor Tian Cheng. Yes. He is the true ruler of Dishan City, Your Majesty Dishan. In that ice flame supreme battle robe, you have the mark that I left, and you can find it with it, Your Majesty Dishan. How can I be sure that you will not deliberately cheat me? Qin Feng raised his brows lightly. I deliberately calculated to cheat you, what benefit can I get? This place is our remnant soul, sleeping place. And we don't want to be disturbed by outsiders so I will give you this great luck. Qin Feng shook his head. Really? Then you are so sure that I will agree to it. Or in other words, after I got the Ice Flame Supreme Tabard, I just chose to leave. I believe you are not that kind of person. Hearing this sentence, Qin Feng couldn't help rolling his eyes, and there was a moment of speechlessness in his heart. This is too unreasonable. However, at this moment, Qin Feng had no other choice. What's more, it is also a very good thing to be able to see Yang Yunchen and others suffer a big loss. Okay, I promise you. Along with Qin Feng's affirmative answer, in an instant, there was a violent roar in the middle of the battlefield. I saw the skeleton, riding a war horse, holding the spear tightly in his hand, and suddenly exploded with a shocking aura. 
The spear waved, the air wave enveloped, accompanied by his horse mount, and he raised his head and roared. At this moment, the other party's breath is really a bit shocking. Even the three of Yang Yunchen clearly occupies a huge advantage. But at this time, he was also crushed by the terrible pressure from the other party. In the blink of an eye, the entire bodies of the three of them were shocked tens of thousands of meters away by a huge force. How can that be? Why did he suddenly burst out such terrifying power? Looking at the skeleton riding the war horse, the hearts of the three Yang Yunchens were shocked, and the expressions on their faces gradually became serious. This guy, it seems, is not so easy to deal with on the surface. Wow! At this moment, a thunderous figure quickly rushed towards the ruins. This person, wearing a black robe and a white mask on his face, looked very evil, but he couldn't see his face clearly. The most important thing is that this guy's speed is too fast. Almost in the blink of an eye, he came to the front of the skeleton. Who is he? What a courage! The three of Yang Yunchen didn't expect that at this critical moment, they would actually be a master halfway through. Moreover, they took this opportunity to show up when they fought the most intensely and were knocked out by the skeleton with all their strength. This behavior is obviously robbing them of great opportunities. They don't even know that this person is the Qin Feng they hate. Roll. A sword light suddenly appeared. The crystal gang bamboo sword in Qin Feng's hand immediately released an endless sword aura, like the ocean. In just one second, a warrior who stepped forward to stop him was directly torn to pieces. Qin Feng's figure continued to speed up without stopping, but in an instant, he stepped over the skeleton. Damn bastard! Give me death! When Yang Yunchen and others saw Qin Feng coming out, they suddenly showed a cold killing intent. The angry face was green, and he roared directly, and attacked Qin Feng relentlessly. Roar! The skeleton chose to shoot again, using the long spear to draw a horrible shadow, helping Qin Feng withstand all the attacks. Go! Skeleton directly rumors urged. Qin Feng nodded, and he didn't plan to fight this group of guys. After all, after these guys joined forces, the fighting power that broke out was very fierce. I'm afraid that it's not much worse than that of King Tome. Moreover, the sect where Yang Yunchen is located is only slightly inferior to the Alchemy Alliance. Qin Feng believed that Yang Yunchen must be carrying a lot of magic weapons. Therefore, Qin Feng has no plans to fight against them for the time being. Aren't you leaving? Looking at the guy in front of him, Qin Feng asked through voice transmission. I have fallen into the dust a long time ago, and now this body is just the last power. While I still have some strength and can help you with a block, you should go. Facing this guy's insistence, Qin Feng did not speak any more to persuade him. Wow! Qin Feng's whole body was like a ghost, bringing up a thunderous light, and disappeared without a trace in the blink of an eye. Damn it! When Han Yan saw this, his face was like ice with anger, and he suddenly waved his palm, a terrifying flame enveloped all the surrounding space, trying to obliterate the skeleton. Roar! After being attacked by such terrible flames, the skeleton finally ran out of oil and the lamp was dry, and there was an unwilling anger in his mouth. At the same time, the war horse he was riding turned into a pile of ashes under the fire. Even if you die, I won't make you comfortable. Blast me! Rumble! Accompanied by the other party's angry shout, only to see that its entire body began to expand continuously, and finally turned into a very strong red light. In an instant, the whole body exploded completely like this. Unexpectedly, it will choose to blue in the end. Boom boom. Han Yan, Yang Yunchen, and King Wu Yang Xian, the bodies of the three geniuses were shocked by this self-destructive force and flew out. They forcibly stabilized their bodies, and after standing, cracks appeared under their feet. At this moment, on the ground, there was also a huge pit, and there were no more skeletons around. Even those precious battle robes, cloaks, and spears were all destroyed in this self-detonation. So many treasures, there is no one left. 
Senior Brother Yang, the big thing is not good, all the treasures in the ruins were taken away, and none of them were left. And the only ancient books left are turned into ashes just by touching them. A disciple of the Tian Chen sect, after entering the ruined secret room, shouted in horror. Damn it! Damn it! Follow me! Be sure to catch up with that and give him to pieces. A series of angry shouts spread out from the mouths of Yang Yunchen and others like thunder. Inside the ruins of Emperor Tian Cheng. The figures one after another are running wildly. Every one of them released an extremely astonishing breath and fluctuation. Whether it is the Qinglin domain or the Mayuan domain. Every warrior has no intention of letting go of this scene, the great opportunity against the sky. Everyone knows very well that once you miss this primordial space, you will have to wait 500 years before you can open it again. If you don't cherish it this time, I am afraid that there will be no chance to come in again. This ice flame supreme battle robe is really not simple, it is indeed invulnerable to water and fire, invulnerable to swords and guns. He looked at his body and was wearing this robe. On Qin Feng's face, he couldn't help but a hint of wonder appeared. This jersey is really a bit too defying. Even he couldn't help being shocked. Such a powerful battle robe is definitely not much worse than those magic weapons. Wow! Following the detection of the soul power, it didn't take long for Qin Feng to find the mark left by the skeleton in the Ice Flame Supreme Battle Robe. In fact, even if Qin Feng didn't take the initiative to detect, this mark would appear on his own initiative. In a short time, Qin Feng successfully refines this mark. From this, Qin Feng learned a lot of news. However, his gaze became indifferent afterwards. No wonder you feel so relieved to me. In this mark left by the other party, there is even a curse power. It is conceivable that if Qin Feng does not fulfill the other party's request, he will trigger the power of this curse instantly. By that time, it would pose a very serious threat to Qin Feng. In fact, Qin Feng could also understand the other party's behavior. After all, Qin Feng did not know it. The other party, you can rest assured that you can take this Ice Flame Supreme Tabard in your hand, naturally you have to keep a little trick. Qin Feng, I can wipe out the cursed power above. Upon seeing this, the curse of Heaven Demon King was the beginning, and said flatly to Qin Feng. It's not necessary. As long as I fulfilled his request, naturally I will no longer be affected by the curse power. And I, Qin Feng, don't want to be favored by others for nothing. Qin Feng said calmly. Although he was really uncomfortable, if he were to do this thing, he would probably do the same. Then, what do we do next? Looking at Qin Feng, Cursed Sky Devil asked. With our current cultivation base and combat power, Although it can crush many warriors, it is definitely not the most powerful existence. And in the primordial space, there are countless opportunities. Naturally, it is impossible for me to fulfill that guy's request so quickly. Qin Feng said in a deep voice with a hint of sharpness between the twinkling of his eyes. This primordial space, but it takes 500 years to open it once. Such a long time is really not easy to wait and once the will of the Emperor Dishan is sober, maybe he will not be able to come in later. Therefore, Qin Feng must take advantage of the present to get more good things. If I didn't guess wrong, at this time, then Yang Yunchen and others, I am afraid they will try their best to track us down. Hey, it's just that they must not dare to consume too much time. So, we can definitely go find them a few more times. A strange smile appeared on Qin Feng's face. Looking at the face of the young man in front of him, the panicking smile, cursing the devil's heart, he sighed slightly, with a little more emotion. For some reason, he began to sympathize with Yang Yunchen and others. It's not good for these guys to provoke them, why do they have to provoke this guy Qin Feng? All of a sudden, Yang Yunchen and the others might have suffered a lot. That little bastard, how fast! At this moment, Yang Yunchen's face was gloomy, and his long sleeves slammed, directly shattering a house. Through the flashes of streamers, 
you can see that there are still many treasures in this ruined house. All kinds of jade, all kinds of ancient books, and many elixirs. These things, from the outside, are some good treasures of good value. However, Yang Yunchen knew very well that these goods were obviously inferior to the treasures that Qin Feng had seized. The black shirt worn by that kid is definitely a magic weapon of amazing quality, and the rune light on it is really too powerful. What a nasty bastard! In Han Yan's mouth, he roared very unwillingly, gritting his teeth with anger. Yes, that little is quite clever, he actually covered up his face. With my cultivation level, I can't see through this guy's appearance. Obviously, the mask he wore is also a powerful treasure. King Wu Yang Xian next to him also gritted his teeth and shouted. The three of them are all talented and powerful. However, in the end, let others take their chances, and everything becomes others' wedding clothes. Just ask, how could the three of them swallow this breath? There is no crazy yelling, they are already considered as good-minded. Let's give up temporarily and hunt down this kid. After all, the primordial space will only be opened once in 500 years. We must not miss this opportunity because that kid is wasting time. Now, our main task is to find treasures all around, the more the better, otherwise, it would be a big loss. Han Yan gritted his teeth and said. Yes. Actually, we are not without gain, this map was obtained from that secret room. Although the above only records the ruins within a hundred miles, it is enough for us to find the location of those treasures as soon as possible. King Wu Yang Xian's eyes flashed with a sharp light, he looked at everyone and said. Well, this thing is very good. Although the scope is not particularly large, it is enough for us to get a lot of good things. This place, judging from the topography, has very good feng shui, and surrounded by a lot of runes. It is definitely not an ordinary place. Yang Yunchen looked at the map, but came to a conclusion. Okay, then let's leave as soon as possible. The leader of the three sects quickly made a decision. I have to say that their strength is indeed not simple. They move very fast, like a gust of wind, rushing in that direction quickly. Although the architecture of this place is very old, it shines brightly and is quite magnificent. Everyone, Let's start. Looking at the ruins of the building in front of him, Yang Yunchen said in a deep voice. Start? Because last time, the ruins were solved. So this time, everyone has experience in dealing with these rune formations, and it didn't take long before they began to attack the formations. Their breaking speed is obviously more than twice as fast as the last time. Rumble. With successive attacks, there were bursts of explosions. I saw that the void shattered, the ground shook, and in a trance, there was an almost earthquake-like feeling. Open. Seeing the light of that rune formation decayed again and again, Yang Yunchen, King Wu Yangxian, and Han Yan all looked at each other. After that, they all shouted. The body began to burst out, terrible infuriating fluctuations. All of a sudden, the earthquake broke. That rune formation was completely unable to resist the combined force of the three of them, and it was directly crushed. This time, there is nothing blocking, let's go in. An expression of excitement appeared on Yang Yunchen's face. Swish. At this moment, suddenly, a total of nine figures appeared in an instant. These nine people shot at the same time, the momentum is like the vast sea of Peng Bei. In an instant, he rushed towards the warriors of these three sects. Hateful. Yang Yunchen's heart was simply furious. Originally, Qin Feng had snatched the treasure because of obstacles. There is nowhere to vent his anger. But now, there was an obstacle again, how could this make him not angry? The most important thing is that the nine guys who came here didn't care about life or death. When they shot, they were very decisive. The most terrifying thing is that the infuriating energy that bombarded them was hardly resisted by them, and it was simply an undead monster. Roar. King Wu Yang Xian's Mount Fierce Tiger began to roar. 
a series of terrifying sound waves, forming a wave-like appearance, rushed to the past fiercely. Boom boom! In an instant, the three figures in it were torn apart by this sonic force and turned into nothingness. No, this is not a physical creature, but a clone. The Han Yan next to him also quickly shot, only to see a group of flames appearing in his hand, arbitrarily grabbing a figure. But the next second, his face changed drastically, and he roared. Ha ha ha, I'm not welcome. A hoarse voice suddenly sounded, causing Yang Yunchen and the others to chuckle in their hearts. I only saw a figure wearing a white mask, standing there, all over his shirt, releasing a stream of runes. He is not that Qin Feng, but who else would he be? At this moment, Qin Feng obviously took advantage of the other people, when he was fighting the clone, he entered the ruins and robbed the treasures inside again. Son of a bitch! Yang Yunchen, King Wu Yang Xian, and Han Yan were completely angry and their eyes reddened. Not only them, even the other warriors, are completely crazy. With great difficulty, it took great pains to open the rune array, but once again this kid was cheap. This is replaced by anyone, I'm afraid I can't suppress it, the anger in my heart. Dead. Yang Yunchen screamed, rolled up his long sleeves, a domineering infuriating energy, directly evolved and moved, turned into terrifying energy, and blasted towards Qin Feng. Wherever it went, it almost shattered the void. GGG. A burst of cold laughter suddenly sounded. I only saw that the cursed Sky Demon King floated out of Qin Feng's body. At this moment, he was holding a very cold black sickle in his hand. It just waved the sickle gently, and immediately, the majestic infuriating attack directly turned into nothingness and disappeared completely. Since the Sky Demon King got the Ghost Scythe, his combat power has doubled, and the curse power that has erupted is almost unimaginable. Wow! Zhu Yuyang directly spit out a black flame, and in an instant, it condensed a terrible sea of flames, covering all the warriors in front of it. Suddenly, screams of sorrow and screams continued to hear. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Qin Feng did not hesitate at all, and once again turned into streamer and disappeared. Everyone! Thank you so much! That joking tone, how irritating! How crazy! Ah! Uh, this bastard! Yang Yunchen's body trembled with anger. He is such a proud figure. In the outside world, he enjoys various auras of glory. Even some elders of the big sex are very respectful to him. He has never met before, dare someone tease himself like this. Especially after he broke through to the Huayuan realm, it made people dare not disrespect him anymore. For a long time, he was the only one who took away the opportunities of others, but no one dared to steal something from him. I spare no effort to recover, and at all costs, I will kill this bastard. King Yang's face flushed with anger, and he rode a tiger mount and chased after him aggressively. Dead. A cold sound resounded across all directions. Above the void, Yang Yunchen at this moment was almost angry to the extreme. I saw that he raised his right hand, and in an instant, he could see above the void. A very large palm print, with a suffocating aura, hung down from the sky. This palm print is huge, carrying terrifying power, as tall as a mountain. Coming fiercely, in an instant, various huge cracks appeared on the surrounding ground. Some unlucky martial artists, when they happened to pass by, were directly bombarded and killed by this terrifying palm. Boom! This domineering palm print fiercely bombarded Qin Feng. Haha, <laughs> this kid is going to die. Seeing this scene, the expressions of Yang Yunchen and others suddenly showed a hint of joy. They have been chasing and killing Qin Feng, spending a lot of time, finally catching Qin Feng. This time, this person cannot be forgiven easily. However, Something unbelievable happened to everyone. From that Qin Feng's body, a stream of light suddenly burst out, and in an instant, a battle robe released a round of black power. When the palm print bombarded Qin Feng, the power of this battle robe directly blocked it. 
How can that be? There was an incredible look on Yang Yunchen's face. Regarding the power of his palm, although he did not think it would be invincible in the world, no one could match it. But he was very confident, even a master of Huayuan realm, it was absolutely difficult to take this palm. Because this palm of his, in an instant, a terrible force burst out, enough to shatter a mountain. This kind of power, even if it is encountered by other Huayuan realm warriors, if they are not careful, they will be photographed into meatloaf. But this guy in front of him actually resisted. This is incredible. It's the shirt on this kid. This thing's defensive power is so amazing, it's unimaginable. King Uyang Xian roared, his face showed a trace of anger, but also a trace of greed. If such a heaven-defying treasure is owned by him, then his defense power will definitely increase several times. With this roar of his, the face of the cold flame beside him instantly showed shock. Yes, it's this shirt that blocked that palm. Wow! Take advantage of this group of people, before they react. Qin Feng directly picked up the Jing Gang bamboo sword, killed several warriors, broke through the siege, and disappeared in place again. Damn it, where to run? Seeing Qin Feng, he was going to run away again. How could Yang Yunchen be reconciled to this, roar, suddenly turned into a stream of light, and quickly rushed towards Qin Feng. Hey! Just because you want to stop me. There was a hoarse voice in Qin Feng's mouth. As the voice fell, Qin Feng suddenly turned into a thunder and lightning. The speed of his body law has actually doubled again. Boom! The entire void, because of Qin Feng's too fast speed, created void cracks. This bastard, it was clear that he was teasing us on purpose. Seeing Qin Feng's exaggerated speed. Even these warriors present were all masters, but at this moment they couldn't help but showed an incredible horror. The speed skyrocketed in an instant, this kind of astonishing body technique simply made all the warriors present are beyond the reach. Chasing, you must find this bastard. Damn fellow! I have never been teased like this. King Uyang Xian let out an unwilling anger. This kid must be killed. Must. Yang Yunchen said coldly with a cold face. I, Yang Yunchen, have never been manipulated like this. This kid, no matter what sect is from, I will never let him go this time. If you dare to provoke me, Yang Yunchen, then you have to pay a price. It's not just him. I will not let go of relatives and friends related to him. This is how I provoke Yang Yunchen. Facing this group of people's comments and harsh words, Qin Feng never cared at all. At this moment, he was seriously experiencing the extraordinary features of that Ice Flame Supreme Battle Robe. This battle robe is terrible, my original long robe, coupled with the defensive power bursting out of the current Ice Flame Supreme Battle Robe, is simply incredible. That Yang Yunchen's powerful palm, how domineering the power is, but it was covered by a protective mask, reducing at least more than half of its power. Half of the strength, it seems not much, but actually a lot. After all, Yang Yunchen's cultivation level had reached the Huayuan realm, and it was still a very powerful Huayuan realm. In addition, its own stunts are extraordinary and its combat power is almost comparable to those of the Huayuan Realm Triple Warriors. Being able to reduce this level of master's power by half, it can be seen that this shirt is extraordinary. If the person who shoots is just a master of the nine layers of the gods. I am afraid that Qin Feng is already able to ignore any attacks from the opponent. This jersey is really terrifying. Humph, Yang Yunchen, I am afraid you are very angry now. Also. King Uyang and Han Yan, I'm afraid I'm going crazy with anger. Don't worry, this is just the beginning, we have opportunities behind us, play slowly. With Qin Feng's current combat power, he could easily kill the masters of the nine layers of the god realm. Only by reaching the power of the Huayuan realm can you be qualified to challenge him. Not only that, relying on his body, the increase of this ice flame supreme tabard. Today, 
Qin Feng even has the confidence to compete with a big figure like King Taiji Xian Wang for three points. Wow! Just when Qin Feng speeded up his body technique, galloped in one direction. Suddenly, a streamer figure passed by, directly blocking Qin Feng's path. The comer is not good. Cursing the Devil King and Zhu Yuyang suddenly changed their faces and secretly became vigilant. Everyone, beware! Qin Feng nodded slightly. This person, deliberately blocking his way, obviously came to him, so there is no need to doubt. With the flow of light from the figure, it gradually dissipated, and immediately afterwards, the appearance of a figure began to appear in Qin Feng's sight. This guy, wearing a long robe, was rippling with the breeze, and a series of mysterious runes flashed on his body. Of course, what really caught Qin Feng's attention was the longbow he was carrying behind him. This longbow, with a pale golden luster, was painted on it, very ancient special runes, which is not a common product at first glance. This guy stood there with his hands in front of him, and the void around him seemed to be distorted. It can be seen that this person is so powerful. At this moment, a trace of fierceness appeared on his indifferent face, and Qin Feng had been locked in with his eyes flickering. He is like a faintly ready arrow, extremely deterrent. What a surprising guy, I don't know where you are from the sect force, but even King Uyang, Han Yan, and even Yang Yunchen, these three peerless geniuses, are playing in the palm of your hand. Boy, I have to admit, you are really bold. The other party's voice sounded slowly, revealing a very aggressive, oppressive aura. Who are you? Looking at the person in front of him, Qin Feng's indifferent voice also sounded. In his tone, there was no fear at all, and some were just rebellious. Wang Lei, the genius list, ranked first. Looking at Qin Feng, this young man named Wang Lei showed a slight chuckle and confidence on his face. His hands were slightly released, and immediately, a terrifying pressure on his body seemed to have turned into a large mountain, spreading towards the surrounding void. It's another Huayuan realm. Moreover, he is even better than Yang Yunchen. However, if he really fights, he may not be able to beat Yang Yunchen. Perceiving the fluctuations in the opponent's breath, Qin Feng's eyes flickered, but he made a general judgment on the opponent's true strength. Would you like, let me get rid of this kid? Curse the Demon King coldly smiled. Since he got the Ghost Scythe, his true combat effectiveness has almost doubled. There is almost no difficulty in defeating this guy in front of you. No need, this guy, let me deal with it myself. A look of interest appeared on Qin Feng's face, and he answered indifferently. From this guy, he sensed a familiar fluctuation. This kind of fluctuation is obviously related to the wood attribute power. You know, the green wood ancestral veins in his body are a kind of natural force, which belongs to the origin of wood attribute power. Almost all wood attribute powers are transformed by this evolution. Rubbing the void, making a chuckle. At the same time, on the ground, two extremely deep marks were pulled out. It's next. Looking at Qin Feng. The expression on Wang Lei's face obviously became even sharper and colder. His eyes flashed and anger burned. It's really hateful, you, a small five-layer trash of the god communication realm, dare to stop me. He is the number one genius in the genius list. What a lofty identity, what an enchanting strength. But now, he was blocked by an unknown junior. It is conceivable that this is a very humiliating thing for him. How can he stop? Kill. Accompanied by a roar. Without hesitation, Wang Lei chose to shoot again. Boom. Behind him, began to appear, a series of cyan phantoms, the momentum is extremely sharp. That is astonishingly, a strip of thorny phantoms, all black, like vines, with domineering power, shrouded towards Qin Feng fiercely. Wow. In an instant, Qin Feng's face changed slightly. I saw that in front of him, a very sharp energy burst out suddenly. This kind of domineering and sharp power made him feel a little jealous. Without hesitation, 
Qin Feng moved directly behind him, quickly retreating and retreating. He he, thinking about running away now? It's too late. Seeing Qin Feng's behavior, Wang Lei's face suddenly showed an icy grin. Spiked bloodlines are indeed part of the wood attribute power. On Qin Feng's face, there was no slightest fear, but a joyful smile appeared. Swish swish. The spiked phantom, constantly turned into vines, spread out, like a poisonous snake, releasing amazing waves of air as it continued to shuttle. These spikes penetrate the space even more. Wow! In Qin Feng's eyes, fierce rays of light were released, and he kept sensing the other party's every move. Not only that, but within the body, the greenwood ancestral veins are constantly releasing power. I saw that the Cyan would attribute powers quickly started, and they continued to move in his body. The greenwood ancestral veins belong to the origin of the wood attribute power, which is equivalent to the existence of the ancestor level. That sharp bloodline is certainly not simple, but it is still a junior who belongs to the King Mu ancestral vein. Therefore, at this moment, relying on Qin Feng's powerful soul power, it would not be a problem to imitate the opponent's attack method inside his body. Rumble. Above the void, spikes flickered constantly, rushing constantly. Boy, die. Boom. Suddenly, these terrifying spiky phantoms, as if possessing self-awareness, began to spiral around. All of a sudden, it covered everything in a radius of 10,000 meters. Even those very hidden corners are surrounded by these ghosts. I'll go, this momentum is so powerful, which master is fighting? At this moment, such a earth-shaking movement has already been noticed by other warriors. After all, there are still many warriors in this space covering tens of thousands of meters. That's Wang Lei. The genius ranked first in the genius list. It is said that the opponent's true combat effectiveness can completely crush most sect elders. That Wang Lei's spiked bloodline is very terrifying. Moreover, he also possesses a spiked longbow that is extremely suitable for him, which can be said to be even more powerful. Once he uses the longbow, ask how many people in the same rank can compete with him. Many warriors looked up and looked up, and were very surprised by Wang Lei's appearance. That kid must be miserable, a mere five layer of the god sound realm, how can he dare to challenge Wang Lei with confidence? For Qin Feng, they didn't care at all. After all, a small five-tiered warrior in the realm of the gods, in this primordial space, is almost the most wasteful realm, and its combat effectiveness is pitiful. This kind of cultivation strength, to fight against that Wang Lei, is obviously to hit the stone with the egg there is absolutely no possibility of success. Spiked Prison Finally, in the shocking eyes of these other warriors, those terrifying spiked phantoms began to climb wildly. Immediately afterwards, they began to spin and flicker quickly, and while they were moving, they crazily entangled Qin Feng. What a horrible guy, is it a prison of spikes? This skill is quite powerful. Perceiving the surroundings, that fierce and domineering pressure and sharp light, Qin Feng's face changed slightly. In an instant, the whole person was directly locked by the opponent's attack. Swish swish. At this moment, these sharp spikes, each sharp thorn, are like a sharp blade, cutting and shutting on Qin Feng's body non-stop. Crunchy. Above the ice flame supreme battle robe, there were continuous harsh sounds of cutting. It deserves to be the number one genius in the genius list. Such a combat power is indeed amazing. Qin Feng nodded secretly in his heart. Such cultivation strength is probably not much worse than those powerful transformation realm masters. However, this level of combat power was obviously still a level worse than that of King Tai Guixian. In this primordial space, although it is not the strongest, it is enough to outsmart the crowd. It's a pity. It's still not enough to restrain me. Qin Feng's eyes opened and closed. In an instant, an extremely vast and majestic wood attribute power in his body began to burst out. Hey? Still struggling. Seeing Qin Feng's actions, 
Wang Lei above the sky suddenly frowned. I don't know why, when he saw Qin Feng at first glance, he felt very uncomfortable. This feeling is like a minister who meets an emperor and has to surrender to the other party, unable to compete. Naturally, he would not be clear about this. This was because Qin Feng possessed the Greenwood ancestral veins in his body. The ancestral veins are called ancestral veins because they are the ancestors of that series of attribute bloodlines. He is born with the ability to rule and suppress the blood of other branches. Although Qin Feng's Greenwood ancestral veins had just been condensed, they still had this ability. Boom! Just when Wang Lei was still thinking, there was a sudden blast, a loud noise appeared. The sturdy spiked cell unexpectedly began to tremble constantly, making a sound of earth-shaking rumbling. All the spikes were directly torn apart by a huge force and turned into a large amount of debris. All kinds of sharp crumbs are scattered. But Qin Feng's whole person, like a real dragon, rushed into the sky like lightning. The first trick, the prison of spikes. Looking at Wang Lei in front of him, Qin Feng couldn't help but smile at the corner of his mouth. How is it possible that this guy broke the prison of spikes by force? Oh my god! This is a unique skill that even a master of Huayuan realm number one can hardly break through. Yes, there used to be a powerful master who was unparalleled in strength and commanded many of his subordinates. However, Wang Lei relied on this skill to restrain the opponent arrogantly. And this guy who covers his head and face clearly only has the strength of the fifth level of the god passing realm, so why can he break through? While many warriors were still discussing in shock, behind Qin Feng, a huge wood attribute power suddenly burst out. Boom! The spikes spread and spread. I saw that the sharp thorn ghosts turned into cyan vines, and they smashed towards the Wang Lei. What? Is this guy's bloodline also a spiked bloodline? Seeing this scene, the warriors present were completely dumbfounded. It is almost impossible for two people to have the same blood. And the two have become rivals, which is extremely rare. Boom! The spiked phantoms condensed into domineering vines, shaking the branches fiercely, rolling towards that Wang Lei. Asshole! Dare! Wang Lei was also stunned for a while, never expected that this would happen. In a roar, the hands kept forming seals, and directly waved too long, spiky dragons. Boom! With the sound of a shocking explosion, the two seemingly almost similar spikes violently collided and confronted each other. The sharp spikes spread. During this process, after almost stalemate for a few breaths, Wang Lei's body trembled suddenly. Then, he kept backing up dozens of steps. Little bastard! Watching Qin Feng closely, Wang Lei at this moment was completely angry. From the other side's stunts, he felt a sense of familiarity, as if it came from his own stunts. And this feeling made Wang Lei's heart very upset and angry. If he had predicted that there was no difference, the bloodline that Qin Feng had was the same as him. However, the two of them fought, and the other performed the same trick, but he was repelled. Doesn't this prove that he is not as good as Qin Feng? This, is absolutely intolerable to him. How can a five-tiered god through god realm beat him? What a shame! On the other side. On Qin Feng's face, strands of smile appeared. In fact, this stunt was accomplished by imitating Wang Lei. At the same time, with the special effect blessing of the King Mu ancestral vessel, the stunt he displayed was even more powerful than Wang Lei. To suppress and defeat the opponent, there is no difficulty at all. However, I have only learned now, this thorn prison. Presumably, this guy has other tricks in his hands. Looking at Wang Lei in front of him, Qin Feng's gaze was filled with expectations. Very good. Boy, you have completely angered me, you go to my death. At this moment, Wang Lei raised his head and roared. Behind him, a more terrifying spiky phantom began to erupt with unparalleled momentum. Whoosh whoosh! The spikes that swept across the sky directly spread to the extreme, as if covering the entire sky. Spiked waves! 
while roaring, he quickly displayed his hand skills. The fierce energy spread out even more, the entire area of 10,000 meters and the like, the entire sky is full of spiked shadows. These spikes are all urged by his true energy, and naturally they are not comparable to ordinary people. At this moment, under Wang Lei's urging, in an instant, those spikes rushed towards Qin Feng madly. Wow! Seeing this piercing wave, Qin Feng's face couldn't help showing a hint of wonder. Such a method is really a bit surprising. Each of those spiked phantoms is as sharp as a blade. Once released, everything can be crushed, even if a mountain is in front of it, it will probably be broken into pieces. O.M. A very tall ancient tree phantom, but at this moment, appeared behind Qin Feng. Hee <laughs> hee, it's too slow. Looking at Wang Lei, Qin Feng said calmly. What Qin Feng said was slow, not that Wang Lei's attack speed was too slow, but that this way of imitating made him feel very slow. After all, it took so long to learn two tricks, and this progress is indeed a bit slow. He didn't have too much time to spend a few days and nights with Wang Lei. It looks like, just swallow this guy's soul, and then search hard, it is the most suitable. Looking at Wang Lei in front of him, Qin Feng had such a thought in his heart. Spiked waves. A calm voice came. Around Qin Feng's body, unexpectedly, sharp spikes appeared like a vast ocean. These spiked phantoms, shining with wisps of blue light, were constantly moving and spreading. Under Qin Feng's urging, they violently blasted towards Wang Lei. Boom! The same sharp waves of the two moves, although the colors are different, but the overall look is not much different. Of course, this trick Qin Feng performed was inspired by the evolution of the King Mu ancestral veins. The power it really exploded was completely stronger than Wang Lei's, more than a star and a half stronger. Shocked. Completely shocked. Almost not many times, you can see such a wonderful fight. Two people have the same bloodline and the same tricks, no matter whether it is the speed of body skills or the attack power, there seems to be little difference. This situation is a bit unbelievable, and my jaw is stunned. However, there are still some extraordinary masters who have noticed. At this moment, Qin Feng was obviously going to be a little more powerful and had a little advantage. This person's methods seem to be more powerful and powerful than that of Wang Lei. Boom boom. Once again, Wang Lei's unique trick imitated by Qin Feng was repulsed strongly, causing a burst of blood and energy in his body. Suddenly, Wang Lei's face and eyes showed a fierce hostility. Anger. What an anger. His magnificent genius list is the number one genius, unparalleled in strength, and he is a rare genius in a thousand years. But at this moment, he was defeated by a five-tiered junior who came out of nowhere. Moreover, the opponent still wins with similar means as him. This kind of almost feeling made Wang Lei really going crazy. O.M. Behind Wang Lei, a long bow was taken out instantly. This, is exactly the spiked longbow mentioned by other warriors. This is a spiked longbow, a very sky-defying weapon. At this moment, Wang Lei is ready to move. Yeah, the spiked longbow is matched with Wang Lei's bloodline, and the power that bursts out is absolutely terrifying. Qin Feng on the void couldn't help showing a dignified color after a series of discussions. Relying on the powerful soul power, Qin Feng could detect that this spiked longbow was indeed powerful. On the longbow, a silver streamer was continuously emitted, and various ancient mysterious runes were revealed as it moved. Following the opponent, taking out the longbow, Qin Feng only felt that he was completely locked in. This feeling is as if being stared at by a tiger, the momentum is very domineering and difficult to resist. Die me! In an instant! Within a kilometer of a radius, all the warriors could clearly see that a dazzling and brilliant divine light suddenly rushed to the sky. This spiked longbow is not equipped with arrows, but the spikes gathered by Wang Lei are the best arrows. Hey! A very terrifying sharp arrow light, with countless spikes, condensed. In the end, the illusion formed a very terrifying arrow. 
At this moment, under this arrow, all creatures are trembling. All the warriors have even noticed that a very strong wave is shrouding their bodies, making people chill. It seems that the soul of the whole person wants to be frozen, and cannot resist at all. The most frightening thing is that the coercion they feel is nothing but surplus. It is unimaginable that Qin Feng, who is confronting him head on, is facing what terrible aura and pressure at this moment. Boom! With such momentum, even Qin Feng couldn't help but produce a trace of pressure. His entire body was pushed back tens of meters away by this terrifying aura at this moment. Only seen in the front, a terrifying sharp arrow had already locked his whole person. Obviously, at this time, once he and that long arrow, really head on words. Qin Feng could affirm that even if he possessed the astonishing defensive power of the Ice Flame Supreme Tabard, he would suffer serious injuries. If you intend to forcefully resist this move, I am afraid it will cause great harm to yourself. Wow! As a result, Qin Feng's hand began to appear a long sword emitting a blue streamer. This, is exactly that Jing Gang bamboo sword. Kill! With a sharp shout, the long sword in Qin Feng's hand suddenly flashed. In this Mayuan realm, he finally used the long sword to perform real swordsmanship for the first time. In an instant, the sword is like a sea. Kill! As Qin Feng sternly shouted again, a sword technique was displayed by him, and the blood in his body began to explode with crazy power. At this moment, the entire world turned into a sea of sword energy. Roar! A terrifying scarlet dragon phantom rushed out of the sword aura quickly. At this moment, Qin Feng was like the most powerful demon god. In a flash! With the long sword swinging, the terrifying sword energy began to shuttle out frantically, and swept toward the sharp arrow fiercely. Rumble. At this moment, the dazzling streamer and energy burst out with all strength. How is this possible? Wang Lei's face changed drastically. He only felt that his entire body trembled suddenly. In front of him, a sword light flashed suddenly, and at the same time, an unmatched sword aura came to kill him. His sharp arrow was not only blocked by sword aura, but the opponent's sword aura remained undiminished, killing him? How can that be? Go to hell! An icy voice came out, with a chill like a devil, making people's souls frozen. At this moment, Qin Feng's swords were united, and his figure was like electricity. A powerful momentum wave filled his entire body. With a domineering and arrogant posture, he rushed towards Wang Lei fiercely. No! How is this possible? You die for me! Wang Lei roared loudly. With such a close distance, Wang Lei was very sure that he could directly kill Qin Feng. Ever since, he once again raised the spiked longbow. A series of terrifying energy began to gather frantically, and the spiked phantom in its body was even more urged out. Swordsmanship! When Qin Feng saw this, he was completely fearless. He just sneered and waved his long sword again, and runes began to condense from his body. These runes, like long swords, exude a terrifying majesty when they flicker. Under this kind of rune, the entire void seemed to have stopped at this moment. Power is an indescribable force. Although the sword power that Qin Feng condensed was not a complete comprehension, it definitely had extraordinary power, far exceeding the sword intent. Therefore, at this moment, the power that Qin Feng exploded was enough to crush all opponents. This Wang Lei's original true combat effectiveness was much worse than Qin Feng. If it weren't for learning the opponent's tricks, Qin Feng would have easily wiped out Wang Lei with his own strength. At this moment, as Qin Feng attacked with this sword, Wang Lei only felt that his whole person was completely chilled. In the next moment, his soul consciousness seemed to be frozen into ice by the chill of the sword qi. Simultaneously. Hey! Qin Feng's eyes flickered. A series of terrifying soul powers turned into invisible powers and attacked Wang Lei's soul. Soul seal. Surrender to me. The unmatched soul power urged it out with all its strength. Not only that, Qin Feng also displayed a soul stunt, 
and forcibly began to search for the other party, all the memories in the soul. A brutal search. For this kind of people who wanted to kill him, Qin Feng would not have any pity. If he is not strong enough today, I am afraid that everything will be taken away by Wang Lei, and even his life will not be saved. Ah! 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 Under such a fierce search, under the suppression of Qin Feng's soul power, Wang Lei let out a wailing scream, and his whole body kept trembling and struggling. It seems quite miserable. Spiked prison, spiked waves, spiked domain, spiked spear, spiked clutch. Unexpectedly, this Wang Lei possesses so many unique skills. Qin Feng couldn't help but secretly marveled. It seemed that he had underestimated Wang Lei before. If this guy didn't look down on himself, he would take out those wicked battles as soon as he shot. I'm afraid that if he wants to beat the opponent, he still has to spend more time. Damn, you dare to enslave my soul. Finally, when Qin Feng was searching frantically. Without realizing it, Wang Lei gradually regained consciousness. He couldn't help but burst into anger, showing a hideous expression on his face. At this moment, Qin Feng's soul power seemed to have received a strong counterattack. Obviously, this Wang Lei wanted to break through Qin Feng's soul seal slavery, and he would not give up. Wang Lei, the means I have in my hands are not what you can imagine. If you struggle like this again, I don't mind using more cruel means. At that time, your will, I am afraid that it will completely collapse and become my unconscious puppet. Qin Feng's soul power increased several times its power again, and said calmly. You. In my heart, struggling. Wang Lei's mouth was speechless. At this moment, he was full of regrets, he really shouldn't provoke this guy. Moreover, at this moment, he could also clearly notice that Qin Feng's words were not bragging. Under such threats, even if Wang Lei was extremely unwilling in his heart, he could only give up the struggle and let Qin Feng's soul power do evil in his own soul. After that, with a mark, it was successfully planted on its soul. At this moment, Wang Lei's whole person truly became Qin Feng's slave, unable to crack it. Don't worry, as long as you surrender to me. I will unlock this slave mark for you. Looking at Wang Lei, Qin Feng said calmly. I hope you keep your promise. Looking at Qin Feng, Wang Lei said with a helpless sigh. Let's go. Nodded at Wang Lei, Qin Feng's figure flickered, and suddenly disappeared from where he was. According to Qin Feng's previous character, he would definitely kill Wang Lei directly. However, from Wang Lei's sole memory, Qin Feng has explored some important things. The family that Wang Lei belongs to is the royal family in the Mayuan realm. It is quite powerful, and it is the most powerful family in the entire big realm. Being able to become the first family in such a big domain, one can imagine how rich the Wang family's background is. The most crucial point is that in the Wang family, there is a very great magic weapon refinement method. There was a piece of ice profound iron on Qin Feng. This kind of thing is a very great refining material, so in the future, he may still need the refining technique of the Wang family. Swish! The figure flashed suddenly. Qin Feng and Wang Lei disappeared in place at almost the same moment. At this moment, the warriors present didn't even react to what happened. Why, two people stopped fighting suddenly. Qin Feng galloped forward, while on the other, constantly digesting the stunts he had just obtained. The power of this piercing bloodline is really extraordinary, the main killer. And the spikes I evolved using the Greenwood ancestral veins are obviously even more powerful. During the meditation, Qin Feng gained a lot of understanding from it. His Greenwood ancestral vein is the most powerful kind, the wood attribute bloodline, the ancestor of each branch. Therefore, its future growth space is almost amazing. He can use the Greenwood ancestral veins to mobilize other bloodlines of wood attributes. If I combine all the forces with this spiked power, I'm afraid the power that bursts out will be increased several times more. In such contemplation, Qin Feng's body surface began to condense a series of terrible runes, 
and a strong force suddenly broke out. Wang Lei, who was following him, kept changing expressions. Looking at Qin Feng in front of him, he could completely perceive that Qin Feng's power and momentum is rapidly increasing. Not only that, he could also sense a breath of thorny blood from it. This guy, where did the freak come from? At the moment when the two of them are galloping forward. In a certain direction. But suddenly a burst of violent energy. Only there, a very beautiful figure was moving quickly. In front of her, a total of more than ten people were running fast. Between the former gently waved his jade hand, a wave of terrible air, like the most cruel blade, easily tore and wiped out the seven or eight figures. With the burst of blood like a stream and the shining of light, the appearance of this person gradually appeared in Qin Feng's sight. This is a beautiful face. On the face, the facial features are perfect and neat, flawless, like a natural jasper, unbelievable. His body is slender, taller than many women, and very cold temperament. Her eyes were jet black, and between her eyes flowed, there was a kind of indifference and arrogance, which was daunting. When he opened his eyes, there seemed to be sharp blades released from his gaze. Coupled with a little cinnabar mark on the center of her eyebrows, it is the temperament of this woman that adds a nobleness to the world. And her long hair shawl, a jade bead and phoenix crown on her head, and a pale golden robe all over her body showed this noble temperament to the extreme. She looked indifferently and looked straight ahead, only to see a person lying on the ground, struggling constantly, all blood covered. Obviously, the woman's shot just now has seriously injured this person. Ming Concubine, we are all martial artists from the Kinglin domain, why are you doing such a cruel blow to us? A look of fear and unwillingness gleamed in the eyes of the man on the ground, and he raised his head to the woman and yelled. Wow! A terrible energy was released from the woman's hand again, and a blood stain was directly drawn on the latter's neck. I know Ryu's life so why explain it to you? Swish swish. Suddenly, the sound of breaking through the air began to be heard continuously, and after that, a group of figures began to appear beside Ming Ruyu. Surround her with Tuan Tuan. Ming Concubine, you are too much. You are also martial artists in the Kinglin domain, but you actually kill them, do you not worry about causing public anger? An old warrior roared loudly with an unconcealable anger in his face. Either do it or get out of me. Concubine Ming's indifferent eyes slowly swirled with cold light, and said unceremoniously. Ming consort, you. Looking at the concubine Ming in front of him, the old man's voice stopped, and he dared not say any more. Hey. Since you don't have the courage, don't pretend to call out in front of me. Looking at the martial artists around, concubine Ming sneered disdainfully. As her words fell, the next moment, her whole figure disappeared from the place. Damn it, this woman! Watching the beautiful figure of concubine Ming go away, for a while, the faces of the martial artists present showed a very uncomfortable look. Humph, this woman is too arrogant, and sooner or later I will let her learn a lesson. In the crowd, a cold snort sounded again, revealing a very fierce hatred. Naturally, Qin Feng would not be clear about the affairs of this place. At this moment, his eyes flickered, riding on the back of the nine nether flame sparrow, constantly comprehending the mystery of the sharp bloodline. Oh my god! This guy actually owns a nine nether flame sparrow? This kind of heaven-defying monster beast from the primordial era. What kind of identity is this guy in front of me that can make this monster beast so obedient to him? Wang lay next to him, at this moment, his heart was completely stunned. Not only that. At this moment, he had clearly noticed that Qin Feng's body was filled with fierce auras. This kind of aura, fierce and domineering, is very similar to the fluctuations of the spiked bloodlines he possesses. It's just that the other party's breath is stronger than his sharp bloodline. I really can't imagine, what is the blood that the guy has. It was even more powerful than the spiked bloodline he had. Humph, kid, I advise you not to think too much, because you can't imagine it at all. 
At this moment, Zhu Yuyang suddenly spoke a word. GGG. Zhu Yu is right. The so called genius list is obviously a joke. This kid didn't plan to compete. If not, do you think you can really keep the first place? As a soul body, Cursed Sky Demon King is as light as a swallow, and naturally cannot be too slow. It can easily keep up with Zhu Yu's speed. Naturally, Wang Lei already knew about the guy cursing the devil. Because he became Qin Feng's servant, it would be impossible for him to have any dissatisfaction with Qin Feng, so whether he knew the existence of the curse of Heaven Demon King had no influence on Qin Feng at all. A Nine Nether Flame Sparrow Monster Beast, the ancient power of a soul body. These two roles alone are enough to crush countless great abilities. Now Wang Lei is more and more curious about Qin Feng, really wanting to understand at once what identity Qin Feng is. Will there be any powerful force behind this? Rumble. Below the void, suddenly began to erupt, and there was a loud rumbling that was deafening. Then, you can see clearly. Above the void, streamer runes began to flow out, and then condensed into a strong formation. Only see the position in that formation. Vaguely, it seemed to be possible to see a very majestic real dragon phantom, circling continuously, and wailing in his mouth. It seems that it has been forcibly suppressed, just like in the big formation. This is the dragon divine formation. It is a powerful formation one by one. Wang Lei naturally understood the situation of the various sects in this Mayuan realm, and immediately recognized the origin of this formation. One door. After all, Qin Feng came to the realm of Miyuan, and it didn't take too long. Therefore, he really didn't know about this sect. Yes. Jing Ai Ai is very difficult. This sect has a long heritage, at least tens of thousands of years of history. Originally, Jin Yi was very defying, and it could be called a large party. It's a pity that the suzerain of a certain generation was killed by someone. Therefore, Jin Yi broke the true inheritance stunt. The strength of a squad, naturally because of this, gradually declines, no longer the courage of the past. Of course, even if it is reduced to the present, this sect is still a one-star section. Hearing this, Qin Feng raised his brows lightly. There is a one-star sect, he naturally doesn't care too much. After all, this kind of sect is not so powerful and Qin Feng has encountered many. However, this time, it is really not easy to maintain its current strength even after almost cutting off all the essential skills. There is little wind, in order to prevent unfavorable factors from happening, I think it is better to let Zhu Yang hide yourself first. Although I know that you are strong and strong, you don't care about others. But this one is too strong and proud. We don't need to provoke these unnecessary troubles. Moreover, the trapped dragon formation is extremely powerful. Once it is urged to display, even some elite masters in the Huayuan realm will feel a headache. Yes, I know. Qin Feng really didn't like to cause trouble, so he also thought that he should try not to expose the whereabouts of Zhu Yuyang. Ha ha ha, you deserve to be the number one beauty in Qin Glan Yu, you really have to admire it. I didn't expect that my luck was so good that I would have captured this kind of peerless woman. Ming Ruyu, Ming Ruyu, you didn't expect it. A burst of arrogant laughter came from more than ten miles away. Only seen where the sound is. A group of people are constantly printing, manipulating a very powerful formation. In that position, a beautiful figure was standing inside. This figure, dressed in a pale golden robe, was filled with rune rays of light. The robe is slightly loose, but this woman still has that kind of proud, cold, and noble temperament. At this moment, the woman's pretty face is cold, her eyes are as frosty, and she closes, exuding wisps of murderous air that resists people thousands of miles away. This noble temperament is a temperament that is inherently carried. It is conceivable that this person's identity is so reverent. This woman is no one else, but Ming Ruyu who is respected as Ming Fei by many warriors in the Qinglin domain. Ho ho ho! 
The sound of dragon roars constantly echoed out in that formation. Mingruyu's body was surrounded by countless powerful runes, as if it were thousands of iron chains, making it difficult for her to break free. Ming consort, have you considered it carefully? As long as you are willing to seal the cultivation base, and then obediently listen to me, I will let you go, otherwise, you will have to suffer a lot. A young man with a gloomy look and wistful expression, with a ray of desire and greed in his eyes, Ji said with a smile. His two eyes have been looking at the body of that concubine Ming, obviously unkind, and it makes people feel very uncomfortable looking at it. Ming Ruyu is a beautiful woman. She has a great reputation in the Kinglin domain. Her strength is also very strong, reaching the cultivation base of the Huayuan realm. The identity of this woman is mysterious, but her combat power is surprisingly amazing. Moreover, he acted decisively, swiftly, without fear, and temperament like the concubine of the emperor, so he was called Ming Concubine. Listening to this young man's words, Concubine Ming's expression remained calm, without the slightest change. She stood there quietly, her eyes cold. Even if she was trapped in this trapped dragon formation, she still had no anxiety or timidity. It completely ignores the other party. Hey! It seems that you are determined to taste the pain. If this is the case, then I will capture you first, and then torture you so that you can understand what the consequences are for people who don't listen to me. It's a pity that after listening to this young man's words, the concubine Ming still has no fluctuations. It seemed that the young man in front of him was barking with a dog, and he didn't need to care at all. Ignore it completely. This is the attitude of concubine Ming. Naturally, this attitude made the young man even more embarrassed and angry. Okay. His eyes flashed, when the young man wanted to do his hands, suddenly, only two figures were seen, slowly walking towards this side. Senior brother Zhou, the true energy consumed by this trapped dragon formation is really too much. Why don't we let these two people maintain our formation? At this moment, not only brother Zhou noticed these two people, but other disciples also noticed. Hmm, this is a good way. The senior brother Zhou nodded, his eyes flickered, and then he glanced at the two men. The two guys over there, come here first. These two people are not others, but Qin Feng and Wang Lei. At this moment, Qin Feng and two of them had never expected that these people in this group would actually talk to them, and they still had such a contemptuous tone. There is little wind, these guys in the gang are getting more and more arrogant. As a peerless genius on the list of geniuses, Wang Lei's identity is so noble. Not to mention, the royal family he was in was the first family in the Mayuan realm, which was comparable to the existence of the two-star sect. Now, he was unexpectedly called by disciples in small groups to speak like this, as if they were coming and going. All of a sudden, the expression on Wang Lei's face suddenly became very cold. What do you look at? Believe it or not I killed you. You two guys, listen carefully to me, we're a group of people. No matter what your status is, get me here quickly and maintain the big formation for us, otherwise, I will kill you directly. You only have these two choices. In the eyes of this group of people, the realm that Qin Feng showed was just the five levels of the Shentong realm. And that senior brother Zhou's realm had reached the eighth level of the God Communication realm, so he naturally wouldn't have any fear. As for Wang Lei, he has reached the level of the Huayuan realm. Any martial artist whose strength is lower than his can't see through his cultivation. Wang Lei. Looking at that senior brother Zhou, Qin Feng's voice rushed indifferently. Subordinates are here. Wang Lei, who was next to him, responded immediately, as if he was ready to do it. I hate these guys very much now. Looking at the group of disciples, Qin Feng said indifferently. Wow. At this moment, after hearing Qin Feng's words, Wang Lei's expression on his face instantly became extremely gloomy, and a cruel sneer rose from the corner of his mouth. Who is he? That's the number one genius on the genius list. 
It was in Qin Feng's hands that he suffered a big loss, and how did he look at other warriors? Who dares to be so disrespectful to him? And so. At this moment, after hearing Qin Feng's words, a murderous aura suddenly burst out of his body, extremely powerful. Boom! The astonishing momentum, as if condensed into a real sharp blade, instantly soared into the sky, countless spiked phantoms began to sway in the void, full of murderous aura. Not good. Spiked blood, he is the first genius Wang Lei in the genius list. At this time, after seeing this scene, the warriors of those sects finally couldn't help screaming loudly. Even the arrogant and arrogant senior brother Joe, at this moment, his face became extraordinarily weird, turning pale and pale. The aura that Wang Lei showed was completely enough to kill them in seconds. This is a real master of Hua Yuan realm. Wang, Wang Lei. The body of senior brother Zhou was trembling constantly. Wang Lei's fame, that is the domain of Mi Yuan, so that countless warriors are beyond the reach and dare not to provoke him. But now, they actually provoke this kind of character, which is simply seeking a dead end. Yes. I'm sorry, Mr. Wang Lei, those were all misunderstandings just now. Please take a look at us and spare us this time. Looking at Wang Lei in front of him, senior brother Zhou at the moment, panicked and began to intercede. Hee <laughs> hee. I actually don't like trouble. People respect me three feet, and I respect others ten feet. Qin Feng's voice faintly sounded. Suddenly, this indifferent voice caused all the martial artists present to notice. The concubine Ming, who was in the trapped dragon formation, also moved slightly, and there was a strange luster in her bright eyes, and she kept looking at Qin Feng. Less wind, I understand. Wang Lei respected Qin Feng and nodded in response. After hearing this sentence, how could he not know what Qin Feng meant? Not only him, even senior brother Zhou who was present, as well as other martial artists in the sect, all understood. The masked man in front of him had no plans to spare their lives. Wang Lei, you can't kill us. Our relationship with your Wang family, but the alliance, especially your Wang family eldest, is very close to us. Seeing Wang Lei in front of him, he was ready to do it. Brother Zhou suddenly changed his face and screamed. Okay. Hearing these three words, the young master, Wang Lei's expression suddenly changed. Qin Feng's eyes flickered, he was very surprised, why did Wang Lei behave like this? This guy's identity and strength are not trivial, even after being subdued by himself he still has his own arrogance. But now, after hearing this young master, Wang Lei actually appeared a little jealous. Master? According to this title, could it be Wang Lei's eldest brother? Master Wang Lei, please also open the web this time and spare us. This time it is really a misunderstanding. Our genius girl Lu Ruyu has a lot of relationship with your Wang family. And Lu Ruyu is just one of my cousins. The young master has always admired my cousin very much. I believe you should know it very well. If this time, just because of our trivial matters, the relationship between the two parties will become stiff, it will not be of any benefit. Wang Lei's expression kept changing. Obviously, the so-called young master's identity is a bit uncomfortable, which makes him a little afraid. Wow! At this moment, Wang Lei's eyes couldn't help looking at Qin Feng, wanting to ask Qin Feng's opinion. Okay. Senior brother Zhou finally reacted at this moment. It seems that Wang Lei is listening to Qin Feng's words, this is too incredible. However, since this is the case, he kept begging Wang Lei, as if he had chosen the wrong person. This lord, I believe you have no plans, right? He is a great genius in the Grand Master list, and he is also ranked seventh. His fighting power is amazing. It's unpleasant to have a master at this level, but it won't do you any good. In the Sleepy Dragon Array Concubine Ming watched with interest. These guys in front of her didn't seem to worry about their own safety. She seemed to want to know what Qin Feng would choose. Hehe, <laughs> are you threatening me? 
looking at this senior brother Zhou, Qin Feng's indifferent voice sounded slowly again. My lord is serious, how dare I threaten you? It's just that, although we don't know your identity, sir. However, with the means of the Wang family, it is not particularly difficult to find someone. If you really want to kill us, I'm afraid, in the end, it will not be so easy to get out of the house. Threat This is clearly a threat. Although he said that he did not dare, but the other party's tone and attitude were obviously fake and fearless. Senior brother Joe's expression was still very anxious, but at this moment, it disappeared without a trace, and on the contrary, he was somewhat contented. Not only him, even other martial artists, at this moment, there is also a sneer of contempt. What if the talent list is number one? You still dare not shoot. As long as young master Wang and Ruyu Lu were famous, no one would dare to provoke them. Two adults, please leave as soon as possible. This is really just a misunderstanding. Senior brother Joe said calmly. With this tone, the low-pitched attitude of begging for mercy that was just now is completely gone. Wang Lei. Do you want me to say what I just said a second time? Qin Feng's voice sounded again, only a little bit more chilly. This. Upon hearing this, Wang Lei's heart trembled suddenly. At this time, deep in his heart, he couldn't help feeling a little surprised and shocked. Unexpectedly, even if Qin Feng knew that the other party had a relationship with the young master, he wanted to kill these people. However, at the same time, he was even more curious about what kind of identity Qin Feng really was, and what kind of power was behind him. To be so fearless and fearless. Kill them, any consequences, I can support you. Looking at Wang Lei, Qin Feng said calmly. What? Senior brother Zhou and the others didn't even expect that Qin Feng would actually kill them. The other party didn't seem to care about what they said just now, and didn't plan to let them go. You. Is it possible that you really want to offend the Wang family and completely turn your face with the elder of the Wang family? Wang Lei, I advise you to think carefully, otherwise. Wow. A fierce energy condenses into a spiked phantom, like a sharp arrow, quickly smashing the opponent's right hand. What? Under the tremendous pain, this week, the whole body of senior brother suddenly collapsed to the ground wailing and screaming constantly, very miserable. A mere divine realm, who gives you the courage to dare to dominate in front of me. Thinking of Qin Feng's powerful strength and mysterious background. At this time, Wang Lei naturally had no worries and said in a cold tone. Endless spikes. The next moment, accompanied by an indifferent voice, Wang Lei flashed again. When he saw him, he moved his body slightly and the horrible spiky shadows behind him moved quickly. In an instant, an even more endless aura broke out, carrying an unparalleled astonishing lethality, and violently attacked the pedestrian. You dare! Seeing, all the warriors in this sect will really be killed. Suddenly, a cold roar came out loudly. This roar, although not really shocking. However, it is also like a sea of tides, boundless, forming a sound wave, sweeping towards the sky with spikes and phantoms. Not only that, but also a very powerful palm print appeared, covering the sky and covering the past, towards Qin Feng and Wang Lei. Humph! Wang Lei let out a cold snort. As Qin Feng's subordinate, he naturally wouldn't let Qin Feng take action. Only seeing the next moment, the endless spikes on his body suddenly burst out endless spikes phantoms, evolving into a continuous posture like a green snake. Fearless, there was a fierce bombardment with that palm print. Boom! Accompanied by a sound, a thunderous rumbling sounded. Suddenly, an overbearing force began to explode fiercely along between the two at this moment. Wang Lei, you are so bold! A figure gradually revealed its figure from the dust flying in the sky. This person is an old man who is almost 70 years old, wearing a pale golden robe. His dress is very noble, and his identity is not simple. It's just that, 
in his current eyes, there are clearly wisps of raging anger. The strength of this old man seemed to be only the eightfold of the god throughput realm. However, Qin Feng noticed that, judging from the arrogance and contempt of this old man, he didn't care about Wang Lei at all. As if he was an emperor in front of Wang Lei. Manager Yang Seeing this old man appear, Wang Lei's expression moved slightly, and his eyes flickered constantly, with fierce expressions and cold glows. However, more is a kind of fear. It is impossible to imagine that a genius master in the transformation realm would be so jealous of this old man with the eightfold divine realm. Humph, Wang Lei, I think you are getting more and more arrogant. This Zhou surnamed is Lu Ruyu's cousin. You know the relationship between the eldest master and Lu Ruyu, why do you want to attack? Could it be that you are trying to provoke the young master's status to fail? There was a severe reprimand from Guan Shi Yang. With such a tone and such a gesture, it was as if Wang Lei in front of him was just a small person. You 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 you. Manager Yang, you must call the shots for me, this Wang Lei is simply too bullying. Senior brother Zhou, whose arm was cut off by Wang Lei, said with tears and snot, his face full of grievances. Don't worry, there is an old man here, I think today, who dares to touch you anymore. Manager Yang stood there confidently with his hands on his back and said. The young master is my brother of the same race, and an outstanding enchanting genius in the Wang family, much stronger than me. And this manager Yang is the confidant of my elder brother. Although his realm is not very high, he has an extraordinary status in the Wang family and has a lot of right to speak. Wang Lei quietly spoke to Qin Feng in a voice transmission. Obviously, he was very afraid of the young master in his heart. Hey? Who are you? What is the relationship between you and Wang Lei? Guan Shi Yang also noticed Qin Feng at this time. Wow! Accompanied by his words, just finished speaking. Suddenly, a thunder and lightning flashed across. In Qin Feng's hand, only a crystal gang bamboo sword appeared, with a blue light flashing on the sword. Soon, Qin Feng suddenly took out his sword, with an astonishing speed to the extreme. Puff! In the incredible gaze of Guan Shi Yang, the sword aura crisscrossed like thunder and lightning. In a second, he directly wiped out the senior brother Zhou and all the martial artists around him. Not one left. Wang Lei, remember it for me. One way of martial arts, if you don't advance, you will retreat. No matter what you encounter, you must stick to your heart, and even if you are faced with great pressure, you must be persevering. Only a brave and fearless heart of a strong man can truly reach the top. Qin Feng paused, then said. Also, that old man, I want to tell you something seriously. After a few glances at manager Yang, Qin Feng's voice sounded indifferently, and a stern expression appeared as his eyes flickered. Without that strength, don't be arrogant. You. Guan Shi Yang's expression instantly became angry. His body was trembling constantly, he suddenly raised his palm and pointed at Qin Feng, but he was so angry that he couldn't say a word. Arrogant. It's so arrogant. What is his identity? That was the confidant of the young master of the Wang family, a capable subordinate, and also served as the steward of the Wang family. Regardless of status or status, he can be regarded as a somewhat famous figure in the entire Mayuan realm. It can be said that he has never met before, and there are people who dare to treat him like this. However, the boy in front of him was not only extremely arrogant, but also ignored him. The heart of a brave and fearless strong man. After listening to Qin Feng's words, the sound that sounded very calm, but like thunder, crashed down deep in Wang Lei's heart. At this time, the luster in his eyes became brighter and brighter. Obviously, Qin Feng's remarks had quite an impact on him. He has already understood a lot, and he can go further in the future martial arts. Mood will never be shaken so easily again. In addition to Wang Lei, there was another person with a pair of bright black eyes, exuding a clever luster. This person is not someone else, 
but the concubine Ming Ming Ruyu. This woman had never spoken from the beginning, as if she was a mute. However, judging from her situation, it seems that this extraordinary trapped dragon formation did not bring her much deterrence. In other words, from the very beginning, she didn't have any at all, she put this group of warriors like ants in her eyes. You are so bold. Finally, after this manager Yang was angry for a while, his anger broke out completely. Eyes glowing like electricity, looking at Qin Feng fiercely, an endless momentum exploded vigorously. It was just a momentary effort that urged waves of water to suppress Qin Feng. Boy, no matter what your status is, I will kill you. Do you know that your crime is already unforgivable? What's more, on Qin Feng's body, there is still an ancient monster nine nether flame sparrow, and a peerless and powerful soul body curse the Devil King. Let me ask, how can a mere manager Yang be able to beat Qin Feng? Qin Feng, how could he be afraid of the young master and abolish his cultivation? Self-abolishment Qin Feng's expression was really a little weird, because he really couldn't understand why this old man was so funny. Where is this guy's confidence? Where does the confidence come from? Hehe, he, you are really confident. Looking at Guan Yang, Qin Feng's eyes gradually exuded a sharp look. An overbearing aura began to flow around his body quickly. Not good. At this time, Guan Qi Yang's expression changed slightly. He had already noticed something wrong, and he suddenly exclaimed in his heart. The whole person suddenly flew upside down and chose to escape. Boy, dare you! Wow! Qin Feng didn't speak, and a thunder wing emerged directly, chasing after him with incredible speed. A sword aura suddenly passed through the void. I can spare your life and let you go back. Of course, if you provoke me, you have to leave something behind. Laugh. Sword Qi filled the sky. A sword swept across, the speed of the sword was lightning fast. Even Wang Lei, who was next to him, didn't have time to see Qin Feng's sword movement clearly. What? A sorrowful wailing sound suddenly penetrated Ju Xiao. Two long arms slammed to the ground, spewing out a large swath of blood. Guan Qi Yang's body, under the excruciating pain, began to struggle and yelled. His eyes were fixed on Qin Feng, full of resentment, killing intent. This guy actually abolished both of his arms. Without hands, this is the cruelest thing for any warrior. No matter how favored he is, but without his hands, he is just like a useless person. From now on, it will never be possible to have the status of today. Just ask, how can this manager Yang not resent? Now, you can go back. With your cultivation base, I believe you won't bleed and die. Go back and tell the eldest master, let him come to me. Looking at manager Yang, Qin Feng said calmly. This guy is really decisive. Looking at Qin Feng, Wang Lei at this time was really convinced by Qin Feng. I remembered what Qin Feng said before. He also finally understood that Qin Feng is the kind that people don't offend me and I don't offend people, but if people offend me, they will definitely be refunded ten times. The more I looked at Qin Feng in front of him, the more Wang Lei felt hairy, and his body was chilly. In front of Qin Feng, he suddenly discovered that the young master who had always scared him was not as terrible as Qin Feng. Let's go. Qin Feng glanced lightly at the concubine Ming not far away. Although a look of surprise appeared between his eyes, he shook his head quickly and said calmly to Wang Lei. Yes. Wang Lei nodded quickly and followed up. This guy is so strange. Unexpectedly, there are such enchanting characters in the realm of Miyuan. The remarks made by the strong just now are really surprising. Seeing Qin Feng's distant figure, there was a touch of interest on concubine Ming's cold face. Although, I don't need you to save me at all, but I don't like to owe favors. Naturally, Qin Feng didn't know what this so-called concubine Ming was thinking. Xiao Feng if I didn't guess wrong, that woman might be called Concubine Ming, known as the number one beauty in Kinglin Domain. Taking a look at Qin Feng, 
Wang Lei couldn't help but said with a hint of admiration on his face. Concubine Ming. Qin Feng didn't know much about this woman. Yes, she is Concubine Ming, formerly named Ming Ruyu. She is very powerful, and she looks like a natural beauty, and she can be regarded as a super master in the Huayuan realm. With this woman's cultivation base, in fact, we don't need to take action at all, she can easily deal with the trapped dragon formation. In this way, I would have made an unnecessary move. Qin Feng smiled gently. In fact, even Wang Lei could see it, but how could he not? Hey, Xiao Feng, you completely offended young master Wang this time, and abolished manager Yang's hands. I'm afraid it will cause unnecessary trouble. Wang Lei said with a solemn expression on his face. Is it? Qin Feng smiled slightly after listening. He did not expect that Wang Lei would say this. Although I was ranked as the number one genius on the genius list, compared to the superpowers on the master list, it's not worth mentioning. There was a hint of helpless emotion in Wang Lei's tone. I am a concubine of the Wang family and my mother is just a slave and has no identity at all. But the young master is the most orthodox bloodline. Not only is his status high, but his talent is such a monster. It is terrifyingly powerful. Being able to rank on the top of the master list, all are shocking talents, definitely the kind of terrifying combat power. The most terrible thing is that young master Wang's teacher's background is very complicated, so it is not a wise move to offend him. Wang Lei. Qin Feng's voice suddenly exploded. In the light of his eyes, at this moment, there are wisps of spirits, and the expression is moving. My martial artist, the road of cultivation is already tortuous and difficult, and a little carelessness will be forever. If you step into the martial arts, if your heart is not firm enough and you don't have a brave and fearless heart, then your future achievements are destined to be no higher. If you have been living in the shadow of others and cannot get out of it, then you will never be able to surpass him. You need to know that what you have to do is not to be afraid of him, but to find a way to surpass him. Looking at Qin Feng's sharp sword-like eyes, Wang Lei's heart trembled suddenly. From these eyes, he saw a kind of arrogance, a kind of arrogance that was never afraid of everything. How tough and powerful this guy is. Looking at Qin Feng, Wang Lei couldn't help but feel more shocked. He also seemed to understand something. Little wind, where shall we go next? On the way, Wang Lei couldn't help but asked, his face full of curiosity. They have been on the road for almost a long time, but Qin Feng has been on the road. It seems that he has no intention to stop and rest, and the speed is getting faster and faster. It's coming soon. Qin Feng's eyes flickered and said calmly. According to this piece of body, the message provided by that ray of imprint in the battle robe of Bingian Supreme. That so-called fate is probably not far ahead. This great opportunity against the sky is likely to be this time, the first space trip, to get the most benefit. Qin Feng was also quite curious, what exactly was the heaven-defying chance that the skeleton said? It's over there. Finally, after more than ten minutes passed, Qin Feng stopped on the waist of a high mountain. I saw a river in front of me, trickling down, full of vitality. Not only that, there were already many warriors standing around the river, as if they were looking for something. Wow! A warrior circulated the true energy in his body, and a sound of water flow immediately sounded. The next moment, I saw a small object about the size of a palm, which was forcibly shaken out by his true chi. Tisk tusk, this guy is so lucky, he actually got one, Chiun Karp. Looking at that warrior, other warriors around, all showed a trace of envy. Chiun Karp. Hearing this name, Qin Feng finally knew why these guys were all concentrated here. Chiun Karp is a very rare fish. Their meat is very good and it is delicious, and it is endless aftertaste. It's just that if it's just satisfying food, it won't be enough to let so many warriors arrest in this place. The main reason is that it is said that the Chiun carp carries a little blood of a real dragon. Therefore, 
if you can eat this carb for a long time, you can increase your strength a lot. Real dragon, what a domineering creature that is. Even if there is only a small loss in the body of this scarlet cloud carp, the blood of the true dragon, if you eat enough, it will definitely get a lot of benefits. Unexpectedly, there will be Chiyun carp in this place. There is little wind, if you are outside, even if you only have one fish, you can exchange a lot of good treasures. Looking at the martial artists around, Wang Lei couldn't help but showed a hint of excitement. Not bad. Qin Feng nodded. However, in his heart, he felt quite helpless. Of course he would not know that there would be a Chiyun carp in this place. However, his place of chance is here. To be precise, it should be under this river. According to the information provided by the Ice Flame Supreme Battle Robe, there is something very sky-defying hidden deep in the bottom of the water. However, at this moment, there are so many warriors. If you choose to shoot now and really find the great opportunity inside, it will probably cause huge movements and make others jealous. In this way, the trouble is not small. Ha ha ha. At this moment, a burst of wild laughter sounded. I saw a warrior, suddenly aroused the Genkai in his body, and slapped fiercely into the river. Immediately afterwards, a Chiyun carp that was half a meter in size was successfully shocked by him out of the water and onto his hand. I'll take it, this guy is too good. What kind of luck? The Chiyun carp that is half a meter long is beyond imagination. All of a sudden, the martial artists present were full of envy, and they wanted to it immediately. Looking at the red cloud carp, the whole body was filled with red light, like blood. Vaguely, there was a hint of golden light, that is the power of the real dragon bloodline. Its strength is huge, and every time it struggles, it is comparable to the strength of 10,000 caddies. Moreover, the teeth in its mouth are very sharp. If the strength is not enough, it is almost difficult to catch them. Ha ha ha, it's so cool, this trip is not a loss. That warrior laughed very happily, such a big Chiyun carp is definitely of extraordinary value. After eating, you can get more benefits. However, at this moment, Qin Feng's expression suddenly moved. I saw there, a red phantom that was as fast as lightning, quickly emerging from the water, piercing the sky. Roar! The sound of dragon chants resounded through the sky. At this moment, you can clearly see. At this moment, the river in front of it began to boil, as if it was overwhelming. Immediately afterwards, a very huge figure began to emerge. This figure looked like a dragon, but it was in the form of a fish. The whole body is almost as tall as a mountain. Moreover, the scales on this guy's body are almost the size of a bucket, and the golden streamer glowing from the floating body seems to make the entire sky shine. The most important thing is that on the top of this guy's head, there are still two tentacles like dragon horns, which are extraordinary at first glance. Crack! This guy's speed was extremely fast, he opened his mouth directly, and without hesitation, he bit the previous warrior fiercely. With the sound of a clicking sound, that is, in a blink of an eye, the warrior of the god passing realm fell like this, and his body was torn into pieces of meat. How terrible it looks. All this happened too fast and too suddenly. People can't help it at all, they can react. That is to say, in a flash of effort, a good strength master of the god passing realm was easily killed by the opponent. Roar. This weird fish creature raised his head and roared again. At this moment, all the warriors changed their faces suddenly. Everyone, run, this thing is the Scarlet Cloud Carp King. It's a terrible existence. No one had expected that a Scarlet Cloud Carp King would appear in this place. Such a terrifying power, exaggerated attack speed, and the sound of thundering waves are really daunting, and they dare not have the thought of competing with it. Of course, the real horror is that there is a dragon's majesty in the other's roar. Even Qin Feng himself could clearly perceive that the true qi in his body was operating at a much faster speed. It was like meeting relatives and friends, and he was very excited. 
The majesty of the dragons echoed in the void, as if they had established a resonance relationship with the power of the true dragon in Qin Feng's body. The strength is comparable to Huayun realm. This scarlet cloud carp king unexpectedly possesses such a terrifying astonishing cultivation base, and if the opponent is in the water, it still occupies a huge geographical advantage, which can make the strength play more perfect. Everyone, run, we can't beat this guy at all, it's really horrible. Among the many warriors present, the warrior with the highest cultivation level has only reached the nine levels of the god-passing realm. Where does the strength come from that can compete with this kind of cultivation guy? Roar. With a roar again, I saw that a very terrifying stream of water condensed into a sky-reaching water dragon, swept across the martial artists around, with unparalleled momentum. <laughs> All the warriors touched by this attack constantly screamed and wailed, their entire body instantly turned into flesh and blood, and even the complete bones were not left behind. You stay here first and wait for me for a while. Qin Feng's face was calm and said to Wang Lei Chuanyan next to him. There is little wind, this guy is Scarlet Cloud Carp King. His strength is extremely powerful, especially when the opponent is still in the water, and his strength is even stronger than on land. Upon seeing this, Wang Lei knew Qin Feng's thoughts and couldn't help but persuade him. The combat power of this guy is indeed very terrifying. Even a big figure in the Huayuan realm does not have much confidence and can compete with the opponent. Nothing. Qin Feng's eyes flickered, and the next moment, his figure turned into a flash of lightning and rushed towards the opponent. Search. Around Qin Feng's body, thunder and lightning condensed, and a thunder wing began to appear behind him, the speed is so fast that people can't see the figure. In the blink of an eye, Qin Feng arrived beside the Scarlet Cloud Carp King. Who is that guy? How dare to provoke this Carp King so openly? Seeing Qin Feng alone, he suddenly appeared. Many warriors have slightly changed their faces. Moreover, there were a few warriors, after seeing Qin Feng's dress clearly, their complexions suddenly changed, as if they had seen something terrible. Apart from anything else, these few of them began to run away quickly without turning their heads back. From these guys, the costumes and dresses on their bodies are impressively the gatekeepers of the Tian Chen sect. This group of people apparently recognized Qin Feng, so they didn't dare to stay any longer. Roar! Facing the human warrior who suddenly appeared, the Chiun Carp King suddenly let out an angry roar. In those silly pair of fierce eyes, wisps of golden streamers appeared, as if a real dragon was looking down like all creatures. However, this guy's expression was obviously sneered with contempt. Obviously, it didn't care at all about the guy in front of him who was only the five-layered god through god. Rumble. In an instant, dozens of terrifying currents began to fly out of the river, and then gathered into water dragons, sweeping towards Qin Feng unceremoniously. Each water dragon carries a power that is comparable to a hill. After being superimposed in this way, the power can hardly be imagined. Hey, ridiculous! In Qin Feng's mouth, he couldn't help but hummed coldly, and he suddenly burst out with a very powerful aura. Roar! Roar! Qin Feng began to urge the prime true dragon technique frantically, the true energy in his body boiled, and the power of the twenty true dragons was superimposed on one another. At the next moment, I saw a huge real dragon phantom, suddenly coming out of Qin Feng's body. Under the unconcealable power of the true dragon, the aura of the Carp King was actually suppressed abruptly. Swish swish. When aware of Qin Feng, this true dragon phantom empress condensed. The whole body of the King Carp shook suddenly, and there was a hint of incredible in his eyes. You know, the primordial true dragon art that Qin Feng cultivates is based on real dragons and the power of real dragons carried is comparable to real dragons. Just ask, what qualifications does a mere Scarlet Cloud Carp King have to compare with Qin Feng? There is no possibility of comparison between the two, so this Scarlet Cloud Carp King began to have a trace of fear in his heart. Rumble. In just one second, 
this guy jumped into the water without saying a word, and slipped away without looking back. He didn't have the courage to compete with Qin Feng at all. Hey! Want to run? There was a cold snort in Qin Feng's mouth, and the whole figure, without any hesitation, turned into a flash of electricity, and pursued and killed the opponent. He was very clear about Qin Feng's robbing of these two opportunities. Therefore, Wang Lei certainly didn't know the reason why they came to this place. Hey, that kid is here. Yang Yunchen's eyes flickered, and a very fierce hostility began to burst out of his eyes suddenly, like a sharp sword. Yes, brother Yang, that guy was here just now, we saw that guy just now, got into the water, to chase. I only saw a few clerks of the Tian Chen sect, said very surely. Hey, yes. You did a great job with this thing. When I kill that thing, I will definitely reward you again. On Yang Yunchen's face, strands of cold killing intent appeared, gritted his teeth and said. Thank you brother Yang. The current situation is still a bit troublesome. With our cultivation base, these whirlpool currents will naturally not affect us. It's just that the Scarlet Cloud Carp King is not easy to deal with. Its combat power is comparable to the masters of the Huayuan realm, and it is similar to ours. If it's underwater, it's hard to get any benefit even if we add up to it. So, I suggest that everyone is now, the best is to be on the shore, waiting for the thing to come out, and then grab him, it's not too late. King Uyang Xian looked like a strong man, but he was actually very smart. The city mansion was very deep and he suddenly thought of various key points. Yes, that Carp King is very strong, no matter how enchanting he is, it will definitely consume a lot of thought. When this comes out, I believe that he will not have much strength left at all. At that time, I see what else he can take to escape from our hands. Humph! Yang Yunchen's eyes glowed with fierce rays, and he nodded in agreement. It's a pity that Hanyan didn't come with us. It's really a pity. However, that's okay, everything on this guy can belong to us. King Uyang Xian said with a sneer. Qin Feng naturally didn't know about the arrival of Yang Yunchen and others. After he came into the water, he began to run fast. The battle robe on his body continuously released strands of power, blocking the surrounding water flow outside, without bringing any obstacle to Qin Feng. However, the Scarlet Cloud Carp King swimming in front of him became more and more frightened. The power of the true dragon released in Qin Feng's body was really terrifying. If the real dragon descended, it wouldn't even dare to look back, so it could only choose to flee desperately. This river has a very wide range. Originally, the river was very big. The King Carp thought that under the water, a human warrior could not catch up with his own speed. But now, it discovered that the speed of Qin Feng hasn't decayed at all, and it is even faster than this water-based creature. Such a posture made the King Carp feel very aggrieved. Boy, do you have to force me to die with you. Finally, after discovering that he could not get rid of Qin Feng, the Scarlet Cloud Carp King also became angry and began to roar loudly. However, in its voice, there was a trace of vibrato. Obviously, it is still very scared. Hey! Qin Feng's speed slowed down slightly, but he did not expect that this guy would actually use his soul power to communicate with him. Although it is not as good as Zhu it is really not simple. It is indeed a creature with a trace of true dragon blood. However, listening to the voice of this guy's grievance, Qin Feng felt a little bit in his heart, not crying or laughing. Because, he didn't even plan to kill this guy. The other party clearly misunderstood. Of course. Qin Feng didn't intend to explain to him immediately, but with an indifferent expression, he sneered and said, Are you threatening me? Boom. The power of a true dragon burst out again instantly. At this moment, around Qin Feng's body, there was a terrifying power of true dragons, two illusory true dragons suddenly appeared behind him exuding extremely domineering true dragon power. You you you. Chiyun Carp King wanted to say something but stopped, but he didn't know what to say, 
his face was very innocent, as if he wanted to cry. The power of the true dragon exuding from Qin Feng is so terrifying that he has no courage at all, dare to challenge Qin Feng. In other words, in front of Qin Feng's true dragon's pressure, deep in its soul, there is only a thought of worship and surrender, and no thought of resistance at all. You, what do you want to do? Looking at Qin Feng in front of Qin, Chiun Karp King bowed his head helplessly. With your strength, I must be a little familiar under this water. Take me to a place first. Qin Feng's figure flashed lightly, stepped directly on the back of the Scarlet Cloud Carp King, and said calmly. You actually. In the heart of Chiun Karp King, what an anger is that. As the overlord of the water, it has never been bullied so much before anyone dares to stand on it. It's just that it can be seen now, and it seems that Qin Feng didn't intend to do anything to him. In addition, the opponent's true dragon power influence, so even if it is dissatisfied, it can only endure silently. With this Scarlet Cloud Carp King, leading the way, Qin Feng saved a lot of effort. The scope of this river is very wide, at least several hundred thousand meters, it can be regarded as a big river. Qin Feng, standing on the back of the Scarlet Cloud Carp King, slightly narrowed his eyes, constantly detecting everything around him. In the end, when he came to the middle of the river, he finally got a reward. Come on to that place. Qin Feng's complexion was calm, and he commanded the Qi Yun Carp. What? That place. When seeing the direction Qin Feng indicated, Chiun Carp King's body shuddered suddenly, as if it had encountered something terrible. This guy is actually scared. Okay. Seeing the appearance of Chiun Carp King, Qin Feng was a little surprised. With the strength of this guy, in this underwater world, it can be regarded as a big boss, no one dares to provoke. But this guy is so scared now, a place? Obviously, that place is probably very dangerous. Come on. Qin Feng shook his head, even if he knew it was dangerous, he could only choose to go there. Because, he can feel that there is obviously a very strong summoning power in that place, and he wants to pass as soon as possible. If you want to get a big chance, how can you be afraid of danger? Roar. Facing Qin Feng's body, the majesty of the true dragon spread out. No matter how the crisis is, the Scarlet Cloud Carp King at this moment can only choose to yield. Because, compared to that place, Qin Feng is obviously more terrifying. In an unwilling mood, the King Carp can only bite the bullet, shake his body constantly, and swim towards that place. Although Qin Feng was calm on the surface, he was also quite wary in his heart. Because he could clearly detect that the closer the Carp King got to that place, the more his body trembles. It is conceivable how dangerous that place is to make a monster in the transformation realm so scared. Wow! Finally, when Qin Feng arrived at the destination, even if it was him, his expression suddenly changed. I only saw it in front of my eyes. A stream that is 10,000 meters long and 100 meters wide is flowing there. This stream is clear and transparent, like a diamond, but there is no edge in sight. At this moment, strands of chill began to fill the surroundings. This chill, even if it is as strong as Qin Feng, felt very cold, as if even the soul was frozen. However, what surprised Qin Feng was that around this stream of water, it seemed to be a space of its own. The water in the surrounding rivers could not get close to this stream, and it was not frozen into ice by the biting chill. This is incredible. Such an icy breath can completely freeze the 10,000 meters of river water into ice, but at this moment it is very strange. This feeling is like being divided into two spaces. Wow! When standing Qin Feng came to this place, the Nine Nether Flame Sparrow and the Cursed Sky Demon King immediately came out of Qin Feng's body. Yuhi! Looking at the very strange current in front of him, there was a look of shock in the eyes of the Curse of the Devil. Yes, this place is indeed Yuhi. Zhu Yu Yang's complexion was also very solemn, a sharp stream of light appeared in his eyes, and he said in a low voice. 
The land of the quiet river is immortal and unborn. Hearing the words of the two guys, Qin Feng's expression couldn't help becoming more and more serious. Yuhi is a very, mysterious and ancient place. It looks like a river, but in fact it is completely different from the river, very strange and mysterious. The temperature inside is extremely icy, even the most powerful creature, once it touches the water of the Yuhi, it will not be able to get rid of its chill until the soul is frozen. No, this place doesn't seem to be a real Yuhi. Suddenly, a trace of surprise appeared in Zhu Yuyang's eyes, and he said seriously. Why do you say that? Looking at the Zhu Yuyang next to him, Qin Feng frowned at this moment and asked. Yuhi, this place is a very mysterious place. It is said that living in is so easy to be found. The legendary is even more terrifying and bloody. Although, I have never seen Yuhi, but according to the records of memory inheritance, it is obviously much more terrifying than the thing in front of me, it is definitely not that simple. Yes, if we encounter the real Yuhi, I am afraid that we will not get close to this place yet, and the chill will instantly freeze our souls, without the power to resist. At this time, the cursed demon king next to him also recovered. Although this stream is also very icy and cold, it looks similar to Yuhi, but if I didn't guess wrong, it contains at most one drop of water from Yuhi. According to the words of these two people, Qin Feng's brows became even tighter. Such a horrible place actually contains only a drop of water from Yuhi. One can imagine how terrifying the real Yuhi would be. What a guard against the sky. Of course. Even if it only contained a drop, the chill radiated from it was still enough to make a large number of creatures daunted. What's the chance here? As his eyes flickered, Qin Feng was obviously more interested in this Emperor Heaven City. You can take out a drop of water from the secluded river of hell, which is definitely a very remarkable method. You can go back. The figure flashed slightly, but Qin Feng stepped off the Carp King and said calmly. Wow! In the next moment, the Scarlet Cloud Carp King flashed directly, and hurried away without hesitation. Who built this Emperor Tian Cheng? Are the previous warriors really so scary? Looking at the small river in front of him, Qin Feng couldn't help but feel puzzled. Zhu Yuyang, you should hide your figure first. Curse the Devil King, don't reveal your whereabouts. The current in front of me was too cold, and the atmosphere was very strange. Even the Scarlet Cloud Carp King was very frightened, which completely proved that this place was indeed not simple. Qin Feng didn't want to let them both take risks. GGG. Qin Feng, although your kid has some strength, and you have enslaved me. But you kid should be careful for me, don't fall in there. Xu Tian Devil said half jokingly. Although he was eager for Qin Feng's fall, then he would be free again. However, he also understands very well now that it seems that following Qin Feng is not a bad thing, but can get a lot of benefits. Humph. Qin Feng snorted coldly, and his figure leaped slightly. Wow. The next moment, Qin Feng jumped into the water, and there was a sound of falling into the water. Suddenly, a terrible chill began to envelope Qin Feng's body. This chill was so strong that it was shocking, and the muscles of the body seemed to be frozen stiffly in an instant. Even Qin Feng hadn't expected that the chill inside would be so overbearing and unpredictable. Thanks to that, this chill did not last for a very long time, that is, it was a moment of effort. Immediately afterwards, the Ice Flame Supreme Battle Robe on Qin Feng's body trembled suddenly. At the next moment, only a stream of rune light began to be released from above, and a roar of skyrocketing sound followed. Boom! I only saw the currents around me, and in an instant, I was isolated. This shirt is really a rare thing. Looking at the Ice Flame Supreme jersey on his body, Qin Feng couldn't help showing a surprised expression on his face. The water inside was too cold and unbearable, even if it was as strong as his body, it was very difficult to deal with. Unexpectedly, this Ice Flame Supreme battle robe could actually isolate these currents for him. In this way, with the help of this Bingian Supreme Battle Robe, 
the chill on Qin Feng's body was instantly relieved. Although this chill was not completely expelled, with Qin Feng's physical strength, it could still be easily dealt with. Deep dive. Keep diving. Hey? My body seems to be able to absorb and refine part of these chills. As time went by, Qin Feng could perceive that the muscles throughout his body were constantly absorbing the chill and becoming stronger and stronger. This is incredible. Because if it's someone else, even if they get a little bit of chill, they will freeze instantly, and the body can't bear it. This is also thanks to Qin Feng, who has cultivated the Prince ancient true dragon technique, and has long made his body strength far surpass ordinary people. What's more, Qin Feng also possesses the Ice Flame Supreme Battle Robe, this guarding magic weapon of heaven does not naturally pose any safety problems. Ever since, in this situation, it is of course impossible for Qin Feng to miss this good opportunity to improve his strength. He began to slowly absorb the chill that came in all around him. At this moment, I only felt that there was a sword blade condensed from thousands of years of profound ice in the body, which was constantly shuttled through the body meridians. And those fine impurities in his body were expelled once again, and his body became clearer. The skin and bones are like jade, bright and shining, looking beautiful, as strong as the body of a fairy. As time went on, Qin Feng got closer and closer to the bottom of the water. Gradually, the speed at which Qin Feng dived down slowly began to slow down. The more you go down, the stronger the pressure you feel. Realizing that the pressure from the surrounding water had affected his speed, Qin Feng couldn't help but be secretly surprised. The surrounding water flow seems to be poured with iron juice, the density is very high, and the pressure is even more powerful. It is very difficult even to move. Judging from this density, it is absolutely comparable to a stone, and it is absolutely impossible to exist in a liquid form. Could it be because there was a drop of Yuhi water? Yuhi is an extremely mysterious thing. The legendary is only known in ancient books. Such a terrifying and mysterious place is not an ordinary warrior at all, it can be touched. Moreover, among the records in those ancient books, records on these mysterious places are very rare. That kind of feeling is like, in the dark, what power is there to erase the records of those mysterious places abruptly? Therefore, at this moment, Qin Feng is more and more curious about Na Yuhi. And the water flow in front of me is very likely because it is because of the fusion of a drop of Yuhi water that the density of the water is so high and the pressure is so strong. WHHHH. Suddenly, at this time, within Qin Feng's body's danshan, the eternal tree actually sent out a strange wave. Immediately afterwards, Qin Feng could clearly notice that the aura on the tree became more tenacious, and it seemed that it had been improved a lot. Qin Feng's face changed slightly. Since the last time, the Tree of Eternity has hardly been improved. Unexpectedly, at this time, it actually changed a little, and it also improved a little bit of strength. Could it be that this thing had this change because of the water of the Yuhi? Qin Feng secretly guessed inwardly. He could feel that the Eternal Tree in his body was constantly releasing strands of strength swallowing the cold chill that had invaded the meridians of his body. It was after absorbing and swallowing these chills that it became more tenacious and powerful. I don't know how deep there is to get to the end. Looking at the river under him, Qin Feng began to think secretly in his heart. According to his current body speed, after such a long time, no matter how great the water pressure is, it must have sunk a lot of distance. However, until now, he has not seen the bottom edge, which is really incredible. That kind of feeling is like the bottom of the water, there is never a boundary, but a vast space. Soul Power After a moment of contemplation, Qin Feng didn't hesitate anymore, and directly began to display his soul power to probe the surroundings. Accompanied by the urging of the vast and majestic soul power, all the surrounding movement was counted, appearing under Qin Feng's control. Unexpectedly, even with such a powerful soul power as me, I can't detect too far away. It is conceivable that the pressure in this place is such an exaggeration. 
if it is replaced by someone else, I am afraid that it will be frozen instantly if it has just used the soul power. With Qin Feng's current soul strength, even in the primordial era, it is definitely a level of enchanting, and it is not comparable to ordinary warriors. It is hard to imagine how exaggerated the oppression in these surroundings will be. What a horror it will be! Qin Feng estimated that without the protection of his shirt, it would be difficult to dive to such a deep place on his own. Hey! That place! Just when Qin Feng was about to take back his soul power. Suddenly, a ray of his soul power was actually frozen stiff by an overbearing chill. Moreover, this kind of freezing is still a direct obliteration. Qin Feng knew this feeling very well, and he immediately lost the sense, which is equivalent to being burned and obliterated by the fire, and being struck by thunder. The same reason, reaching the extreme cold can also be obliterated. However, it was precisely because of the disappearance of this ray of soul power that Qin Feng also knew the specific location of that place. Wow! Without any hesitation, his figure flickered, and in an instant, Qin Feng's whole body turned into a gust of wind, and rushed in that direction quickly. Right here. Before long, Qin Feng's brows, slightly frivolous, came to the location where his soul was wiped out just now. Om. Oh, I saw that here, the river water almost condensed into ice cubes, almost reaching a static state. No, it should be said that it is still flowing. It's just that the speed of that flow is too slow to be noticeable with the naked eye. Unless it is, with such a powerful soul power as Qin Feng, can he weakly sense the current situation? Through Qin Feng's observation, he clearly saw that there was a rune floating in the center of this place, emitting a light blue streamer. This rune, floating and sinking in the water, looks very mysterious. What is this? Looking at the rune not far away, Qin Feng's face couldn't help but move slightly. That rune seemed too weird, like a symbol, but it was somewhat similar to the text. If you observe carefully for a while, you will feel that holding things seems to be a real thing. Anyway, every time I observe, I will feel different. What the is this thing? Seeing this peculiar rune streamer, Qin Feng couldn't help feeling surprised in his heart. With Qin Feng's observational power, he naturally trusted his eyes very much, and basically would not be confused by what he saw. But at this time, Qin Feng hesitated a bit. For example, things like magic arrays can completely affect the visual effects of the warrior. Ever since, Qin Feng directly urged his soul power and began to detect the situation of that rune. What? This thing is actually text. A moment later, when Qin Feng detected the rune streamer clearly, his face suddenly changed. What kind of writing has this terrible ability? After knowing what this rune was, Qin Feng's inner shock became more profound and violent. As we all know, text is a kind of existence without any spirituality and can only record information. However, the rune in front of him is indeed a genuine word. Moreover, it is still a very ancient and distant text. Could it be, what is this thing? Suddenly, at this moment, Qin Feng remembered that in his previous life, he had seen a rumor of a written record in an ancient book. It is said that that kind of text is completely different from ordinary text. They have all kinds of strange and mysterious powers, and warriors can use them to exert all kinds of incredible abilities. And this kind of text in the rumors is named the text of the gods. It is said that this kind of writings of the gods comes from the gods and men who have been inherited from the ancient times, and there are only a few dozen. However, each of these gods contains extremely terrifying divine power. Once the warrior takes control of it, he can carp into a dragon and become a peerless power. Could it be, this rune text is the text of the gods in that ancient book? Thinking of this result, Qin Feng's expression suddenly changed in this instant. The words of the gods, as the name suggests, are the words of the gods. The endless power and various magical powers contained in this have long been recorded in ancient books. I'm afraid this thing is really the text of the gods. Cursed the devil's mouth, said in surprise. There was a hint of envy and emotion in his voice. 
Qin Feng's luck was too bad. Even he had some understanding of the text of these gods. It is a pity that this kind of thing can be met but not sought, he has never seen it at all. In today's era, few people even know the existence of this thing, so how can they ever see it? Therefore, Qin Feng's luck is really enviable. Such a god-defying fetish can actually be obtained. The chill in this place is really terrifying, and it can affect our souls. Even if I am extremely resistant to cold, the general low temperature can't affect me, but now it's a little hard to suppress. Zhu Yuyang let out a soft sigh. Wow! Qin Feng's eyes flickered, and then, once again, he glanced at that piece of writing of the gods. Only seeing this thing, it is constantly floating and sinking like a leaf boat. Perceiving the icy atmosphere on this, Qin Feng couldn't help but wonder. Cold. If I guessed correctly, this word of the gods should be cold. Cold means that the temperature has been extremely low, and it is more powerful than cold. It is a very special force that can freeze everything. Among the various attribute powers, this ice-cold power can definitely be regarded as a very domineering category. It is even said that there are almost no warriors who can spur the use of the power of ice-cold. Even if it is, a warrior with this attribute bloodline power in his body is extremely rare. However, I have to admit that. The power of the power of ice-cold is very terrifying, at least not much worse than the power of thunder. Moreover, in some cases, it may be better than the power of thunder and lightning. In historical records throughout the ages, any warrior who can spur the power of ice cold. Each one belongs to, in the contemporary era, a brilliant and talented person with outstanding strength and fame. If you can swallow and refine this word of the gods into your own. Then, Qin Feng can obtain the power of the ice and cold force, and his combat effectiveness will inevitably be greatly improved. This is equivalent to that Qin Feng will add another kind of primordial bloodline of ice cold attribute power. However, the power of this thing is very powerful, so its lethality far exceeds a lot of power. If I want to successfully refine it, I'm afraid I will encounter the opponent, a very domineering counterattack. Once you can't bear it, the consequences will be disastrous. Qin Feng is very clear about this situation. Any good things in the world will not be so easy to be obtained by you. Most of the time, you have to go through a test. With my suggestion, I think you should be more careful. This thing is not an ordinary power. Don't think it is just a word, but the power that bursts out is enough to wipe out all the masters of the transformation realm. And your strength is good, but if you want to refine this thing, I am afraid it is not as easy as you imagined. If you choose to swallow refining rashly, I am afraid that it is very likely that you will be frozen by the power of ice and freeze your soul, and then fall here. Shushan Demon King's face changed, frowned, and seriously reminded Qin Feng. Yes, Zhou Tian is right. Qin Feng, I also think you should choose carefully. As far as your current strength is concerned, you can be regarded as a monster genius. As long as you continue to maintain the status quo, integrate various methods, and then cultivate the imprint's ancient true dragon art to the highest level. I believe that the entire Tian Wheel continent, there won't be a few people who can match you. Why do you want to take such a big risk for the sake of a text of the gods? Zhu Yuyang nodded, also very much in agreement with Cursed Sky Demon King's statement. Call. Qin Feng frowned, thought for a while, and finally made a decision. He took a deep breath and clenched his fist. In fact, what the two of them said really made sense. As far as his current strength is concerned, there is simply not much certainty that he can swallow the text of the gods and refine it. As long as he just touched the text of the gods, he would be directly frozen into an ice sculpture by the power of ice cold. Even if his life is gone, no matter how bad the chance is, what use is it? Let's go. Qin Feng shook his head helplessly and gave a wry smile. Obviously there are treasures in front, but you can't own them. This feeling is really very uncomfortable. For Qin Feng's decision, even if it was cursing the Devil King, he secretly marveled. 
Facing such an important opportunity, Qin Feng could choose to give up. You can imagine how amazing Qin Feng's mood and willpower are. If this guy doesn't fall in advance, he will definitely become a peerless man in the future. Om. Just when Qin Feng was about to give up, planning to start returning to the shore. Suddenly, in the center of his eyebrows, a strange wave was quickly released. Not good. Perceiving this wave of fluctuation, Qin Feng's face suddenly changed. Immediately afterwards, he hurriedly increased his body speed and tried to run away. It's a pity, it's too slow. From the center of his eyebrows, a half-moon-shaped rune began to permeate strands of mysterious power, and suddenly moved towards the text of the gods, and quickly enveloped the past. It's like a tiger who has encountered its own prey. Hiss. That is to say, in an instant, Qin Feng's expression turned pale. Although, he didn't know what the origin of this half-moon rune was and how much effect it had. However, the courage of this thing is a bit too big. The texts of the gods contained very terrifying ice and cold power, which could even be wiped out by the masters of the Yuan realm. At this moment, if you choose to forcibly refining and absorb, it is absolutely dangerous. Wow! Unfortunately, Qin Feng couldn't stop it at all. The energy of the half-month rune lightly touched the text of the gods. Immediately, it was like a layer of tulle, directly wrapping the text of the gods in an instant. Hey! All of a sudden, Qin Feng's expression became paler. Not only that, the energy of the half-moon rune touched the text of the gods at the moment. I only felt a terrible cold breath, as if a stormy sea, permeated out. The speed of its spread is almost like lightning. What made Qin Feng almost fainted to the ground was that this half-moon rune touched the power of the gods. Suddenly it turned into a streamer and returned to Qin Feng's body. It seemed that he was not satisfied with this kind of writings of the gods and chose to discard it. I'm drunk too. Qin Feng's heart, at this moment, almost hated this half-moon rune. Obviously it was you who caused the trouble. Why do you want him to deal with it now? In the next moment, a very domineering force of ice and cold exploded quickly. In the blink of an eye, everything in the tens of thousands of meters in the model SA was completely frozen. Even Qin Feng himself was not immune to being frozen into an ice sculpture. The text of the gods was shining, and in an instant, it invaded Qin Feng's body and began to frantically destroy Qin Feng's meridians. Whizzing! In this instant, Qin Feng's body almost lost consciousness stiff as an iron block. Even if he still has the Ice Flame Supreme Battle Robe on his body, but at this time, he can't completely resist that terrible ice-cold power. The defensive power of the Ice Flame Supreme Tabard is indeed very good, but unfortunately, this does not mean that it can ignore the erosion of the ice and cold power. At this moment, Qin Feng's muscles, bones, and even his true energy were madly frozen by the force of ice. Boom! Perceiving the erosion of the ice-cold power outside, the true dragon power in Qin Feng's body began to explode, trying to drive the ice-cold power out. Not only that, but the King Mu ancestral veins in Qin Feng's body also tried their best to resolve the chill. Unfortunately, the power of ice-cold, apart from the power of fierce flame, there is almost no power to restrain it. At this moment, the power of ice cold came to Qin Feng's danshan, preparing to seal the danshan with ice. The Tree of Eternity sensed that the situation was not right, and also released strands of life force to help Qin Feng resist the force of ice and cold. It's a pity that Qin Feng's body is almost without any sense at this moment, like a vegetable. Even the Eternal Tree can guarantee Qin Feng's vitality and not be obliterated by the power of ice and cold. But it couldn't stop Qin Feng the whole person was constantly frozen into ice. Now, it's a bit difficult. Zhu Yuyang shook his head and smiled bitterly, his face full of helplessness. At this moment, it intends to display nine nether flames to help Qin Feng expel those cold powers, but it also damages Qin Feng's body, so it does not have a good solution for the time being. Wow! It was also when Qin Feng was at a loss. 
The half moon rune that caused trouble just now seemed to have sensed that Qin Feng was unable to resist the power of the cold. As a result, it began to slowly release a ray of energy, and then quickly made a mark on the text of the gods. Although this was just a simple move, Qin Feng clearly noticed that the power of the ice cold power seemed to be suppressed a lot. Not only that, but in the next moment, a wave of warm energy began to appear among his limbs, and slowly wandered. Could it be that this is the energy of that half moon rune? Perceiving this warm current in his body, Qin Feng couldn't help but feel shocked. Not only him, even the curse of the devil at this moment, there was also an incredible look on his face. This half month rune is not complete at all, so it has such a terrifying energy. The curse of the devil cannot imagine how exaggerated the power of this half-month rune would be if it were in its heyday. How powerful! Qin Feng did not hesitate, with the help of this warm current, he immediately seized the opportunity. Opportunity! At this moment, this is the best opportunity for Qin Feng to refine the text of the gods. Qin Feng, naturally will not miss it. Boom! When his mind moved, Qin Feng was running with all his strength, and with the help of that warm current, he continued to refine the writings of the gods. It's just that when Qin Feng touched the text of the gods, suddenly, a very strong impact was released in Qin Feng's body in an instant. With this huge impact, Qin Feng's internal organs seemed to be scattered, and he couldn't help but burst out a large mouthful of blood. What's happening here? Feeling this, the huge impact, Qin Feng's face suddenly appeared a little surprised. I only saw that in the pubic area, the strength of the King Mu ancestral veins was actually in a state of incompatible with that of the gods. Lie down. Even if Qin Feng had a good mood on weekdays and didn't get angry easily, but at this time, he still wanted to curse. In such a dangerous situation just now, the King Mu ancestral vein had no effect at all, but at this moment, it was very resolute to resist. Between these two forces, there is no room for two tigers. Moreover, what made Qin Feng even more speechless was that these two terrifying forces really refused to accept each other at this moment. He didn't even consider the safety of Qin Feng, the master. This is normal. Generally speaking, it is impossible for this kind of bloodline power to exist in symbiosis. The King Mu ancestral veins, and the texts of the gods, are completely different from each other, so you can only choose one of them. At this time, the voice of Zhu Yuyang sounded in Qin Feng's sea of knowledge. It is an ancient monster with a long existence, and naturally it is better than Qin Feng. Can only choose one of them. Qin Feng's expression changed slightly. Whether it is the King Mu ancestral veins or the texts of the gods, they are all rare powers in the world and each of them is very powerful. The Aoki ancestral vein is the source and limit of the power of the wood attribute. And this text of the gods contains a very terrifying force of ice and cold, killing and attacking is extremely strong. The power of the two, no matter which one, is enough for the warriors to fight frantically for it. At this time, it is really a headache for him to choose one of them. Hurry up and make a choice although your half-month rune can temporarily suppress the text of the gods, but after all, its power is limited, I am afraid it is impossible to suppress it forever. Zhu Yuyang said to Qin Feng very seriously. Hey, why have to give up one kind? Qin Feng's brows wrinkled slightly, very helpless. Obviously, this kind of choice, anyone will be very entangled. The Greenwood Ancestral Vein is the ultimate source of wood attribute power, which can give birth to various types of wood attribute power. For example, Qin Feng's sharp bloodline was used to stimulate it. After this time of exploration, Qin Feng has understood the power of this Greenwood Ancestral Vein. If he chooses to abandon it now, Qin Feng will definitely lose a lot. However, the writings of the gods are also very precious and its value is probably still above the Greenwood ancestral vein. After all, this thing is inherited from the gods, and its true power is definitely not just the power of ice and cold, so simple. Fine, at this moment, I can only make a choice, nothing to entangle. 
Qin Feng's eyes flashed slowly. In fact, this matter is also a good choice. If he could easily expel the text of the gods from his body, he wouldn't have to endure this kind of pain. Therefore, the most suitable method is to expel the King Mu ancestral veins from the body, which will be easier. However, even in this way, the difficulty of expelling is definitely not so easy. What's more, Qin Feng was still quite reluctant to bear this special attribute power. No. I don't believe it. There must be a better choice to let these two forces in my body. Qin Feng frowned slightly, he was really reluctant. For him, these two forces are very precious things. If he had to give up the King Mu ancestral veins, it would indeed cost him a lot. Therefore, if it is not a last resort, he really does not want to give up. The key is that he always has an intuition in his heart, that is, there must be a compromise. Boom! I probably felt Qin Feng's entanglement. At this moment, the two forces in the body collided even more fiercely, trying to defeat the other party. Hey, wait a minute! At this moment, Qin Feng's aura flashed suddenly and suddenly thought of something. That is the tree of eternity that has always been very low-key. The value of this thing is obviously more profound, mysterious, and more powerful than the King Mu ancestral veins. Even if it is the value of the text of the gods, there is no way to compare it with it. Moreover, in essence, although it also belongs to the branch of wood attribute power, it is far higher than the normal wood attribute. It belongs to that kind, something deeper. Therefore, Qin Feng secretly guessed whether it was possible to let it contain the King Mu ancestral veins. In this way, the Aoki ancestral vessel has changed its form, exists in its own body, and will no longer conflict with the text of the gods. Wow! After thinking of this, Qin Feng couldn't help it, and acted immediately. Fusion It seemed that he was aware of the situation in Qin Feng's body, he was already very critical, and Qin Feng was silently running his mind. I only saw a trail of greenwood attribute power, which began to be absorbed into the body by the eternal tree. At the same time, after the King Mu attributes were absorbed, the icy power in Qin Feng's body suddenly burst out. It seems to be frozen for thousands of miles. At this moment, the power of the text of the gods has moved to the extreme. The power of the text of the gods is naturally very amazing and contains unimaginable effects. Whizzing. That is to say, in an instant, the ice and cold power of the text of the gods seemed to be like a broken bamboo, and it immediately flooded Qin Feng's body. O.M. Immediately afterwards, as Qin Feng's eyes flickered, his body began to explode with more and more fierce ice and cold aura, like a glacier. I'm really convinced, this kid's luck is going against the sky. Xu Tian Devil shook his head, his face was filled with incredible emotion. This kid had thunder attribute power, wood attribute power, and various other things before. And each one is a very enchanting existence. Nowadays, Qin Feng has one more article of the gods, this is simply to make Qin Feng an almighty, peerless wizard. Such a master made him feel very stressed, and he didn't know if Qin Feng could handle it. Look. What's that? Suddenly, at this moment, a warrior screamed in disbelief towards the river below. The river is still flowing, but the speed of the flow has become a bit stiff and slow. Not only that, but I saw that on the surface of the river, a wisps of ice and cold began to diffuse, making a creaking sound. That kind of feeling, as if the river is slowly freezing ice? What's the matter, is the river freezing? Quite a few warriors noticed this scene and their expressions changed suddenly. The icy breath spread out, even if it was far away, they could perceive the terrible chill. Hey! In an instant, this icy breath suddenly erupted, covering the entire river. With the spread of ice and cold power, I only feel that the surrounding temperature has become a little bit cold, as if in a glacier world. The most important thing is that those chills are still constantly improving and spreading towards the surroundings. What the is this? Feeling this icy breath, at this moment, 
all the martial artists present were surprised and puzzled. The situation in this scene is too strange, it appeared too suddenly. Could it be that this movement is caused by the lack of wind? Wang Lei, who was standing in the distance waiting, couldn't help but have such an idea in his heart. In fact, he guessed right. At this moment, in the depths of the river, Qin Feng's body was surrounded by an iceberg. Every time the true Qi revolves, it will release an extra icy power on the body, and the temperature will be even more severe. Not only that, but at the center of Qin Feng's eyebrows, an icy blue rune mark appeared, which looked extremely mysterious. At the same time, within Qin Feng's body, all parts of his body were filled with icy power. At this moment, Qin Feng had already controlled this icy power, and there was no more violent attitude like before. At the same time, the strength of the greenwood ancestral veins in Qin Feng's body had completely disappeared. At this moment, within Qin Feng's danshan, that piece of writings of the gods is constantly floating and sinking, and there is no conflict with any power, which seems very safe. Time is spent little by little. I don't know how long it took. Qin Feng's closed eyes suddenly opened. At this moment, two streams of light that looked like sharp arrows flashed out of his eyes instantly, revealing a chilly breath that made the soul feel palpitation. Finally, this article of the gods has been thoroughly refined. With Qin Feng's words finished. The next moment, around his body, a horrible cold current suddenly hovered over his body. At this moment, Qin Feng's mind was really a bit tired. You know, this time, the whole process of refining the texts of the gods is several times more difficult than that of the primordial king Mu Qi. This caused his mental energy consumption to almost reach a limit. However, it is said that the more you pay, the greater the gain. Qin Feng can clearly feel that the power of this text of the gods is even more domineering and powerful than the greenwood ancestral veins. Explore. Crazy Exploration with Qin Feng's almost enchanting body strength, most of the heavenly materials and earth treasures were refining and swallowed by him arbitrarily, and they were taken as his own. The ones that couldn't be refined were stored in the storage ring by him. Okay. While Qin Feng was still exploring, all of a sudden, his body had a faint feeling of fatigue. How is this going? Perceiving this feeling of fatigue, Qin Feng couldn't help feeling astonished in his heart. You swallowed too many treasures at once. No matter how strong your body is, but you refine too much at once, it is really a heavy burden for your body. Xu Tian Devil was beside him, smiled lightly, a little more joking. Bodily burden. Qin Feng's face changed fiercely. That's right. Since this time, he has been frantically looking for opportunities to improve his strength. However, he didn't pay too much attention to it, his physical strength increased. Refining the body is the foundation of his footsteps in martial arts, and it is also the main theme of his practice of prime true dragon technique. If the body is not strong enough, no matter how powerful you are, there is not enough container to release it. This time, I really ignored the most important thing. Thinking of this, Qin Feng was really a little upset and couldn't help but secretly startled. Fortunately, it's not too late to wake up. However, Qin Feng breathed a sigh of relief. If the problem can be found in time, it can be solved earlier. With Qin Feng's current strength, it is entirely possible for his body and the methods he possesses to reach a very perfect critical point. No more burden on the body. Hey! Thinking of this, Qin Feng's right hand suddenly moved, and some treasures appeared on his palm. Most of these things were obtained from those great abilities he killed, inside the storage ring. Flame Yunyangguo, I really didn't expect that Sect Master Extinction would have such an extraordinary treasure that day, it is really unexpected. Looking at one of the fruits that exuded a very hot scent, Qin Feng couldn't help showing a hint of joy. Things like this, but a very rare treasure even he had to marvel at it. Crunch! Qin Feng didn't hesitate, although this thing was rare and of great value. However, 
it was not much more important than improving his physical strength. After that, Qin Feng began to continuously devour these treasures of heaven, material, and earth. If he were replaced by someone else, he would have burst his body by those energy. However, Qin Feng's physical strength is very enchanting. Taiku True Dragon Technique This is a heaven-defying technique that aims to cultivate the body of a true dragon. Its physical strength is naturally not what an ordinary warrior can imagine. The enormous energy produced by the many treasures of heaven, material, and earth began to swim around Qin Feng's body. Qin Feng's body is also constantly absorbing these energy to increase his physical strength. Today, the most important thing for Qin Feng is to make his body strong enough to integrate the writings of the gods into his body without burden. Although the power of ice and cold is not as lethal as the lightning power, it can have unexpected effects at certain times. Moreover, Qin Feng was looking forward to it, waiting until he had completely integrated the writings of the gods. He can use the power of ice and cold perfectly, and that piece of ice profound iron can also be used to refine the long sword to exert its real effect. By then, his combat power must be even more enchanting. Ice profound iron, this thing is an extremely rare refining material. If it is known by other warriors, I am afraid that Qin Feng will be besieged in an instant and start to snatch. After all, materials that are sufficient for weapons to contain attributes are extremely precious treasures no matter what era or place they are in. Wow! Time has passed. It took about three days before Qin Feng stopped from his cultivation state. In these three days, Qin Feng finally managed to achieve a balanced state of physical strength. At the same time, the use of the text of the gods is also more satisfactory. Although there are still some minor flaws, Qin Feng believes very much that as long as a period of time passes, he can control it perfectly. Well, it's almost the same now, it's time to go out. Looking at the shore of the outside world, Qin Feng couldn't help raising a stern smile at the corner of his mouth. This nasty hasn't come out yet. Looking at the water, the warriors of the Ten Thousand Beast sect and the Tian Chen sect at this moment have lost their patience, and their faces are full of unhappy. They have been waiting for three days in this place, but the Qin Feng has not yet come out from below. For them, it is really hard to accept. After all, in this primordial space, time cannot withstand wastage, because it means that you will get much less chance than others. If the time delays too long, I am afraid that in the end, nothing good will be obtained. This nasty bastard! Looking at this river, King Wu Yang Xian and Yang Yunchen at the moment couldn't help but their faces were blue, clenched their fists, and gritted their teeth with anger. After all, it would not be a good thing for them to drag on like this. Now, other sect warriors are definitely searching for treasures everywhere. Therefore, they can't afford to waste time at all. Could it be that that kid has fallen under the water, or he was directly obliterated by the Scarlet Cloud Carp King? At this moment, Everyone else couldn't help but guess like this, because being able to stay underwater for so long is not something ordinary people can do. Just when a group of people is full of anxiety. No one noticed that the cold breath in the river was gradually declining. Not only that, but the very hidden auras gradually diffused out of it. Sure enough, these guys really don't give up. Looking at the group of martial artists waiting on the shore, the smile on the corner of Qin Feng's mouth began to get colder and colder. Cursing the devil. Looking at the cursed sky demon king beside him, Qin Feng said calmly. Don't worry, it's all on me. This time, I must wash these guys well, ha ha ha. Curse the devil king, that is an extremely powerful powerhouse, who was quite famous thousands of years ago. Now, he has obtained the assistance of the soul body even if the cultivation base is not as strong as in the heyday, but it is enough to disregard a large number of warriors in the Yuan dynasty. With his current combat power, he is completely qualified to fight against the powers like King Tai Gui Xian. He he he, this time, it just happened to make me have a fun. The Zhu Yuyang also had cold eyes and full of killing intent, emitting strands of black flames all over. It is good. 
Qin Feng's eyes flashed sharply and nodded. Then, kill it. There was a sharp shout. In the next moment, the face under Qin Feng's mask suddenly became extremely indifferent, like a high emperor. From the rune mark on the center of his eyebrows, wisps of icy blue light began to diffuse. In an instant, the sky was full of chill, shrouded in the entire sky. A majestic killing intent burst out in an instant. Wow! At the same time, the cursed sky demon king is holding the ghost sickle, directly releasing black energy. All of a sudden, it caused the entire void, filled with a cold and strange atmosphere, and there was a vague sound of ghost crying and wolf howling. This is the cursing power of his cultivation. Ah! 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 Finally, when the other warriors noticed this anomaly, it was too late, and they all made wailing screams, very sad. Who is there, hiding? Originally, Yang Yunchen and King Uyang, who were still observing the underwater situation, changed their faces instantly, and couldn't help but shout loudly. Hee hee, haven't you been waiting for me? Now I'm here. The indifferent voice seemed to come from outside Juxiao, making people chilling. Suddenly, in the shocking gaze of all the warriors, a masked man wearing a black shirt appeared above the void. His eyes were cold, his eyes were red, and his body was full of anger, like a demon. The person who came is naturally Qin Feng. And at this moment, the cursed Devil King was frantically urging to attack, and the Zhu Yang next to him was not merciful. Wow! A sound of breaking through the air rang out, only to see the billowing black flame when it waved its wings. Powerful! Overbearing! Shocked! No one expected that Qin Feng would actually show up at this time. Moreover, as soon as he shot it, it was so cruel, he had no intention of leaving affection at all. Even Yang Yunchen and King Uyang Xian, the expressions on their faces became exceptionally angry. Because all this happened so suddenly that they had no time to react. In a few seconds, they lost a lot of doormen. Swish swish. Pumpy. The fire burns, blood is like rain. This scene is clearly a unilateral massacre. Among them, both the martial artist and the monster beasts of the Ten Thousand Beast sect were constantly wailing and screaming. Especially the ultimate move of cursing the Devil King, it made people feel terrified. Because the power of the curse is so weird, you don't even know what will be obliterated. This is horrible. At this moment, Wang Lei watched this killing with almost no suspense, and the shock on his face was almost indescribable. He hadn't expected that the strength of the two cursed Sky Demon Kings would be so terrifying and powerful. It's not just him, those warriors who stayed around here, planning to see a good show. At this moment, they all stared at the massacre scene with their eyes widened, unbelievably. Bastard stuff, go to hell. Finally, King Uyang Xian and that Yang Yunchen completely recovered, roared in their mouths, and attacked in anger. The two figures rushed towards Qin Feng almost at the same time. The black energy concealed the sky and the sun, making the entire space around it seem like purgatory, filled with terrible curse power. He he he. The curse of the devil kept urging the ghost sickle in his hand to release an irresistible curse. Help. Too frightening. Wherever the black energy passed, the screams continued, and countless warriors turned into bones. There was no warrior at all that could withstand his cursing power attack. Roar. And Qin Feng, also at this time, began to collide with Yang Yunchen and King Uyang Xian. Wow! Waving his right hand. Suddenly, a terrifying force of thunder and lightning appeared, and it began to roll out from the crystal bamboo sword in Qin Feng's hand. Jian Qi Wushuan. Die, Thing. When King Uyang Xian and Yang Yunchen saw this, they did not have the slightest fear at all. They both used their most cruel methods, trying to directly inflict and obliterate Qin Feng. The strength of these two men is almost the same as that of Wang Lei. In other words, Yang Yunchen's true strength was stronger than Wang Lei. At this moment, I only saw that Yang Yunchen's angry blow, the surrounding void, 
all because of the powerful aura he released, shook and swayed frantically. Hey, little bugs! With a cold snort in Qin Feng's mouth, he directly displayed his soul stunt. Wow! A burst of invisible energy. Not good. Originally at this time, King Wu Yangxian, who was preparing to cooperate with Yang Yunchen, only felt that his entire soul had been impacted by a force, causing his body to experience a short pause. Wow! Qin Feng's figure flickered, and as a ray of thunder and lightning passed by, his whole person seemed to be thunder and lightning, and instantly disappeared in place. Laugh! The next moment, blood sprayed. There was a sword mark on King Yang Xian's body. Fortunately, he reacted extremely quickly and released a defensive mask at the last moment. Unfortunately, the Jing Gang sword in Qin Feng's hand seemed to be the sharpest blade. In an instant, the defensive mask that King Yang had displayed was cut into pieces. Not only that, but the remaining sword aura is even more so, it seems to be tearing the opponent's body into countless flesh and blood. Suddenly, the sky was full of sword energy, like raindrops, sweeping towards the unsuspecting King Yang. Boom! At this moment, Yang Yunchen's attack was directly defeated because of Qin Feng's dodge. However, his remaining prestige was above the void, and a crack that was a thousand meters long was exploded. When he heard the screams of King Yang Xian from the side, his heart trembled and his expression became more solemn. At this moment, he can completely detect that the strength of this guy in front of him is even more powerful than that of a while ago. Damn it! Seeing that King Yang Xian was about to be killed by Qin Feng's sword aura, Yang Yunchen's expression changed fiercely. He didn't dare to hesitate, and directly urged the true energy with all his strength, once again blasted out a terrible energy, and slowed towards Qin Feng. Humph! Qin Feng didn't intend to dodge at all, a cyan streamer began to appear on his body. Boom! Seeing Qin Feng being blasted by the attack, the other martial artists were all surprised. Hit! Looking at Qin Feng, he was hit by this attack. Yang Yunchen's face also showed a hint of joy. Wow! However, in the next moment, Qin Feng moved again. A lingering shadow of a fist, with a whirring sound of breaking through the air, quietly appeared in front of him from Yang Yunchen's attack. How is this possible? At this moment, not only Yang Yunchen was shocked, even the other warriors present were full of shock. How terrifying is this guy's true strength? On the surface, this guy in front of him is only capable of reaching the fifth level of the gods. How does he have the qualifications to compete with the strong in Huayuan realm? Not to mention, he has to deal with it at the same time, two peerless geniuses in the Huayuan realm. However, the truth is that this guy can really win, and he is still crushing it unilaterally. Gosh! This world is too crazy, right? Boom! Yang Yunchen, who was blown out with a punch, kept backing away, barely stabilizing his figure. This bastard! Because of Yang Yunchen's action, King Wu Yang Xian finally found the opportunity and managed to escape from Qin Feng's sword reign. At this moment, he was standing in the air, full of sword marks, blood dripping, and he looked terrible. He swallowed several precious elixirs in a row, and this made his injury reluctantly stabilized. Tisk tusk, I really didn't expect that the defensive ability of this Ice Flame Supreme Tabard is so outstanding. After matching my wood attribute power, it can completely resist the full blow of a genius of transformation origin. Just now, the power of Yang Yunchen's attack was very exaggerated. If it weren't for the amazing defensive power of the battle robe, even Qin Feng would have to retreat. As for Wang Lei, standing far away, even if he knew Qin Feng's true strength, he was very enchanting. However, he never expected that it would be so powerful, so unbelievable. Just when he was about to help out, Qin Feng spoke to him. You don't need to show up to help me. I have a mask to hide my face, so I don't worry about being discovered, but you can't expose it, otherwise it will be very troublesome. For Wang Lei's subordinate, 
Qin Feng did not intend to expose it yet. What's more, with his current cultivation base, there is no need for Wang Lei to step forward to help. He alone can easily deal with Yang Yunchen. These two guys are indeed quite difficult. In my shot just now, I have combined a lot of means, but I haven't killed them. At this moment, Qin Feng was also secretly surprised. It seems that he still underestimated the strength of these two guys. Especially that Yang Yunchen, whose combat power far exceeds that of ordinary genius masters, is very difficult to deal with. King Wu Yang Xian, Yang Yunchen. Next, leave it to me. Suddenly, just at this time, a horse and vicissitudes of life sounded slowly. Hey? Is that guy ready to shoot? Those warriors who were watching the battle from a distance, at this moment, their eyes lit up, looking in a certain direction. However, Qin Feng changed his expression slightly after hearing this sentence. As soon as this voice sounded, he noticed that a very powerful wave of palm aura was spreading around. This is a super master who practices palm technique, very powerful. As the eyes flickered, Qin Feng's expression instantly became extra vigilant and solemn. This voice, although very calm, brought a very good pressure to Qin Feng. Obviously, the opponent's true state was far higher than Qin Feng. The visitor is a great figure in the transformation origin realm, and he is also a powerful man who has reached the level of King Taiji Xian. Swish swish. The Curse Heaven Demon King and Zhu Yang immediately returned to Qin Feng's side, guarding very vigilantly. Obviously, the two of them have also sensed the strength of the comer, and are not easy to provoke. Boom! A black figure suddenly rose into the air from a place not far away. This person, dressed in a black robe, was filled with powerful aura fluctuations, like a killer in the dark. Be careful, if I didn't guess wrong, this guy should be the Iron Palm Mad God Li Xiao. Upon seeing this scene, Wang Lei immediately spoke to Qin Feng and reminded him. Iron Palm Crazy God, Li Xiao. For this guy, Qin Feng naturally didn't know. However, Judging from the palm that the other party just released, it is clearly full of violent and cruel charm. Wow! Yang Yunchen and King Wu Yang Xian both obediently stepped back when they saw Li Xiao appearing. Immediately, under the pressure of a terrifying aura, that Li Xiao suddenly appeared in the void in front of Qin Feng. This man is actually an iron palm mad god Li Xiao, a super master of the Ten Thousand Beast sect. Unexpectedly, he would come to this place. Yet. This Iron Palm Mad has not appeared in the outside world for more than twenty years. Many people say that he has fallen, and never thought that he actually came to the primordial space. A few decades ago, his strength was superb, and he could challenge all kinds of sect elders. Now, how strong will his strength be? Obviously, the reputation of this Iron Palm Mad is very loud. When he appeared, many warriors began to marvel. His realm is the second level of the Huayuan realm, but it far exceeds the ordinary double-stage Huayuan realm, and his strength is very terrible. Looking at the iron palm mat in front of him, Qin Feng's expression moved slightly. Through the amazing soul power far beyond ordinary people, he has thoroughly seen the true cultivation base of Li Xiao in front of him. This iron palm mad god, obviously an old monster of the Ten Thousand Beast sect, used a certain method to hide his cultivation base, and then he came to the primordial space. After all, in the dual realm of the Huayuan realm, as long as the methods are smart enough to cross the ocean without hiding, there is no difficulty at all. Of course, this must be costly. This guy is really very powerful. But if the three of us work together to deal with it, it may not be uncertain. We will defeat it. There was a trace of seriousness on the face of the curse of the devil, of course, he did not have the slightest fear. With his current combat effectiveness, with Qin Feng's help, if he wants to defeat this guy, the chance is still quite big. Boy, you have killed so many people from my Ten Thousand Beast sect, even the Sky Dust sect and the Flame Palace have lost a lot. It's bold enough. Could you not worry about our crazy revenge? 
or, the forces behind you can be strong enough to provoke our three major sects. The voice of the iron palm mat appeared again. Following this sentence, it sounded slowly. In an instant, a terrible palm burst out suddenly, filling the entire void from his body. This hand, arrogant and overbearing, is like a demon king coming, the momentum is so strong, it makes countless warriors change their colors. At this moment, within a radius of 10,000 meters, all spaces are wrapped in this palm. Among them, all the martial artists were spit out blood from the palm of the hand, and their bodies flew out. This guy is worthy of being hailed as a of iron palms, and his character is really arrogant enough. That terrible fist offensive, even the doormen of the 10,000 beast sect and the Tian Chen sect, could not be avoided, and they were still injured by it. Listen well, everyone, go back quickly, don't get close to Senior Li Xiao. Seeing that his doorman was seriously injured, Yang Yunchen spoke immediately, reminding everyone loudly. Boy, I won't be able to catch it soon, maybe I can keep you alive. There was a hint of domineering in the voice of the Iron Palm Mad God, which made people afraid to refuse. Ha ha ha, if you want me to catch it, it's up to you. I don't have that qualification yet. Even in the face of this long famous Iron Palm Mad God, Qin Feng still has a calm face, without the slightest fear. According to his inference, the palm technique of this iron palm mad must have cultivated to a very high level, enough to leapfrog a master. It's a pity that Qin Feng can also leapfrog the challenge, and even leapfrog is even crazier. So, how could he be afraid of this guy again? Oh well. Wow. Facing such an arrogant response from Qin Feng, Iron Palm madly smiled coldly, and a fierce streak crossed his eyes. In that case, go and die. Boom. A flash in the sky. Suddenly. An aura that far exceeded the palm of his hand just now was released from Li Xiao. This terrible palm, as if it could shake the mountains and rivers, turned up a whirlwind of breaking through the air and enveloped Qin Feng. Humph. Qin Feng saw this scene but he didn't dodge or evade at all. The power of the real dragon in his body suddenly urged it to move. At the same time, he raised his right hand, turned it into a fist mark, and greeted the opponent with his palm. This kid is too bold. Seeing that Qin Feng didn't evade, he chose to head to head with the Iron Palm Mad God, and the other warriors all shook their heads. Iron Palm Mad God Li Xiao, what a wicked character is that. Although, at this moment, his cultivation has only reached the second level of the Huayuan realm, not a super master in the Huayuan realm. However, the grip of the iron palm mat is too terrifying, you can leapfrog the challenge. When he became famous, he challenged a lot, and the masters of Huayuan realm's fourth and fifth level have never lost once. Now, so many years have passed although he hasn't been able to break through to the triple level of Huayuan realm. But its combat ability is absolutely impossible, without the slightest improvement. Therefore, such a move by Qin Feng is almost without any certainty that it can surpass the Iron Palm Mad God. O.M. The fist is strong, and Qin Feng's boxing technique reveals an unyielding dominance. In the faint, there seemed to be the sound of tigers and dragons roaring into the sky with divine might billowing. Boom. Boom. An explosion sounded, deafening. This rumbling sound seemed to be the thunder galloping. With Qin Feng and Iron Palm Mad God as the center, the void within tens of thousands of meters around suddenly appeared numerous cracks, and it continued to collapse and collapse. At this moment, the entire sky looked like it was the end of the world, and it was about to be destroyed. The aftermath of this powerful explosion seems to be enough to shake the sky and the earth, and the stars move. Puff. Some unlucky warriors were directly blasted out by the remaining mighty force, vomiting blood constantly. And the warriors who were less powerful were directly obliterated. How is this possible? This is too exaggerated. Only see, above the void. Qin Feng and this iron palm mad two people turned backward at the same time, backed by a kilometer, the strength of each other was not much different. 
Iron Paw Mad God, that is what an enchanting power, has been famous in the world decades ago, has challenged the existence of many high-level warriors, and can be called a master of hand. And this Qin Feng, who didn't even know where the junior came from, could actually fight the Iron Palm Mad God, inextricably difficult to understand. This, is too unbelievable. This kid. King Wu Yang Xian and that Yang Yunchen looked at each other, glanced at each other, and both saw a trace of horror on each other's faces. Especially King Wu Yang, the Iron Palm Mad is a master of the Ten Thousand Beast sect, so he knows the power of the Iron Palm Mad very well. The opponent's palm cultivation is unparalleled in the world, and almost no one can beat him in the palm. Boom boom. Qin Feng's body stepped on the ground for dozens of steps before he stopped. With his eyes flickering, he was also a little surprised at the strength of this iron palm mad god. With his boxing realm, but it is comparable to the opponent's hand, he really didn't expect the opponent to be so enchanting. Very good. Unexpectedly, you can actually block my palm. I have to say, you are really a kid that surprised me. After so many years, you are still the first person who can contend with me at a low level. It really makes me curious. Staring at Qin Feng, there was a cold snort in the mouth of Iron Palm Mad God. Whoosh! Following his words, the hands of the Iron Palm Mad began to condense the majestic palm mood. In an instant, it seemed like thunder, and it surging completely. Roar! Behind him, a phantom like a fierce tiger began to appear, with its teeth and claws flaring, and a dark light radiated from its eyes, as if it were a terrifying tiger from hell. The size of this demon tiger phantom is very large, and the whole body emits violent aura fluctuations, which makes people have to be vigilant. With the appearance of this demon tiger phantom, all around the void can feel a very inviolent breath, beginning to envelope the entire sky. This is the blood of the devil tiger, Lord Iron Paw Mad God, now has used the power of the blood. Everyone, let's do it together and kill that bastard. Upon seeing this, King Wu Yang Xian immediately shouted loudly. I noticed the terrible aura fluctuations erupting from the blood of the demon tiger, Li Xiao, the Iron Palm Mad God. Qin Feng's expression was also more serious. At this moment, the demon tiger aura of this Iron Palm Mad was so overbearing that it increased its momentum several times. If the original Qin Feng wanted to defeat this Li Xiao, it was not particularly difficult. But now, it's a bit tricky. Moreover, if it is a one-on-one -on -one fight alone, Qin Feng is sure to defeat it. But now, there are so many warriors who have joined forces to help Li Xiao. In this way, if Qin Feng wants to beat him, the difficulty is definitely level. Really a mob, come to play this kind of wheel tactics. Hee <laughs> hee, the so-called big sect seems nothing more than that. It's really a misnomer. Looking at the group of warriors in front of him, Qin Feng's mouth raised a scornful smile and mocked. Don't think that if you say this, we will let you go. As long as we can kill you, it doesn't matter what means. Looking at Qin Feng fiercely, King Wu Yang Xian said with a grinning face. Ridiculous. Qin Feng snorted coldly, but his expression changed inexplicably. Damn it, how could such a thing happen at this time? It turned out that Qin Feng hadn't been defeated even though he had competed with the Iron Palm Mad God just now. However, the opponent is a super master after all, and Qin Feng also consumed a lot of power. Before, his body had been refining the texts of the gods, which caused a heavy burden on his body, that is, he was reluctantly relying on the treasures of heaven and earth to temporarily stabilize. This is like a balloon. It will expand when it is constantly inflated, but if it reaches a limit, it will explode instantly. The methods Qin Feng controlled were really a bit exaggerated. Even if his body has been tempered by the prime true dragon technique, it far exceeds that of ordinary people, but at this moment it has reached a limit. After the fierce fighting just now, there was a trace of flaws in the previously stable body. Roar! A roar, sounded again. Only seen there. The Iron Palm Mad God's eyes were like a demon, 
flashing cold killing intent, and a terrible violent aura burst out mightily. At the same time, he slapped a palm suddenly and slammed Qin Feng fiercely. Boom! This palm instantly expanded ten million times, as if it could cover the sky and the sun. The whole emptiness is all at once, becoming extremely gloomy. The most frightening thing is that it is very fast, carrying the mighty power like a mountain. Wherever it went, almost all beings surrendered, and all obstacles were crushed into ashes under this palm. It is not difficult to imagine how fierce and terrifying this palm would be if it were taken by the martial artist's body. This kid, I'm afraid it will be over. Looking at Qin Feng not far away, many warriors made this judgment in their hearts. Whether it is the Ten Thousand Beast Sect or the Dust Sect of the day, these two great forces are all among the best. I'm politely speaking, if you want to challenge these two forces, unless the forces behind them are even more terrifying, otherwise, it is definitely a dead end. Because their background is too strong. The warriors present, at this moment, can almost be 100% sure that Qin Feng must be doomed. One palm. It's an understatement. But Qin Feng deeply realized that terrible power. It seems that the entire void paused for an instant because of the strength of this palm. If it is under normal circumstances, this palm is certainly powerful, but he still has a way to resist it. However, at this time, there was an inexplicable pain from his body, as if the whole body was about to collapse. In this way, the burden on the body is getting heavier and heavier, and he will not be able to exert his strength at all. Wow! Seeing that the situation is not good, Zhu Yang immediately waved its wings, and a large black flame spouted from its mouth. Get out of here! The cursed Sky Demon King also screamed, waved the ghost sickle on his hand, and blasted towards that palm. The cultivation base of the two was naturally extraordinary, and they directly guarded Qin Feng's whole person safely. Boom! The black flame, the palm prince, the crazy stalemate, between touching each other, exploded with unimaginable power. It's a pity that Nine Nether Flame Sparrow and Cursed Sky Demon King, although their strength is very good. But it is impossible, in such a short time, to intercept and obliterate Yang Yunchen, King Wu Yang Xian and others. All of a sudden, Qin Feng's situation turned from an active state to a passive one. Everyone rush, that kid seems to be unable to hold on any more. Although very puzzled, why did Qin Feng suddenly stop doing it? But this situation is obviously a great thing for Yang Yunchen and King Wu Yang Xian. Therefore, at this critical time, the two of them directly launched a more fierce offensive, trying to kill Qin Feng. Not only that, but the Iron Palm mad after mobilizing the power of the Devil Tiger bloodline. The whole person has become exceptionally cruel and ruthless. In his eyes, it seemed that Qin Feng was the only opponent, constantly waving his palm prints, trying to destroy Qin Feng this opponent. This guy's combat effectiveness suddenly skyrocketed several times. Suddenly, even the Curse Heaven Demon King and Zhu Yang were a little hard to deal with. After all, not only did they have to take care of Qin Feng, but they also had to deal with Iron Palm Ad God, Yang Yunchen, and others. In this case, no matter how powerful they are, they are a bit overwhelmed. Humph! Seeing that Qin Feng and his party were about to fall into a place where they could not be recovered. Suddenly, a cold woman's voice sounded at this moment. Soon. A golden stream of light flickered, only to see a thin white hand, gently drawn out, as beautiful as the hand of a fairy. However, no one dared to appreciate this beauty. Because, just in an instant, a terrifying force burst out from this thin hand. Where that force passed, it seemed that a stormy sea was set off, and all obstacles were blasted into scum. In an instant, all of your warriors in the Tian Chen sect were completely wiped out by this terrifying force, and there were no corpses left. One can imagine how overbearing the power of this is. Who? Actually dare to intervene, the matter of my heavenly dust sect. Facing the opponent who was killed halfway, Yang Yunchen's expression became extremely hideous in an instant. Hehe, he, 
the big sect of the Mayuan realm? I think, it's just a pile of rubbish. An indifferent voice sounded from afar, with a hint of contemptuous mockery. Along with the fall of this voice, only the void was seen, and a beautiful figure was slowly revealed. Only the one who came was a woman. This woman's appearance is overwhelming, her face is as delicate as jade, her eyes glowing with dark blue light, and her body is very cold, like an invincible empress. She is concubine Ming, Ming Ruyu. What? How come such an enchanting character appeared? Such an overwhelming woman, with a very famous name, will cause a sensation wherever she goes, and she cannot hide her identity. This woman is indeed the Ming concubine that Qin Feng had accidentally met in the beginning Ming Ruyu. Wow! Qin Feng's eyes narrowed slightly. He never expected that this woman would appear in this place at this time. Hey! About our Mayuan realm, when will it be your turn for outsiders in Kinglin realm, please point me. Get out of here! Seeing Ming Ruyu's appearance, the Iron Palm Mad gave a cold snort, and suddenly urged his palms to explode two terrible powers. Carrying a violent palm, there was no such thing as a pity for Xiong Ziyu, and he killed it fiercely. Go! With Ming Ruyu's gaze, he looked at both Zhu Yuyang and Shushan Demon, and faintly spit out two words. Thank you! At this moment, Qin Feng almost had no fighting left. Therefore, after cursing the Devil King thanked him, he took the Zhu Yuyang and Qin Feng without hesitation, and fleed away. Hateful! The Iron Palm Mad never expected that Ming Ruyu would dare to be so arrogant and grab someone from his hand. As a result, under the anger, the original palm print, at this moment, the power once again increased several times. Boom! Seeing the palm prints coming, concubine Ming didn't evade at all, she slapped her palm to greet her, and actually chose to face the opponent. Crack! Only heard, a crisp sound of bone breaking, suddenly appeared above the void. That imposing iron palm mad god, his whole body was like this, he flew out directly, vomiting blood. Unexpectedly, you, your bloodline turned out to be a fine gold bloodline. Looking at the almost half-crippled palm with blood dripping on it, the iron palm mad couldn't help showing horror. The power of Ming Ruyu's palm just now made him feel terrified. What, it's actually a fine gold bloodline. Hearing the words of the iron palm crazy god, in an instant, all the martial artists present focused on Ming Ruyu. This alluring woman, like a thorny rose, looked beautiful, but full of danger. Her temperament and appearance are all superior colors, which makes it easy for people to sink into it. It's a pity that the thought of the other party's terrifying strength caused everyone to sweat and dared not look at her again. The fine gold bloodline is a branch of metallic power, and its power is terrible. A warrior with this bloodline will carry a kind of sharp edge force in his moves, even sharper than sword aura. Metallic power, the main killing, attack power is never below the lightning power. This woman, strength is really not easy. Although taken away by the curse of the sky and the devil, Qin Feng also kept an eye on the battlefield. He couldn't help but smile secretly, this kind of fine gold bloodline was not any worse than his lightning power. What's more, the strength of concubine Ming is beyond his expectations. Although the iron palm mad was also good, it was obviously worse than Ming concubine. At the same time, Qin Feng was also very curious. Why would this woman choose to take action and help herself? With the friendship between them, let her come and save herself. Could it be because I rescued her last time? That time? This concubine Ming was trapped in the trapped dragon god formation, and Qin Feng just accidentally shot and saved her. Qin Feng estimated that this woman should have chosen to rescue him because of this incident. This woman has a very real personality. Thinking of being rescued by the other party again, Qin Feng's mouth couldn't help but show a helpless wry smile. And this time, I was really embarrassed. I didn't expect such a situation to occur at the critical moment of this kind of battle. Where shall we go next? Zhu Yuyang spread its wings and asked Qin Feng with a serious face. 
go to the general mansion. This is the place that Guy told me to go before. This time, I have obtained the text of the gods, and it is time to finish what I promised him. Whoosh! The next moment, a huge black figure passed by, but Qin Feng disappeared into the sky. Ming Concubine, you are an outsider, it is a bit too much to intervene in our affairs. Looking at the concubine in front of him, the iron palm mat uttered an unwilling anger. Either shoot or get out. Concubine Ming's eyes released an icy light, she didn't care at all, as if she was looking at an ant, treating the iron palm mad god. You. The iron palm mad never expected that this concubine Ming was so impolite that he would not give him the slightest face. He is a mad with iron palms, what kind of identity he is, even in the entire Mayuan realm, he is one of the best, and he has killed many sect elders. Therefore, almost any warrior of any force, after seeing him, will feel a little in awe and give him a little face. But now, this Ming Ruyu, in front of so many warriors, didn't give the iron palm mad face at all. Let me ask, how can he not be angry in his heart because of the iron palm mad god? Ming Concubine, I don't want to care about you because you are a member of Kinglin Domain. Therefore, I advise you, it is better not to be nosy. Seeing Qin Feng's fading figure, Iron Palm madly gritted his teeth and roared. Ridiculous! A cold humming sounded. The next moment, the void twisted. A palm print emitting a sharp golden light suddenly fell from the clouds. Boom! Under the unbelievable gazes of everyone, the whole body of the Iron Palm mad flew out fiercely again. His mouth spurted blood like a pillar and his whole body made the sound of broken bones. His injuries were obviously more serious than before. His, terrible. Seeing this kind of picture, the warriors who were still a little bit bad about Ming Ruyu originally took a breath of air, and showed horror on their faces. Even King Wu Yangxian and that Yang Yunchen both had extremely ugly expressions, clenching their teeth. The strength of this woman is really terrifying. Puff. The iron palm mad who fell to the ground fiercely, only saw that the whole body was extremely embarrassed, covered with wounds, and even several bones were exposed. At this moment, his face was filled with incredible fear. The move Ming Ruyu just now looked ordinary, but it was actually lightning fast. Even with his strength, there is no way he can compete with one of them, or even be crushed unilaterally by the other. Looking at this, a peerless woman who is at most 25 years old. Deep down in the Iron Palm Mad God, he finally felt a deep fear, fear. The opponent didn't seem to have much strength, but the palm print just now proved the opponent's combat effectiveness. If Concubine Ming wants to kill him, I am afraid it is not difficult. Go, not hurry up. He glanced at the woman unwillingly, Iron Palm Mad Chen's expression was very ugly, he took a pill and shouted at Yang Yunchen and the others. Iron Palm Mad can't beat this woman. What role can other people play in this place? Even if it is as strong as King Yang and Yang Yunchen, it is impossible for this woman to survive a move. Therefore, no matter how unwilling they are, they can only choose to leave in a desperate manner. Watching Yang Yunchen and the others leave, Wang Lei, who was hiding in the distance, also hurriedly left here. He also knew very well that Qin Feng was in no danger now. Although he was also puzzled, why Qin Feng suddenly lost his fighting power, but according to the master and servant feeling between him and Qin Feng, he can be 100% sure that Qin Feng is fine. It was shortly after Wang Lei left. Only seeing concubine Ming standing there, her eyes flickered, as if she was thinking about something. Suddenly, the corner of her mouth slowly raised a smile, and immediately the whole person flickered in a certain direction. Wow! Hundreds of thousands of meters away, above a void, only a sound of breaking through the air was heard. I only saw Zhu Yu Yank flying in the sky, with an aura of arrogance permeating his body, making all the monster beasts below fearful and afraid to offend at all. Well, right there. After Qin Feng continuously swallowed a lot of heaven, material, and earth treasures, 
the condition in his body became much stable again, and his face returned to normal. With the help of huge soul power, Qin Feng easily found his destination this time. I only saw a very tall building in the front, impressively presented in the field of vision, magnificent and full of the breath of time. Not only that, all around that tall building was filled with all kinds of mysterious rune marks, and between the twinkling of each other, they were actually connected to form a very terrifying rune formation. This formation is like being integrated with the building, and its surging exudes a palpitating breath. Even with Qin Feng's cultivation base, separated from a long distance, at this moment, from this formation, I felt an inexplicable threat. One can imagine how terrifying the power of this formation is. The General's Mansion, such a mighty power, it seems that this place will probably be there. Looking at the building in front of him, Qin Feng let out a light sigh. According to his intuition, he could feel that this primordial space was terrifying. At least, it is much stronger and mysterious than the ruins he entered last time. It's just that the scope of this primordial space is too big, and the things inside are amazing. Therefore, Qin Feng had no way to understand it completely in a short period of time. However, Qin Feng had an intuition that this general mansion could give him a lot of benefits. After I go here, I must find those good things in the shortest time possible, then temper my body and increase my body strength. Otherwise, if you continue to do this, if you have the previous overburdened body during the fight, it will be a big trouble. The thought of the inexplicable pain last time, like a broken bone, made Qin Feng very jealous and didn't want to experience it again. Following Qin Feng, when he was about to approach the rune formation, he took the mask off his face. Now he has changed back to Qin Feng's identity. He didn't dare to wear a mask again, otherwise, it would be easy to be noticed. Once Yang Yunchen was attracted, those difficult guys would only waste a lot of time. I didn't expect someone to be ahead of us. Although it was still tens of thousands of meters away, with Qin Feng's soul power, it was naturally detectable. Outside that formation, many warriors have now gathered. Moreover, judging from the aura of these warriors, each of them is a strong generation. Unexpectedly, the warriors of the two domains will be in this place. Looking at the warriors in front of him, Qin Feng frowned and said softly. The reason why there are so many warriors here is obviously because they are aware of the extraordinariness of this general mansion. After all, there are many magnificent tall buildings in this ancient city ruins. However, there is no mansion that can have this general mansion in front of him, so powerful. In some good mansions, there are many rune formations to protect. However, those formations were like the gap between a chicken and an eagle compared to the formation of the general mansion in front of them. These two reasons alone are enough to make any warrior understand that this general mansion is an extraordinary treasure. In this kind of treasure, there must be a great treasure that is very against the sky. Great opportunity. It is precisely because of this that so many warriors have come to this place. Hey? That seems to be the doorman of the Flame Palace. Qin Feng couldn't help but raise his brow slightly. Unexpectedly, in this place, I would meet the doorman of the Flame Palace again. I saw Han Yan's figure standing there impressively. However, beside him, there was a middle-aged woman with a nice appearance. Judging from the situation of the two getting along, it seems that the identity of this woman is even more noble than Han Yan. Although this middle-aged woman is almost 40 years old, her temperament is very good. If she is right, she must have been a super beauty when she was young. But Qin Feng noticed that there was a fierce murderous atmosphere between the woman's eyebrows. Obviously, this woman is definitely not an existence to provoke. This woman, I'm afraid it's unusual. Looking at the middle-aged woman in front, Qin Feng couldn't help but mutter to herself. The masters that appeared in this place were not just a star and a half, they were far beyond Qin Feng's expectations. According to Qin Feng's estimation, almost most of the warriors who came to this place reached the eighth or ninth level of the god throughout realm, and there were even many masters in the Yuan dynasty. 
Not only that, among this group of warriors, there are still many existences with huge soul power. Boy, I didn't expect that you would come here again. Just as Qin Feng frowned slightly, suddenly, there was a very cold and detached voice. Wow! After hearing this sentence, the bodies of Qin Feng and Shushan Demon were instantly stiff. Especially Qin Feng, his face showed a hint of surprise that was hard to hide. At this moment, behind him, a beautiful figure was standing there. The comer's eyes are like the moon, with strands of cold temperament, giving people an inviolable sense of dignity. The fluctuating aura that occasionally exudes from her makes people understand that the strength of this woman is unfathomable. As Qin Feng turned his head and saw the appearance of the visitor, his heart was even more shocked. This woman, surprisingly, was the one who saved him, Ming Ruyu. I didn't expect that you, who are so powerful, would actually be a kid. After seeing Qin Feng's face, that Ming Ruyu's face also showed a look of surprise. Just because Qin Feng is too young. No one would have thought that the guy who dared to provoke Tian Chen sect and other big forces would actually be such a young junior. It's actually you. Finally, Qin Feng took a deep breath and exhaled a few words in disbelief. Well, I would like to thank you so much before, for saving my life. Looking at the peerless woman in front of him, Qin Feng felt more and more that the strength of the other party was unfathomable, perhaps even stronger than King Taigi Suandu. It's true realm, I am afraid it has surpassed the triple level of Hua Yuan realm. Such a powerful existence, in the primordial space, almost means that it is invincible and unmatched. Therefore, Qin Feng didn't want to provoke this woman. What's more, this woman saved herself once. I didn't expect you to be so young. I thought you would be an old monster. Looking at Qin Feng's very young and handsome face, Ming Ruyu smiled softly. However, Qin Feng was able to hear a hint of joking in her tone. In this regard, Qin Feng could only helplessly smile, because he is indeed only more than ten years old now. Looked again, the woman in front of me. Qin Feng was also secretly shocked, the other party's body speed was so fast. The speed of Zhu Yuyang was amazing, but Ming Ruyu could catch up, arriving at almost the same time. Such a speed is absolutely extraordinary, and it is not much different from himself. Why don't we work together? Seeing Ming Ruyu in front of him, Qin Feng suddenly flashed his inspiration and couldn't help but suggest. Hey! How to cooperate? Ming Ruyu frowned slightly, as if he didn't understand what Qin Feng meant. You should have seen it too. This general mansion can be regarded as a great treasure, and with so many experts around, it is not easy to get a piece of it. Although your cultivation is very good, even I admire it but if you want to deal with so many masters by yourself, I am afraid it is not easy. Ming Ruyu heard the words and looked at those warriors who couldn't be far away. Qin Feng was right, there are too many warriors in this place. Among them, there are top masters in two major domains. Ming Ruyu's real cultivation base is indeed very powerful, and its combat power far exceeds that of martial artists in the same realm. Coupled with her own extraordinary blood, almost no one can beat her. However, if she had to deal with so many top powerhouses at the same time, it would definitely consume a lot of money, and it would be difficult to obtain too many treasures. What's more, among these warriors, there are still a few people who can compete with her in strength. Humph! Ming Aryu quietly snorted, quite extraordinary. After that, she raised her head, and walked straight towards the general mansion in front of her without saying a word. As for Qin Feng's proposal, she did not agree, but also did not refuse. This woman is really cold. Qin Feng touched his chin and couldn't help shaking his head and sighing slightly. Wow! Both of them are very fast. In addition, Qin Feng has recovered a lot of strength now, and unless that kind of very fierce fight, he can easily cope with it. That is, in an instant, Qin Feng came, outside the formation of the general's mansion. Boom! At this moment, 
an old man with extraordinary strength was condensing his formula, transformed into a huge blade, and blasted down towards the formation. I saw the blade gleaming with silver streamer, sharp as a sword, and aggressive, which should not be underestimated. The strength of this old man is so domineering. Qin Feng couldn't help but exclaimed secretly, this was the real master. Boom! I saw the huge blade, bombarding the light of the formation of the general's mansion. With a violent collision, only the runes on the formation began to move wildly, forming waves of streamers, shaking gently, until the attack of the knife was completely resolved. Boom boom! The counterattack power of this rune array actually made the former face slightly changed, and he retreated dozens of steps before stopping his figure. Blade mad, don't try to break the formation independently here because we have all tried many times. It is impossible to affect this big formation simply by relying on brute force. A harsh and indifferent voice followed. The speaker is a middle-aged woman with a good figure. This woman has long eyebrows like a knife and beautiful hair like a waterfall. She looks full of cold and noble temperament. It's a pity that the evil spirit between her brows is daunting, knowing that she is not a soft-hearted guy. This middle-aged woman was also the woman Qin Feng had paid attention to before. At this moment, she was standing in front of the doorman of the Flame Palace. It seemed that she was the person who had the most voice among the group of people in the Flame Palace. It can be seen that this woman is only afraid of being in the Flame Palace, she is also in extraordinary status, and the worst is an elder. Humph, thousand snake demon girl, do you have any other way? Looking at the middle-aged you in front of him, Dao Kuang's face showed a very uncomfortable expression, coldly snorted. I do have another way, but I don't want to share it with so many people. After all, the more people go in, the less things we get. Looking at the martial artists around, there was a cold smile on the face of the thousand snake demon girl. From this smile on her face, it can be completely seen that she is a little bit ill-intentioned, and people can't help but feel a little chill. Really ridiculous. An indifferent voice sounded immediately. The warrior who was speaking was a tall man with a huge long sword on his back. Standing there made people feel very powerful and domineering. This guy is Kinglan Domain, the floating tyrant of the God of Flame. Unexpectedly, this powerful guy actually came to this place. Looking at this tall and strong man, for a while, many warriors began to talk secretly. It's not just the warriors around, they are starting to be surprised. Even the thousand snake demon girl and Dao Kuang frowned slightly, revealing a trace of solemnity. The Yanri God sect, that is the sect force of venerable blazing fire, and this floating tyrant among the Yanri God sect is a great genius at the level of evildoers, and its combat effectiveness is very strong. Even in the Kinglan domain, he is considered a small name. This person is a type of martial artist who specializes in cultivating the body and possesses very strong physical strength. Coupled with the Ape skill he practiced, it can be said that he can almost crush most geniuses in the same realm. Even the Thousand Snake Demon Girl and the Saber Madness, this kind of master character is not necessarily sure and can be defeated. What's the matter? Could it be that you people in Kinglan Domain, do you have any dissatisfaction with us? A more indifferent voice came out slowly. The coldness of this voice made people frightened. Immediately, you can clearly see a cyan figure, just like the same peerless swordsman, standing there straight. Revealed. The other party's eyes flickered, in a daze, it seemed that he could see through everything, making people unpredictable. Lu Sheng Yujian. Looking at this man, all the masters of the Mayuan realm changed their expressions and took a deep breath. Han Yan, what an enchanting genius is, but in front of the other party, he can only lower his arrogant head, and his body can't help shaking slightly. Hearing this young man named Lu Sheng Yujian, asking such questions, for a while, even the face of the floating tyrant became extremely serious. Lu Sheng Yujian, I've heard people say about you too. It's said that you are ranked on the list of masters of Mayuan Domain. When I saw you today, 
you really lived up to your reputation. The floating tyrant smiled lightly and said calmly. It's just that anyone with a discerning eye can hear him, and his tone clearly shows a kind of arrogant provocation. If you want to get some advice or two, my Lu Shenjiajian is naturally happy. Looking at the floating tyrant in front of him, Lu Shenjiajian's body shook slightly. Suddenly, a very terrifying aura burst out suddenly. This arrogant aura, carrying a sword intent, was filled with endless majesty in the ups and downs, which made people afraid to look directly. At this moment, above the sky, the phantom of a long sword appeared, floating and flashing constantly, revealing an unquenchable killing power. Humph! Seeing this scene, a famous warrior in Kinglan region started to take action. Of course, not only these people, those warriors in the Mayuan realm also took up their weapons and were ready to do it at any time. In this group of people, there are too many masters. The war between the two domains, perhaps, will really break out at this time. Forget it. What we need to do now is not to fight here and waste time for no reason, but to find a way to enter the general's house and find the treasure. There is no treasure, what's the use even if you win? An old man wearing a robe said indifferently. Obviously, this is also a very powerful master of the world, and his words and behavior are very powerful and majestic. At this moment, as the old man finished speaking, the masters on both sides frowned one after another, obviously thinking about what he said. The old man was right. Instead of fighting unreasonably at this time, it is better to find a way to open up this big formation and talk about other things. This formation is very powerful, but I believe that if the two big domains join forces, there is definitely a great chance to crack it. This old man said a word again. Yes, I also agree with this proposal. Dao Kuang nodded. When facing real benefits, teammates will become enemies, but enemies can also become temporary teammates. I also agree with this approach. The Thousand Snake Demon Girl also nodded. I agree with Lu Shenjiajian. I don't have any opinion on the floater. It is good. Now that both high-level leaders have discussed it, the other warriors will naturally have no objection. Suddenly, the atmosphere between each other began to slowly change. Hee <laughs> hee, although everyone is starting to cooperate now. But I think that if we work hard, it is still very likely that some ants will be assigned a treasure. At this moment, the thousand snake demon girl suddenly let out a sneer. This sneer was full of ruthlessness. As her eyes flickered, it was obvious that this woman was really hiding evil intentions, calculating something vicious. What do you mean? Looking at the thousand snake demon girl, many warriors frowned in confusion. Hehe, <laughs> what I mean is, where are those ants who are poorly qualified to share the fruits of our labor? Whoosh! Whoosh! With a light wave of his right hand, only a group of warriors were seen, already locked by the chi of the thousand snake demon girl. The strength of each of these warriors is not particularly strong. Among them, in addition to those warriors in the Kinglan domain, even the warriors in the Mayuan domain have not let go. In the face of absolute interests, even people in the same camp can be ruthlessly obliterated. You ants, don't hurry up. Yes, get out of here quickly, otherwise, kill without mercy. A series of arrogant and arrogant voices began to resound through the sky. Immediately, I only saw the chill of the flame palace, with cold light shining in his eyes, ready to start at any time. That guy over there, the guy in black clothes, your cultivation is only capable of reaching the fifth level of the gods. What qualifications do you have to enter the general's mansion, don't you go? This chilling voice was indifferent and arrogant, and at the same time a murderous aura was contained in it. At this moment, his aura suddenly exploded and enveloped a young man not far away. For a while, many warriors couldn't help looking sideways, wanting to see who it was. Following this, the expressions of each of them changed slightly, and they were all full of contemptuous mockery. In a mere five-layered spirit realm, he wanted to make a profit, and he deserved to be expelled like this. 
The corner of Qin Feng's mouth was also inadvertently, and a cold sneer appeared. Because the person Han Yan expelled just now was not someone else, but just him. Qin Feng didn't expect that among these warriors, there was no expert in the Alchemy Alliance. Of course, there are still many warriors who recognize Qin Feng. After all, when Qin Feng was led by Meng Xian of the Alchemy League before, many warriors paid attention to Qin Feng. And everyone knows why the chill of the Flame Palace is so directed at Qin Feng. The Alchemy League's status in the Mayuan realm is very lofty, and it has not changed for countless years. It can be said that apart from some truly ancient powers, almost no sect dared to contend with the Alchemy Alliance. It's just that, over time, it will inevitably be easy, causing some sect's discomfort. For example, the relationship between the Palace of Flames and the Alchemy Alliance is quite tense. It is precisely for this reason that the Flame Palace has long wanted to suppress or even ban the status of the Pill Refining Alliance. The challenge to Qin Feng this time was definitely not only deliberately targeting Qin Feng, but also to take the opportunity to suppress the arrogance of the Alchemy Alliance. This annoying guy, could it be that he is bullying our Pill Alchemy Alliance, is there no expert here? Seeing the chill of the Flame Palace, the expression on Qin Feng's face became more and more indifferent. Boy, didn't you hear? I told you to get out of here. Seeing Qin Feng not moving like a mountain, Han Yan shouted angrily again, with a stronger killing intent in his tone. Let me go. The corner of Qin Feng's mouth raised an arc. Suddenly, the body flickered. Roar. At this moment, Qin Feng was like a dragon and slammed a punch. In an instant, an extremely vast and domineering punching force began to appear above the void. Boom! Fist up! It can be clearly seen that, centering on Qin Feng's whole person, a very majestic fist mark began to whiz out through the air. Where the fist seal passed, the void was distorted by this, and its power was a bit shocking. Boom! The terrible sound of thunder, accompanied by the shadow of the boxing, at this moment, is strong to the extreme. Qin Feng actually did it. Moreover, in front of so many warriors, he took the initiative to attack. No one had expected that a mere five layer of the god sounding realm would dare to attack a master like Han Yan, let alone a thousand snake demon girls standing there. This, is really incredible. Hey, this guy, he is so bold indeed. A joking and approving voice suddenly came out. There was a cynical smile on the face of the speaker, but there was no hint of sarcasm. He stood there lazily, watching with interest. This guy is the Yunhuoshan of the Yunhuo sect. Court death. Han Yan didn't expect that a mere ant would dare to take the initiative to attack him. Suddenly, Han Yan roared and suddenly released a majestic chi from his body. Immediately after, he waved his right hand and a fiery flame was gradually released from his hand and expanded continuously. In the blink of an eye, the terrifying flames blocked all the space around Qin Feng's whole person. In this flame envelope, everything seems to be continuously being burned. Obviously, the other party's move was to directly obliterate Qin Feng, without giving Qin Feng a chance to escape at all. Boom! The shadow of Qin Feng's fist hit the heavy flames directly without retreating. At this moment, it was like a leaf in the sea. No matter how you look at it, no matter how you count it, it is absolutely impossible for Qin Feng to win Han Yan. I don't know, a stupid idiot. The thousand snake demon girl who was standing there laughed contemptuously. In her opinion, this Qin Feng was simply seeking his own death. However, it was just that she had just finished saying this sentence. Suddenly, seeing the chilly flames, he could no longer advance any further, and was blocked by the shadow of the fist. Boom! In the next moment, that fist shadow was like an optimus pillar, and the terrifying attack actually blasted some fierce flames instantly. Rumble! Accompanied by a while, an unimaginable boom sounded. All the flames, at this moment, completely dissipated and turned into nothingness. It's more than that. 
several mouthfuls of blood were directly spit out from that cold mouth, and his body was violently shaken out by the aftermath of the fist. At this moment, on his right hand, only blood was dripping and bones were exposed. Quiet. Unimaginable static. At this moment, all the martial artists present had their eyes widened, staring at Qin Feng in disbelief. Obviously, the scene just now made them only think they were dreaming. What kind of cultivation is that cold flame, he has already cultivated to the Huayuan realm, although he has just broken through, it is not particularly powerful. However, how could it be impossible, it would be a five-tiered junior in the god communication realm, who could contend. However, the scene that happened just now was completely the opposite of what they expected. This, really shocked countless people. 20 Dao, the power of the terrible true dragon. At this moment, it was actually used perfectly by Qin Feng. And the punch just now not only carried the power of thunder and lightning, but also coordinated with other attributes at the same moment. Coupled with Qin Feng's terrifying fist intent, it was possible to burst out with such terrible power, even the void could be shattered. As a result, the seemingly terrifying flames can't hurt a star at all. Bastard thing, you are looking for death. Seeing this Qin Feng, in front of so many people, he was seriously injured and hit the cold. This not only made the thousand snake demon girl feel very angry, but more importantly, she felt that she had lost face. This is obviously a strong slap in the face. Therefore, how can the thousand snake demon girl bear it? With an angry roar, she only saw her palm, which had already waved, and hit Qin Feng directly. Suddenly, a stream of green light, with an extremely smelly rotten poisonous gas, rubbed the entire void domineeringly, and flashed towards Qin Feng quickly. Humph! Seeing that Qin Feng was about to be hit by this attack, an indifferent hum came out at this moment. The next moment, with this cold snort sounded. I saw that a golden streamer like a scorching sun evolved into a palm print soaring to the sky, blasting straight towards the green poisonous gas. Pang! This golden streamer is as powerful as a dragon, strong and unparalleled, and has a domineering and ruthless meaning, which is contained in it. Even if it was the cultivation base of this thousand snake demon girl, no matter how powerful it was, she had already broken through the Huayuan realm. Even compared to some masters in the Huayuan realm, he was a bit more powerful. But at this moment, he couldn't help but was blasted away fiercely by this golden palm print. It's concubine Ming, Ming Ruyu. When the face of the shooter was clearly seen, the expressions of many warriors began to become unbelievable. Concubine Ming. That's a big man with great reputation. It is also the existence that is hailed as the number one beauty in the Kinglin domain, and cannot be ignored wherever she goes. Of course, Ming Concubine's own cultivation level has shocked countless martial artists. At this moment, even those warriors in Kinglin region. After seeing the arrival of Concubine Ming clearly, she couldn't help but frown slightly. Obviously, they were very afraid of this woman. With just one move, she repulsed the extraordinary thousand snake demon girl. Such strength, how powerful and amazing it is. This stinky boy is really a little bit skillful. I didn't expect that even the coldest Ming Ruyu in the Kinglin domain can build a relationship. The corners of Yun Huashan's mouth twitched a few times. Just now, he was ready to take action to help Qin Feng. But he didn't expect that this concubine Ming Ruyu, but he shot faster than him. Everyone, don't I just let it go. If you continue to fight like this, then we people, don't even think about entering the general's mansion. Wouldn't it be better to fight a good fight? An indifferent strong man said in a low voice. In the words, there was obviously a trace of discomfort and sarcasm. The warrior who was speaking was a master of the Kinglin domain, quite an identity. Hey, it is true. Thousand Snake Demon Girl, your business has nothing to do with us. If you want to fight, then go far and fight, don't waste everyone's time here. The sword mat in the Mayuan realm also frowned, 
expressing his unhappiness. In fact, not only a few of them, but other warriors also secretly slandered. After all, in this primordial space, time is very tight. At this time, it would be a pity to waste time on these small things. Asshole thing, I remember you. Looking at Qin Feng, the face of the thousand snake demon girl could not help but roar with a trace of anger. However, at this time, she did not dare to deal with the cold concubine Ming. The same is in the Huayuan realm, even this Ming concubine is younger and lower than her. However, the thousand snake demon girl also understands that this concubine must not be offended because the other party is really terrifying. Well, this little guy has proven his strength and can stay and break the formation. As for other rubbish, don't let me go. Qin Feng's previous strength has won the recognition of many warriors, and naturally he has left behind. As for the other warriors, whether it is the domain of Mayuan or the warrior of Kinglan domain, all warriors who did not meet the standards were arbitrarily expelled, and those who were disobedient were directly obliterated. Faced with such a domineering attitude, for a while, although many weak warriors were extremely angry and aggrieved in their hearts, they did not have the strength of Qin Feng to resist, and they could only choose to leave in anger. You martial artists are responsible for this place, as for you, go to that place. One by one, the big people have already begun to eagerly assign tasks. Before long, many parts of the entire general's mansion were separated. And everywhere in these places, the warriors are all preparing to start, bombarding the formation mask with all their strength, breaking the big formation in front of them. Boom! In an instant, the rumbling explosion began to diffuse out of the large array towards the surroundings. This is a terrible formation composed of a large number of runes, how overbearing the power is. Even in this place, there are a lot of warriors to join forces. Unfortunately, in the speed of breaking the formation, it is not that fast. However, fortunately, these people's cultivation bases are very good, and they can keep going. Thereafter, as time went by, relying on the joint efforts of these masters, they continued to attack the formation. Finally, the entire rune formation began to shake violently. Obviously, this formation is about to collapse, as long as we continue to work hard, the formation can definitely be broken. Hey, I said Brother Qin, you are really not easy. Not only that Lu Suanji fell into your hands. I didn't expect that the Ming Gruyu in the Kinglin region would be captured by you kid. Such a powerful means of picking up girls, if you have a chance, you must give your brother some tips. This guy Yun Huo's hung smirked at Qin Feng and said with emotion. Glancing at this guy, Qin Feng rolled his eyes angrily, showing a look of contempt. However, for this Yun Huo's hung, he really did not dislike it. At this moment, many warriors in the realm of Mayuan understand that there is a contradiction between Qin Feng and the Flame Palace. Therefore, they all chose to stay away from Qin Feng, and were not even willing to talk to Qin Feng. I'm afraid of being hated by the Palace of Flames. At this moment, everyone's martial artist's eyes changed suddenly, with excitement and surprise, and they even took a cold breath. Even Qin Feng is no exception. Vitality The majestic vitality. Just taking a casual breath, I feel refreshed, and it seems that my cultivation has improved a lot. What a strong heaven and earth vitality, this place is not much worse than those high-quality cultivation treasures. Even in those big powers, I am afraid that only those ancient powers with rich background will have such a place with sufficient vitality. If I can practice here all the time, I am afraid that my cultivation level will improve very quickly. There are many warriors who are shocked on their faces, and they can't help but exclaim loudly. A master with fairly good strength can't keep calm. From the other's tone, it is not difficult to see how excited this guy is now. However, no warrior would think he was naive. Because most of the martial artists present, the inner emotions are actually not much different. If you can practice in this place, you can completely improve your strength in a short period of time. 
the speed of his cultivation will definitely be dozens of times faster than that of an ordinary place outside. Of course, if you want to keep cultivating in such a place, there is no possibility at all. After all, the space at the beginning will be closed. Therefore, the warriors present, after a period of excitement, slowly recovered their calmness and continued to look inward. Have to say. This house in the general's mansion is indeed a bit large and a bit large. What I can see is almost a piece of connected houses, like hills, which is really shocking. Inside the house, there are rockery, plants, water, etc. All kinds of things, really seem like a paradise. And, not only that, on the surface of these things, you can see the stream of runes, flashing continuously on it. In this place, everything in it, even those flowers, even dust, has been arranged with exquisite runes to protect them from the erosion of time. Faced with such a mysterious and extraordinary means. Even the warriors on the scene, one by one, are good and come from powerful sect forces. At this moment, they couldn't help showing horror, and they sucked in air conditioning. With such a terrifying ability, I am afraid that among so many warriors present, there is no one behind it, can it be comparable? Not to mention, this house is just one of them. That's the Sky Star Grass. Tisk tisk, this is a great opportunity, it can hardly be found in the outside world today. It can help the martial artist and increase a lot of soul power. Suddenly, a warrior pointed to a meadow and shouted loudly. Wow! Accompanied by this exclamation, many warriors changed their colors in an instant, reacted quickly, and scanned the star grass that day. I saw that the branches and leaves of the sky star grass were shaking, and the surface glowed with wisps of star-like luster, which looked dreamlike and made people feel quite dreamy. However, this kind of plant was extremely precious even in those previous years. At this time, it is even more rare, almost impossible to buy with money. Laugh. A sharp sword gas suddenly flashed. The next moment, blood sprayed. I saw that one of the warriors who was about to take the opportunity to the heavenly star grass was directly torn into pieces by the sword chi. A warrior holding a long sword looked at the pile of flesh and blood with a sneer, and said contemptuously. You are trying to get rid of the sky star grass just because of you. Facing the domineering appearance of this warrior, for a while, the other warriors who wanted to compete all showed a trace of jealousy. Oh my god! The rocks in this place are actually made of spirit rocks. Looking at a stone sculpture, another warrior couldn't help but exclaimed. Suddenly, the warriors present also stared suddenly, and finally noticed this. This place, whether it is flowers, plants, trees, or those rockery and water, are all rare treasures. Scramble. Scramble. Suddenly, the warriors were all crazy, and they began to choose to fight. After all, all kinds of treasures in this place can be called rare treasures. If they are left outside, they will definitely cause a huge sensation. Just imagine, at this moment, how many warriors can maintain a calm state of mind. Of course, those warriors with excellent moods, although their hearts are also very delicate, but with their patience, they can still keep themselves calm. Because these warriors are very clear that these things in front of them are not truly heavenly treasures. What is the identity and strength of the master of this general mansion? These things in front of me are nothing more than playthings for decoration. And those real heaven-defying treasures are definitely still inside. Therefore, those masters with very strong strength and good background shook their heads and sneered, and did not choose to stay, but continued to move forward. Hey! While walking forward, Qin Feng scanned all the surroundings with endurance. Compared to the other warriors present, he understood the benefits and crises of this place better. After all, there was a guiding message in his ice flame supreme tabard. Therefore, through that message, Qin Feng had a more detailed understanding of this general mansion. He wants to find the emperor in the general's mansion before these warriors. That's right, what's hidden in this general's mansion, besides the general, 
there is also the emperor with great elegance. As long as the other party's consciousness can be awakened, he will not owe any favors even if he has completed the purpose of this mission. This thing is, Kinglan profound earth. The sword mat in front of there suddenly showed a hint of surprise on his face, and he walked towards the pile of mud in front of him, and then stopped. I only saw this pile of soil, in a large amount, almost as high as a hill. It emits wisps of blue streamer, which looks like in the forest, giving people a very refreshing breath, containing the breath of majestic life force. Meow. Suddenly, a small cat, seeming to have discovered something good, suddenly jumped on Qin Feng's shoulder. This guy is the meat bun. It is a gluttonous guy, born with a very strong ability to sense those heaven-defying treasures. Many times, he helped Qin Feng find good things. At this moment, it obviously sensed that there were a lot of good things in this mansion. Ever since, this could not help but slip out of Qin Feng's storage ring. Kinglan Profound Earth, this kind of thing has huge benefits to those warriors of the Earth attribute, and it can be regarded as a great opportunity against the sky. It can help the Earth attribute warriors and use Earth attribute power more perfectly.